I only use a bottle of cola. Let countless female celebrities spread their legs for me. Even the goddess I licked for six years had the nerve to say I want to drink too. She thought I would still lick her like before. But unexpectedly, she was mocked by me and begged me to drink. Turns out the global temperature has risen by 100 degrees. In the previous life, I risked being roasted alive to feed my girlfriend. I brought a few pieces of bread for my girlfriend's family. But my girlfriend not only didn't appreciate it, but also complained that the food I brought was not enough. She even suggested that the family chop me up and make soup out of me. She even taunted me, saying with your current state, you still want to marry me, maybe in the next life. And so, I died in tears of pain. Suddenly, I was reborn before the arrival of the apocalypse, and I swore to make my girlfriend's family pay. I checked the time, and there are 10 days left until the apocalypse arrives. So the most important thing is to stockpile supplies. However, the ongoing high temperatures make it impossible to store food, and I no longer want to eat rotten food. At this moment, suddenly, a huge black hole appeared before my eyes, and when I walked into it, instantly, thousands of square kilometers of space appeared inside, and I immediately recognized it as my spatial ability from my previous life. I didn't expect even this ability was retained after being reborn, now the storage and preservation of food are both solved. First, I need to prepare enough funds to survive, but this won't stop me. I immediately went through all the loan apps on my phone and instantly received hundreds of thousands, with my current savings totaling two, six million. After doing all this, I'm feeling a bit hungry. So I immediately took a taxi to the five-star hotel in the city, about to order a lavish meal. At this moment, the goddess Su Qingqing, who betrayed me in the past, called. I heard him angrily say, Fang Chen, my mom knows you've helped me a lot, she wants to treat you to dinner at the Lux City Hotel. Hearing this, I sneered inwardly. In the past life, I believed her lies and thought her parents wanted Su Qingqing to marry me. Excitedly, I bought tens of thousands worth of gifts, only to realize later that I was just being used to foot the bill. This life, I won't let it go that easily. So, I immediately agreed and said I would go over right away. When I arrived, I saw the goddess I had longed for in the past. Upon seeing me, Su Qingqing skillfully squeezed out a sweet smile and called my name with a standard accent. Hearing this, I wanted to punch her in the face, but I held back, knowing the real show was yet to come. So, with a smile, I immediately said to the 18 members of their family, hurry up and go to the private room, I'm treating you all to dinner today. Upon hearing my words, Su Qingqing's family's eyes lit up, and they immediately rushed into the private room. One person ordered a bottle of wine worth tens of thousands, and the dishes on the menu were all written down in a notebook. After the dishes arrived, they devoured them like gluttons, stuffing them into their mouths with their hands, even blowing on the bottle of wine. However, I just smiled and watched them eat, waiting until they were halfway through their meal. I made an excuse to go to the restroom, then left the hotel without looking back. Since I didn't order or eat anything, I naturally don't have to pay for the bill. I immediately took a taxi to another restaurant. I ordered a big meal just for myself, enjoying the food happily. Unexpectedly, Su Qingqing called me, but I didn't even look at it, treating the phone ringtone as pre-dinner music. I wonder what kind of reaction they will have when they see the bill of 500,000. Thinking about it, the food in my mouth suddenly tasted better. Meanwhile, on the other side, Su Qingqing was pacing back and forth anxiously, repeatedly calling me like a clown. Looking at the bill of 540,000 in her hand, her head was spinning. When her relatives found out that I had left, their expressions changed instantly, each claiming to have something urgent at home. Seeing that I was about to escape, Su Qingqing became anxious at the news. Ignoring her pride, she loudly told the waiter that they had also eaten, pleading not to let them leave. Upon hearing this, her relatives immediately refused, a few hot-tempered women. Engaging in a physical fight with Su Qingqing and her daughter directly, the scene was extremely intense. Just after finishing my meal and stepping out of the restaurant, I saw the roaring police car. Next to me, someone mentioned that a family was dining at the Luo City Grand Hotel, but the one treating them ran away. They couldn't pay the bill, so the family started fighting, even causing the police to intervene. After hearing this, I couldn't be bothered because what I was about to do next was to build an indestructible fortress in the apocalypse. For this reason, I directly rented a 300 square meter factory. Because at temperatures as high as 60 degrees, living in a high-rise is undoubtedly like a steamer, while a factory can perfectly solve this issue. However, just having the factory wasn't enough, I also called a refrigeration company. I asked them to build a top-notch cold storage for me, with the most powerful refrigeration effect in the world, because I knew that ordinary refrigerators wouldn't suffice in the apocalypse. Upon hearing this, 
The other party immediately understood the importance and promptly mentioned they had developed a new product with a cooling effect of minus 50 degrees. Ordinary refrigeration equipment can only reach a maximum of minus 20 degrees, so upon hearing this, I was delighted and immediately requested them to complete the construction within three days. Unexpectedly, the other party made a bold move, stating that for such a short time frame, additional money was required, totaling 6 million for the 300 square meter area. I thought it was a bit beyond my budget, as with the previous loan of 600,000, I only had a total of 2. 6 million on me, but I still agreed without hesitation, and immediately transferred 2 million to the other party, because I know, such a large project definitely won't be paid in full at once. As for the remaining payment, I am not worried at all. After all, the end of the world is less than 10 days away. Who will remember the penalty for breach of contract at that time? We quickly agreed on the location to sign the contract, arranged by the manager of this company, Wang Chang. He smiled and flattered, saying, Sir, you are truly talented. I wonder what business you are in that requires such high-quality refrigeration. However, I express that you don't need to know, because I know that those who keep a low profile survive the longest. Therefore, I don't plan to trouble myself. But this made Wang Chang even more curious, thinking it must be about the latest refrigeration equipment, and willing to pay extra to complete it within three days. He must have hidden some valuable items, but on the surface, he just kept nodding. After finishing these tasks, I planned to go to a restaurant for a meal. Unexpectedly, as soon as I entered, I heard several cats crying miserably. I saw a child grabbing a cat's tail, pulling it back and forth, causing the cat to cry out in pain. I originally didn't want to meddle in other people's business. But when I saw the tail of that cat, there was a symbol resembling lightning. I immediately pushed away the child who was tormenting the cat, and then picked up the cat to examine its hindquarters. When I confirmed that the cat was female, I excitedly determined that it was an electric mother cat, as there were two types of viruses that appeared after the apocalypse. One type is the zombie virus. The other type is the purification virus. These two viruses can infect any animals or plants, and the Electra has been infected with the purification virus. It will use its electrical abilities to sneak attack humans, causing many to perish at its hands. However, I am not afraid at all, because I know that Electra is not actually evil, it's just seeking revenge on humans. If I can tame it in advance, I will gain a powerful ally, and more importantly, it is a walking power generator. However, at that moment, a middle-aged chubby woman with a greasy mouth ran towards me. She claimed that I had injured her child and demanded 1,000 yuan in compensation. Upon hearing this, I was furious, not putting up with her nonsense. Didn't she see her child torturing a cat? I just gently pushed him. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll smack your mouth. After speaking, I directly pushed the fat woman away, ignoring her curses from behind. I picked up Electra and left, not wasting any time on the way. I also bought some cat food. The first thing I did when I got home was to feed Electra immediately, because I knew I had to establish a good relationship first in order to completely tame it before it evolves. It didn't disappoint me either, grabbing the cat food and devouring it eagerly. After doing all this, I checked my remaining balance, realizing that my current funds were far from sufficient. So I immediately thought of mortgaging my family's property. The end of the world is here, might as well mortgage it for the new year. So I immediately went to the bank to mortgage for a loan, and instantly my balance reached 4 million. But this is far from enough, because next I need to buy a large amount of food, medicine, and renovate the house. Of course, the more funds, the better. So I inquired about private loans again and found that in the local city, there are three large private lending organizations. These companies resort to violent debt collection, so they are not afraid if you don't repay, they are afraid if you don't borrow. As soon as I arrived at a lending company, I saw a man who couldn't repay his debts. He was beaten until he was bloody, and those people were looking at me while beating him, as if telling me that not repaying leads to this fate. However, I remained calm, after all. The end of the world is approaching, whether they can survive is uncertain. Even if they survive and find themselves, when the electric mother meows, they will be dealt with instantly. So I borrowed from all sizes of private lending, eventually borrowing over 6 million. Adding the 4 million from the bank loan, I now have around 10 million. Suddenly my phone rang, turns out the cold storage is completed, so I hurried over for inspection. Unexpectedly, as soon as I arrived at the cold storage to inspect, Fong Chang ran over and asked me about the boss. What are you planning to store here? I have experience in this area. I can help you adjust the equipment. Upon hearing this, I just said to him, Do you know why dogs don't catch mice? As soon as these words were spoken, Fong Chang instantly looked at me in confusion. However, I didn't have time to explain because there were only six days left until the apocalypse. 
At that time, there will be a large number of zombies, and ordinary houses will be unable to withstand them. Although I have spatial abilities, I haven't learned any attack methods, so the most important thing now is to reinforce the cold storage. So I immediately contacted a security company and had them design a set of protective facilities based on the specifications of my cold storage. Then I also partitioned off a few rooms, to be used as bathrooms and living rooms. Soon, several security personnel came to inspect, but unexpectedly, after their inspection, they said that my cold storage had significant security risks and was susceptible to theft, then they opened a cabinet. Behind the cabinet, there was a hidden door, allowing people from outside to come in freely. Yet, I wasn't afraid when I saw this scene, in fact, I was somewhat pleased. I didn't need to guess it was clearly Wang Chang's doing. After all, I had sensed something was off about him at the time. Since you've been unkind to me, don't blame me for being ruthless. However, outwardly, I remained calm. Thank you for the reminder. You can come back tomorrow for the construction. I paid the security company 5 million, requesting them to complete the work within 3 days. At the same time, I also bought some cold weapons for self-defense. As for why I didn't start construction today, you'll find out soon. And as for what I'm about to do next, it's about emptying an entire large chain supermarket. Because the end of the world has begun, the first thing is a continuous 60 degree high temperature for 30 days, which will lead to many people dying of thirst. So, I directly ordered mineral water worth 10 million, then bought a large quantity of fresh vegetables from wholesalers. Although I only paid a part of the deposit, the entire 10 million was spent. Soon, these supplies were delivered and moved into the cold storage, but I didn't rush to clear space. I just hid quietly in the cold storage until the early morning when suddenly there was a rustling sound outside the cold storage. Then the blocked hole was moved, and I saw something being brought in today. That guy made it all secretive, it must be some good stuff. Let's move quickly. The one speaking is Wang Chang, and behind him are three tall men. After speaking, they started rummaging through the cold storage. However, when they saw the whole box of mineral water, they were all dumbfounded. But Wang Chang said no one would be so foolish to spend millions building a cold storage just to store mineral water. So, he ordered the others to search again. Unexpectedly, I held a knife in the dark, and one by one, I took care of all his men. At that moment, Wang Chang didn't realize something was wrong and was still diligently searching. However, the next moment, a dagger was pressed against his neck. It was then that Wang Chang realized all his men were gone. He begged me in fear to spare him and promised to pay me one million as hush money. However, I just smiled faintly. Do you think I care about this small amount of money? How could a Taoist manager like you have so much money? Unexpectedly, Wang Chang's next words caught my attention. He said that this money was all stolen. He had left a back door before, and the warehouses he had stolen from were countless, including almost all major supermarkets and hotels. Upon hearing this, I had a bold idea. If I could store these goods in my space, I wouldn't have to worry for the rest of my life. So, I immediately pressured Wang Chang to tell me the layout of these warehouses and all the hidden entrances. Naturally, Wang Chang didn't dare to resist, so he told me everything he knew in detail. I thought that would be enough to spare him, but the next moment, I took him out with a single stroke. Because I knew that if I kept him alive and the things in the warehouse disappeared later, he would definitely suspect me. After doing all this, I took his phone. I told his wife that we were going abroad for refuge, then checked his account balance. Wow, he actually had over 30 million. In the end, he offered me 1 million before dying. I immediately felt that his death was not in vain, so I put the remaining 30 million into my pocket. Then I tried to store these corpses in my space and found that it worked. I had previously tried to put a living person in there, which naturally failed. It seems that this space cannot hold living beings. Next, I stored all the bottled water in my space, and then I went back to sleep after finishing this. Unexpectedly, I was awakened the next day by a knocking on the door, and when I opened it, I found it was someone unexpected. It was the green tea Su Qingqing who caused her own death in the previous life. I thought she would come angrily to settle the score with me for the last time, but to my surprise, she put on a pitiful look. Brother Fong Chen, why did you suddenly leave last time? I called you but you didn't answer. Little did I know that the family got into trouble for fighting, and in the end, they had to borrow money from relatives to pay for the meal. Now Su Qingqing has come to ask Fang Chen for money. Upon hearing this, I coldly apologized, saying I was busy with work. Unexpectedly, Su Qingqing became anxious. She clung to my arm affectionately, even rubbing it against her chest, something she had never done before. However, I couldn't be bothered with her and just played with my phone. But she kept licking me and saying, Brother Fang Chen, your home is so clean. I like boys who are clean. I was starting to get annoyed by her, 
But suddenly an idea popped into my head. So, I said to her, I'm going abroad tomorrow. Do you and your mother want to come along? Upon hearing this, Su Qingqing immediately got excited, thinking I really wanted to make amends. She quickly agreed. After that, I took the mother and daughter to a country in Southeast Asia. When we arrived, I asked for their passports directly, saying I needed them to book a hotel. They didn't suspect anything and handed over their passports without hesitation. Little did they know that after booking the room, I disappeared and left them behind, because my purpose this time was to order a batch of weapons. After obtaining the desired weapon, I immediately booked a flight back to my home country. As for the mother and daughter, when the apocalypse arrives, let them fend for themselves. Upon my return to the country, there was only one day left until the apocalypse. I had to take the final step, which was to clear out the warehouse. Quickly, based on Wang Chang's address, I sneaked into a warehouse under the cover of night. This was the storage area of the city's largest supermarket, and I skillfully avoided the surveillance areas. I then began the massive clearance operation, starting with various meats, followed by several tons of seafood, and of course, vegetables were not to be missed. Next came various staple foods, but I couldn't survive on just water, so all kinds of beverages were necessary. I even didn't overlook various types of noodles and rice. After all, living alone, I needed to hire a few maids to cook for me. Once I cleared out this warehouse, I used the same method to loot several large warehouses. By the time I finished everything, it was already past 4 a.m., with less than 8 hours left until the apocalypse. At noon, when I was sound asleep on the big bed, the television was reporting a major theft at that time. The news mentioned that goods worth over a hundred billion in the city were all stolen overnight, with extremely bizarre methods used by the perpetrator. Suddenly, the early rising aunties who went grocery shopping started grumbling. After all, there were no vegetables left, yet they bought a hammer. However, no one paid attention to another piece of news, which was about a location 10,000 light years away from the blue star. At that time, two large planets will collide, and everyone will think it has nothing to do with them. But only I know that this collision will bring about the end of the world, while everyone else is thinking about what to have for lunch. Suddenly, a bright white light flashed across the sky, so dazzling that the daytime sky became unbearable to look at. However, people thought it was just light from a small asteroid collision, so everyone was just watching for fun. Unexpectedly, something strange happened, within just a few hours, the surface temperature skyrocketed to 100 degrees. The air temperature also reached nearly 70 degrees, and suddenly everyone was sweating profusely. However, while all this was happening, I was lying on my luxurious bed, but suddenly woke up shivering, it turned out the fridge temperature was set too low, and my blanket was taken by the electric blanket. So I had to lie on my $800,000 sofa, pick up my phone to browse the internet, and sure enough, the comment sections on various websites were exploding. On such a hot day, I had to come home early, only to find my wife arguing with someone else. Thanks to the heat, the makeup on my goddess's face melted, revealing a side I never knew. I was supposed to have final exams, but the school announced a holiday. I love the heat, but with the world ending, I need to stock up on supplies, though I don't want to go outside in this heat. It seems like everyone isn't taking this seriously. I sat on the sofa and sighed. Suddenly feeling a bit hungry, I took out some wagyu beef from the fridge. I threw it directly into the hot pot, but in my heart, I knew I couldn't keep eating hot pot. I need to find a maid to help me with laundry and cooking, and maybe warm up the bed as well. Just as I was enjoying a delicious meal, Su Qingqing called. She complained about feeling hot and asked when I would pick her up, but I hung up the phone directly. Let the mother and daughter fend for themselves. After all, in my past life, I braved the scorching heat and zombies to find food. You even betrayed me when it was scarce, I won't forget that. Su Qingqing suddenly became anxious, constantly messaging me, Fang Chinga, you don't have a girlfriend yet, and I'm still single. Fang Chinga, I might be inexperienced, but I have a strong learning ability. I can satisfy your interests in any knowledge. I looked at his messages, one after another, with increasingly intense content, finding it somewhat amusing. Now he's become a licking dog, but I don't feel sorry for him at all, as he brought it upon himself. I can't afford to be idle either. Although I have spatial abilities, I lack combat strength. In this world, abilities are divided into 10 levels, and I'm currently just a level 1, with no combat advantage over an ordinary person. However, ability levels can be enhanced, leading to the awakening of more powerful abilities. There are two ways to enhance abilities. One is to search for the purification virus. The second is to kill other ability users and zombies to absorb the strengthening crystals in their brains. I remember the last time the zombie virus broke out was on the evening of the fifth day of the apocalypse, when the evolutionary virus also appeared. 
so I took out the map and devised a plan, determined to get the purification virus ahead of time. As time arrived five days later, although I stayed in the cold storage all these days, I didn't idle away. Instead, I took out the VR to play Resident Evil and accumulate some experience in fighting zombies. I glanced at my phone and saw that the last message from Su Qingqing was from last night. I figured she must have died, and I felt a sense of relief. However, the city residents didn't fare much better, with over half of them dying from heat or thirst. Now a bottle of mineral water sells for 300 yuan, and crime is rampant in the streets. Soon, it was 8 o'clock in the evening, with only 2 hours left until the virus outbreak. Unexpectedly, just as I finished gearing up to go out, the cold gate was suddenly knocked on. When I looked out through the one-way window, I was surprised to see several men holding tools knocking on the door. One of them said, I delivered 10 million yuan worth of mineral water here a few days ago. If we can take over, we won't have to worry for the rest of our lives. Let's hurry and pry open the door. In an instant, I understood that the one speaking was Wang Dazhuang, the truck driver who delivered water a few days ago. He had cheated me out of 10,000 yuan when he delivered the water. I hadn't expected him to have such ruthless intentions now, which made me smirk. They struggled to pry open the door for a while, but to no avail, as the door was reinforced to the standards of a bank vault. I could have continued sleeping peacefully, but I had errands to run later, so I opened the door directly. Suddenly, a cold wind blew in, causing Wang Dazhuang to shiver instantly. The hairs on his body stood up, having just experienced 70 degrees of heat, he was now hit by a cool breeze of less than 20 degrees. His soul reached a climax instantly, even letting out a sigh of relief. However, the scene in the next second chilled them to the core. I pulled out an AK-47, pointing its dark barrel at them. Unexpectedly, Wang Dazhuang sneered after realizing, you brat, trying to scare us with a toy gun? Let's take him down together. After all, Yen Gua had only seen this on TV, so he didn't believe I could get it. Seeing their greedy eyes, I sighed helplessly. But the next second, I suddenly pulled the trigger. The person at the front was instantly shot in the head, leaving a gruesome sight. The remaining people were stunned, then looked at me in horror, some even immediately knelt down and begged for mercy. Yet, I mercilessly pulled the trigger again, as the merciful would only harm themselves in the tomb. After finishing this, I packed the supplies and drove the armored vehicle with confidence towards the destination. As soon as I stepped out, I started sweating profusely, but luckily I had chilled beverages stocked up. So I grabbed a bottle of happy water and took a big gulp, also opening one for the shop owner. Meanwhile, countless people on the street were desperately searching for supplies. Suddenly, they saw even a cat in my car had water to drink. They all showed thirsty expressions, with someone even suggesting to trade their wife for water. However, I expressed strong disgust, as I would never do such a thing, even if it meant death. Soon, I arrived at the place where the virus broke out in the previous life, a residential area in the third district, now plunged into darkness due to a power outage. Checking the time, it was almost half past ten, the time when the zombies broke out in the previous life. Just as I was anxiously waiting, a glowing object fell from the sky. I immediately realized it was virus purification and excitedly ran over. Soon, I obtained the virus purification, which turned out to be a small purple crystal. However, the next second, I swallowed it directly, causing me to groan in pain and sweat profusely on my forehead. Yet, I was not worried at all, as forcibly altering the host's body required enduring pain. Finally, after a few minutes, the transformation was complete, and I clearly felt stronger. More importantly, I awakened the ability to teleport, though limited to a 3 meter range, surprisingly, I could even go over walls. I was instantly excited, thinking I wouldn't fear being caught in bed anymore, but just as I was happy, the electric mother suddenly let out a scream. So I immediately rushed back to the car, but after seeing the situation clearly, I was instantly furious. It turns out a group of people sneaked into the car, ate all the food I left, and even tried to catch the electric mother to eat cat meat. And I immediately recognized. This group of people was actually the family of the child who abused cats I encountered before. Seeing them about to take the electric pancake away, I shouted to stop them immediately. Unexpectedly, the fat woman also recognized me, and then directly demanded that I compensate her son's medical expenses, not much, just 100 perfume. And her son immediately cried and accused me of bullying him, even the man next to him kept agreeing. What a bunch of troublemakers, all together. Just as I was considering whether to send them off to the western heaven, the originally crying child suddenly stopped, then started convulsing, rolling his eyes back, and making gurgling sounds from his mouth. The child's parents also noticed something was wrong, but they thought it was due to being scratched by a cat and having a rabies outbreak. Unexpectedly, the next second, the child mutated into a zombie, 
then suddenly bit his father's neck, tearing off a large chunk of flesh. The man didn't even understand the situation before meeting his end. The fat woman, frightened, tried to escape but was immediately pounced on by the child and bitten on the head. I couldn't help but sigh on the side, never expected this child to be infected first. Probably just got scratched by the electric mother, then the virus coincidentally came into contact with the wound. So I prepared to take out my weapon to deal with him. Unexpectedly, the electric mother suddenly flashed in front of me, and the next moment, its tail emitted a sizzling electric current. I immediately understood that the electric mother had evolved, so I asked if it wanted revenge. Upon hearing that, the electric mother let out a meow, and at the same time, its tail emitted a flickering electric current, shooting towards the zombie. Immediately after a bang, the zombie child collapsed directly to the ground. I was shocked and dumbfounded, thinking that I wouldn't be afraid of zombies when going out in the future. Then I took out a small knife from my space and extracted the zombie's enhanced brain crystal. Then I absorbed it directly feeling a tingling sensation in my body, much more comfortable than absorbing the purification crystal just now. However, the energy was vastly different. The energy of this crystal is only 1% of the enhanced crystal. It seems I need to hurry and collect more enhanced crystals. So I drove around looking for them, killing the short-sighted zombies along the way. When passing by a school, I finally found an enhanced crystal in front of the dormitory building. So I immediately rushed over, but as soon as I picked up the crystal, a scream came from above, and the next moment, a girl fell down. And after spotting the girl's face, I was so startled my jaw almost dropped. It's you! When Fang Chen saw the girl in his arms, he was surprised and delighted. The girl was none other than the one who had saved his life in a previous life, the girl with a limp leg he had been searching for. But how did she fall from the sky? Suddenly, he remembered the evolutionary crystal he had picked up. Could it be? Fang Chen couldn't help but smile. He probably knew how Lindsay Jean awakened her abilities in the previous life. She must have been fleeing from zombies, jumped from upstairs, landed on the evolutionary crystal, and awakened her abilities. Her leg should have been injured from that fall. His appearance in this life prevented her from breaking her leg. Feeling tightly embraced, Lindsay Jean slowly opened her eyes and blushed when she saw a strange man holding her. She had never been held by a boy before, especially one whose hand was tightly gripping hers. She could feel the warmth of his palm, and to her annoyance, he would occasionally squeeze it. It was too embarrassing. Lindsay Jean's parents had died early, and she was raised by her grandmother with a traditional belief in self-love and self-pity. She had never encountered a rogue like Fang Chen. However, Fang Chen's strength made it impossible for her to break free. After struggling for a few times, she ended up in an intimate embrace with Fang Chen, blushing. Let go of me, Lindsay Jean said with a mix of embarrassment and anger. Unable to break free, she blushed and thanked Fang Chen. She felt lucky to have him there, as she would have either died or broken her bones if he hadn't been around. By the way, we need to run, there are zombies upstairs. Lindsay Jean remembered she was fleeing for her life and immediately grabbed Fang Chen's arm to escape. However, when she looked ahead, she saw more zombies coming towards them, leaving her with no escape route. We're done for, we're going to die, Lindsay Jean said in despair. Follow me. Fang Chen saw the approaching zombies and picked up Lin Zijin again, running towards the armored vehicle. With so many zombies around and no vehicle protection, even he could get bitten. Is this your car? Lin Zijin was surprised to see the large armored vehicle, as she had only seen such vehicles on TV. Who was this handsome young man in front of her? Was he a soldier? Lin Zijin was curious about Fang Chen's identity. As she was observing Fang Chen, a zombie suddenly rushed towards the car window, startling Lin Zijin who instinctively shrunk into Fang Chen's arms. Don't be afraid, I'm here, Fang Chen said, holding Lin Zijin's slender waist. In the past life, he had been surrounded by zombies and shivering, but she had saved him. Now, she was shivering in his arms. Fang Chen felt a sense of satisfaction from his protective instinct. Seeing the zombies approaching, Fang Chen took out a gun from his space when Lin Zijin wasn't looking and ruthlessly eliminated the zombies. Lin Zijin was even more surprised to see the gun but watching Fang Chen kill the zombies gave her a sense of security. Upstairs, Li Nana, who had been hiding in the dormitory, also heard the gunshots. She looked out the window and saw a huge armored vehicle emitting white light parked below. It's the military! Li Nana exclaimed, someone is here to rescue us. Finally, we're saved, that's great. If we had known, we shouldn't have pushed Lin Zijin out. We pushed her out, it's her bad luck, not ours. Li Nana pursed her lips, then with shining eyes, leaned against the armored vehicle. In this dangerous moment, only the armored vehicle could provide a sense of security. 
After a dozen minutes, Fang Chen eliminated all the approaching zombies, leaving the ground littered with severed limbs and debris. Lin Zijin glanced and felt nauseous. Times have changed, you'll have to get used to scenes like this in the future, Fang Chen patted her back. Lin Zijin felt a bit better and looked at Fang Chen in confusion, will the world continue like this? Who knows, Fang Chen replied uncertainly, at least for the next few years, it won't return to how it was before. A few years, Lin Zijin exclaimed, worry evident on her face. When would she be able to save her sister? Thank you, Lin Zijin thanked Fang Chen after a moment. No need to thank me, Fang Chen smiled, remembering that she had saved him in a past life, so it was only right for him to save her now. How did you come up with the idea to jump from upstairs? Fang Chen asked in confusion. It took Lin Zijin a moment of hesitation before she recounted what had happened earlier, her face filled with sadness. She had genuinely considered her roommate a friend. Unexpectedly. There. Suddenly, a commotion outside the car caught their attention. Three girls of varying heights were running excitedly towards them. Are you from the military? Li Nana and the others arrived at the car, knocking on the window, complaining, Why did you take so long? Do you know I almost died? Hurry up and open the door, it's scorching outside, let us in quickly. Exactly, there are so many disgusting corpses, we're all scared, it will leave a psychological shadow on us. You're too slow, how come you're only here now to rescue us? Do you know we almost got eaten by zombies, I'm going to complain about you? The girls spoke one after another, banging on Fong Chen's car window, urging him to let them in. Fong Chen sneered inwardly. It seemed these women had not fully integrated into the post-apocalyptic world, thinking it was just an ordinary disaster that would soon pass. He wondered what gave them the confidence to speak to him in such a tone. He was armed, having just killed dozens of zombies in one go. If he encountered someone ruthless, wouldn't he? Did they think it was still a peaceful era for settling down and enjoying life? Moreover, setting aside the fact that he was not a soldier, even if he were, having killed the zombies here and saved them, they should be grateful to him. Yet they were still complaining about him being late, being so picky. Who gave them such audacity? Fang Chen was about to leave when he noticed Lin Zijin's expression was off, a mix of fear and anger in her eyes. Did they push you out of the dorm? Fang Chen realized something. Yes, Lin Zijin nodded lightly. She glanced at Li Nana and the others. Her relationship with these people was not good, they treated her like a servant in the dorm, always making her serve them tea, bring them food, and clean the dormitory alone. They also talked behind her back. Once, when she returned to the dorm from a part-time job at night, she heard them calling her a scheming woman who did shady business outside and used her towel to clean the floor. She was angry. However, having finally made it to university, she didn't want to get into conflicts with others, so she tried to befriend them. Even after the apocalypse, she shared most of her food and water sources with them. She just didn't expect them to treat her like this. Do you want revenge? I can help you kill them, Fang Chen offered. Lin Zijin had saved him in a past life and he was determined to repay that debt. Ha! Huh? Lin Zijin looked at Fang Chen in surprise. Although she did want to teach Li Nana a lesson, she was still taken aback by Fang Chen's casual mention of killing. She was not a saint or a demon, just an ordinary female college student, and the idea of killing felt shocking to her. Fang Chen opened the car door, got out of the car, and looked at the three girls with a cold gaze. Why did you just open the door? Did you not hear what we said? Which unit are you from? I will complain about you. As soon as she got out of the car, the short girl with hands on her hips shouted angrily. She emitted a foul smell, her sweat was black, and it was unclear when she last showered. Your mom, Pia. Fang Chen slapped her directly, and the short woman spun in place, looking dumbfounded. Damn, so dirty. Fang Chen wiped his hands. This woman hadn't showered in days, he should have used his feet. He quickly took out a bottle of mineral water and washed his hands. The other two girls, who were about to get angry after seeing their companion slapped, were stunned to see Fang Chen washing his hands with mineral water. Fang Chen? At this moment, one of the girls, tall and sexy, wearing black lace underwear, exclaimed after seeing Fang Chen's face. Fang Chen looked over, and as soon as he saw the other person's face, a hint of killing intent flashed in his eyes. It was her. Li Nana. Su Qingqing's family had 18 members, and Li Nana was Su Qingqing's cousin. She had seen Fang Chen before at the hotel. In the previous life, Li Nana had caused trouble for Fang Chen. At that time, after Li Nana escaped from school, she got trapped in a place, and Fang Chen, under the coercion of Li Dongmei, risked his life to save her. However, they accidentally encountered zombies on the way, and while running away, Li Nana deliberately tripped Fang Chen, causing him to fall and be surrounded by zombies. It was at that time that Lin Zijin appeared and saved Fang Chen. 
After returning, Li Nana showed no gratitude or apology, just waiting for Fang Chen to bring back supplies every day. Behind his back, she said Fang Chen was useless, the food he found was not enough for her, and urged Su Qingqing to quickly find a new boyfriend. She was a complete schemer. Unexpectedly, Lin Zijin was also harmed by her. Just as Su Qingqing was dealt with and he was worried about not finding anyone else, he unexpectedly encountered her. In the previous life, he wouldn't let go of any of the 18 people she had killed. Li Nana looked at Fang Chen, somewhat surprised and somewhat pleased. She was surprised that, according to her cousin Su Qingqing's introduction, Fang Chen was just an ordinary worker with only a few million in savings. She had looked down on him a bit at the time, thinking her cousin had low standards for choosing such a loser. But she didn't expect Fang Chen to have such a domineering armored vehicle, which must have cost over a million. And he had guns too. If he wasn't a mysterious heir of a big family, how could he have gotten such things? It seemed that her cousin had deliberately concealed this information, probably afraid that she would be prettier than her and compete with her for Fang Chen. No wonder her cousin went on a trip with Fang Chen. She was a real schemer. Li Nana felt a bit sour in her heart. At the same time, she was somewhat pleased. This sudden change in weather, along with the appearance of terrifying zombies, had brought about a great disaster to the world and a great shock to her. Li Nana had also attended university and knew that with such a level of destruction and these terrifying zombies, it would take a long time to return to normal society. It might even be impossible to go back. If that was the case, even if the military came to rescue her, she would end up with the same treatment as the two local dogs around her, and might even have to live with a homeless person. How could she, so beautiful, live such a life? But Fang Chen was different. He was her cousin's husband, and he would surely treat his little sister-in-law better than others. She could be superior. If she could snatch Fang Chen away from her cousin, relying on Fang's armored vehicle and weapons, even if the world is in an apocalypse, she wouldn't have to worry about safety in the future. She could even do things she couldn't do before. She believed she could do it. Because her figure and looks were better than her cousin's, and most importantly, she was young and a female college student. Fang Chen, is it really you? Did you come here just to pick me up? Li Nana's face immediately showed a coquettish smile, she tightly hugged Fang Chen's arm, squeezing it tightly, afraid that her roommates wouldn't know about their relationship, and deliberately spoke loudly. Sure enough, upon hearing Li Nana's words, her two roommates beside her looked surprised. Envy leaked from their eyes. Nana, is this your boyfriend? The two roommates looked at Li Nana with envy, as well as the tall armored vehicle beside her. Fang Chen, I'm sorry just now. The short woman who had just been hit, originally full of resentment, now dared not say anything. The woman with eyes on the side also looked very pleasing. Li Nana looked quite proud, feeling superior, and more determined to snatch Fang Chen away from her cousin. Fang Chen, is this your car? Where are we going now? Li Nana held Fang Chen's arm, deliberately swaying left and right, with a coquettish tone. It must be said that Li Nana, as Su Qingqing's cousin, bore a striking resemblance, with a beauty score of around 8 and a very curvaceous figure. Especially in the hot weather, Li Nana was only wearing a lace bra, with one long leg exposed, looking even more sexy. The touch on Fang Chen's arm couldn't deceive anyone. Where to? Fang Chen sneered inwardly, of course, he was going to send them to their doom. However, it was too easy to get rid of them, which was too cheap for Li Nana. Fang Chen wanted her to experience despair as well. Let's go home. Okay, Li Nana, unaware that Fang Chen was going to kill her, nodded excitedly and said in a sweet voice, I'll trouble Fang Chen to take care of me. Fang Chen smiled and said nothing. Take care, he would definitely take care of her, taking care of her to the point of exhaustion. Fang Chen wanted her to feel the touch of hope, then experience despair, and finally the unbearable feeling of being overwhelmed. Fang Chen got into the car. Li Nana excitedly ran to the passenger seat, but when she opened the door, she found someone sitting inside. Lin Zijin, what are you doing here? Li Nana frowned, this bitch was not dead, she was saved by Fang Chen. She ordered somewhat displeasedly, is this where you sit? Get out quickly. Lin Zijin lowered her head somewhat dejectedly, ready to get off the car and leave directly. However, just as she was about to get off, a big hand grabbed her arm. Stay seated. Fang Chen said without a doubt. Lin Zijin was very surprised, shouldn't Fang Chen sit with his girlfriend, why didn't he let her get off the car? Fang Chen? Li Nana was also puzzled. What the hell, go to the trunk, don't dirty my car. Fang Chen pointed coldly to the back. Ha! Huh? Li Nana was stunned, suspecting she had misheard, why did Fang Chen ask her to go to the trunk? Fang Chen, are you kidding? Li Nana asked. What, do I need to say it again? I. Li Nana was somewhat reluctant and wanted to say something, but seeing Fang Chen's unwavering expression, she closed her mouth again. 
In the dangerous apocalypse, as a powerless face, she dared not confront Fang Chen at all. In the end times, the strong were respected. She obediently rolled to the trunk with her two roommates. Li Nana was somewhat angry, but she didn't dare to be angry with Fang Chen. Instead, she accumulated her grievances on Lin Zijin. It must be the scheming woman who spoke ill of her. It was almost dawn, and it was very difficult to find evolution crystals during the day. After a busy night, Fang Chen was a bit tired, and the electric mother was also a bit listless now. Fang Chen is ready to take a break in the cold storage first. Today's harvest has been rich enough. Three evolution crystals, hundreds of zombie nucleus crystals, and also found Lin Zijin. The electric mother sat tiredly in the back seat to sleep but Li Nana and a few others were in the trunk, emitting a foul smell. Meow. The electric mother complained a bit, wondering why the owner put these people in the car. Alright, stop complaining. Fang Chen took out a piece of salmon from the space and handed it over. Salmon? Thank you, brother Fang Chen. In the trunk, Li Nana thought Fang Chen was giving it to her, excited to take the salmon. After several days of the apocalypse, Li Nana had not eaten any decent food, just dry and hard bread every day. This kind of food like salmon, she had hardly eaten even in peacetime. On the side, the petite girl and the girl with glasses couldn't help but swallow their saliva, showing an extremely envious expression. However, just as Li Nana was about to take it, a calico cat directly snatched the salmon. Li Nana, who was left dumbfounded, was angry. You damn cat. Li Nana, who had the salmon snatched away by the electric mother and was treated with a disdainful look, was not feeling good. Originally angry because of Lin Zijin, she was now furious and wanted to vent her anger on the electric mother. But who was the electric mother? Just awakened with electric ability, directly killing small zombie ghosts, even if Fang Chen didn't have weapons, he might not be able to beat her. Not to mention a powerless vase? The electric mother always avenges. Seeing Li Nana trying to grab her, she reached out her claws and gave her a few scratches. Li Nana's arms and chest immediately showed several clear claw marks. Ah! Li Nana screamed in pain, but still unwillingly tried to grab the electric mother. However, this time she was met with an electric shock. Zing! The sound of intertwining electric currents rang out, making Lindsay Jean curious and turn her head. When she saw Li Nana, whose mouth was smoking and hair was a mess, she was taken aback. Besides her, the two petite girls and the girl with glasses next to her also suffered. What happened to them? Lin Zijin looked at Fang Chen in astonishment. It's okay, the electric mother is more hospitable, just giving them an electric therapy. Fang Chen chuckled lightly, thinking the electric mother did a good job, adding a meal at night. This cat? Lin Zijin was a bit slow to react, but smart enough to guess something, it can release lightning? Yes. Fang Chen shrugged, there was no need to hide such things, everyone would know about abilities in a few days, telling Lin Zijin in advance also prepared her mentally. In a few days, Fang Chen also planned to awaken her ability. Lin Zijin was shocked. However, thinking back to the Walking Dead zombies before, she felt it was not so difficult to accept. She also realized that the world now was not simple. They won't die, right? She asked with some concern. No. Fang Chen shook his head, the electric mother had restraint, knowing that Fang Chen didn't want to kill them now, so she held back from killing them. But she still made them suffer. For a while, Li Nana gradually came to her senses, looking at the electric mother with a terrified look, keeping half a car seat away from her. This cat can actually release electricity. She even peed a few drops because of the shock. Brother Fong Chen, it is. Li Nana looked pitifully at Fong Chen. My pet. Pet? Li Nana was shocked. Fong Chen was so powerful, having an armored vehicle and firearms was one thing, but she didn't expect him to have a cat that could release electricity. She suddenly felt more respect for Fong Chen. She didn't dare to have any complaints about the electric mother. Even more, the more the electric mother tormented her, the happier she felt, because it meant that Fang Chen's strength was very strong, and she would be safer. When she became Fang Chen's woman, she would also be the owner of this cat, and then she could do whatever she wanted with it? Thinking of this, Li Nana looked at Dian Mu with some flattery. Sister cat, auspicious. Fang Chen watched this scene, sneering in his heart. This woman is really cheap. The better you treat her, the more she looks down on you. On the contrary, if you treat her badly and abuse her, she will admire you more. She must have some special fetish. Fang Chen drove all the way to the cold storage, and it was already 6 o'clock in the morning. Fang Chen, is this your home? When Li Nana saw the warehouse that Fang Chen mentioned, she frowned slightly. She thought Fang Chen's home would be a luxurious mansion with a private swimming pool, but it turned out to be just a rundown place. She couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Her two roommates felt the same way. They thought Fang Chen was a big shot with armored vehicles and guns, 
but never expected him to live in a warehouse. They wanted to leave, but with zombies everywhere outside, leaving would mean certain death. They could only endure it for now and find a better place later. If Fang Chen knew their thoughts, he would definitely sneer. A villa? With the current temperature of 65 degrees Celsius, even in a villa with all the air conditioners on, the indoor temperature would not be lower than 50 degrees Celsius. Moreover, the whole city is now without power. The ordinary air conditioners would have been useless long ago. In addition to the presence of zombies, ordinary walls and doors cannot stop them. How many wealthy people in their past lives who hid in villas ended up being skinned and dismembered by zombies? On the other hand, his cold storage, although looking ordinary on the outside, was equipped with high-end refrigeration equipment and dozens of high-power generators. All the furniture inside was branded, and a professional security company reinforced the defense. Not to mention zombies, even if the undead came, it would be useless. It's really short-sighted. Lin Zijin on the side didn't say anything. She came from a poor family and had lived in thatched cottages before, so a warehouse was no different from a villa to her. Fang Chen ignored Li Nana and opened the door directly. Instantly, a blast of cold air of less than 15 degrees Celsius rushed out from the cold storage. Li Nana, who had been complaining about the heat, suddenly froze in place. In these days of global warming, the temperature in Jiangchang had reached 65 degrees Celsius, and almost all the reservoirs had dried up, causing countless deaths from heat. She had been staying in the dormitory these days, only wearing underwear because it was so hot. She had never thought about such comfortable cold air. Li Nana couldn't help but shiver. It felt even more comfortable than a climax. As they entered the cold storage, the dazzling array of furniture appeared in front of the women. It made them drop their jaws in shock. Is this a custom-made Hermes sofa? Li Nana, like Su Qingqing, was materialistic and liked to study luxury goods. When she saw Fang Chen's sofa, she was amazed. She remembered that this sofa cost over 800,000. And the coffee table, made of redwood, was worth at least tens of thousands. Chandeliers, carpets, all were high-end brands. There was even a whole wall lined with wine worth tens of thousands of dollars that she had drunk at a five-star hotel before. Li Nana estimated that these things were worth at least tens of millions. This is too luxurious. Her legs trembled with excitement. This was not a cold storage, it was heaven. She never expected that inside this ordinary warehouse, there would be such luxury. She felt like a fool, almost leaving just now. She almost regretted it for a lifetime. Li Nana was now more determined than ever to become Fang Chen's woman, to become the mistress of this place. She was going to snatch Fang Chen away later. The short, bespectacled girl was also excited, like Lu Lao Lao entering the Grand View Garden, eager to see everything. They had never seen so many high-end luxury goods before. They were grateful to know Li Nana, otherwise, where would they find such a comfortable place to stay? At the same time, they were also fantasizing about whether Fang Chen would take a liking to them. Fang Chen, can I sit down? Li Nana excitedly looked at the sofa worth more than 800,000, not knowing what it would feel like to sit on an 800,000 sofa. No! With a bang, Fang Chen closed the cold storage door, then looked at Li Nana with an extremely cold tone. Brother Fang Chen? Li Nana's buttocks, which had just sat halfway, stopped in midair, looking somewhat puzzled at Fang Chen. How did Fang Chen suddenly become so fierce? Could it be that he was afraid she would dirty the sofa? Definitely. She hadn't taken a bath for a few days, how could she sit on such an expensive sofa? Brother Fang Chen, Li Nana ran to Fang Chen again, holding Fang Chen's arm, coquettishly said, Can you help me take a bath? It's been a long time since I bathed, and my back is a bit dirty, I can't reach it. Take a bath? Looking at Li Nana's naked attempt to seduce him and wanting him to help her scrub her back, Fang Chen couldn't help but sneer inwardly. This woman still naively thought she was going to live a good life. Let her experience hope first. Okay, wait for me to wash first. Fang Chen walked towards the bathroom. Brother Fang Chen, let's do it together, water resources are so precious now, we can't waste them. Li Nana also wanted to follow, but Fang Chen directly slammed the door shut, leaving Li Nana with stars in her eyes. Don't worry, it's not a waste. Fang Chen filled the bathtub with water, then comfortably lay in it. After a busy night outside, he was covered in sweat, and now he finally relaxed. Fang Chen took out the evolution crystal. He found a total of four tonight, used one, and still had three left. Fang Chen once again absorbed the energy of an evolution crystal, feeling a sharp pain in his body, sweat beating on his forehead. Absorbing energy was very draining. If the human body is a bucket, superpowers are the water in the bucket, strengthening one's power is like pouring water into a full bucket. If you can't hold it, you'll burst. A few minutes later, Fang Chen's limbs were already a bit weak. However, his superpower had once again been enhanced, and he had now become a second-level superpower. 
Now, the distance he could teleport was about 7 to 8 meters, and he had gained a new ability, Spatial Barrier. Fang Chen could set up a barrier around him that could block all external attacks. In other words, if Fang Chen went outside now and opened the Spatial Barrier, he wouldn't feel any heat, and he didn't have to worry about the zombie virus. Great! Fang Chen was ecstatic. Today, when he went outside to find Evolution Crystals, he was so hot, but now with the Spatial Barrier, he felt much more comfortable. Over half an hour later, Fang Chen finished his bath, wrapped in a towel, walked out of the bathroom, and Li Nana immediately rushed over. Although Fang Chen had just hit her head with the door, she had no complaints because Fang Chen was powerful, rich, and had resources, so everything he did was right. Brother Fang Chen. Li Nana, who hadn't bathed for days and felt uncomfortable all over, was ready to enter the bathroom. Although she knew the bathwater was used by Fang Chen, she didn't mind. I'm going to take a bath now. Wait. However, Fang Chen stopped her. Brother Fang Chen, do you want? Li Nana's heart fluttered, thinking Fang Chen wanted to join her. I knew it, I'm so sexy and beautiful, how could a man resist my charm? However, what Fang Chen said next left her stunned. You washed the electric mother first. Fang Chen pointed to the dirty electric mother lying on the sofa. Previously, Fang Chen had bathed the electric mother. But now, with Li Nana here, how could Fang Chen do it himself? Did she think he brought her here to enjoy herself? Dream on? Fang Chen just needed a maid, and Li Nana was his enemy, he just wanted to retaliate against her. Wash it first? Li Nana's face turned a bit ugly. Wash the cat first, doesn't that mean she not only has to use Fang Chen's bathwater but also the cat's bathwater? Was she lower in status than a cat? Don't want to? Fang Chen glanced at her. Willing. Willing, Li Nana forced a smile, comforting herself that at least she wasn't the last one to bathe. After washing the cat, it would be her turn. Then, Lin Zijin and the others would have to use her bathwater. Thinking this way, Li Nana felt much more balanced. She took a deep breath and prepared to pick up Dianmu, but Dianmu had just fallen asleep and had a bad temper. When Li Nana hugged her, she subconsciously released an electric shock. Li Nana spat out black smoke again. After finally recovering, she took Dianmu to the bathroom and helped her bathe. It must be said that Li Nana's technique was quite good, and Dianmu was very comfortable lying in the bathtub. Meow. Dianmu suddenly looked uneasy. Oh no, she ate too much tonight and couldn't hold it in. She glanced at Li Nana sneakily, thinking that this person probably didn't see it, it would be disastrous if she told the owner. But fortunately, the water would be drained later. It shouldn't be discovered. Dianmu pretended nothing had happened, stopped bathing, and slipped away. Li Nana breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, it was her turn to bathe. However, looking at the murky bathwater like yellow wine, she found it hard to accept. This cat was too dirty. After some thought, she walked out of the bathroom and weakly said to Fang Chen, who was sitting on the sofa with red wine, Brother Fang Chen, the water is a bit dirty, can you get another bucket of water? Change the water? Fang Chen replied, didn't you just say to save water? Just make do with it. On the side, Dianmu, who was pretending to be dead, widened her cat eyes upon hearing Fang Chen's words. Not change the water? She just couldn't hold it in earlier. She glanced at Li Nana again, unsure of what she would do. If she didn't bathe now. Okay, Li Nana nodded, regretting why she had said that just now, now she had to face the consequences. However, knowing she wasn't the last one and someone else would be using her bathwater later made her feel balanced again. That's just how she was, as long as she was one step ahead of others, she felt comfortable. Meow. Watching Li Nana head towards the bathroom, Dianmu was even more puzzled. You're really going to bathe? Impressive. In the bathroom, Li Nana lay in the murky bathtub, accidentally getting water in her mouth. She quickly spat it out. Why are there still residues in the water? Is this fish? Li Nana finished bathing and came out. Fang Chen then looked at her other two roommates, you guys go. Yes. The short one and the girl with glasses nodded quickly and ran to the bathroom. Li Nana gloated, looking at Lin Zijin beside her, it seemed she would have to use everyone's bathwater. Lin Zijin sighed slightly. She felt a bit bitter inside. However, she didn't resent Fang Chen, after all, Fang Chen had saved her life. Her grandmother had taught her since she was young to repay kindness. However, after the two came out, Fang Chen stood up again and walked towards the bedroom. When Li Nana curiously walked over, she found that the bathtub had been refilled with a new bucket of water. And inside, it was filled with rose petals. Wow, these are champagne roses. Seeing the bathtub full of rose petals, Li Nana's eyes sparkled, unable to help but exclaim in amazement. These roses were not ordinary red roses, the petals were a light champagne color. She had seen them in a magazine before, and roses of this quality cost at least a thousand yuan per stem. There were at least 100 petals here, at least 10,000 yuan. 
bathing for 10,000 yuan, so extravagant. This bathtub of rose water, even if it was on the main road, she would be willing to take off her clothes and lie in it. However, Li Nana was also puzzled. Why did Fong Chen change the water and put rose petals in it so delicately? Who was it prepared for? Was there someone else who hadn't bathed yet? Right, there was one person left. Lin Zijin. Could it be that Fong Chen was preparing it for Lin Zijin? That's impossible, how could that be? Lin Zijin should be using the bathwater that everyone else had used, right? She's just a country bumpkin, why is she using such expensive champagne rose water? Brother Fong Chen, who are you preparing this for? Li Nana asked tentatively. Is it any of your business? Fang Chen snorted coldly, then walked to the living room and turned to Lin Zijin with a smile, saying gently, Zijin, the water is ready, come and wash up. Boom! Fang Chen's words were like a thunderbolt. Not only Li Nana, but even the short one and the girl with glasses were all dumbfounded, feeling resentful in their hearts. They had just bathed with yellowish green smelly water, while Fang Chen had prepared rose water worth 100,000 yuan for Lin Zijin. The difference in treatment was too great. Even Lin Zijin was a bit at a loss, overwhelmed with joy and surprise. Thank you. Lin Zijin looked at Fang Chen moved. In this post-apocalyptic period, Lin Zijin lived in fear every day, experiencing the wickedness of many people. Fang Chen was the best person to her. She secretly vowed to repay Fang Chen no matter what. Thank you for what? Go ahead, wait for me to give you a back rub. Fang Chen joked with a smile. No, no need. Lin Zijin quickly waved her hand, blushing, and ran into the bathroom. As a sheltered girl, she couldn't bear to hear such words. Fang Chen was good in every way, kind-hearted, tall, handsome, but too. Seeing Lin Zijin's shy appearance, Fang Chen also lay on the sofa with a smile, taking a sip of wine worth over 100,000 yuan. Brother Fang Chen. Watching Lin Zijin enter the bathroom to enjoy a 100,000 yuan bath, Li Nana was envious and jealous. Why could a country bumpkin enjoy such things? Are you tired? Let me massage your shoulders. Li Nana coquettishly sat next to Fang Chen. Seeing Li Nana about to lie in his arms, Fang Chen's gentle expression suddenly turned cold. He slapped Li Nana in the face. Stay away from me, brother Fang Chen. Fang Chen's slap left Li Nana stunned, not understanding what Fang Chen meant. Why did he hit her out of nowhere? Are you curious where your cousin went? Fang Chen teased Li Nana. Where did she go? Li Nana realized something was wrong, her voice trembling. Fang Chen grinned, she's in Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia? Li Nana exclaimed, Southeast Asia's temperature could reach 70 degrees Celsius, and it was very chaotic. Where her cousin was? Why did your cousin go to Southeast Asia? Li Nana suddenly had a bad guess. Fang Chen sneered, your whole family conspired against me, so of course I have to retaliate. Su Qingqing's grave grass is probably three meters high by now. What? Li Nana trembled in fear. Brother Fang Chen, I don't know anything about you and my cousin, I don't know anything. It's none of my business. Li Nana quickly distanced herself from Su Qingqing, afraid that Fang Chen would kill her. None of your business? Fang Chen sneered, in my past life, I risked my life to save you, but you deliberately tripped yourself up, attracting zombies, is that okay? I worked hard to find food and bring it home, not only did you not thank me, but you also insulted me. I vowed to retaliate against these 18 beasts. Telling me these things is useless, go tell your cousin. Fang Chen slapped Li Nana in the face again. Li Nana rolled on the ground, her towel falling off. You can't kill me, murder is illegal. Li Nana kept saying, trying to threaten Fang Chen with the law. Fang Chen chuckled, the law? It's the end of the world now, who still follows the law? Li Nana's face turned pale. Fang Chen was right, with the chaos outside, killings and robberies were happening all the time, the law was a joke in the apocalypse. Even if Fang Chen killed her, no one would seek justice for her. But she really didn't want to die. Fang Chen grabbed Li Nana's neck, her face instantly turning red, struggling constantly. She was completely panicked. Don't kill me, please, I apologize for my sister. Li Nana struggled, the desire to survive made her say, my sister shouldn't have treated you that way, I'll make it up for her. I look a lot like my sister, you can do whatever you want for revenge, treat me like a dog, just please don't kill me, I beg you. Oh? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, Li Nana did indeed bear some resemblance to Su Qingqing. Thinking of the arrogant attitude of the other party in the past life, a sense of evil fire rose in Fang Chen's heart. However, just killing her like this would be too easy on her. But the things your family did made me very angry. If I don't kill you, how can I vent my anger? Fang Chen said. Li Nana immediately understood Fang Chen's meaning. She quickly knelt down. Wait. Fang Chen suddenly picked up a bottle of red wine nearby and said, you like drinking red wine, right? Hold it in your mouth, 
don't swallow, don't spill, or else. Li Nana was startled, but for the sake of her life, she could only nod. After it was done, Fang Chen lay comfortably on the sofa, watching Li Nana kneeling on the ground in a sorry state, with messy hair and a hoarse voice, feeling a sense of revenge satisfaction. Wasn't the other party arrogant in the past life? Insulting oneself every day, bringing back food to thank oneself, and still not satisfied? Master, are you satisfied? Li Nana looked at Fang Chen in fear, but Fang Chen just now was like a demon, completely ignoring whether she was in pain. However, being able to save her life, she was already grateful. Not satisfied. Fang Chen sneered, thinking that such a punishment would make him spare her? That would be too easy on her. Also, he felt sorry for being manipulated by the other party's family in the past life. Put on this collar. Fang Chen took out a collar and threw it to Li Nana. Since you want to be a dog, I'll give you a chance, but if you disappoint me, he he. Yes, yes. Li Nana was extremely frightened. She could tell from Fang Chen's eyes that he was really capable of killing. Is this how dogs speak? Woof woof. Fang Chen laughed. He then looked at Li Nana's two roommates. What about you two? The two women were scared and hesitant. They had just witnessed the conversation and actions between Fang Chen and Li Nana clearly. We have no grudge against you, you can't treat us like this, we want to leave. The two women said timidly. Just now they envied Li Nana, but now they just wanted to get away from this demon Fang Chen. The world is big, why should they starve themselves? Moreover, with the country being so powerful now, disasters like this will soon pass, why should they suffer here? Oh, Fang Chen nodded and opened the door directly. No problem, go ahead. The two women saw this and immediately walked out. However, before they could take a few steps, several zombies rushed over and tore them into pieces. Li Nana had also wanted to leave, but seeing this scene scared her to the point where she couldn't move, sitting weakly on the ground. Staying here meant being tortured by Fang Chen, leaving here meant being eaten by zombies. Her eyes were filled with despair. At this moment, Lindsay Jean, who had just finished showering, came out of the bathroom. Lindsay Jean, who had just finished showering, looked even more beautiful. Her black, thick, long hair cascaded down her shoulders like a waterfall, with a few warm water droplets occasionally sliding over her flawless collarbone. Her fair skin seemed delicate and fragile. The most eye-catching feature was her pair of long legs, round and symmetrical, straight and slender. Lindsay Jean looked at Li Nana kneeling on the ground and the two missing roommates, not knowing what had happened. They, they left. Fang Chen smiled and said, Oh. Lindsay Jean nodded, thinking that her roommates had left, but she didn't know that Fang Chen meant they had left in a different way. Suddenly, Lindsay Jean's stomach growled, she blushed, feeling extremely embarrassed. I'm hungry, Fang Chen was feeling a bit hungry himself. Using abilities or evolution crystals consumes a lot of energy, so he needed to eat a lot of food to replenish it. I'll go get you something to eat, but I'm not good at cooking, so don't complain if it's not tasty. I, I can cook. Wow, I didn't expect you to be such a good cook. Fang Chen originally wanted to cook himself, but Lin Zijin said she could cook, so Fang Chen let her show off her skills. To his surprise, Lin Zijin prepared a table full of delicious dishes. Fang Chen's mouth was watering. Even the electric mother, who was originally lazing around, came running over with meows. Before the apocalypse, although Fang Chen had hoarded billions of resources, including countless poultry, fish, and meat, as well as various precious ingredients, he wasn't good at cooking. He would just hot pot everything like abalone and lobster. Eating like that every day made him feel a bit unwell. Now, with Lin Zijin's arrival, Fang Chen's food problem was perfectly solved. With this talented chef around, they could have different flavored meals every day. It was like hitting the jackpot. On the side, Li Nana, who was originally daydreaming, saw the delicious dishes and couldn't help but swallow her saliva. Steamed abalone, braised soft-shelled turtle, garlic prawns. Where did Fang Chen get all this food? Even in normal times, she wouldn't be able to eat these, let alone in the current post-apocalyptic world. For the past few days, she had been eating hard bread and couldn't even relieve herself. She looked at Fang Chen eagerly, hoping he would give her a piece of meat, but Fang Chen ignored her even feeding the electric mother in front of her. She felt even lower than a cat. Li Nana wanted to cry. She didn't know what she had done to offend Fang Chen so much. Why was he treating her like this? It was too cruel. Fang Chen and Lin Zijin sat face to face, enjoying the delicious food. Lin Zijin was both joyful and shy at the moment. She secretly observed Fang Chen. With his height of over one. Eight meters, clean short hair, a sunny appearance with a hint of determination and a touch of unruliness, Lin Zijin quite liked Fang Chen's style. Most importantly, Fang Chen was a gentleman. Although he had pinched her when he first saved her, he didn't make any further advances. 
He didn't make any inappropriate requests or take advantage of her vulnerability to force anything on her. He didn't lust after her. That's why she chose to follow Fang Chen to the cold storage. If Fang Chen had made any inappropriate advances or shown a hint of urgency, Lin Zijin would have chosen to leave, even if it meant death. She wouldn't have developed any feelings for him. However, if Li Nana, who was sitting on the ground drooling, knew Lin Zijin's evaluation of Fang Chen, she would definitely be furious. A gentleman? Not lusting after you? Do you know that he just touched and played with me more than anyone else? And he cunningly harmed my cousin, deliberately eating delicious food in front of me, intentionally torturing me. Is this still a gentleman? He only took you in because he wanted to lust after you. When he strips you naked, you'll regret it. How did you become so skilled? Who taught you? Fang Chen didn't even look at Li Nana, chatting with Lin Zijin while eating. Apart from knowing Lin Zijin's strength, Fang Chen didn't know much about her. My grandmother taught me. Lin Zijin was quite introverted and rarely interacted with boys, but now she had a good impression of Fang Chen, so she didn't hide anything from him. She explained in detail about her parents' death, growing up with her grandmother, and then relying on her sister after her grandmother passed away. As she spoke, she secretly observed Fang Chen's expression, afraid that he would look down on her because of her past. Fortunately, Fang Chen didn't. Moreover, she learned that Fang Chen's parents had also tragically passed away, which made her feel a sense of shared fate. She felt even closer to Fang Chen. Fang Chen also sighed in his heart, realizing that misfortune always strikes those already in trouble. Lin Zijin's fate was quite tragic. However, this also shaped her strong and resilient character. Fang Chen speculated that it was precisely because of this that Lin Zijin's abilities were so powerful. It could be considered a blessing in disguise. You have a younger sister? Yes, she is studying at Luo Changno, one middle school. I don't know how she is doing now. When talking about her sister, Lin Zijin's expression dimmed slightly, worried about her sister's current situation, as she was her only close relative. Don't worry, I'll go check on her tonight. Fang Chen comforted her with a pat on the shoulder. The virus had just arrived, so Fang Chen had been taking advantage of the fact that others hadn't noticed yet to go out and search for evolution crystals these past few days, which conveniently allowed him to also check on Lin Zijin's sister. But there are so many zombies outside, it's very dangerous. Fang Chen had saved her once, and Lin Zijin was already very touched, not wanting Fang Chen to take any more risks. What's there to be afraid of? I'm a man, and I have a gun. If there are zombies, I'll just shoot them dead. Fang Chen chuckled. Lin Zijin then remembered that Fang Chen had been carrying a gun before and had killed a large number of zombies, which eased her mind a bit. At the same time, she felt even more grateful towards Fang Chen. He was too good to her, how could she ever repay him? The two chatted for a while and soon began to feel tired. Lin Zijin had been on edge these past few days and hadn't slept at all. Fang Chen had been busy all night and had absorbed two evolution crystals, depleting his energy, so he was also exhausted. Let's go, let's go to sleep. Fang Chen yawned and said to Lin Zijin, Where? Where will I sleep? Upon hearing Fang Chen's words, Lin Zijin's face blushed involuntarily. She had just surveyed the cold storage room, and although it was very spacious at 300 square meters, there was only one room in the entire cold storage. Did that mean she had to sleep with Fang Chen? Lin Zijin was only 20 years old, in college, and had hardly interacted with boys since childhood. How could she accept sleeping together like this? Moreover, Fang Chen hadn't even confessed to her yet. Don't worry, my bed is big enough for 10 people. Fang Chen guessed her thoughts and teased. What, are you afraid I'll take advantage of you? No, no. Lin Zijin quickly waved her hands. Oh, Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, so you want me to take advantage of you? I. Lin Zijin's face turned bright red, feeling like everything she said was wrong. Fang Chen was teasing her, making her blush and glare at him playfully. Seeing Lin Zijin's shy expression, Fang Chen couldn't help but chuckle. She was just too cute. He waved his hand and said, Don't worry, I won't take advantage of you. I'm afraid you'll take advantage of me. Fang Chen admitted that he was lustful, but he also had his principles. When it came to matters of love and romance, Fang Chen always respected mutual consent. Of course, there were exceptions. If the other party was an enemy, or the enemy's woman, that was a different story. Who cared if they were willing or not? Hearing Fang Chen's words, Lin Zijin finally relaxed, but also felt a bit disappointed. Was she really not attractive at all? No matter how innocent a woman was, as long as she was a woman, she would have concerns about her appearance, and Lin Zijin was no exception. Fang Chen led Lin Zijin towards the room. Before entering, Fang Chen glanced at the dazed Li Nana and said, Go wash the dishes, and remember to clean the cat's litter box. Behave yourself, or I'll throw you outside to feed the zombies. Li Nana listened with indignation. 
Not only was she not given food, but she also had to wash the dishes and clean the cat's litter box. Just kill me with a sword. However, she didn't have the courage to die, as the scenes of her two roommates' tragic deaths were still fresh in her mind. She could only obediently follow the orders. In the evening, Fang Chen was awakened by a pleasant fragrance and opened his eyes to see Lin Zijin holding a bowl of steaming shrimp kanji, ready to wake him up. Brother Fang Chen, it's time to eat. Lin Zijin looked at Fang Chen shyly. Although Fang Chen's bed was big enough to accommodate ten girls without feeling crowded, Fang Chen had a bad habit of tossing and turning in his sleep. When Lin Zijin just fell asleep, she felt difficulty breathing and opened her eyes to find Fang Chen lying on top of her. She was startled at first, thinking Fang Chen was going to do something to her. Initially wanting to resist, she remembered how much Fang Chen had helped her and felt a fondness towards him, so she didn't resist in the end. However, just as she was nervously tense, she heard snoring. It turned out that Fang Chen was asleep. Lin Zijin breathed a sigh of relief but didn't push Fang Chen away, afraid of waking him up. She let Fang Chen continue to sleep on top of her until she got up half an hour ago to cook. There was still a clear red mark on her chest in the shape of a face. Unfortunately, Fang Chen was unaware of all this. If he knew he had missed a great opportunity because of sleeping, he would surely regret it. How could she fall asleep at this moment? But there would be more opportunities in the future. Wow, it smells so good. I'm really lucky to have you. Fang Chen happily took the shrimp kanji. In the past few days, he had irregular meals not because there was nothing to eat, but because he was too lazy to cook. Now, with Lin Zijin as a good wife and mother, he didn't have to worry about these things. After eating, he rested for a while before preparing to go out to find evolution crystals and visit Lin Zijin's sister. Be safe, Lin Zijin looked worriedly at Fang Chen, wanting to save her sister but also not wanting Fang Chen to be in danger. Don't worry, Fang Chen waved his hand. He opened the cold storage. Perhaps because of the two women from yesterday, some zombies mistakenly thought this place provided buffet meals, so they gathered at the door. Seeing Fang Chen open the door, they rushed towards him, but these small fries were no match for firearms. They were all taken care of. Then, Fang Chen drove away in an armored vehicle and arrived at Jiangcheng No. 1 Middle School. With the outbreak of zombies last night and a day passing, the roads had become even more chaotic, filled with dismembered bodies, a horrifying sight. It was rare to see people moving on the streets now, most had found places to hide. However, he unexpectedly found five evolution crystals on the way. I wonder where Lin Yu Yu is. Fang Chen surveyed Zhang Chang No. 1 Middle School. Lin Zijin had told him her sister's name and appearance, a cute girl, 160 centimeters tall, with twin ponytails, wearing a pink skirt and white knee-high stockings before going to school. Fang Chen drove into the school. Honestly, after so many days had passed, the probability of Lin Yu Yu still being here was slim. There was no food in the school, so if she was alive, she would have gone out to find food. After searching around, he didn't find any trace of her at the school but encountered several twin-tailed zombies. To confirm if any of them were Lin Yu Yu, Fang Chen had to carefully observe if they were cute. The conclusion was that none of them were cute, some even had limbs in their mouths, far from being adorable. To prevent them from scaring others, Fang Chen had to take them out one by one. I hope Lin Yu Yu is safe. Fang Chen opened the map to search for nearby supermarkets or malls. If Lin Yu Yu was alive, she would definitely be looking for food. There's a medium-sized supermarket 800 meters away. Fang Chen confirmed a direction. Before the apocalypse, Fang Chen had looted all the large supermarkets and warehouses in the city, but there were still some medium-sized supermarkets he hadn't visited. Now, these medium-sized supermarkets should be the most densely populated places. Fang Chen immediately drove over. As he approached, he heard a commotion inside, as if people were arguing. You little brat, how much can a little girl like you eat? There are so many of us, and you want to take half directly. Isn't that too inhumane? Who said I ate alone? A girl with twin ponytails, hands on hips, said indignantly, I have an 80-year-old grandmother above me, a 20-year-old sister below me, and so many sisters waiting to be fed behind me. Sharing half of the food is very reasonable. In the supermarket, a white t-shirt and pink JK skirt-wearing girl with white stockings, one hand on her hip and the other holding a watermelon knife, protected several bags of rice and mineral water behind her like a little hen. Even when facing a dozen adults several times her age, the girl in the pink skirt showed no fear. Beside her were several high school students similar to her. Little girl, I'm starving, how can you hog so much food by yourself? Hasn't your school taught you to respect the elderly and love the young? Exactly, which school are you from? So uncivilized. After this disaster is over, I will complain about you and have you expelled from school. There's only Jiang Cheng No. One high school nearby, it must be from there. I can't believe no. 
One high school has such scum. Across from them, the group of people hesitated to rush forward due to the watermelon knife in the girl's hand. No one wanted to stand out, because someone had just been stabbed by her. So young, yet so ruthless, this little girl. Yodio, why don't we share some of it? We can't finish all of this, it wouldn't be good if we were expelled from school. Behind Lin Yodio, an ordinary looking girl was intimidated. Unlike Lin Yodio, who was a poor student, she was an honor student who never dared to make any mistakes, let alone be expelled. Wu Yu, don't listen to them. Lin Yoyo rolled her eyes. Although she wasn't a good student, she wasn't stupid either. The terrifying zombies outside, the extreme heat, and the special abilities had already turned the world into chaos. All these changes told her that returning to normal society was almost impossible. The world would only get more chaotic, and more people would die. Expelled? By then, the school would no longer exist. Why fear these things? It was better to consider how to survive now. So, they had to gather enough supplies to survive in such harsh conditions. Respect the elderly and love the young? Lin Yodo stood with her hands on her hips, sneering, I'm only 18, and you're all almost in the grave, why don't you love the young? If you want to eat, go find it yourselves, I found these first, they're mine. If you're not afraid of death, come and try. Lin Yodo grew up without parents and was a good girl in front of her sister, but she had developed a rebellious personality outside. She often got into fights with others. Faced with this situation, she was not afraid at all. Yo-Yo is right. Why should we give up the food we found? Yo-Yo, I support you. If they want to harm you, they have to get through me first. Next to Lin Yo-Yo, a handsome young man holding a watermelon knife stood in front of her. Thank you, Zhou He. Lin Yo-Yo looked at the young man with some admiration. She didn't expect Zhou He, who usually looked like a good student, to take the initiative to stand in front of her in this dangerous situation. This is what a man should do. Praised by Lin Yodio, Zhao He was very excited. He had been pursuing Lin Yodio, but she had always refused to date him. Now that he had taken the initiative, she would surely accept him. He stood up because he calculated that the group of people in front of him were old and had no combat power or weapons, so they wouldn't be able to hurt him in a fight. As expected, the old men and women on the other side only dared to grumble and didn't dare to really come over and fight. Zhao He was full of pride, already imagining Lin Yodio accepting him and then kissing her on the lips. However, at that moment, a bold laughter rang out. A teenage boy with glasses, wearing iron armor of unknown origin, walked out of the crowd, followed by several companions. Yodio, it's been a few days since we last met, and you're still so beautiful, especially those long legs, so white, long, and slender. If you wear black stockings on one side and white stockings on the other, and then carry them on your shoulders. He he. The boy with glasses stared lecherously at Lin Yuyu, his tone coarse and vulgar. Lu Yang? Lin Yuyu frowned at the other party. She knew him as an inconspicuous classmate, average in academics, and not fond of talking to people. She never expected such a reserved person to say such disgusting things. Indeed, the apocalypse can bring out the evil in people's hearts. Lin Yuyu couldn't help but feel angry. Damn it, Lu Yang, who gave you the courage to talk to Yuyu like this? Zhao He, who was standing nearby, was furious. Lin Yuyu was the woman he had his eyes on. How dare the other party say he would carry her legs on his shoulders, what did that make him? Yu Yu, I'll teach him a lesson for you. With that, Zhao He picked up a watermelon knife and walked towards Lu Yang. He used to bully Lu Yang frequently, so he didn't take him seriously at all. What, do you want to cut me? Lu Yang looked disdainfully at Zhao He. Do you think I'm still the same person you used to bully? Lu Yang came from an ordinary family background, was average in academics, and not very good looking, with acne all over his face. Therefore, he was always very self-conscious, had few friends, and was often bullied. Lin Yuyu was the most beautiful girl in school, lively and generous in character, she was his dream goddess. However, he didn't dare to confess his feelings. Every day, he would open color websites, watch color videos and read color novels, fantasizing that the goddess would be completely obedient to him. But he knew it was all just a fantasy. However, just yesterday, while searching for food, he found a glowing stone, and then he discovered that he had gained a special ability. Like a magnet, he could attract all metal objects to himself and mold them into various shapes using magnetism. Superpowers? Liu Yang, who loved reading Dragon King novels, immediately realized that he had something only the protagonist of a novel would have. Could he be the protagonist? The son of destiny? The three-year period had passed, and the hidden dragon had risen. Liu Yang was extremely excited, and immediately used his superpower to create a suit of iron armor for himself and taught his former bullies a lesson and made them his followers. Watching his classmates submit to him, he became even more arrogant. 
Lu Yang then thought of his goddess, Lin Yuyu. Normally, he didn't dare to speak to Lin Yuyu, only daring to fantasize about her while watching videos. But now that he realized he had become the protagonist, Lu Yang was filled with confidence and couldn't wait to find Lin Yuyu, wanting to seduce her with a wicked smile and make her serve him like in the videos and novels. He heard she even had a sister. Thinking of this, Lu Yang's expression became even more lecherous. Not only her sister, but all the women in the world would crawl at his feet, he was the master of this world. Ha ha ha. Lu Yang was smug and arrogant, fantasizing about various dragon-themed plots. Many people who awaken superpowers would think like him, believing they were the protagonists of the world, easily disposing of their enemies and enjoying all the beautiful women in the world. This is human nature. Power enhances the true desires deep within a person's heart. No one would consider legal issues. Damn it, your mom's laughing at you. Zhao He looked at the other party ignoring him, revealing a lascivious smile, and directly slashed at him. However, Lu Yang, wearing iron armor, was not harmed in the slightest. Overestimating yourself, daring to fight with the protagonist? Lu Yang smiled wickedly, waved his hand, and used his magnetic ability to directly attract the watermelon knives in the hands of Zhao He and Lin Yuyu to his own hands. He then manipulated the watermelon knives to cut off the heads of the uncles and aunties around, causing blood to flow like a river. Zhao He and Wu Yu on the opposite side were stunned by this scene. Is this guy a human or a ghost, that he can control flying watermelon knives? How did that knife fly into his hand, is it magic? He actually killed over a dozen people in one go, so cruel, ugh. Boss is mighty, boss is awesome. Zhao He and Wu Yu looked at Lu Yang in disbelief, his actions just now were too bizarre, and extremely cruel. Wu Yu couldn't help but vomit. His few followers also started to praise him. Lu Yang became even more arrogant. You see, Yu Yu, this is my strength, I am the chosen one, as long as you follow me, you will be the leading lady. Lu Yan looked triumphantly at Lin Yu Yu, feeling that Lin Yu Yu had already been enchanted by his domineering aura. Lin Yu Yu looked at Lu Yang, who seemed like a teenage boy in his second year of junior high, and felt disgusted. Just because he had gained special abilities, he was freely killing, did he think he was the only one with abilities? Idiot, wearing armor on such a hot day, are you trying to turn yourself into grilled iron plate? And become your woman, I am your grandma. Lin Yu Yu looked at him as if he were an idiot, she was not afraid of Lu Yang because she had also awakened special abilities. Wind-based abilities. That's why, on such a hot day of 65 degrees Celsius, while others were almost naked, she was still wearing a t-shirt. She could create air currents around her, so her perceived temperature was only about 50 degrees Celsius. What did you say? Lu Yang did not expect that he had performed so strongly, and even helped her kill everyone, but Lin Yu Yu still showed no respect. This made him somewhat angry and embarrassed. You, go and bring her to me, or else die. Lu Yang sneered and pointed at Zhao He. He knew that Zhao He liked Lin Yu Yu, so he wanted to see him personally bring the woman he liked to his bed, to satisfy his perverted desires. Yes, yes. Zhao He immediately became timid, nodding and bowing, although Lin Yu Yu was beautiful, he still didn't want to die. Yu Yu, I'm sorry, Yang Ji Yi has taken a liking to you, he is so powerful, you won't lose out by following him. Zhao He walked towards Lin Yu Yu. Lin Yu Yu's eyes were cold. She didn't expect that she had misjudged him, and had actually thought this guy was not bad just now. Oomph, trying to catch me, no way. Lin Yu Yu snorted coldly, grabbed her best friend Wu Yu beside her, and prepared to escape. She had wind-based abilities. She was much faster than ordinary people, and no one here could catch up with her. That's why she was able to survive under the pursuit of so many zombies. However, just as she was about to escape, Wu Yu beside her firmly held her back. Zhao He Ge, come quickly, she's trying to run away. Wu Yu held onto Lin Yu Yu tightly, and quickly called out to Zhao He who was coming over. Although she and Lin Yu Yu were best friends, it was only superficial, just because Lin Yu Yu could fight, and no one would bully her if she was friends with her. The key was that she liked Zhao He, but Zhao He liked Lin Yu Yu, which made her very resentful. Now that she had found an opportunity, she would definitely sell out Lin Yu Yu. Wu Yu, Yu. Lin Yu Yu's speed was restricted, she turned her head in confusion to look at Wu Yu, she had just been trying to save her, why was she betraying her? Is this what best friends do? Her eyes turned fierce, she gave Wu Yu a few slaps, but the other party still didn't let go, and even held on tighter. And at this moment, Zhao He had also arrived, directly grabbing her hand, now she was completely immobilized, becoming a lamb to be slaughtered. You guys! Lin Yu Yu's eyes were filled with despair, just a moment ago the three of them were still united, but just because of Lu Yang's threat, they had already gone their separate ways. She looked at these people with disgust, especially the opposite Lu Yang, who is full of foul language, is absolutely disgusting. 
Although she is rebellious, she has never done anything out of line. Lin Yuyu secretly vowed in her heart that if Lu Yang were to do anything to her, she would bite her tongue and die rather than let such a person have her. It's a pity that she doesn't know where her sister is now. She is so fragile. Ah, well done, I allow you to be my lackeys. Lu Yang laughed heartily, enjoying the scene of betrayal. TSK TSK, Yu Yu, Lu Yang slowly walked towards Lin Yu Yu, lecherously admiring her beautiful legs, already imagining 18 ways to deal with her, you didn't even look at me before, but now you will be under me soon. Before Lu Yang could finish his words, suddenly, a large armored vehicle crashed through the supermarket's doors, sending Lu Yang flying out while he was talking. Everyone was confused, still not understanding how an armored vehicle could have crashed in. Sorry, something caught my car's attention just now, causing me to shift into fifth gear and step on the gas. The door of the armored vehicle opened, and a tall male student got out, teasingly looking at the flying Lu Yang. Fang Chen came to Lin Yu Yu's side, carefully examining her. With bright big eyes, twin ponytails, wearing a pink skirt, and white stockings. Are you Lin Yu Yu? Fang Chen asked, looking at the still bewildered Lin Yu Yu. Who are you? Lin Yu Yu looked puzzled, mainly because Fang Chen's appearance was too shocking. She was planning to commit suicide a second ago, and then an armored vehicle came crashing in. And the man in front of her was tall and handsome, like a character from a fairy tale. Lin Zijin asked me to find you. Fang Chen smiled at her. Lin Yu Yu and Lin Zijin looked somewhat alike, but their temperaments were different. Lin Zijin was gentle and quiet, while Lin Yu Yu seemed more lively and cute. Brother-in-law? Somehow, this thought popped into Lin Yu Yu's mind. Perhaps it was because Fang Chen was tall, handsome, and had just miraculously saved her, that she subconsciously felt a fondness for him. Fang Chen was taken aback. Lin Yu Yu was quite good at building relationships, calling him brother-in-law already? But I like it. Damn, who's the idiot driving, dared to hit me? Lu Yan was originally fantasizing about putting Lin Yu Yu in 18 different poses, but suddenly an armored vehicle rushed out and sent him flying in disarray. A few drops of urine even splashed out. Fortunately, he was wearing armor and, due to the magnetic force, the impact only made him choke for a moment, without directly shattering his internal organs. After fainting for a while, he stood up again. He stared fiercely at Fang Chen, the unwelcome guest. It seemed this kid was a second-generation rich kid, to have an armored vehicle in this post-apocalyptic world. He hated these kinds of people the most. Handsome and rich, all the goddesses were theirs. However, in the face of his abilities, they were nothing but cannon fodder, destined to be the antagonists who would be slapped by him. Go to hell! Lu Yang once again used his magnetic power to control the watermelon knife on the ground and slashed it towards Fang Chen. Brother-in-law, be careful! Lin Nana was the first to see the scene, taking advantage of Wu Yu and Zhao Yi's days, she broke free from the restraints and swiftly pounced towards Fang Chen, narrowly helping him avoid the watermelon knife. Originally, it was very simple for Fang Chen to avoid the watermelon knife because he had the ability of spatial teleportation, allowing him to jump to a distance of 7 to 8 meters at any time. And he also had a spatial barrier. The spatial barrier not only isolated the scorching outside temperature but also blocked attacks. Not to mention a watermelon knife, unless someone used a cannon to bombard him, he wouldn't be hurt. It was a technique to prevent aging. He didn't dodge because he saw Lin Yu Yu pounce over and didn't want her to fall empty-handed. Looking at the girl in his arms, fragrant and soft, Fang Chen was slightly stunned and somewhat excited. Lin Yu Yu's recent steps seemed a bit strange. Is it a wind-type ability? The girl in front of him actually awakened the wind-type ability. Although the wind-type ability is not the most powerful, it is one of the most comfortable skills in the apocalypse. Because the wind-type ability can accelerate the airflow around oneself, it can greatly reduce one's perceived temperature. Unlike abilities like fire and electricity, although they have strong attack power, they are still hot as dogs in temperatures of 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Moreover, the wind-type ability excels in speed, and in terms of survival, apart from the electric and spatial types, there is hardly anything that can match it. As long as there is food, one will hardly die. It is a tier 1 ability. What kind of exceptional sisters are they? The elder sister has a strong aptitude for fire-type abilities. The younger sister awakened the wind-type ability. And they are both beautiful, with the elder sister being gentle and virtuous, and the younger sister being lively and cute. What excites Fang Chen even more is that these two sisters are very likely to serve him. This apocalypse is simply too comfortable. Brother-in-law, Lin Yu Yu looked at Fang Chen with wide eyes. They had just met, but she already had a good impression of him. Lin Yu Yu knows her elder sister well. Although her sister is pursued by many, she rarely interacts with boys and would never mention her younger sister in front of other boys. Because their family background is ordinary, 
The two sisters rely on each other and are easily targeted by bad people. However, her sister actually told this boy in front of her and even let him save her, indicating that this boy's character has passed her sister's test, and maybe they have already. There is another reason. Fang Chen's way of appearing just now, and what he said, shift to fifth gear, step on the gas pedal hard, this kind of teasing remark, is very much to her liking. Lin Yu Yu is a playful and rebellious girl. Brother-in-law, can you let go of your hand? You're almost strangling me, Lin Yu Yu complained, pointing to Fang Chen's hand tightly gripping her waist. It turns out that when Lin Yu Yu pounced into Fang Chen's arms just now, he instinctively hugged her. Upon learning about her wind-type ability, he hugged her even tighter. Sorry, sorry. Fang Chen quickly let go of his hand and smiled awkwardly. It's a sin, it's a sin. This guy is very likely to become his future sister-in-law. Damn it, you two dared to flirt in front of me, you're dead. On the other side, watching Fang Chen and Lin Yu Yu hugging each other, Lu Yan was simply envious and jealous. Not good, brother-in-law, let's run. Lin Yu Yu was startled and immediately wanted to escape with Fang Chen. Although she also has abilities, she is not good at fighting. On the other hand, the magnetic ability on the opposite side, although very weak in the later stages, is very strong in the early stages of combat. No need to rush. Fang Chen waved his hand and, while Lin Yu Yu wasn't paying attention, directly pulled out an AK from the space. This guy on the opposite side has a crystal in his head. Although his ability is very weak, even a mosquito was meat, so why waste it? Damn, brother-in-law, your gun is huge, where did you pull it out from? Lin Yu Yu's eyes lit up as she reached out to touch it and found that it was a real gun. Fang Chen sweated. It was clearly a normal action, so why did it feel wrong after being embellished by Lin Yu Yu? A gun? Lu Yang on the opposite side was also surprised. The deterrence of firearms is still significant, and he couldn't help but feel a little scared. Without further ado, Fang Chen shot directly at him. Lu Yang on the opposite side was terrified and quickly used his magnetic ability to block it. However, the power of the gun was too strong, and he couldn't stop it at all. But it weakened some of the power, and under the defense of the iron armor, he survived safely. Ha, I have iron armor, I am the chosen one, firearms are ineffective against me. Lu Yang looked smug. Fang Chen furrowed his brows slightly. Since the apocalypse, it was the first time firearms had malfunctioned. Indeed, firearms were no match for superpowers, especially in the later stages. It's still important to focus on enhancing superpowers. Iron armor? Fang Chen sneered, iron armor may seem impenetrable, but in reality, it's just a moving coffin. Ordinary abilities like water, fire, electricity, can easily kill him. Is iron armor waterproof? Flames can turn him into grilled iron. Not to mention electricity, metal conducts electricity. Brother-in-law, what should we do? Lin Yu Yu was a bit nervous as the opponent had started controlling the bullets Fang Chen fired, preparing to shoot at them. Don't be afraid. Fang Chen smiled slightly, snapped his fingers, and then a calico cat impatiently jumped down from the armored vehicle. Electra, go. Electra rolled her eyes, did she really have to deal with this small fry? Remember to have an extra meal. Cat? Lu Yan looked at the appearing calico cat and laughed arrogantly, a cat wants to defeat me? It's almost like scratching an itch. Even Lin Yu Yu was puzzled. Fang Chen grinned, go, Jemmy. Meow. Electra glared at Lu Yang, this guy seemed to look down on her, maybe he had never experienced electric therapy? Immediately, Electra generated the highest voltage current and zapped towards Lu Yang. Lu Yang, who was laughing moments ago, couldn't dodge in time when he saw the sudden electric current, and was directly shocked. He was wearing iron armor, tightly wrapped around himself. The electric current hit the iron armor, the metal's conductivity effect made every pore of his body experience the shock. He was charred inside out. In the air, there was a faint smell of meat. Until his death, he couldn't understand. Why would a cat discharge electricity? Wasn't he the one with superpowers, the protagonist? Except for Fang Chen, everyone else present, Lin Yu Yu, Zhao He, Wu Yu, were all dumbfounded. This cat could actually discharge electricity. And with just one move, it instantly killed the previously invincible Lu Yang. It was truly unbelievable. They couldn't help but look at Fang Chen with even more admiration. This cat seemed to listen to Fang Chen very obediently. Does that mean Fang Chen was even more powerful than this cat? Brother-in-law, do you also have superpowers? Lin Yu Yu was very clever. She immediately guessed that Fang Chen must also have superpowers. Otherwise, when he saw Lu Yang's superpowers just now, Fang Chen wouldn't have been so calm and wouldn't have been able to tame such a powerful cat. Fang Chen shrugged, tacitly agreeing, but didn't reveal what his superpower was. It's not that he didn't trust Lin Yu Yu, but his strength was still too weak now. 
If the matter of spatial abilities leaked out, it would definitely lead to people associating it with the supermarket theft before the apocalypse. With billions worth of goods, he would become a target for everyone and would be subjected to countless robberies. Although he had guns, he was not invulnerable. Lu Yang, Lin Yuyu had already awakened their superpowers, indicating that there were definitely others who had awakened their superpowers. Being besieged by numerous superpower users, Fang Chen did not have a liking for being beaten up. Therefore, he had to be extra cautious. Fang Chen walked to Lu Yang's body, picked up a watermelon knife from the ground. Brother-in-law, what are you going to do? Lin Yuyu curiously walked over. Fang Chen didn't answer, he directly cut open Lu Yang's head with a knife, blood splattered everywhere. Ah! Lin Yuyu was shocked and screamed, while Zhao He and Wu Yu even wet their pants directly. Fang Chen not only killed but also mutilated the corpse? Would he also chop off her head later? However, when Lin Yuyu calmed down, she found that Fang Chen had taken out a glowing crystal from Lu Yang's head. Brother-in-law, what is this? Enhancement crystal. Fang Chen smiled slightly, he deliberately made a move in front of Lin Yuyu. First, Lin Yuyu is still a little girl. Although rebellious, she is too kind-hearted and often hesitates to act ruthlessly. Fang Chen needs to cultivate her in advance and let her see more of these situations. Second, Lin Yuyu has already awakened her supernatural powers, but she still does not understand how to enhance her abilities. Strengthening crystals? Lin Yuyu looked puzzled. That's right, Fang Chen nodded, you should also know that supernatural events have occurred in the world, not just you and Lu Yang. It is estimated that many people have awakened now. Everyone's abilities are different, and their strengths are also different. If you want to enhance your ability level, you need to continuously absorb energy. The source of energy is the strengthening crystal. In the head of each supernatural being and zombie, there is a crystal that can enhance their strength. Do I have one in my head too? Lin Yuyu looked shocked, she had no idea about these things and couldn't help but admire Fang Chen even more. That's right, so you need to be careful. Others may kill you, then cut open your head and take your crystal, Fang Chen warned. I understand, I must become stronger. Lin Yuyu shivered, thinking that she might be cut open and couldn't bear the thought. Looking at Lin Yuyu's expression, Fang Chen couldn't help but admire her. He originally thought it would take a long time for her to accept these things, but she realized the need to enhance her strength in just a moment. She is indeed clever. Brother-in-law, you won't cut my head, will you? Lin Yuyu blinked and asked. Seeing her playful and deliberately questioning look, Fang Chen grinned, I will. Your sister's head has already been cut by me. What? Lin Yuyu turned pale, her legs went weak. Just kidding. Seeing her terrified look, Fang Chen couldn't help but chuckle. A little girl is a little girl, no matter how smart, there is still a vulnerable side. Brother-in-law, you're mean. Lin Yuyu angrily punched Fang Chen with her small fist, but still worried that her sister might be in danger, so she said, Brother-in-law, where is my sister? I want to see her. Okay, we'll go back later. Fang Chen nodded, but it was still not dawn, so they could continue to search for evolution crystals. Fang Chen didn't want to waste this time. Others have awakened their abilities. As a result, the number of evolution crystals will be greatly reduced, making them harder to find. Okay. Lin Yuyu nodded and then looked at Zhao He and Wu Yu who were standing dumbfounded beside her, asking, Brother-in-law, what about them? How do you want to deal with them? Fang Chen wanted to see how she would handle it. Let them fend for themselves, Lin Yuyu still didn't directly kill them. Okay. Fang Chen nodded slightly, this decision did not surprise him and he agreed. Although he wanted Lin Yuyu to be decisive, he was also worried that if she showed no mercy at all, she might betray him in the future. Fang Chen wouldn't allow a ruthless person to stay by his side. This is why Fang Chen is so strict. After all, he had suffered too much in his previous life and didn't want to repeat the same mistakes. However, the reason Fang Chen let them go so easily was because there was a group of zombies outside, they didn't need to kill them, they would still die. Fang Chen drove the armored vehicle out of the supermarket, with the zombies chasing after his car and gnawing on it. After losing a few teeth, they gave up and rushed into the supermarket. Instead of returning to the cold storage immediately, Fang Chen continued to search for evolution crystals outside. On the way, Lin Yuyu also consulted him on various knowledge, and Fang Chen was generous in imparting knowledge. Lin Yuyu admired Fang Chen endlessly. Calling him brother-in-law made their relationship even closer. With Lin Yuyu's participation, the efficiency of their search for evolution crystals improved compared to before. After one night, they unexpectedly found more than 50 evolution crystals. However, among them were some individuals like Lu Yang, who considered themselves the chosen ones and attempted to rob Fang Chen. They were ultimately killed by Fang Chen and Lin Yuyu. 
By six o'clock, it was almost dawn, and Fang Chen and Lin Yu Yu were somewhat tired, so they returned to the cold storage. Sis, April 7th. Today is already the seventh day of the apocalypse. Initially, people did not take it seriously, thinking that the apocalypse brought them a holiday, believing it was just hot weather with no major impact, and some were even happy. However, starting from the third day, water and electricity supply in various places stopped, human communication facilities gradually paralyzed, the world plunged into panic, and various countries' officials made efforts to organize rescue operations. In just a few days, trillions of assets evaporated globally. On the fifth day, the virus broke out, zombies appeared, and rescue teams and armies of various countries were infected. These well-equipped soldiers, after turning into zombies, became even stronger and more difficult to deal with, even firearms were ineffective against them. The military was overwhelmed. The final rescue measures also failed. The population, initially 10 billion, plummeted to less than 2 billion, and this number was rapidly declining. On the seventh day, some people awakened supernatural abilities, no longer abiding by the law, and social order completely collapsed, bidding farewell to civilized society. No one naively believed that this catastrophe would pass easily. Lin Yu Yu had been living in fear these days. Although she had a cheerful personality, she was ultimately an 18-year-old girl. When she saw her only relative still alive, she couldn't help but throw herself into her sister's arms and sobbed. Sister, I thought I would never see you again. Lin Yu Yu embraced Lin Zijin's slender waist, her tearful face buried in her sister's embrace. Fong Chen looked on with envy. You're fine, Yu Yu. Lin Zijin was also very excited. With her parents deceased, her only support now was this sister. It was my brother-in-law who saved me. Lin Yu Yu wiped her tears and pointed to Fong Chen beside her. Brother-in-law? Lin Zijin was stunned, then blushed. What was this girl talking about, brother-in-law? She looked at Fong Chen with some concern, afraid of displeasing him. Although Lin Zijin was beautiful, she still had some self-doubt because of her poor family background, usually wearing t-shirts and shoes that cost a dozen yuan, earning her own living expenses and tuition, and taking care of Lin Yu Yu, a drag. Fang Chen, tall and handsome, in this chaotic apocalypse, with such a luxurious cold storage, so much food, and firearms to ensure safety. With his conditions, even a big star would probably throw themselves at him. Could she, a Cinderella, be worthy of him? He saved her, helped her deal with her bullying roommate, took her in, and now saved her sister. She probably wouldn't be able to repay Fong Chen's kindness in her lifetime. Thank you. Lin Zijin thanked him from the bottom of her heart. What's the relationship between us, no need to thank me. Fong Chen smiled slightly. Lin Zijin blushed. What did Fong Chen mean by that? What was their relationship? Was he implying something? Take Yu Yu to take a bath and make some food. She must be starving after these days outside. Fong Chen said to Lin Zijin. Okay. Lin Zijin obediently nodded. Thank you, brother-in-law. Lin Yu Yu was very excited, calling Fong Chen brother-in-law in a clear voice. Lin Zijin blushed again. She quickly took Lin Yu Yu to the bathroom. Fong Chen returned to his room and began to absorb the crystals to enhance his strength. Today's harvest was very rich. I found a total of 56 evolution crystals and over 200 zombie enhancement crystals. If all these things are absorbed, I wonder what level of ability enhancement can be achieved. Maybe new attack methods can be obtained. However, it's not possible to absorb so many at once. Absorbing evolution crystals is a very energy-consuming task, consuming energy equivalent to 7 nights of activity for each crystal absorbed. If too many are absorbed at once, it may backfire. Fang Chen took out an evolution crystal and began to absorb it. In the bathroom, the two sisters who had survived the ordeal were still huddled together, even while bathing, sharing their experiences with each other. What, you mean he's not your brother-in-law? Lin Yu Yu heard her sister's words, a look of disappointment on her face, and said somewhat resentfully, Sis, you're really disappointing. Brother Fang Chen is so good, he's funny, handsome, has a good personality, and most importantly, he's very powerful. Where else can you find such a man? Could it be that you don't like men? Ah, no wonder you always bathe with me. Where did you learn these things? Do you speak ill of your sister like this? Lin Zijin scolded, pinching her sister's smooth and white body, her eyes somewhat envious. Although her sister was two years younger, her figure was almost catching up to hers. In another two years, she would probably surpass her. Sis, do you like your brother-in-law? Lin Yu Yu giggled a few times, playfully splashing the water surface with her hand, causing ripples in the water. At that moment, the four soft jellyfish hiding in the water were faintly exposed in the air, white and delicate, as if they belonged only in heaven, yet here they were in the mortal world. Lin Zijin blushed shyly when asked by her sister about her feelings for Fang Chen. 
she definitely liked him. He was so outstanding and had helped her so much. But, it seems like Fang Chen is not interested in women. Lin Zijin thought of Li Nana's blatant attempts to seduce Fang Chen before, but he never accepted any of them. That's impossible, Lin Yu Yu didn't believe it. When he saved me before, he even touched my waist. How could he not be interested in women? Lin Yu Yu thought of the time she threw herself into his arms to save him, and he held her tightly. Ha! Huh? Lin Zijin was taken aback. Uh, Lin Yu Yu realized she misspoke and quickly changed the subject, sis, as the saying goes, a woman's pursuit of a man is like a veil. You said someone was trying to seduce your brother-in-law. If you don't take the initiative, he might be taken away. Think about it, if she succeeds, how will she torture us? We'll have to wander outside, can you bear to see me hungry and sweating? If you really can't do it, then I'll have to do it myself. I, I understand, Lin Zijin quickly said, unable to bear the thought of her sister suffering. But the idea of having to seduce Fang Chen later made her blush with embarrassment. It was her first time in a relationship, and she had to take the initiative. Thinking about this, Lin Zijin also scolded her sister in embarrassment, and the two girls playfully fought in the bathroom. Meanwhile, Fang Chen was unaware that Lin Yuyu was instigating Lin Zijin to seduce him. If he knew, Fang Chen would definitely praise her, it was not in vain that he saved her. He successfully absorbed another evolution crystal, further enhancing his strength. The distance of the space blink had increased to about 10 meters. The space barrier could now withstand pressure of up to 1 ton. And he also gained a new skill, Space Mark. The function of Space Mark is similar to a monitored timed bomb, he can mark a place in advance, observe the area at any time, and detonate the mark at any time to cause damage within the range. However, this function consumes a lot of energy. Fang Chen can now only plant up to three marks. But this function is very practical, it can set marks in important locations and obtain important information at any time. You should know that all communication devices in the world have malfunctioned, and all information can only be transmitted by word of mouth or by foot. This skill is truly amazing. Thinking of this, Fang Chen suddenly had an idea. In the head of every pig-raising ability user, there is a special crystal, and the energy of the crystal will increase with the user's strength. A talented ability user must have more energy in the crystal in their head than a pure evolution crystal. This gave birth to a special method to enhance strength. It is to first find a talented person, awaken their ability, wait for them to become powerful, then kill them and take the crystal from their head. In the past, there was a strong person who used resources to attract some hungry ability users to join him, then killed them to obtain the crystal in their head. This method also allowed him to become a top-tier strong person in a very short time. At that time, Fang Chen almost went down that path. Fortunately, he was reminded by his brother and managed to escape the wolf's clutches. If he were to try this trick on Li Nana. Thinking of this, Fang Chen decided to give it a try. Due to the high temperature, Li Nana had already thrown away her clothes, now she was only wearing underwear, hadn't eaten for days, and was in the cold storage, already fainting in the corner. If she was left alone, she would probably freeze to death. Get up! Fang Chen took out a bottle of water from the space and splashed it directly on her face. Li Nana woke up with a start. Seeing the water dripping on her body, she immediately licked it up. She was cold, hungry, and thirsty. After a moment of awakening, Li Nana saw Fang Chen beside her and immediately burst into tears. Master, I'm sorry, please give me something to eat. Li Nana tried to stand up but had no strength, so she could only crawl to Fang Chen's leg, holding onto his thigh and pleading continuously. She was on the verge of collapse. Eat it. Fang Chen casually took out an evolution crystal. Li Nana dared not resist. She had no strength to resist. The conditions for awakening abilities were quite strict, requiring a high level of willpower from the person, and it would be considered good if one out of ten people could awaken using the evolution crystal. Fang Chen looked at Li Nana, unsure if she would awaken. Hmm. After using the crystal, Li Nana's body began to experience intense pain, unable to help but let out painful moans, feeling her body being filled up, about to burst. She convulsed and rolled on the ground in a sorry state. She looked panicked, thinking Fang Chen had given her poison on purpose. Won't she die? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow. However, after a few minutes, Li Nana stopped convulsing, and with a bang, her head exploded. Is she dead just like that? Fang Chen pursed his lips, thinking Li Nana could awaken, but she turned out to be a disappointment. After looking at the body on the ground, Fang Chen cleaned up a bit, threw the body outside to avoid scaring Lin Zijin and the others later. After a while, Lin Zijin and her sister came out of the bathroom, both wearing pajamas, looking like two flowers. Brother-in-law, where is that woman just now? Lin Yuyu asked in confusion. She's gone, Fang Chen said calmly. She's gone just like that? 
She dared to bully my sister, I haven't even beaten her yet. Lin Yu Yu waved her fist. After a busy day, Li Nana had just exploded and died again, and Fang Chen had gotten a bit dirty. He went to the bathroom to change the water and take a bath. Lin Zijin, on the other hand, went to the kitchen to cook. There were several refrigerators in the cold storage, and Fang Chen had put a lot of ingredients in them for Lin Zijin to choose from. When Fang Chen finished his bath and came out, he saw a table full of delicious food. However, looking at the dishes on the table, Fang Chen's expression was a bit strange. See cucumber porridge, steamed oysters, stir-fried lamb. But he didn't dwell on it. Just use the evolution crystal. The energy consumption is huge, he is already starving. Clang Clang started to show off. Lin Zijin's craftsmanship is really good. After eating, go to sleep. Fang Chen said to Lin Zijin and Lin Yu Yu. The bed is very big, even with three people, they won't squeeze together. I don't want to, I haven't finished the game yet. However, Lin Yu Yu shook her head, holding a game controller in her hand, completely engrossed in playing PS5 on the TV. Fang Chen wasn't surprised either. It's understandable that young girls like to play. However, Lin Zijin knew that Lin Yu Yu didn't like to play, she clearly didn't want to be a third wheel. Seeing the two enter the room, Lin Yu Yu smirked, immediately threw away the controller, and hid at the door listening to the movements inside. Inside the room. Fang Chen, like yesterday, slept in his own position, closing his eyes as soon as he got into bed, emptying his mind. However, after eating so many tonics just now, Fang Chen's body started to feel a bit hot. Tossing and turning, he just couldn't fall asleep. Unfortunately, Li Nana died, there was no way she could vent her anger. However, just as he was thinking, he suddenly felt someone beside him. He turned his head in confusion, only to find that Lin Zijin had climbed from the corner of the bed to his side at some point. Thank you for saving my sister. Lin Zijin said very gratefully, her voice soft and trembling. It's nothing. Protecting the flowers of the motherland is our duty. Fang Chen joked, slightly curling up to avoid bumping into Lin Zijin and causing a scene. Are you feeling uncomfortable? Lin Zijin suddenly asked. Outside the door. Lin Yuyu squatted at the door, hearing heavy breathing coming from inside, her pretty face instantly turning red. She didn't expect her sister to be so resourceful. However, her brother-in-law was really amazing. In the evening, Fang Chen stretched lazily, looked at the messy hair and blushing cheeks on the bed, smiled slightly, gently kissed the other's face. I didn't expect you to look so obedient. Hate it. Lin Zijin blushed and playfully hit Fang Chen, isn't it what you asked for? Fang Chen chuckled. After some thought, he said, do you want to awaken your abilities? Abilities? Lin Zijin was a bit puzzled. Then, Fang Chen explained it to her. Your sister also has abilities. Really? Lin Zijin was somewhat hopeful. Of course. Fang Chen smiled and took out another evolution crystal. He wasn't worried that Lin Zijin would explode like Li Nana, because Lin Zijin had awakened her abilities in her past life. Thank you, husband. Lin Zijin was very moved. After using the crystal, Lin Zijin's forehead broke out in a fine sweat. A few minutes later, Lin Zijin finally awakened the fire type abilities, which belong to the T1 level of abilities. T0 level abilities are some mental abilities, such as charm, hypnosis. Although these abilities may not seem to have much combat power on the surface, a powerful mental ability user can control countless other ability users. No matter how powerful you are, as long as you are controlled, even if the other party is powerless, you have to obediently listen. The upper limit is very high. However, this kind of ability is very rare, and there are not many people who awaken it. T1 level abilities are basically elemental abilities, such as water, fire, electricity. These abilities have some combat power in the early stages and also have a high growth limit. Those who awaken these abilities will become well-known strong individuals. T2 level abilities are some enhancement type abilities, such as strength, speed, defense, etc. These abilities have some initial combat capabilities, but the upper limit in the later stages is slightly lower, but they are also not common. T3 level abilities are miscellaneous abilities, such as magnetism, etc. They are useful in the early stages, but basically have no use in the later stages, and are the types that most people awaken. In addition, there is another type of ability that surpasses these abilities. That is spatial abilities. Spatial abilities have very weak combat power in the early stages, even inferior to T3 level abilities. However, the spatial ability growth attribute is maxed out, with a huge boost with each level increase. As long as it grows, each skill is a devastating existence. There are endless possibilities. Spatial abilities are extremely rare, at least Fang Chen has never heard of anyone else obtaining them. Even though he knew in advance that Lin Zijin's talent was powerful, 
seeing the flames she spewed out still left Fang Chen in awe. Just awakened to her ability, she could already condense a fireball with a diameter of 10 centimeters, with a temperature of up to 1000 degrees Celsius, this talent is truly extraordinary. Fang Chen felt that it would be difficult for him to defeat Lin Zijin. However, it was a different story with others. Just a moment ago, Lin Zijin was still begging for mercy. Lin Zijin is still a 20-year-old girl, with a delicate body. Awakening her ability consumes a large amount of energy, and she fell asleep due to exhaustion. Fang Chen didn't disturb her further. Just as Fang Chen pushed open the door, a girl fell in front of him. Looking down, it turned out to be Lin Yuyu. Lin Yuyu had been standing at the door, originally listening with a shy face, but who would have thought that Fang Chen stayed for 10 hours, and she fell asleep while listening. She truly admired Fang Chen. Her brother-in-law was so amazing. Her decision was indeed correct. Her sister would definitely be happy in the future. What are you doing here? Fang Chen looked at Lin Yuyu with a smile, immediately knowing what she was up to. This girl was truly mischievous. Ah, uh, good morning brother-in-law, I was going to call you for dinner. Lin Yuyu was caught off guard, feeling embarrassed, and quickly came up with an excuse. Dinner? Fang Chen looked at the empty dining table and joked, Are you the meal? With your petite figure, I'm afraid it won't be enough for me to eat. Fang Chen's relationship with Lin Zijin became closer, and he also treated Lin Yuyu as a younger sister. They chatted more comfortably than before. Hey, pervert. Being exposed, Lin Yuyu pouted unreasonably, then lay down on the sofa, thinking to herself, how could he think of eating her, and even complained about her being small. Are you eavesdropping, pervert? Fang Chen rolled his eyes, but he wasn't angry, he even felt happy. Humans are social animals, and even the most solitary person will feel lonely at times. With these two sisters and the cold storage, life seemed more vibrant, not as desolate. If Fang Chen had 10,000 evolution crystals, even if he didn't use them himself, he could cultivate 10,000 loyal ability users. That would be invincible. In a sense, evolution crystals were more important than food. Brother-in-law, I want to go too. Seeing Fang Chen about to leave, Lin Yuyu immediately ran over. She had always been lively and rebellious, and now with her ability, she wanted to go out and play with the zombies. Sure. Fang Chen thought about it and agreed, thinking that more people meant more strength, and the probability of finding evolution crystals would be higher. Lin Zijin had just fallen asleep after their PK battle, so Fang Chen didn't wake her up. Driving an armored vehicle, Fang Chen took Lin Yuyu and Dian Mu out. It was already the eighth day of the apocalypse. Those who survived were either physically strong or had been keen on hoarding supplies in the early days of the apocalypse. Chaos breeds heroes. There were still many smart people in the world. Fang Chen was not so conceited as to think that he was invincible just because he had hoarded billions worth of supplies. There aren't many people on the street, Lin Yuyu looked out the window, feeling nostalgic. This street used to be very lively, with street vendors setting up stalls every night, but now it's rare to see anyone, mostly just zombies. Fang Chen didn't respond. He had already experienced it in his previous life, so there was nothing much to feel sentimental about. Brother-in-law, where are we going? Lin Yuyu asked. Whom? Fang Chen also carefully considered which late awakening abilities and famous ability users from his past life. Luo City is a first-tier coastal city with a vast geographical area, and Fang Chen has only explored less than 10% of it so far. He has already harvested more than 70 evolution crystals, which is quite a lot. In his previous life, there were only a few thousand ability users in the entire Luo City, scattered in various locations. As for whether there are any hidden crystals, Fang Chen is also unsure. Let's go to Hero Street. Fang Chen remembered a place and immediately drove there. Hero Street? Hearing this location, Lin Yuyu's brows furrowed imperceptibly, as if recalling some unpleasant memories. Hero Street used to be a gathering place for extracurricular tutoring classes, crowded with people. In his previous life, more than a dozen T2-level ability users were born here. It's just unknown if the evolution crystals are still there. Arriving at Hero Street, where students used to study until 10 o'clock at night, now all the lights are out, pitch black, and no one can be seen. The car can't go in, let's walk in. Fang Chen parked the car in a safe place and got out. This is a pedestrian street with narrow roads and many obstacles in the middle, so they can only walk. Dian Mu, keep your eyes peeled, Fang Chen instructed Dian Mu. Whether they can find the crystals depends on this calico cat. Meow. Dian Mu stretched out her paw, demanding her salary, as realistic as ever. What's the rush, am I the kind of unscrupulous boss who withholds salaries? Fang Chen playfully tapped her on the head. Then he looked at Lin Yuyu with a puzzled expression, what's wrong, feeling down. Lin Yuyu, who used to be very lively and chatty, was now quiet. Nothing, Lin Yuyu shook her head, 
thinking those people must be dead by now. Seeing her smile again, Fang Chen nodded and followed Dianmu to search for crystals. Before long, they found one. It seems that the people here haven't discovered the crystals yet, that's great, Fang Chen exclaimed excitedly, there are at least a dozen crystals here. Dianmu, well done, keep going, Fang Chen tossed a fish to Dianmu and continued searching. Are you sure you saw a light fall here before? Yes, Zhang Gu, we were in the classroom at the time, and we saw it clearly. Very good, as long as you find the crystal later, you can take care of me at night, and I'll give you a whole bottle of mineral water. Thank you, Zhang Gu, thank you, Zhang Gu. Outside, seven or eight people were walking towards Hero Street, including a man called Zhang Gu with his arms around a woman, one in her thirties, a young woman, and another teenager who looked like a student. Ha! Huh? Why is there an armored vehicle? Suddenly, Zhang Yang saw a large armored vehicle parked in a hidden spot on the street. He immediately walked over. Looking left and right, he was amazed. With such a large armored vehicle, there would be no need to walk if he could drive it. Due to the continuous high temperatures, most ordinary vehicles have been scrapped, and now the only means of transportation is Route 11. He tried to open the car door. However, the door was locked, and the windows were bulletproof, so he couldn't open it. Zhang Gu, the exhaust pipe still has gasoline in it, it should have just been driven here, the woman beside him said. Oh, Zhang Ji's eyes lit up, not in vain as a teacher, you understand a lot, I'll reward you when we get back. Zhang Gu, you're annoying. The young woman revealed a shy expression, feeling nauseous inside, and was furious, just like a head pig. That guy must be inside, maybe with the same goal as us, also looking for the evolution crystal. Let's hurry and intercept him. Zhang immediately led four younger brothers to search the streets. He also awakened his special ability, a T2-level defensive ability, and discovered the secret of the evolution crystal. So, upon hearing that two women nearby might have seen the evolution crystal, he immediately brought people over. Boss, up ahead. Upon hearing the voice, Zhang Yang rushed over and sure enough, found a man with two women, the man holding several evolution crystals he had just discovered. Greed flashed in his eyes. With so many crystals, if he absorbed them all, he would become so much stronger. Shifting his gaze, he noticed the two women next to the man across from him, one tall and majestic, with captivating eyes and a beauty score of at least 8 points, and the other petite and cute, with delicate features and a remarkable figure at a young age, easily a 9 out of 10. They were on a completely different level compared to the married young woman beside him and the college student he had been with. Damn, this guy is really lucky. Zhang Yang's heart was filled with jealousy and he immediately wanted to snatch the crystals from the other party, along with the women. Such beautiful women should only be possessed by someone like me, a strong one. Lin Yu Yu? At this moment, a college student next to Zhang Yang seemed to recognize the girl across from them. You, this slut, are still alive. Yu Lily looked at Lin Yu Yu, with her smooth hair and clean appearance, no stains on her body, in contrast to her own disheveled look after almost a week without brushing her teeth or washing her face, feeling jealous. Why did this lowly person live better than herself? Do you know her? Zhang Yang curiously asked. She used to be in our tutoring class, an orphan who relied on her sister to hook up with rich men to make a living. You're talking nonsense. Lin Yu Yu heard the insult to her sister and couldn't help but tremble, feeling a mix of fear and anger. What's going on? Fang Chen also frowned, Lin Zijin was his woman, how could he tolerate someone slandering her like this? I, Lin Yu Yu explained with great grievance. It turned out that although Lin Yu Yu's family was poor, Lin Zijin took great care of her sister, scrimping and saving to enroll Lin Yu Yu in tutoring classes for her education. However, Lin Yu Yu's family was an easy target for ridicule. Yu Lily, on the other hand, was often truant, mingling with troublemakers outside, and had a boyfriend from that circle. Seeing Lin Yu Yu's beauty and ordinary background, she bullied her out of jealousy. She would often tear Lin Yu Yu's books, and even more outrageously, would block her way with people, slap her, and force her to kneel. She also spread rumors, saying that Lin Yu Yu's sister only enrolled her in tutoring classes by selling herself, otherwise, how could their poor family afford it? Lin Yu Yu had no choice but to tell the tutoring class teacher, who happened to be the married young woman next to Zhang Yang, Lu Fang. However, Lu Fang didn't care at all, even saying things like, why only bully you and not others, such brainless words. This only emboldened Yu Lily further. Lin Yu Yu had no choice but to skip classes. However, the other party still didn't let her go, bringing people to the school to confront Lin Yu Yu. Lin Yu Yu didn't want to involve her sister, so to protect herself, she had to befriend the delinquent students in school. But the students in school were no match for the troublemakers in society. Several times, Lin Yu Yu was almost molested by the troublemakers they brought, leaving a shadow in her heart. Hearing about Lin Yu Yu's experiences, Fang Chen's heart was immediately filled with anger. 
Originally, he thought Lin Yuyu's fights and brawls with others were just due to lax parental discipline, leading to a rebellious personality. He never expected that she was being bullied at school, and the reason she befriended delinquent students was just to protect herself. It is hard to imagine what it feels like for a young girl in her teens to experience such bullying without the protection of her parents and with teachers choosing to ignore it. It must be incredibly helpless. If Lin Yuyu were a bit more fragile, she probably would have chosen to end her life. School bullying is truly despicable. Fang Chen detests this kind of thing very much, knowing how many flowers have been ruined for a lifetime because of it. Moreover, it is Lin Yuyu who is being bullied, who is now his sister. Fang Chen has always been protective of her. He doesn't want this shadow to linger in Lin Yuyu's heart. Don't be afraid, I'm here, no one can bully you. Fang Chen reached out and patted Lin Yuyu's trembling back, soothing her excited emotions, his eyes full of tenderness. Feeling Fang Chen's warmth, Lin Yuyu immediately felt a sense of security she had never experienced before. For years, she had been enduring torment every day, never having someone stand in front of her and say that no one could bully her. Today, Fang Chen is standing in front of her. Her mood immediately calmed down a lot. At the same time, she felt moved. Across from them, Zhang Yang also noticed something was going on. He knows Li Li very well, having been with them since junior high, using their reputation to bully other students. The pretty girl in front of him was probably also bullied by Li Li. He looked at Li Li, then at Lin Yu Yu, and realized that they were not in the same league in terms of looks and temperament. Not to mention, Lin Yu Yu still looked like an innocent girl, probably inexperienced. If he could make this girl in front of him develop feelings for him, then subdue her, wouldn't that be a satisfying thing? Thinking of this, Zhang Yang smiled and said to Lin Yu Yu, Hey, did this woman bully you before? Lin Yu Yu glanced at Zhang Yang, not understanding what this big, bare-armed guy meant. I hate school bullying the most in my life. If you know she's that kind of person, I won't save her. So, come with me. Whatever she did to bully you before, you give it back to her tenfold. If she dares to resist, I'll back you up. Zhang Yang said with a smile. Zhang Gu, you. Li Li, who was beside them, looked at him in disbelief. You didn't say that to me like this before when we were in bed. And you were an accomplice when I bullied others. She could see through Zhang Yang's intentions. It was all because he found Lin Yu Yu attractive, so he wanted to seek her attention and sleep with her. This made Li Li even more resentful towards Lin Yu Yu. Why did she have to work so hard to get a little help while Lin Yu Yu didn't say a word and Zhang Yang actively approached her? Why didn't she scratch her face back then, always trying to seduce men? Shut up! Zhang Yang glared at Li Li and said in a low voice, If you ruin my good thing, I'll beat you like last time. He understood Li Li. This woman was not only vain but also afraid of death. Before, Li Li begged him to help her out, enduring his whip, but now that the end of the world was coming, she would be even less likely to leave. Li Li was too scared to speak. She still had the scars from that time, but she harbored deep resentment towards Lin Yu Yu, feeling that she must be mocking her, and she would probably retaliate fiercely later. Acting so pure on a regular basis, but now isn't she just like her, willing to sell herself for fame? How about it, Lin student? It's so dangerous outside now, with zombies. I can still protect you. Zhang Yang turned his head and smiled at Lin Yu Yu. Feeling his gaze, Lin Yu Yu felt disgusted, already guessing his intentions. A big, fat guy like him still wants to sleep with me? Dream on. No need. I have someone to protect me. Lin Yu Yu bluntly refused, subconsciously leaning towards Fang Chen. Perhaps because of Fang Chen's recent actions, she instinctively felt safe by his side. Just him, a pretty boy? Zhang Yang glanced at Fang Chen, sneered, and said, Lin, he's useless. You should know that those outside are zombies now. Only people like me with special abilities can survive in the apocalypse. Do you know what special abilities are? Zhang Yang took a watermelon knife and stabbed himself a few times between his legs, but he didn't get hurt. See, brother, I'm invincible. Zhang Yang grinned smugly, and now that resources are so scarce, I bet you haven't had a full meal in a long time. Come to my place, I have several boxes of mineral water and we can have rice every day. How about it? Since awakening his special abilities, Zhang Yang has been very proud. He used to be just a regular thug in the gang, bullying students. But now, he has become a key figure in the gang, drinking mineral water, eating white rice, and commanding several people. He felt that with his conditions, Lin Yu Yu would definitely not refuse. Who would refuse a full meal? Just now, Lu Fang and Yu Lili agreed to his request for a threesome just to share a bottle of water. Idiot. Lin Yu Yu rolled her eyes. You have wind abilities. Do you really care about someone like you with iron crotch skills? You want us to go to your place. Take a look at yourself first. Lin Yu Yu's character is very different from Lin Zijin's. 
She is straightforward and blunt, saying whatever she wants. Fang Chen admired her straightforwardness. He also liked Lin Yuyu's character, if something bothers you, why keep it to yourself? Bitch, what did you say? Hearing Lin Yuyu's harsh insults, Zheng Yang was furious. Daff? I said you're a toad lusting after Swan's flesh. Very well, Zhang Yang, insulted for the first time since awakening his abilities, couldn't help but laugh in anger. I didn't want to use force, but you forced me. I'll give you another chance now. You, hand over the crystal in your hand, kneel down and kowtow out twice, then leave. You better come with me tonight, or else. Zhang Yang raised the watermelon knife in his hand, threatening Fang Chen fiercely. Yu Lily, who was worried about Lin Yu Yu's retaliation, suddenly became excited. What an idiot, missing the opportunity to follow Zhang Gu, hiding behind a pretty boy. Now, when Zhang Gu takes you all down, you'll have to endure being bullied by yourself. Ha ha. Fang Cheng glanced at him, not afraid at all, and simply said, Okay, come and get it, I'll give it to you. You know your place. Zhang Yang laughed triumphantly, not afraid of Fang Chen's tricks because he had defensive abilities. Indeed a pretty boy. Yu Lily felt more relieved, with a disdainful smile on her face. Lu Fang, who had been silent, also breathed a sigh of relief. Although she didn't bully Lin Yuyu, she didn't intervene when Lin Yuyu was being bullied, and she was a little afraid of Lin Yuyu's retaliation. Where's the crystal? Give it to me. Zhang Yang approached Fang Chen, reaching out his hand. Fang Chen? Crystal? Didn't you say you'd give me the crystal when I came over? Don't play tricks on me. Zhang Yang's expression turned fierce. I said I'd give it to you, but I didn't say I'd give you the crystal. Fang Chen teased. Zhang Yang frowned. What do you mean? However, when he followed Fang Chen's gaze downward, he saw a dark gun barrel pointing at his crotch. A gun. Zhang Yang was suddenly shocked. Where did Fang Chen pull out the gun from? It turned out that when he said he'd give it to himself, he meant giving himself a shot. Zhang Yang wanted to escape. Although he wasn't afraid of a watermelon knife, it didn't mean he wasn't afraid of bullets. But it was too late. I'd like to see if your gun is hard or mine is harder. Fang Chen grinned and pulled the trigger. Bang! A gunshot rang out followed by the sound of liquid hitting the ground, splashing red and yellow around Zhang Yang's feet. Obviously, as a newly awakened defense ability possessor, he couldn't withstand the power of the bullet. Zhang Yang fell to the ground, curled up like a shrimp, screaming in pain. Behind him, four or five lackeys also felt a chill between their legs. They had envied Zhang Yang's iron crotch skill before, but now they had nothing to envy. Yu Lili and Lu Fang were also dumbfounded. They had thought that Zhang Yang, with his abilities, would defeat the opponent easily, but they didn't expect such a dramatic turn of events, with the opponent ending his life with a single shot. Thinking back to their actions towards Lin Yuyu before, they couldn't help but tremble in fear. They didn't know how Lin Yuyu would retaliate against them. Lin Yuyu, on the other hand, was ecstatic. These people had all bullied her, and she didn't have the saintly compassion to feel sorry for them. She even found it satisfying. These guys had harmed countless girls. Her brother-in-law was really handsome, she liked the way he acted all high and mighty. Now, Fang Chen walked over to Zhang Yang, smiling, it's time for me to ask for the crystal from you. No, please don't. Zhang Yang's eyes were filled with fear. Although Fang Chen was smiling, in his eyes, that smile looked like a demon. Fang Chen ignored him and picked up the opponent's watermelon knife. Zhang Yang was an ability possessor, although only at level T2, the crystal energy in his brain was even higher than that of a pure evolution crystal. You can't kill me. Seeing the watermelon knife so close, Zhang Yang shouted in panic. Oh. Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, tell me why. I'm from the Dahai Gang. Dahai Gang? Fang Chen's expression turned serious. He had heard of the Dahai Gang in his past life. The Dahai Gang used to be a lone shark organization in Luo City, and after the apocalypse, many members of the Dahai Gang awakened abilities, becoming a significant group of ability possessors. The Dahai Gang was not a good group. Relying on their abilities, they would rob and extort people, collecting protection fees. When they encountered other ability possessors, if the other party didn't submit, they would kill them and take the crystals from their brains. In his past life, Fang Chen had once found a bottle of water, only to have it all taken away by them under the guise of protection fees. Fortunately, Fang Chen hadn't revealed his abilities at the time, or he would have surely been in trouble. What's even more interesting is that before the apocalypse, Fang Chen had borrowed a lot of money, including from the Dahai Gang. Kid, feeling scared now, huh? Zhang Yang looked smugly at Fang Chen. We Dahai Gang have a total of 18 ability possessors. Our leader even has a powerful fire ability. Even if the military encounters us, they have to detour. Can your gun compare to the military? But, I can give you a chance now. As long as you kneel down and apologize, I won't hold it against you. 
Zhang Yang tried to intimidate Fang Chen, but as long as Fang Chen spared him, he would never keep his promise. He had lost his dignity, how could he let Fang Chen go? Oh, is that so? I'm so scared. Fang Chen sneered disdainfully. He directly split open Zhang Yang's head with a knife, and Zhang Yang died with his eyes wide open. Even in death, he didn't know where Fang Chen got the courage to dare to oppose the Dahai Gang. Fang Chen directly dug out his crystal. The brightness of this crystal was more than twice that of a normal evolution crystal, indicating it had more than double the energy. One for two, not bad. Not bad. Fang Chen then turned to Yu Lili and Lu Fang. At this moment, the two of them were already terrified. Fang Chen's cruelty was beyond their imagination. They were certain that Fang Chen would kill them without batting an eye and without any guilt. But they didn't want to die. Yu Lili was the first to react. She knelt down with a thud, crawling to Fang Chen's feet, looking up at him with a pleading expression. Please don't kill me, I can be your dog, I know a lot of things, you can play with me however you want. She knew that her life was in Fang Chen's hands. Yuli Yuli has been mixing in society since junior high school, reading countless men, and her ability to observe and understand people is top-notch. Seeing the situation was not good, she immediately knelt down in front of Fang Chen, pleading in a coquettish tone. In the past, she had offended people she couldn't afford to offend, but as long as she did this, the other party would let her go. At most, she would just get a few hits. However, Fang Chen was unmoved. Although Fang Chen was not a saint, and he was fond of beauty, he was not someone any woman could catch. Yuli Yuli was not even as good as Li Nana, and even a small hoodlum could play with her. Fang Chen did not like the Roman road. Don't beg me, whether to spare you or not, it's up to her. Fang Chen turned to look at Lin Yu Yu, who had been bullied by Yuli Yuli, causing Lin Yu Yu to have psychological shadows. This matter could only be resolved by Lin Yu Yu herself to erase her shadow. Hearing Fang Chen's words, Yuli Yuli looked towards Lin Yu Yu again. There was a hint of unwillingness in her eyes. It was a great humiliation for her to have to beg someone she had bullied in the past. But she didn't want to die. So, she crawled and rolled to Lin Yu Yu's side again, squeezing out a flattering smile to beg Lin Yu Yu. Yu Yu, it was my fault before. Hit me, you can hit me however you want, I won't resist. As she spoke, Yuli Yuli even took the initiative to slap herself. The sound was so loud that it seemed like she was hitting herself hard. Lin Yu Yu looked at her coldly. In the past, she had led people to surround her, forced her to kneel down, and slapped herself. She never expected that one day she would kneel in front of her. And all of this was accomplished with the help of Fang Chen. She admired Fang Chen even more in her heart, and had more affection for him. It was truly a great fortune for her and her sister to meet Fang Chen. It was just a pity that such a man was destined not to be confined to a cold storage room. He would go on to a bigger world in the future, where there would be all kinds of women. She just hoped he wouldn't forget her sister. I won't hit you, don't bother. Lin Yu Yu said coldly. Yuli Yuli was stunned, what did she mean? Not hitting her? Did she want to kill her? She was so scared that she almost cried, and started pulling Lin Yu Yu directly, trying to grab Lin Yu Yu's hand to hit herself in frustration. Yu Yu, I was really wrong, hit me, I'll count out to you, please don't kill me, I don't want to die. Lin Yu Yu broke free directly. I won't hit you, because I don't want to become a person like you. A person like me? Yes, I have experienced the pain of being bullied in school. You may feel a sense of accomplishment from bullying others, but I won't. I won't be like you, someone who bullies others for fun. So, you're not going to kill me? Yuli Yuli asked tentatively, a hint of joy gradually appearing on her face. Obviously, Lin Yu Yu's words did not make Yuli Yuli feel remorse, she was only worried about whether she could survive. As long as she could survive, she would continue to bully others. Lin Yu Yu shook her head, I won't hit you, but I will kill you. Lin Yu Yu's eyes turned cold, she used her wind elemental ability, a wind blade directly cut Yuli Yuli's throat. Yuli Yuli fell to the ground. She lost her breath. This scene immediately shocked Lu Fang beside her. Even Fang Chen was slightly surprised. He had just thought that Lin Yu Yu would show mercy and let her go. But he didn't expect that Lin Yu Yu chose not to bully her, but chose to kill her directly. However, upon careful thought, it was understandable. Lin Yu Yu just didn't want to become the same as a school bully, but she did not choose to forgive the pain caused by the other party. With clear goals, decisive choices, and a clear distinction between right and wrong, Lin Yu Yu looked at the terrified Lu Fong. Don't, don't kill me, I didn't bully you. Lu Fong looked at Lin Yu Yu in horror, unable to understand why she, who had been so honest before, was now killing without hesitation. Is this how honest people react when pushed to the edge? She was like a witch. You didn't bully me, but you helped the tyrant. Lin Yu Yu's expression was indifferent. 
She had been bullied by Yu Lily before, and sought help from Lu Fong more than once, but the latter completely ignored her and even said that she should find the reason for being bullied on herself. I was also forced to do so. I am just a teacher. I have called her parents before, but she didn't change. Her parents even complained that I was framing her. I can only turn a blind eye, otherwise I will lose my job. I have a family to support, I can't afford to be jobless. Lu Fang pleaded with Lin Yu Yu. Lin Yu Yu stopped in her tracks. What the other party said was indeed a very real problem. In this day and age, teachers like her who work outside of schools, or even in schools, have no status. Once they receive a complaint, they are basically waiting to be fired, at worst, their future will be ruined. This is also why many teachers are not responsible, finding a job is too difficult. Ignoring the situation, one can only say that they lack professional ethics, but it doesn't mean they are bad. They just chose their family over their students. Although Lin Yu Yu was decisive, she was not unreasonable. The main culprit was already dead, there was no need to kill another person who was implicated. You can go. Lin Yu Yu waved her hand, letting Lu Fan leave. In the chaotic world today, how long can a woman like her survive? Thank you, thank you. Lu Fan was overjoyed, quickly preparing to leave. However, after hesitating for a moment, she turned to Fang Chen and said, there were eight of us who came together. One of them went to the restroom on the way and arrived later than us. He still hasn't shown up, he probably discovered that you killed someone from the Dahai gang, and most likely has gone to report it. You should escape quickly. Someone has gone to inform them? Fang Chen's heart tightened. He didn't expect that after dealing with everyone, there was still a loophole. Although Fang Chen was not afraid of the Dahai gang, Lin Yu Yu was still here. According to Zhang Yang, they had 18 ability users. Being attacked by so many ability users was still dangerous. Trying to run? It's too late. Just as Fang Chen was about to leave, a dull voice came from the street. Fang Chen looked over and saw at least 30 people, each holding different weapons, approaching aggressively. What surprised Fang Chen was that all these people had awakened abilities, and several of them had awakened to T2 level. It seemed that during this time, the Dahai gang had recruited other ability users. This was troublesome. With over 30 ability users, even with his spatial ability and a gun, he couldn't kill them all. At most, he could only save his own life. The combat power of the early spatial ability was too weak. Dare to inform others, scum, go to hell. A burly man walked up to Lu Fang and directly released a flame towards her. Fire ability, T1 level. Lu Fang was enveloped in flames, screaming in pain, rolling on the ground, but the flame showed no signs of extinguishing. In less than two minutes, Lu Fang was already unrecognizable, becoming a charred corpse. The method was extremely cruel, but there was no mercy on the man's face, he even had a smile on his lips, seemingly enjoying the sound of her screams in the flames. Pervert, Lin Yu Yu cursed silently, feeling a bit scared as she hid behind Fang Chen. Kid, you look familiar. After dealing with Lu Fang, Fu Dehai shifted his gaze to Fang Chen. He felt like he had seen Fang Chen before. Boss, I remember him, he borrowed money from us before, 200,000. A henchman behind Fu Dahai said. Oh, Fu Dahai raised his eyebrows, taunting and cruelly said, Kid, your luck is really bad. Originally, encountering the apocalypse, you might not have to repay your money, but unexpectedly, you met me, and even killed someone from my Dahai gang. According to the rules, I should kill you to mourn my brother. Fu Dahai's tone changed, however, I can give you another chance. What chance? Join our Dahai gang. Is it that simple? Of course not, Fu Dahai grinned, first, hand over all the evolved crystals you've obtained to repay the 200,000 you owe us. Secondly, give this woman to me, let our brothers have some fun with her, as a tribute to our deceased brother. But you don't have to worry, I'm just playing around, I'll return her to you after. Fu Dahai stared at Lin Yu Yu. It has to be said that in this dry apocalypse, Lin Yu Yu, who was already beautiful, seemed even more charming. Because now, 99% of people are grimy and dirty, even the most attractive faces have lost their charm. Her clean and fair skin alone was enough to attract people. So, even Fu Dahai, who had many beautiful women around him as the gang leader, couldn't resist Lin Yu Yu's charm. Lin Yu Yu turned pale. She had never been in a relationship, how could she accompany these people? She would rather die. Fang Chen's expression also turned cold upon hearing this. Handing over all the evolved crystals and sending Lin Yu Yu to the other side was absolutely impossible. Not to mention the importance of the evolved crystals. Lin Yu Yu was his sister-in-law, considered family. If he did this, Lin Zijin would hate him for life. Moreover, he couldn't trade his woman's life for a chance to survive. He wasn't that kind of person. What if I don't? Fang Chen said coldly. If not, then you'll die, Fu Dahai sneered, looking content. 
Although Fang Chen still had a gun in his hand, Fu Dahai didn't even consider him a threat. He had encountered many armed individuals these days, including lone soldiers and police officers. And what happened? Wasn't he still alive and well? He had met too many people like Fang Chen. Initially, they were stubborn, but after being beaten, they obediently joined, tasted the benefits, and eventually had no thoughts of rebellion. That's human nature. However, he underestimated Fang Chen and misjudged him. In the face of family ties, Fang Chen couldn't compromise. Fine, I agree, come and take it. Fang Chen pretended to struggle. He noticed that there were several awakened individuals with defensive and magnetic abilities standing near Fu Dahai, aiming to protect him. It would be difficult to kill Fu Dahai head-on with a gun. If he made a move, Fu Dahai would likely be shielded, and then they would attack him. Oomph, trying to fool me, do you think I'm that idiot Zhang Yang? Seeing Fang Chen still using the same old tricks, Fu Dahai sneered disdainfully, stay where you are and throw the crystal on the ground. This. Fang Chen, feeling his plan had been exposed, sighed helplessly, reluctantly threw an evolved crystal over. Consider yourself sensible. Watching the crystal thrown by Fang Chen, Fu Dahai smiled satisfactorily, but he didn't pick it up directly, instead instructing his men to do so. Go, pick it up. Yes. A henchman with defensive abilities stepped forward. Even Fang Chen couldn't help but secretly admire his cautiousness. He was indeed a leader, not falling for the trick, much smarter than the previous Zhang Yang. However, if the other side thought they could evade his attack this way, they were mistaken. After confirming the crystal was safe, the henchman handed it to Fu Dahai. Indeed an evolved crystal. Fu Dahai carefully examined the crystal, confirmed its authenticity, and laughed heartily before casually putting it in his pocket. Seeing this, Fang Chen inwardly sneered. You set this up yourself. Kid, now as long as you bring this woman over, all our grievances will be settled. And, you can also join our gang, where you can receive a bottle of mineral water and a bowl of rice every day. You can also freely enjoy the women in the gang, rest assured, you won't lose out following us. Fu Dahai looked smug, his eyes already shamelessly sizing up Lin Yuyu, as if she was already his possession. No problem, Fang Chen smiled, approaching Lin Yuyu, then grabbing her delicate jade hand, as if he was about to pull her towards Fu Dahai. Lin Yuyu looked at Fang Chen, but there was no ripple in her heart, she would never believe that Fang Chen would hand her over to someone else. Sure enough, Fang Chen pulled Lin Yuyu and started to run away. Damn it, trying to escape, chase after him. Fu Dahai saw this and immediately chased after Fang Chen. However, as soon as he took a step, there was a sudden explosion, and Fu Dahai let out a heart-wrenching scream. Lin Yuyu turned around in confusion. She saw Fu Dahai, who had been lively just moments ago, now lying on the ground in a pitiful state, his lower body already a bloody mess, probably beyond humane repair for the rest of his life. She couldn't help but admire Fang Chen, she knew he must have done this. As for how he did it, she didn't know. Brother-in-law is truly a miraculous man, this was indeed done by Fang Chen, and the method was simple. Spatial Mark Spatial mark can be placed anywhere as a marker, serving as a monitoring function to observe the surrounding dynamics in real time, and can also act as a bomb. With just a thought, it can detonate the mark causing massive damage. Just now, Fang Chen had placed a spatial mark on the crystal he gave to Fu Dahai. Originally, Fang Chen intended to detonate it in Fu Dahai's hands, but he didn't expect Fu Dahai to directly put it in his pocket. Ah, this old six, actually played dirty tricks on me. Fu Dahai lay on the ground in a bloody mess, his expression twisted in pain and anger, staring angrily at Fang Chen's fleeing figure, swearing that he would not let him go. Don't mind me, catch him, I want to skin him alive. Fu Dahai pushed away his men who were looking after him. Yes. Over 20 henchmen immediately chased after Fang Chen who was fleeing. They are chasing us, what should we do? Lin Yuyu saw the powered individuals chasing after them, her face filled with worry, among them were speed-powered individuals. Let's hide first and find opportunities to take them down one by one. Facing a frontal confrontation, Fang Chen couldn't handle so many powered individuals at once, although he had firearms, they were not invincible, some of the powered individuals on the other side were not afraid of firearms, and they also had firearms. If surrounded from all sides, he could find an opportunity to escape, but Lin Yuyu wouldn't be able to. However, Fang Chen wasn't afraid of guerrilla warfare. He possessed spatial abilities, allowing him to pass through walls at any time to launch surprise attacks on enemies, making him unpredictable. Dian Mu, go lure two people here. Fang Chen, with Lin Yuyu, directly hid in an alley and then instructed Dian Mu. Meow. In the face of serious matters, Dian Mu was very serious, not throwing a tantrum this time, and obediently went. Fang Chen didn't have to worry about Dian Mu. Cats are naturally fast, and Dian Mu had awakened her electric ability, making her uncatchable. Brother-in-law, 
Why do you want to lure them here? Watching Dian Mu leave, Lin Yu Yu was puzzled, shouldn't they be trying to escape now? Of course, to kill them. They want the evolution crystals, each of them has an evolution crystal in their heads. Fong Chen sneered. Brother-in-law, what are you doing? Lin Yu Yu saw Fong Chen suddenly squat down and press his palm to the ground. Fong Chen smiled mysteriously, you'll see in a moment. Let's wait in the next room for Dian Mu to come. Fong Chen, with Lin Yu Yu, moved to a house next to the alley, with a wall in between. After a while, Dian Mu successfully attracted three powered individuals. Damn, where is that cat? She just peed on my head, I'm going to skin her alive. Three mutants saw the electric mother stop, and one by one they lunged at her ferociously. However, when they were halfway there, suddenly there was a loud explosion under their feet. Without exception, all three of them had their lower limbs disabled, lying on the ground in a pool of blood. Fong Chen smirked and left with Lin Yu Yu. Lin Yu Yu was stunned to see this scene. She was even more puzzled. There were no windows here, no line of sight. How could Fong Chen know that the enemy had arrived here and detonated the explosion? Could it be that her brother-in-law's mutant ability was X-ray vision? Ah! Thinking that Fong Chen might have X-ray vision, Lin Yu Yu exclaimed in shock, quickly crossing her arms in front of her chest. What are you doing? Fang Chen was a bit puzzled, not understanding why she was hugging her chest like that. Brother-in-law, do you have X-ray vision? Lin Yu Yu asked tentatively. X-ray vision? Fang Chen was taken aback, then realized what Lin Yu Yu meant. She was probably wondering how he could see the enemy on the other side of the wall. Come to think of it, his spatial imprint was similar to X-ray vision. If he imprinted on the opponent's body, he could observe the situation inside the opponent's body. Something like that, Fang Chen nodded. Ah, brother-in-law, don't look at me. Lin Yu Yu became even more panicked, hugging her arms tighter and turning around to show only her backside to Fang Chen. Fang Chen couldn't help but chuckle. Did she think he was peeking at her with x-ray vision? You're so small, I'm not interested in looking, don't worry. Small? Hearing this, Lin Yu Yu was not pleased, turning back and saying, where am I small? I'm even bigger than my sister. Bigger than Lin Zijin? Fang Chen thought of Lin Zijin, then looked at Lin Yu Yu. Although she was wearing a loose t-shirt, it couldn't hide her impressive figure, and there was still room for development. It seemed like her figure was indeed better than Lin Zijin's. What did this girl eat to grow like this? However, Fang Chen had no intention of discussing body shapes with his sister-in-law, so he pretended to be confused and said, You call her sister, how could you be older than her? I was talking about age, what were you talking about? I, Lin Yu Yu was taken aback, her face turning somewhat unnatural. She couldn't possibly say what she was really talking about. I was talking about voices, voices. Sister's voice is softer. Lin Yu Yu quickly found an excuse. Voices? Fang Chen's expression became even more strange. Lin Zijin's voice last night wasn't exactly soft. All right, let's stop talking. The explosion just now probably attracted others. Let's go quickly. Fang Chen changed the subject, first digging out the crystals from the heads of the three mutants then taking Lin Yu Yu and the electric mother to the next location. Following that, Fang Chen used the same method to lure people over with the electric mother, set up traps himself, and successively took down nearly 10 mutants from the Dahai gang. Damn, this old six is too cunning, setting traps every time, waiting for our people to fall into them, and we can't even see his traps. The members of the Dahai gang looked at the bodies of their companions, each with their heads cut open, feeling a chill in their hearts. This guy was not only cunning but also cruel. What should we do? Keep chasing? Chase what? Can we catch old six? Chasing after him is just asking for death. What about avenging the boss? The one who can't take care of himself after being blown up is the boss, not you. You only make a few hundred bucks a month, what's the point of risking your life? The members of the Dahai gang suffered heavy losses, and no one wanted to sacrifice their lives anymore. They had basically given up on the idea of chasing after Fong Chen. Fong Chen breathed a sigh of relief. Setting up spatial imprints was very energy-consuming, and he had used five imprints in a row, leaving him exhausted. If the other party were to chase after him again, it wouldn't be easy to deal with them. Today's harvest was not bad, with over 30 mutant crystals. In addition to the mutants he had killed, while moving through the locations, Fang Chen had found over 10 more crystals. The crystals in this area had been almost completely plundered. Today's goal could be considered achieved. They're gone, let's go back and find the car. Fong Chen said to Lin Yu Yu, whom, the two slowly moved towards the direction of the armored vehicle, but Fong Chen was still a little worried if they would be waiting near the armored vehicle for him to pass. However, as soon as they arrived near the armored vehicle, Fong Chen heard the sound of a fight again. 
Fang Chen leaned over to take a look and found that the gang who had just chased him had started fighting with another group of people. Among them, the most eye-catching were a man and a woman, who seemed to be a couple, both with T1 level abilities, one with earth-based abilities and the other with wood-based abilities. It seemed that this group was fighting with the gang to seize his armored vehicle. Dogs fighting dogs? Fang Chen couldn't help but smile. He had been worried about being ambushed by them, but now it was good, as he could take advantage of the chaos to drive away in the armored vehicle. Yu Yu, sneak towards the street while I go drive the armored vehicle, Fang Chen ordered. With his current strength, he couldn't use spatial blinking to take others with him, so he had to approach the armored vehicle by himself through walls. Hmm. Lin Yu Yu had wind-based abilities, so this was something she could handle. The two of them acted. Fang Chen used spatial blinking to shuttle through the buildings, and in less than a moment, he successfully sat in the armored vehicle. He immediately drove the vehicle towards Lin Yu Yu's location. The roar of the vehicle immediately caught the attention of others. The man with earth-based abilities directly used his abilities to control rocks, trying to stop Fang Chen, but he could only control some small rocks, which couldn't stop Fang Chen's armored vehicle at all. Damn it! The man cursed under his breath, then noticed Lin Yu Yu, who was waiting for Fang Chen. His eyes narrowed, and he immediately controlled the rocks to throw them at Lin Yu Yu. Lin Yu Yu quickly dodged, but there were too many rocks, and one of them hit her fair jade leg hard. Ah! Lin Yu Yu cried out in pain, but she gritted her teeth and ran towards Fang Chen, successfully getting into the armored vehicle. Wu Yu, she's just a child, how can you do this? The woman next to the man also noticed this scene and couldn't help but scold her husband. In this world today, what distinction is there between adults and children? Besides, they are obviously in cahoots with these thugs. You've been a doctor for too long, too soft-hearted, this will backfire on us. Wu Yu shrugged, unconcerned. Is there anything wrong with saving people? She didn't harm us. LV Su snorted and ignored her husband. On the road, Fang Chen drove the armored vehicle towards the cold storage. The world was getting more chaotic, with superhumans starting to attack each other in less than 10 days. And such incidents would only increase in the future. What's wrong with you? Suddenly, Fang Chen noticed that Lin Yu Yu beside him looked a bit pale. Upon closer inspection, he found that her thigh was slightly twisted and bleeding continuously, indicating a fracture. What happened? Fang Chen frowned deeply. I was accidentally hit by that person with rocks just now. Lin Yu Yu said weakly, recounting what had just happened. What? Fang Chen was instantly furious and wanted to drive back to dismember that person. However, Lin Yu Yu was injured and couldn't afford any delay. Damn it! Don't let me encounter them again. Fang Chen had already memorized the appearance of the man and woman. If given the chance, Fang Chen would definitely seek revenge. Let me apply some medicine for you first. In the space, Fang Chen had stocked some medicine, and he immediately took out some to stop Lin Yu Yu's bleeding. Thank you, brother-in-law. Lin Yu Yu's leg injury was very serious, not only were the muscles cut, but the bone was also fractured. It couldn't be healed with just medicine. Now that the outside was filled with zombie viruses, the wound was easily infected, so Fang Chen could only bandage it for now. As for the broken bone, only a professional doctor could treat it. But at this moment, where could they find a professional doctor? Thank you, brother-in-law, you saved me again. Lin Yu Yu looked at Fang Chen, who was earnestly bandaging her, feeling a surge of warmth in her heart. Fang Chen was the best man to her, including her father, since she was young. First, he risked his life to find her at school, then he appeared as a hero to save her when she was in danger at the supermarket, just helped her take revenge, and now he was treating her with care. It felt like he was her guardian angel. So how are you going to thank me? Fang Chen asked as he bandaged her, looking at Lin Yu Yu, who looked weak and could faint at any moment. He had seen educational videos online before, stating that when a patient was critically injured, they must not be allowed to sleep as it could easily lead to brain death. To solve this problem, Doctors usually engage the patient in conversation during treatment to keep their attention focused and also alleviate their pain. So Fang Chen deliberately talked to Lin Yu Yu. How could she repay Fang Chen? Lin Yu Yu thought to herself. Counting, Fang Chen had saved her twice, the first time she set up her sister with him to repay him. What about this time? Everything she ate, drank, and used now belonged to Fang Chen, including her only sister. It seemed like she really had nothing to repay Fang Chen with. Wait, she still had one last thing. Could it be? Lin Yu Yu suddenly thought of a certain scene, shook her head immediately, how could that be? It was too absurd. After bandaging Lin Yu Yu and giving her some antibiotics and glucose to replenish her strength, Fang Chen immediately drove back to the cold storage. Fang Chen carried Lin Yu Yu and opened the door. Lin Zijin had already woken up, and her face turned pale when she saw the scene. Husband, what's wrong with you? 
Lin Zijin had just been intimate with Fang Chen, feeling sweet inside, but she didn't expect to see this scene as soon as she opened the door, which startled her. Don't worry, you still don't know what your husband is capable of? Fang Chen comforted her. Sister, shouldn't you be concerned about me first? I'm the one who's injured. Lin Yuyu, in Fang Chen's arms, looked at her sister who seemed to care more about Fang Chen than herself. She thought to herself, a married off sister is like water poured out. What's wrong with you you? Lin Zijin blushed and looked worriedly at her sister. She, Fang Chen's expression darkened as he explained what had happened. She's not in a life-threatening situation, but her leg injury might be troublesome. Simple medication won't heal it, she needs a professional doctor. If we can't find one, she might end up disabled. Fang Chen sighed. In her past life, Lin Zijin was disabled, and this life it might fall on Lin Yuyu. Thinking of the man and woman responsible for this, she vowed not to let them off the hook. Disabled? Lin Zijin's heart trembled at the thought of her beautiful sister becoming disabled, it would ruin her whole life. Don't worry, I'll go find a doctor for Yu Yu right now. Fang Chen reassured Lin Zijin. No! Lin Zijin quickly stopped him, hugging Fang Chen tightly, I don't want you to be in danger again. If Yu Yu's leg can't be healed, then so be it, I'll take care of her for the rest of my life. If anything happens to you, I... Don't worry, nothing will happen. Seeing how concerned Lin Zijin was for him, Fang Chen was also touched, he smiled, I can't bear to see such a beautiful sister-in-law become disabled. After repeatedly assuring Lin Zijin of his safety, Fang Chen left the cold storage to find a doctor. Luo Shue Golden City Villa Area LV Su angrily pushed open the villa gate and slammed the door shut. LV Su, 28 years old this year, had been a proud girl since childhood, the only school flower in school, with countless suitors. After obtaining her Ph.D., she became the head of surgery at Luocheng Hospital before she turned 30, and also married a wealthy second generation from a third-rate family in Luocheng, making countless women envious. But everything had changed. Continuous high temperatures have led to hospitals being crowded with patients, busy and overwhelmed every day. Originally respected, she was criticized for not being dedicated enough due to the overwhelming number of patients she couldn't save. Later, the hospital suddenly had zombies, and she barely managed to save her own life. But the hospital closed down, and she lost her job. Recently, she and her husband both awakened supernatural abilities, and her husband also underwent changes. Her once gentle and refined husband started becoming aggressive, associating with all kinds of thugs and rogues, frequently getting into fights. These days, he has already killed dozens of people, and just recently even targeted a teenage girl, which was difficult for LV Sue who usually saves lives, to accept. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is that her once faithful husband has now become lecherous, openly bringing other women home and saying that in today's world, the strong should have multiple women to continue superior genes. Enraged, she slammed the door and left. She wanted him to regret it. Several hours passed. By noon, the sunlight was particularly glaring, and the weather was exceptionally scorching. Fang Chen drove around, searching for a doctor, and finally arrived near the Luoshue Jinchang Villa area. Thinking he would return empty-handed, he was surprised to see several people with bandaged arms. Fang Chen was intrigued. In this post-apocalyptic world, they still had bandages on them, and the way the bandages were wrapped indicated that only professional medical personnel could have done it. Fang Chen immediately drove over. The group was searching for supplies when they suddenly noticed a large armored vehicle heading towards them, making them nervous. Things have been chaotic recently, not only with zombies but also with many survivors from other places coming here to rob. Their injuries were inflicted by others, and their house had been taken over. If they hadn't handed over all their savings, they would probably have been killed by now. Fang Chen got out of the car and glanced at the group. What do you want? We have no supplies left. The slightly older middle-aged man shielded his wife and seven or eight-year-old daughter behind him. The middle-aged man was somewhat overweight but had an extraordinary temperament, obviously a wealthy man before the apocalypse, but now looking a bit disheveled. I mean no harm, Fang Chen said with a warm smile, I just want to ask, who wrapped the bandages on your hands? It was Sister LV who wrapped them for us. Before the middle-aged man could answer, his seven or eight-year-old daughter, with wide eyes, spoke up. Xiaolu. The middle-aged man immediately covered his daughter's mouth. He didn't know Fang Chen's intentions, and since Fang Chen didn't appear injured, it wouldn't be good if he was causing trouble for DR. LV. Recently, Dr. LV's husband had offended many people, and there were frequent attacks here, almost daily conflicts. It seemed that those people couldn't deal with Wu Yu and wanted to target Dr. LV. Although Wu Yu wasn't a good person, he had received Dr. LV's kindness, so how could he put her in danger? Sister LV? Can you tell me where Dr. 
LV is? Fang Chen immediately asked the middle-aged man, I mean no harm, but a friend of mine is injured and needs medical treatment. She's also a young girl, and if not treated properly, she may end up disabled. The middle-aged man frowned, hesitating a bit. Fang Chen's expression didn't seem fake, but what if it was a pretense? People can be treacherous. The other party was driving an armored vehicle but didn't look like a soldier, likely having taken it from the military. I don't know any DR. LV, we have things to do, we'll be going. The man shook his head and was about to leave, pulling his daughter and wife along. Fong Chen was anxious. It was clear that they knew but were unwilling to tell him. He immediately stopped them. What do you want? The middle-aged man panicked, his voice starting to tremble. Don't misunderstand, I really mean no harm. Fong Chen did not take action, but took out a steak and mineral water, your daughter must not have eaten for a long time. As a father, you should not want to see your daughter go hungry. Just tell me the location of Dr. Lu, and this steak will be yours. Looking at the fragrant steak and the refreshing mineral water, the middle-aged man's Adam's apple moved slightly. Since the apocalypse, they had been barely surviving, drinking mostly contaminated water. Sometimes he even had to drink his daughter's urine. Clean mineral water like this was more precious than a million. He glanced at his daughter. She was staring at the steak with wide eyes, not blinking, drooling almost dripping. He felt a pang of heartache. Do you really mean no harm? The man asked, his tone already softening. Fong Chen nodded earnestly, no. Okay, I'll tell you. And so, tempted by a steak in mineral water, the middle-aged man's originally firm resolve not to betray Dr. Liu was shattered. Thank you. After getting the location, Fong Chen thanked him. Thank you, big brother. My name is Milu, what's your name, big brother? The little girl held the steak, drooling, and curiously asked Fong Chen. For so many days, Fang Chen was the first person to give them food, unlike others who would come to their house and snatch things, take over their home, and even beat her father. Milu? Hearing this name, Fang Chen couldn't help but feel a hint of curiosity. My name is Fang Chen. After leaving home, Lu Su saw injured people on the road, so she took out the bandages she carried with her and used her abilities to help. She had learned medicine since she was young. Her master told her that a doctor should treat the sick and save lives. So, even though it was the end of the world, Lu Su had lost her job as a doctor, she still upheld this principle. Phew, Lu Su breathed out, wiped the sweat from her forehead, and somewhat tiredly said to the man in front of her, your injury is almost healed, but it's nothing serious. If you have any problems, you can come back to me tomorrow. Today she had saved more than a dozen people in a row, and her abilities were running low. The man with the injured arm in front of her looked at Lu Su with an evil gaze, then suddenly grabbed her arm. What are you doing? Lu Su was a little flustered, trying to break free from his grip, but she had no strength now, no abilities, and couldn't break free at all. Doctor, my hand is fine now, but my leg is a bit swollen, what do you think? The man smirked. Your leg isn't swollen? Lu Su looked at his intact legs. I'm not talking about this leg, but... The man smirked and said lewdly, Doctor, as the saying goes, when you give to the Buddha, you might as well treat my leg too. Hearing this, Lu Su realized that the man wanted to violate her and she was suddenly filled with anger. You ingrate, I just treated you, and you, are shameless. She never expected that after saving him, not only did he not show gratitude, but he also wanted to violate her. She was too naive. Even in peacetime, there were cases of patients turning against doctors, even killing them, let alone in this chaotic post-apocalyptic world. Hee <laughs> hee, I am shameless, but I am feeling a bit uncomfortable now, I need to borrow the doctor's body to treat it. The man smirked evilly and pounced towards Lu Su. No. Lu Su exclaimed. She felt a sense of despair. However, after a moment, the foul-smelling body she had imagined did not press down on her. She opened her eyes in confusion and saw the man who had just tried to violate her lying on the ground in a lifeless state. Standing in front of her was a tall, handsome young man, looking down at her from above. Thank you, Lu Su breathed out, feeling a sense of relief after surviving a disaster. However, she found that the other person's gaze was not right. When she lowered her head, she discovered that her neckline was a bit loose. From the high angle of the other person, they could easily see her fair skin. Her face turned red with embarrassment. She immediately adjusted her clothes and stood up. Being seen by a man so much younger was truly humiliating. Oomph, you're welcome. As long as you repay me, it's fine. Fang Chen had actually seen LV Su early on and immediately recognized her as the woman with wood-based abilities who was with the man who injured Lin Yu Yu last night. He never expected that the doctor he found was actually his enemy. The world is indeed small. Last night, he was thinking about avenging Lin Yu Yu when he found these two people. He never expected to encounter them today. Fang Chen looked LV Su over again. She was wearing a white dress, 
with very dignified features, long and fair legs, and at the age of 28, the most mature and charming age for a woman. That guy from last night actually injured his younger sister-in-law's leg. Was it too much to demand some interest from his wife? Repay? LV Su's heart skipped a beat, fearing that Fang Chen would make the same unreasonable request as the man just now. She immediately said, no problem, my house is nearby, I'll have my husband give you supplies. I don't need supplies, Fang Chen had billions worth of supplies in his space. What do you want then? LV Su swallowed nervously, feeling a bit scared, as she had escaped the wolf's den only to enter the tiger's lair. Do you remember the girl your husband injured last night? Girl? LV Su suddenly remembered, surprised that the other party had come seeking revenge so quickly. I'm sorry about last night, I will heal your girlfriend. LV Su quickly said. Heal? Fang Chen coldly snorted, that's what you should do, but how do you account for the pain she suffered? I. LV Su was speechless. So what will you do? Your husband hurt her, should I also hurt you a bit, isn't that fair? Fang Chen smirked, leaning towards her. No! LV Su exclaimed. Hurt me. Can the pain you inflict be compared to the pain that girl suffered? I will heal your girlfriend. Please, spare me, I'm already married. LV Su was close to tears, now hating her husband for injuring that girl yesterday, which led to her suffering today. Married? Fang Chen chuckled, that's a bonus point? Fang Chen stopped his actions. While he wanted to teach LV Su a lesson, he couldn't actually do anything in public. He didn't have any special fetishes, he would deal with her at home later. Where is your husband? Fang Chen asked. What do you want to do? Of course, kill him. I hold grudges, Fang Chen sneered. LV Su thought, you hold grudges? You're just seeking revenge. It's useless. My home is heavily guarded, and my husband is also an ability user. You'll just be walking into your death, LV Su advised. I never walk into death, Fang Chen sneered, tell me now, or I'll deal with you on the spot. LV Su was a bit scared, not wanting Fang Chen to do anything in public. She reluctantly gave him her home address. What are you doing? Suddenly, LV Su saw Fang Chen take out a rope from somewhere. What are you doing? Haven't you seen a movie before? Fang Chen rolled his eyes at her, then tied LV Su into a turtle shape and threw her into his car. Then, he headed towards LV Su's home. After a few hours, his abilities had mostly recovered, and he could now use spatial teleportation. He could cover a distance of about 10 meters at a time, ignoring walls, and no one noticed Fang Chen. But just for a moment, Fang Chen had stealthily entered Lu Su's villa without anyone noticing. The villa was very large, covering at least a thousand square meters, with several generators maintaining partial electricity supply. There were also many supernatural beings guarding outside the courtyard, but none of them noticed Fang Chen sneaking into the villa. Fang Chen carefully observed that there were at least 50 people in this villa, including the neighboring villa, half of whom were supernatural beings with some firearms in their hands. If surrounded by these people, even if Fang Chen could escape, he would likely get injured. In the apocalypse, getting injured was very dangerous, as one could easily turn into a zombie. Therefore, Fang Chen had to ensure his own safety as much as possible. He cautiously moved through various corners of the villa, searching for Wu Yu's location. This guy has a lot of supplies. Fang Chen used spatial blinking to appear in a room filled with various goods, including hundreds of bags of rice and over a thousand bottles of mineral water, all likely looted by that guy who had tried to steal Fang Chen's armored vehicle the day before. The room's door was locked, and besides Wu Yu himself, no one else could enter, so no one noticed Fang Chen. Humph, consider this as payment for my sister-in-law's medical expenses. Fang Chen coldly chuckled and directly used his spatial ability to take away all the goods in the room. As Fang Chen collected items from a hidden corner, he suddenly noticed an iron box tightly locked with several locks, emitting a faint light. What's this? Fang Chen curiously examined the box, but as it was locked, forcefully opening it would attract attention. After some thought, he decided to leave a spatial mark on it and then used the mark's monitoring function to see what was inside. When he saw that it was all evolution crystals, Fang Chen was slightly astonished. There were probably over a dozen of them. Fang Chen had been searching for crystals since the first day and had only found about a hundred so far, while this guy had found over a dozen. However, considering that the other side had dozens of people searching together, while Fang Chen was alone with a cat, he had also considered recruiting some followers. But Fang Chen was cautious, as his current strength was not particularly strong, so his requirements for followers were high. He didn't want to be betrayed by close people like in his past life, so he had not taken any action yet. Currently, Fang Chen only had the Lin sisters as his companions. I'll take these. Fang Chen didn't plan to leave anything for that guy and took everything. After emptying the opponent's supplies, Fang Chen moved on to the next location to find Wu Yu. When he reached the top floor of the villa, 
Fang Chen faintly heard some gasping sounds and followed them to a room where he saw several men and women entangled. Brother Wu Yu, your wife is out, aren't you worried she might run away? A woman gasped and asked a man. What's there to fear? Wu Yu sneered. Her family used to be powerful, afraid she would divorce me, so I could only play secretly. Now that the apocalypse has come, her family's supermarket has been looted of billions worth of goods, their fortune has declined. Without me, she'd probably starve to death in a few days. Am I worried she'll run away? Just wait, she'll come back on her own. Women are all ungrateful. Brother Wu Yu is amazing, taming the high and mighty DR. Lu so obediently, two other women beside Wu Yu praised admiringly. Of course. Wu Yu smirked and said to the two women, after we're done, I'll give each of you a bottle of mineral water. A bottle? The women's eyes lit up, becoming even more enthusiastic. Damn, they're playing like this? Seeing the disgusting scene in the room, Fang Chen couldn't help but complain. This guy's wife is out there treating people, while he's here playing mahjong with three girls. He's really no better than an animal. Hoof. Fang Chen coldly snorted to himself, thinking about how the guy injured his younger sister's leg yesterday, his eyes immediately filled with murderous intent. He took out a gun from the space, hiding in the dark and aiming at the guy's head. Seizing the moment when he was distracted, he pulled the trigger. Bang! The bullet shot out, and the room was filled with the screams of a man and a woman at the same time. Fong Chen frowned. Just as the shot was fired, Wu Yu happened to change positions with the woman beneath him, and the bullet hit the woman. However, the bullet also pierced through the woman's body and hit Wu Yu. He screamed in pain and fell down, but Fong Chen couldn't be sure if he was dead. Gunshot, there's a gunshot. It came from the third floor, something's wrong with the boss. The gunshot alarmed the mutants in the yard, and a group of people immediately ran towards the upstairs. Sensing the danger, Fang Chen immediately used spatial blinking to appear downstairs at the villa, narrowly passing by the mutants entering the house. He thought to himself, it's a pity. After all, he was not a professional gunman, and he only started dealing with firearms in the post-apocalyptic world. Otherwise, he might have been able to anticipate the guy's actions. Soon, Fang Chen returned to Lu Su's side. Lu Su looked excited, having also heard the gunshot from inside the villa. Seeing Fang Chen return unharmed, she felt uneasy. Unfortunately, her mouth was gagged with underwear by Fong Chen, so she could only make muffled sounds, unable to speak. Fong Chen removed it. What have you done? What did you do to my husband? Lu Su immediately questioned loudly. What happened? Fong Chen snorted, didn't you hear the gunshot? Of course, I killed him. What? Lu Su suddenly felt dizzy, tears streaming down her face. Although she had just had a quarrel with her husband, he was still her husband. Upon hearing this bad news, she felt like her world was falling apart. Why, I promised to help cure your girlfriend. Why did you still kill him? Why are you so cruel? Lu Su tried to struggle against Fang Chen, but she was bound by the turtle shell and couldn't move. Hearing her words, Fang Chen sneered, helping cure her is your duty, but your husband made me suffer, so he had to die. If I injure you, then heal you, will your husband just let it go? I, Lu Su was speechless. Before the apocalypse, she would have agreed, but now. In these days, Wu Yu had been fighting with other factions every day, seizing resources, and had killed dozens of people. She worked so hard to help people recover, just to accumulate some merit for Wu Yu. However, her speed of accumulating merit couldn't keep up with Wu Yu's misdeeds. But no matter what, he was still her husband. Lu Su's eyes were filled with hatred towards Fang Chen for killing her husband. Fang Chen glanced at Lu Su with a smile that wasn't a smile. Do you know what he was doing when I killed him? Lu Su was puzzled. Fang Chen grinned and joked, it's quite interesting. You were sweating outside treating people, while your husband was sweating at home, diligently giving injections to three women. No wonder you two are a couple, truly compassionate healers, with the wife working outside and the husband inside? Lu Su's face turned pale. In fact, she had known about this for a long time, and it was precisely for this reason that she had left home, hoping her husband would repent. He's just been influenced by the apocalypse, causing a change in his temperament. He wasn't like this before, Lu Su defended her husband. Compared to her husband, Lu Su's character was not a problem, she just ended up with a scumbag husband. It's a pity that Fang Chen had a grudge against her. Otherwise, pulling Lu Su over to be a subordinate would have been a good choice. Lu Su was a wood element mutant and also a doctor. In the end times, besides food, the most worrying thing is getting injured. Because once injured, there is a risk of infection by a virus, turning into a zombie, and this virus is incurable. Having a doctor around can quickly treat wounds and prevent such incidents. Fang Chen thought about it and felt that he could make Lu Su recognize the true face of her husband. Do you want to know what your husband and those women said when they were doing that kind of thing? 
Fang Chen continued. What? Lu Su furrowed her brows, feeling anxious about what shocking words Fang Chen might say. Your husband said your family used to be powerful, afraid that you would divorce him, so he could only play around secretly. Now that the end times have come, if you leave him, you won't survive for more than three days. He doesn't really worry that you will actually leave home. Impossible, you are lying, my husband wouldn't say that. Lu Su's face immediately filled with anger after hearing this. She and her husband were so loving and respectful to each other, how could he be the person Fang Chen described? She believed that Fang Chen was slandering her husband. Others had said similar things to her before, but she never believed them, thinking it was just to get her and deliberately sow discord. I am a shameless person? Fang Chen chuckled, speaking the truth and wanting her to see the true face of Wu Yu, but ended up being called shameless. Fang Chen couldn't be bothered with this kind of love-struck nonsense. He put his underwear back on and stuffed it into her mouth. Feeling unsatisfied, he took off his socks and also stuffed them into Lu Su's mouth. Luo Shui Jin Chang. Damn, which bastard ambushed me, where are they, why haven't they been caught? Wu Yu's chest was covered in a large patch of fresh blood, his face twitching in pain. Fortunately, the woman just now had helped to reduce the bullet's impact a bit, coupled with his own earth elemental ability, his defense was higher than an ordinary person's. Otherwise, he would probably have been done for with that shot. Boss, we've searched the entire villa area, but haven't found any suspicious individuals. A subordinate reported. No one? How is that possible? Could it be an old hand, sniping me from 800 meters away with a sniper rifle? Wu Yu was furious. Boss, could it be someone from one of the gangs we recently offended? Wu Yu's expression darkened. Indeed, that's a possibility. Confronting me head-on wasn't enough for them, so they resorted to ambush. Wu Yu's family originally belonged to a third-rate family, with underground thugs under their control. After the apocalypse, Wu Yu quickly expanded his power by utilizing these thugs to seize a large amount of resources, becoming a second-rate gang in Luo City. However, seizing resources would inevitably offend others. But which gang was behind the assassination attempt on him? There were many small and large gangs in Jiang City. Originally, Luo City had three major families, Li, Lu, and Chen, and his wife was the legitimate daughter of the Lu family. Ordinary people thought that Lu Su had married into a wealthy second-generation family. In reality, only a few people knew that he had used to see to win Lu Su's favor and climbed up the social ladder. Unfortunately, her family's industry was stolen before the apocalypse and suffered further losses during the apocalypse, with no one knowing where they had gone. Currently, the strongest and most powerful forces in Luo City were the Li and Chen families, with many industries under their control. After the apocalypse, they quickly gathered a large number of thugs using their resources. He didn't dare to offend them. The remaining were second and third rate families, forming gangs like the Sanjian Gang, Evil Tiger Gang. Additionally, last night he had clashed with a small gang and seized a large amount of resources from them. Unfortunately, two people from the gang escaped in armored vehicles, and he only managed to injure one woman. Could it be that they had joined another big gang and were now seeking revenge on him? Damn, don't let me find out who it is. Wu Yu cursed inwardly and then asked his subordinates, where is my sister-in-law? She hasn't been found yet, I'm in so much pain. After being injured, he immediately sent someone to find LV Su, hoping that the other party would come to treat his injury. However, almost half an hour had passed and LV Su had not been found. Could it be that he had really left? Boss, we found a few people carrying stakes. After questioning them, we found out that not long ago someone was asking about the whereabouts of the boss's wife. It is very likely that the boss's wife has been abducted. What? Wu Yu stood up abruptly. His wife had been abducted? LV Su was not like other women, not to mention her exceptional beauty. The key point was that she was his wife. If she was taken by someone else, what would they do to such a beautiful woman? He didn't even need to think about it. Wu Yu suddenly felt a sense of humiliation. Damn it, bring those people to me. Wu Yu was furious, smashing the table in front of him with a slap. He was used to being the one to humiliate others. How could someone humiliate him? Soon, a middle-aged man, a woman, and a little girl were brought over. Damn, Mi Hong, so it's you. Wu Yu recognized the middle-aged man and immediately questioned him harshly, who was asking about my wife, what did they look like? Speak up, dad, don't say anything. The little girl, Mi Lu, hurriedly covered her father's mouth and said in a childish voice, Damn it, Wu Yu was furious and kicked Mi Lu away. You actually kicked my daughter, she's only seven years old. You beast, I won't tell you anything. Just wait for Dr. LV to be defiled. Seeing his daughter being kicked, Mi Hong was enraged. Originally, out of respect for Dr. LV, he had intended to reveal the truth. But now, no way. 
Oh, quite tough. Hearing the mention of his wife being defiled, Wu Yu's anger flared up. He smirked evilly and stared at the woman beside him, saying, My wife defiled? Let me see whose wife gets defiled first. With that, Wu Yu grabbed the woman next to him and publicly tore her clothes, revealing her nakedness. The woman screamed in fear, calling out to her husband for help. Stop, I'll talk, I'll talk. He, he's called Fang Chen, very handsome, drives an armored vehicle. Seeing his wife about to be defiled, Mi Hong quickly revealed information about Fang Chen. After all, he was not close to Fang Chen, they had only done business together, and he couldn't bear to see his wife defiled for Fang Chen's sake. Oof, it must be those two guys from yesterday. Fang Chen? Send people out to find out where that armored vehicle is. Upon hearing about the armored vehicle, Wu Yu knew that the two people who had abducted his wife yesterday were the culprits, and he pounded his chest in frustration. He even suspected that the sixth brother who had ambushed him with a gun was also related to this Fang Chen. Wu Yu had just been shot in the chest, and the pain intensified as he tore at his wound, fueling his hatred towards Fang Chen. You better not do anything to my wife, or when I catch you, I'll play with your woman to death. Wu Yu cursed inwardly, remembering the woman who was with Fang Chen yesterday. He then glanced at Mi Hong and ordered his subordinates, take him out and kill him. Not only did he allow my wife to be abducted, but he also cursed me with a cuckold. As for this woman, I'll keep her for my own pleasure. Boss, what about this girl? Wu Yu looked at Mi Lu, who had been knocked unconscious by his kick. Throw her out, I'm only interested in mature and flavorful women. Soon, Mi Lu and Mi Hong were thrown out, while the remaining woman cried and struggled, but in this chaotic post-apocalyptic world, no one would show her mercy. Wu Yu looked at his wound? In this situation, he had no mood for such activities, he needed to treat his wound first. Unfortunately, his wife had been abducted, so he had to go to the storage room first and find a traditional medical kit for bandaging. However, when he arrived at the storage room, he was dumbfounded. The large storage room was now empty, with all the rice, mineral water, and other supplies that had been stored there gone without a trace. He couldn't believe his eyes. No, no, it must be that I didn't open the door correctly. Wu Yu exited the storage room again, opened it once more, but it was still empty. Damn it, where are my supplies? I had so many supplies. Wu Yu screamed in frustration, angrier than when his wife was abducted. These supplies were worth at least billions at current prices, and they were essential for survival. Without these supplies, how could he live? Would his subordinates still listen to him? Who the hell stole his supplies? Wife abducted, ambushed, supplies stolen. With a series of bad news, Wu Yu spat out a mouthful of blood in anger. Meanwhile, Fang Chen had returned to the entrance of the cold storage, not only finding a doctor and seeking revenge but also obtaining over a dozen evolution crystals. Honey, are you okay? Lindsay Jean immediately approached, checking Fang Chen for any injuries, fearing that something might have happened to him. Don't worry, you still don't know all my abilities, I'm fine. Fang Chen pointed to the back seat of the car, look, I brought the doctor back. That's great. Lindsay Jean was delighted, but when she saw that Lu Su had her mouth stuffed with underwear and socks, her hands and feet tied in a strange way, she became puzzled. Honey, why is she tied up? Humph, Fang Chen snorted coldly, she's the one who injured you you yesterday, her husband. What? Lindsay Jean also looked at Lu Su unfriendly. Lu Su was still clear about right and wrong. Knowing that Lindsay Jean's sister was injured yesterday, she looked at Lindsay Jean with a hint of guilt in her eyes, not showing any resentment because of the other's gaze. But when she looked at Fang Chen, it was a completely different expression, as if looking at scum. This guy actually had two wives, and they were sisters. He even wanted to do that to her. Fang Chen also noticed her gaze, but he didn't care at all. He tore off the underwear from her mouth, which could still be worn after washing. If you stay in the room, you better not play tricks, or I'll kill you. Fang Chen threatened bluntly. Humph, do you think I'm as despicable as you? Lu Su snorted coldly and turned her head away but did not refuse Fang Chen. Although she despised Fang Chen, the girl inside was injured by her husband, and she felt obligated as a doctor to heal her. Seeing that the other party didn't seem to be lying, Fang Chen nodded silently. He had to admit that Lu Su was a very kind and principled person. She was truly a doctor. In the room, Lin Yu Yu was already exhausted and asleep on the bed, the originally snow-white bandages on her legs now completely soaked in blood. Is it this serious? Lu Su frowned as she watched, her expression becoming serious, feeling guilty for her husband's actions. The girl on the bed was very beautiful, probably around 18 years old, at the age of blooming youth. If she grew up, she probably wouldn't be inferior to herself. If she became a cripple, it would truly be a waste. Doctor, can you cure her? Lin Zijin asked anxiously. It's a bit difficult, Lu Su pondered and said, 
she has a comminuted fracture. Even with the most precise instruments and surgery, it can only ensure that she can walk normally, not fully recover. But right now, we don't have the equipment. Ah, what should we do then? Lindsay Jean felt a sense of urgency, thinking that her sister might become a permanent cripple in the future, feeling extremely bitter. She looked at Fang Chen, not knowing if he would still want the two sisters if one of them had a lame leg. Fang Chen comforted her with a pat on the shoulder, then looked at LV Su, and asked in a deep voice, I remember you have wood-based abilities, so you should be able to use your abilities to heal, right? Wood-based abilities can indeed heal, LV Su's expression turned cold facing Fang Chen, but right now I am low on energy, and even in my peak state, I cannot heal such serious injuries. Hee <laughs> hee, if I can't heal you, do you want to kill me now, it's up to you. LV Su raised her chin, looking as if she was ready to be dealt with by Fang Chen, she was not someone who feared death. Are you threatening me? Fang Chen's expression turned cold, but he really couldn't just kill LV Su like that, unless Lin Yuya's leg was really beyond saving. According to LV Su, conventional medical methods couldn't heal Lin Yuya's leg injury, and even if they did, there might be hidden injuries that couldn't be truly healed. Only the healing ability of wood-based abilities could fully heal her. If he killed her, it wouldn't be easy to find another wood-based ability user. T1 level abilities were not easy to come by. You're the one threatening me. LV Su snorted, then glanced at the sleeping Lin Yuyu, feeling a bit reluctant, so she softened her tone a bit and said, if she doesn't receive treatment within 5 days, even with wood-based abilities, it will be too late. Although I can't heal her now, my abilities can extend her treatment time. You're willing to help her heal? Fang Chen was somewhat surprised, thinking the other party might use this as a threat against him, seeking revenge or asking for benefits. He could tell that the other party was willing to help Lin Yuyu not because of his threat, but genuinely wanted to help her. You killed my husband, I hate you, I want to kill you. LV Su glared at Fang Chen with resentment, but, there is a cause for every effect, this girl may be your girlfriend, but she is innocent, I have no grudge against her, as a doctor, I will do my best to save her. Hearing her words, Fang Chen felt a bit conflicted. He didn't expect the other party to be so magnanimous. His expression softened a bit, no longer speaking harshly to LV Su. Emotions can be contagious. Living in a noisy environment for a long time, even a gentle person can gradually become irritable. On the contrary, a person with a quick temper living with someone who is peaceful, will also gradually become more peaceful. Alright, you recharge your energy first, then help her with the treatment. Fang Chen patted Lin Zijin's shoulder, go make some food, make a little more. The best way to recharge abilities is to eat and replenish the body's energy, because the source of abilities is to tap into the body's potential, the better the food, the faster the energy recovery. Lin Zijin nodded obediently. The group of people walked out of the bedroom, and LV Su carefully examined the cold storage room, realizing that it was fully equipped with facilities, not only water and electricity, but also a TV, game console, even a cat house, and there was still half a piece of uneaten tuna in the cat food bowl. Originally, her husband had assets worth billions before the apocalypse, but after the apocalypse, they could only eat pickled vegetables, and dared not drink too much mineral water. And this guy, had a whole wall of wine cabinets at home, all high-end brands, and even fed the cat tuna. My goodness, is this still the apocalypse? What's more, the temperature inside the cold storage was cool, completely different from the hot weather outside. No wonder, she was sweating profusely in the car before, but after entering the cold storage, she no longer felt the heat. How did this man manage to create such a comfortable cold storage in the apocalypse? Could it be that he knew in advance that the apocalypse was coming, so he built this cold storage before it happened? LV Su looked at Fang Chen with some curiosity. He was indeed talented and powerful, but he was too lecherous and violent. Moreover, he killed her husband, so she and him were irreconcilable. LV Su silently assessed the cold storage, not speaking to Fang Chen. Fang Chen ignored her and went to the bathroom to take a comfortable hot bath. He had not slept since last night and had used a lot of his abilities, feeling very tired. Before long, Lin Zijin prepared a table full of food. Let's eat, Fang Chen heard and came out of the bathroom in a bathrobe. You! Fang Chen, with his upper body exposed, didn't bother about it and sat at the table. Lin Zijin and Li Nana didn't mind, but Lu Su blushed at the sight. How dare you come out without clothes, you pervert! Lu Su scolded. However, she couldn't help but admire Fang Chen's physique. This is my house, I can wear whatever I want. I can even not wear anything, what's it to you? Fang Chen replied. Lu Su huffed and sat down at the table, looking at the delicious food. She was amazed by the variety of dishes, as she hadn't eaten such delicacies since the apocalypse. After eating, 
Fang Chen told Lu Su to replenish her energy as they would go help Yu with her illness. Lu Su, despite being annoyed by Fang Chen's attitude, ate with him. She realized that eating more would replenish her energy faster. Lu Su was impressed by Fang Chen's lifestyle and combat abilities. After dinner, Lu Su's strength recovered significantly, and Fang Chen immediately asked her to help treat Lin Yu Yu. Lu Su, although tired, didn't want the girls inside to suffer, so she went to help Lin Yu Yu with her wood based abilities. Fang Chen also took a serious look at LV Su for the first time. At the age of 28, perhaps due to extensive reading or long stays in hospitals, LV Su exuded a dignified yet friendly demeanor. The temperature in the cold storage was very low. However, LV Su was sweating profusely on her forehead due to expending too much of her abilities. The warm sweat flowed from her oval face, along the black hair at her temples, all the way down to her neck, disappearing into the deep abyss. It seemed like she was really trying her best. Fang Chen's expression also softened a bit. Facing the relative of an enemy, LV Su could still work so hard to save them, making Fang Chen have to admire LV Su's noble character. It was probably because of this that LV Su chose to study medicine, and at the age of 28, became the head of surgery at a top-tier hospital, earning the love and respect of many. It's a pity that such a dignified and kind woman ended up marrying such a man. Go take a shower, I've already prepared the water for you, Fang Chen said to LV Su, his tone no longer as cold as before. LV Su also noticed this change. However, she didn't say much, nor did she let go of her thoughts of revenge against Fang Chen because of it. Thank you, brother-in-law. Lying on the bed, Lin Yu Yu's face lit up with a brilliant smile, looking gratefully at Fang Chen. She had also heard from her sister about LV Su's background. She never expected that her brother-in-law would go to such lengths for her, even bringing the enemy's wife over. Her brother-in-law was really too good to her. Don't mention it, your sister already thanked me yesterday, we are now a family, Fang Chen smiled. Annoying, stop it, Lin Zijin blushed at the mention of yesterday's events with Fang Chen. She pinched Fang Chen's waist playfully, feeling both embarrassed and touched by his kindness. Fang Chen felt wronged, thinking to himself that she had no idea that her sister had eavesdropped on them yesterday while dozing off. Lin Yuyu watched Fang Chen and her sister teasing each other, but strangely, she didn't feel as happy as she thought she would. Instead, she felt a mix of emotions and subconsciously didn't want to witness the scene. So, Lin Yu Yu changed the subject and said, Brother-in-law, I think that LV Su person seems nice. Why did she look like she wanted to kill you when she saw you? Did you do something to her? Hearing this, Lin Zijin stopped teasing and looked curiously at Fang Chen. I didn't do anything, it's because. Fang Chen explained about how he had found Wu Yu playing Mahjong in the villa and took the opportunity to attack him. I killed her husband, so she definitely wants to kill me, right? Fang Chen shrugged. Ah, what should we do? Lin Zijin said anxiously, she has abilities, she will definitely retaliate against you. But she's also so kind. Just tell her that her husband was a scumbag, that should do it, Lin Yu Yu suggested. Fang Chen shook his head, it's no use, I've told her, but she thinks I'm slandering her and calls me shameless, how could she be like that? Lin Zijin was a bit angry, feeling that LV Su was mistaking kindness for weakness. It's normal, Fang Chen shrugged, if someone badmouthed me in front of you, what would you do? Of course, I wouldn't believe it, Lin Zijin said firmly. Exactly, Fang Chen smiled and affectionately hugged Lin Zijin's slender waist. This woman really doesn't know how to appreciate kindness, Lin Yuyu rolled her eyes and tentatively said to Fang Chen, killing her is not an option, not killing her is not an option either. How about this, brother-in-law, I think this woman is quite beautiful, with a great figure and medical skills, she's a top-notch woman. Someone once said, to enter a woman's heart, you must first enter. You know, brother-in-law, Go persuade her, so she won't kill you. Fang Chen's mouth twitched slightly. Was this really something an 18-year-old girl would say? It sounded like words of a schemer. And persuading the other party. Yo-Yo, what nonsense are you talking about? Lin Zijin glanced at her sister in annoyance, surprised by how mischievous her sister could be. Is sister jealous? Lin Yu Yu teased her sister. Me? No way. Lin Zijin blushed, denying it, but deep down she didn't want Fang Chen to be interested in other women. Sister, with a husband as capable and handsome as yours, there will definitely be many women who like and pursue him in the future. Will you be jealous then? Hearing her sister's words, Lin Zijin also felt a bit melancholic, realizing how outstanding Fang Chen was. Did she have to be jealous one by one? Alright, stop talking nonsense, Fang Chen playfully tapped Lin Yu Yu's head, I don't find just anyone attractive. Your sister is so beautiful, my standards have been raised by her. Those with lower looks than her won't catch my eye. How many people do you think are more beautiful than your sister? However, upon hearing Lin Yuyu's words, Fang Chen also recalled the appearance of Lu Su. 
It had to be said that Lu Su's looks were not inferior to Lin Zijin's. In fact, Lu Su exuded a mature and charming aura that was more attractive in some ways than a girl like Lin Zijin. Upon hearing Fang Chen's praise, Lin Zijin felt sweet in her heart. That's true, Lin Yuyu nodded, then turned to ask, Husband, who do you think is more beautiful, me or my sister? Ah, uh, Fang Chen hesitated, this was clearly a tricky question. Their facial features were very similar, and if the lights were turned off, it might be hard to tell them apart. He could only say, both beautiful, each excelling in their own way. They chatted for a while. Lu Su had finished showering and came out of the bathroom. Fang Chen asked Lin Zijin to take a shower, while Lin Yuyu, who had just received treatment and was very tired, fell back into a deep sleep. He sat on the bed, preparing to enhance his strength. He had been searching for evolution crystals these days, but progress was slow, not much higher than Wu Yu. However, Fang Chen had already collected more than 120 evolution crystals, enough to significantly boost his strength without the need to go out anymore. Many people now knew about the existence of abilities, and most of the evolution crystals had been found. It was difficult to find more crystals outside, wasting time. Therefore, Fang Chen planned to focus on enhancing his strength in the coming days. After the zombies outside evolved, he would go out to kill them to improve his strength. As time passed, the strength of the zombies would also grow at a terrifying rate, and some might even evolve abilities. At that time, the energy of the enhanced crystals of the zombies would be no less than that of the evolution crystals now maybe even more. Therefore, Fang Chen didn't need to waste too much time searching for evolution crystals. Fang Chen took out the crystals to use. His current ability level was around level 2, with a teleportation distance of 10 meters, a defense power of about 800 kilograms for the spatial barrier, and the ability to simultaneously cast three spatial imprints. With the enhancement of his strength, Fang Chen could now use more crystals at once than before. When he first awakened his ability, using one crystal would almost exhaust Fang Chen, but now he could use three in a row before feeling weak. Half an hour passed. Fang Chen successfully absorbed three evolution crystals, not gaining any new abilities, but his strength had increased. The teleportation distance had increased from 10 meters to 12 meters, the defense power of the spatial barrier had increased from 800 kilograms to 1 ton, and the number of spatial imprints had increased from 3 to 4. After enhancing his strength, he felt a bit drowsy, and having not slept since yesterday, he fell asleep directly. Lin Zijin came out after taking a shower. She was wearing the purple lace pajamas specially prepared for her by Fang Chen. The thin material of the pajamas outlined her figure even more perfectly, with her thighs exposed halfway underneath. Her delicate feet were like carved jade. Walking into the room, she immediately saw Fang Chen sleeping. She quickly walked to the bedside, gently covered Fang Chen with a blanket, her eyes filled with gratitude and a hint of heartache. Fang Chen had done so much for her. She felt that she could never repay Fang Chen in her lifetime, and she had completely fallen in love with him. Lying next to Fang Chen, she stared blankly at his handsome face, thinking about what her sister had just said. Her sister was right, there would definitely be more women appearing by Fang Chen's side in the future, and they would become more outstanding, just like the woman outside, including her own sister. On the other hand, although she had awakened her supernatural ability, she couldn't help Fang Chen with anything other than cooking. Her pride in her appearance was useless in this post-apocalyptic world. Although Fang Chen didn't mind her shortcomings, Lin Zijin gently kissed Fang Chen. Hmm. Feeling Lin Zijin's lips, Fang Chen woke up suddenly. Zijin, you're being naughty, you even ambushed me. Fang Chen smirked mischievously. I'm not, Lin Zijin blushed immediately. Husband, hesitating for a moment, Lin Zijin continued, I also want to become stronger to help you. Fang Chen was taken aback by Lin Zijin's sudden idea. However, upon careful consideration, it was probably influenced by Lin Yuyu's injury. Lin Zijin's fire-based ability was the most powerful one besides the electric mother in his cold storage. Okay. Fang Chen was not stingy with his woman, so he handed a crystal to Lin Zijin. Seeing Fang Chen readily offering the precious crystal, Lin Zijin was once again touched. After using it quickly, Lin Zijin felt a slight increase in her strength. Husband, I've become stronger. Then, let's see who's better. Fang Chen grinned. Lin Zijin panicked. Don't do this, Yu Yu is still here. It's okay, she's asleep. Lin Zijin also glanced at Lin Yu Yu and saw that she was breathing steadily, deeply asleep, which relieved her. However, she still glared at Fang Chen coquettishly, but considering all that Fang Chen had done for her, she could only repay him, let's keep it down. You should be the one keeping it down. Fang Chen smirked evilly. Perhaps due to her fire-based ability, Lin Zijin's body felt much warmer than before, more comfortable than yesterday. Lin Yuyu, who was injured and treated, was physically and mentally exhausted. 
She was originally in a deep sleep, but at some point, she was awakened by intermittent singing in her ears. She groggily opened her eyes and suddenly saw the two people beside her, her eyes widening, and her pretty face blushing instantly. How could her sister do this? She wanted to speak out and warn the couple, but she felt that if she did, it would be awkward for everyone. After hesitating for a moment, she turned her head as if she hadn't seen anything. However, she couldn't deceive herself with her eyes closed to the sounds in her ears. She slept until noon the next day, 12 o'clock, which was the most comfortable sleep Fong Chen had had in the past few days. It was mainly because last night was quite exciting. Lin Yu Yu suddenly moved in the middle of the night, startling the two of them. They thought the other had woken up and been discovered, so Lin Zijin even bit Fong Chen. You're really naughty. Lin Zijin, dressed, glared angrily at Fong Chen. Hee hee, Fong Chen chuckled, you were also very happy yesterday, even sneaking up on me. I didn't. Lin Zijin was indignant and embarrassed, she remembered that she hadn't done that, feeling that Fong Chen was teasing her on purpose, I didn't sneak up. Okay, okay, you didn't sneak up, right. Fong Chen just thought she was unwilling to admit it, and then got dressed and got out of bed. In the corner of the big bed, Lin Yu Yu heard the conversation between the two people, secretly buried her head in the blanket, looked at the palm of her hand, a large handprint caused by being held for a long time, a face blushing like a peach. Last night, Fong Chen held his hand as if it were his sister's hand. Fong Chen and the two walked out of the bedroom. Lin Zijin went to the kitchen to prepare food. The days were very leisurely. Looking around again, Fong Chen found LV Su sitting on the sofa with a look of resentment, dark circles under her eyes, looking like she hadn't slept all night. You didn't sleep last night? Fong Chen took out a bottle of cold cola, opened it with a pop, and sat on the sofa. LV Su glared at Fong Chen, thinking, how could I sleep when you guys were PK for hours yesterday, and even made myself feel something? You were eavesdropping last night, weren't you? Fong Chen looked at her with a smirk. Put. LV Su suddenly looked like a cat whose tail had been stepped on. You're talking nonsense, I didn't. It's just that you, the shameless guy, were too loud. If you heard it, you heard it, I don't mind. Hey, why are you wearing dirty clothes again? Didn't I give you new clothes yesterday? Fong Chen looked at LV Su strangely again. Could it be that you, such a grown person, wet the bed? You wet the bed, this was bought by my husband, I like wearing it, is that okay? LV Su's face stiffened, recalling last night's events, she was secretly resentful, how could she wet the bed, it was clearly, all Fong Chen's fault, his voice was so loud, but she couldn't let Fong Chen know about this, so she casually found a reason to retort Fong Chen, you're really good to your husband, I'm starting to envy him, Fong Chen sighed in his heart, LV Su, this woman, whether in character or looks, was top notch, and most importantly, her status was very tempting, a married woman, probably no man wouldn't like her, how about this, Fong Chen's tone changed, sitting next to LV Su, gently playing with her delicate chin, how about you be with me, what do you think, LV Su blushed, she immediately wanted to slap Fong Chen, what did he take her for, however, as she raised her hand a bit, she hesitated, Fong Chen was powerful, it was almost impossible for her to seek revenge directly, she couldn't bring herself to kidnap Lin Yu Yu or Lin Zijin, she had been thinking all night and couldn't come up with a solution. However, Fang Chen's words now gave her an idea for revenge. Fang Chen was greedy and lustful, and she was so beautiful, the type of mature woman that men liked. Now that Fang Chen had shown interest in her, if she took this opportunity to get close to him, reduce his guard, wouldn't it be easy to kill him? But, this would be a bit unfair to her husband. But, wasn't this also a way to avenge her husband? With this in mind, LV Su suddenly smiled, blinked at Fang Chen, and with a very shy look, said, okay, ha, huh? Fang Chen was stunned, he was prepared to be cursed by LV Su, but he didn't expect this result, it didn't seem like something LV Su would say, in fact, according to LV Su's original character, it was absolutely impossible for her to do this, the reason she had such spots ultimately stemmed from Fang Chen, from yesterday until now, Fang Chen had already shown her this kind of thing more than once, especially last night, which lasted for hours, LV Su blushed just listening to it, plus, not sleeping all night, her head was buzzing, all these things combined, subtly, made her feel that this kind of thing wasn't a big deal, her head heated up, and she thought of this method of seduction, are you serious? Fong Chen looked at LV Su strangely, LV Su nodded shyly, mm -hmm. well, then, come and kiss me, Fong Chen raised an eyebrow, pointed to his lips, and secretly activated the protective space barrier, he didn't believe that in just one night, LV Su's hatred towards him had disappeared completely, she must have been plotting something. Although someone once said that to enter a woman's heart, one must first enter her physically, last night Lu Su only listened from the corner, without making a move.
Fang Chen wasn't so conceited to think he could conquer a woman with just his voice. He wanted to see what tricks Lu Su had up her sleeve. I. Lu Su hesitated for a moment, feeling reluctant, but thinking about avenging her husband, she gritted her teeth and made up her mind. So, she slowly walked towards Fang Chen, tiptoed, her rosy and soft lips leaning towards him. At the same time, on a street in Luo City, dozens of mutants were heading towards a certain location. Are you sure that armored vehicle appeared nearby? Wu Yu asked his subordinate. Yes, boss, that person is in a cold storage. I used to live nearby and saw it with my own eyes. Cold storage? Wu Yu sneered, finally found you, damn guy who dared to kidnap my wife, you're dead. Damn, it's been too long since I washed my hair, it's a bit itchy. Wu Yu cursed and scratched his head. After the apocalypse, water resources became the most precious commodity. Most people didn't even have water to drink, let alone wash their faces or brush their teeth. Boss, there's a plant on your head. A plant? Wu Yu took a look, it really is a plant, no wonder it's so itchy. I never thought that in this scorching weather where even trees have withered, this plant is still green. The world is truly full of wonders. Boss, we're here, it's that cold storage. After more than 10 minutes, Wu Yu and his men finally arrived at the entrance of the cold storage. Still locked? Watch me smash it open. Wu Yu sneered, using his earth-based ability to control a large stone weighing over a hundred pounds and smashed it towards the cold storage door. Inside the cold storage, Fang Chen and Lu Su were embracing each other. Lu Su had planned to take advantage of Fang Chen letting his guard down while they were kissing to launch a surprise attack with her wood-based ability already prepared. But somehow, when Fang Chen kissed her, she suddenly lost her strength, her whole body went limp, and her mind went blank. She wanted to break free but had no strength. What trick did this Fang Chen play? What should I do? What should I do? Just when Lu Su thought she was going to sacrifice her innocence in vain, a loud noise came from the door, followed by a familiar male voice. Fang Chen, get your ass out here. Boom! A large stone hit the cold storage door heavily, making a loud bang. Fang Chen, who was originally enjoying Lu Su's soft and rosy lips, thought she was trying to play a trick on him, but she didn't make any further moves. Holding onto the principle of not taking advantage of others, Fang Chen chose to take advantage. However, he didn't expect someone to be smashing the door. He let go of Lu Su, frowned at the cursing outside, and wondered who it was. How did they know his name and why were they smashing his door? The voice sounded somewhat familiar. Honey, what's wrong? The voice startled Lin Zijin in the kitchen, and she hurried over without even taking off her apron. It's nothing, you go check on Yu Yu first. Fang Chen shook his head. He heard the commotion outside which should be Lin Yuyu trying to get up. Fang Chen, give me back my wife. Another man's voice came from outside. This time, Fang Chen finally remembered why the voice sounded so familiar, it was Lu Su's husband, Wu Yu. He didn't expect this guy, who he shot, to still be alive. But how did he find this place? Honey. Upon hearing the voice outside, Lu Su was initially incredulous. Wasn't her husband killed by Fang Chen? When she realized her husband was alive, she immediately became excited and wanted to run outside. However, before she could take two steps, Fang Chen grabbed her. What a joke. Let her go out and wait for the person outside to rush in? You're not going anywhere. What are you doing? LV Su gave Fang Chen a glare. Didn't you say my husband was dead, liar? Thinking back to how she had willingly kissed the other party in order to avenge her husband, only to forget about revenge in the end, LV Su felt a wave of shame. She felt that Fang Chen was deliberately deceiving her, waiting for her to seduce him, and then take advantage of her. This guy was too despicable. Under a combination of anger, LV Su directly condensed a vine and lashed it towards Fang Chen. This whip contained immense anger, was extremely fast, but fortunately Fang Chen had anticipated LV Su's treacherous intentions and had activated a spatial barrier in advance, so LV Su's vine did not harm him at all. I knew you had ill intentions. Fang Chen directly gave her a harsh slap on the buttocks, then took out a rope and tied up LV Su. Bastard! LV Su glared angrily at Fang Chen. Fang Chen ignored her and continued to stare at the door. Luckily, Fang Chen's door had been reinforced, and the people outside with supernatural abilities were not particularly powerful, so they couldn't damage Fang Chen's door at all. Damn, what is this door made of? It won't budge even after being hit so hard. Outside the door, Wu Yu was sweating profusely, the large rock beside him had turned into rubble, but the door remained unaffected. He could control a 100 kilograms heavy stone now, so the force he used to hit the door was at least 500 kilograms. Don't bother, you won't be able to open it. Fang Chen coldly said to the people outside the door. Are you Fang Chen? Hearing the voice, Wu Yu stopped and took the opportunity to rest. How do you know my name? Fang Chen asked solemnly. He remembered that he hadn't revealed his name, 
So why did the other party know? And were there others who knew? Suddenly, he remembered something. When he was inquiring about LV Sue's whereabouts before, he had asked a middle-aged man, and before leaving, he had told a little girl his name, which was unique, he still remembered it, it was Mi Lu. Did the Mi Lu family tell you? You're quite clever, yes, they told me. You're quite generous, giving them steak. After killing Mi Hong, Wu Yu also took the steak and had a hearty meal. This was the best meal he had eaten since the apocalypse. He wondered if Fong Chen still had supplies. The reason he urgently wanted to find Fong Chen was not only to save his wife but also to seize Fong Chen's supplies. Once he opened his cold storage, killed Fong Chen, everything here would belong to him. What did you do to them? Fong Chen asked coldly. Although the other party hadn't kept his secrets, he had helped him after all, and Fong Chen wanted to know their fate. Oh, you care about them? Wu Yu grinned, let me tell you, I killed the man, kicked the little girl unconscious and threw her away, she's probably dead. As for that young woman. At first, she was struggling, knowing that her daughter and husband were dead, she started to actively please me, wanting to take advantage of the situation to kill me, but I saw through her. But I have to say, she's really. Wu Yu chatted away as if it was something to boast about. Fong Chen listened with a dark expression. He didn't expect this guy to be so cruel, even willing to harm a 7 or 8 year old girl. Is this your good husband? Fong Chen glanced at the pale-faced LV Su, feeling a surge of anger in his heart. LV Su was speechless. She also didn't understand why her husband had become so cruel, making her feel so unfamiliar. Was he really pretending before? Listening to Wu Yu's disgusting words outside, Fong Chen sneered, deciding to discuss the other party as well. Is that young woman really pleasing? Of course. Wu Yu thought Fong Chen was angry. But who knew Fong Chen coldly laughed and said, Actually, your wife is quite pleasing too. As soon as these words were spoken, Wu Yu, who was still reminiscing outside, suddenly stiffened, feeling a faint green light emanating from above his head. He caught a glimpse of his little brother behind him, all of them were snickering. Instantly, Wu Yu's lungs exploded with anger. Unbelievable. Bastard, what did you say? Wu Yu roared, manipulating a stone and smashing it against the cold storage door. Didn't hear clearly? Fang Chen continued, your wife has soft lips, she even kissed me first just now. You're talking nonsense, impossible. Hearing this, Wu Yu was not as angry as before. He understood his wife, a virtuous lady who valued her purity and would not do such a thing. Don't believe me? Fang Chen chuckled, ask your wife if she kissed me first just now. Come on, tell your husband, did you kiss me? Hearing such embarrassing words, LV Su's face turned red and white. She felt that Fang Chen was a demon, wicked to the core, and had a heroic spirit. She wanted to explain to her husband, but she didn't know how to because she had indeed kissed Fang Chen, that was an undeniable fact. And she had another reason she didn't want to explain. LV Su was somewhat angry at the actions of the Milu family, as a compassionate person, she couldn't accept it, feeling very disappointed in Wu Yu. So she didn't want to explain. I, LV Su hesitated for a moment, then nodded, I did kiss him. Hearing this, Wu Yu outside was going crazy. The three things a man can't tolerate in his life are avenging his father, losing his wife, and being humiliated. Compared to them, losing his wife is a man's ultimate dignity. What made Wu Yu even angrier was that since they got married a month ago, LV Su had rarely been home. Even on their wedding night, she went to the hospital to perform surgery on someone, they had hardly been intimate, but in just one day, she had already been intimate with another man. Wu Yu felt like he was being made a fool of. You despicable woman, you always pretended to be dignified, but in just one day, you betrayed me. Wu Yu roared, his voice probably audible hundreds of meters away. How dare you curse at me? Hearing Wu Yu's insults, LV Su was somewhat incredulous. Before, Wu Yu had treated her very gently, like a princess, never daring to speak loudly to her, let alone curse at her like this. She kissed Fang Chen because she wanted to help Wu Yu get revenge, right? And didn't Wu Yu bring other women home without considering her feelings before? Why did he have the right to curse at her? LV Su was ultimately a rich man's daughter, although usually gentle and virtuous, she still had the pride of a rich man's daughter deep down, how could she tolerate being insulted like this? Anger surged in her heart. She was angrier than when facing Fang Chen. What's wrong with cursing at you? Wu Yu outside didn't care, do you still think you're the young lady of the LV family? Tens of billions of goods were stolen from your supermarket, your dad doesn't even know where he's dead. Dare to betray me, what's wrong with cursing at you? I'll even beat you. The reason why Wu Yu married LV Su, besides her beauty, was mainly because of her family background. The LV family was one of the three major families in Luo City, with assets worth billions. Otherwise, who would want to marry a goddess at home? 
However, after marriage, he did not receive any help from the LV family, instead, he paid millions in dowry, and had to act like a gentleman in front of LV Su all the time, cooking for her to please her, afraid of making her unhappy and facing retaliation from the LV family, like a burdened son-in-law. He had been very unhappy about it. And now that the LV family had fallen, he no longer had to fear them, and he had awakened powerful abilities, with dozens of little brothers under his command. So he no longer pretended, bringing other women home in front of LV Su. He thought LV Su wouldn't dare say anything, but he didn't expect her to cuckold him. This was a blatant retaliation. Now he not only cursed at LV Su, but if LV Su were in front of him, he would even hit her. You, bastard. LV Su listened to Wu Yu's words, her face pale, never expecting that what Fang Chen had said before was true. Everything Wu Yu had shown her before was just an act. The hero who saved the beauty, with his modest gentlemanly appearance, is all fake. His only goal is to take advantage of his family background. She is utterly disappointed in Wu Yu. Fang Chen watched the scene on the side, feeling extremely strange. What did Wu Yu just say? Tens of billions of goods from Lu Su's family supermarket were stolen? He was shocked. Could it be his own doing? Before the apocalypse, he had looted several supermarkets in the city. It's really possible. For a moment, Fang Chen's gaze towards Lu Su seemed a bit off. Not only did he steal goods from her family, beat her husband, and kissed her, but now he caused their divorce. Even Fang Chen, with a heart of stone, couldn't help but feel a little guilty. He really is. However, Fang Chen didn't plan to be foolish. He decided to tell her about stealing from her family and then apologize. He was not a rigid and upright gentleman, he never claimed to be a good person. For the sake of the goods, brother, I will help you get revenge on your scumbag husband. Fang Chen thought to himself. Lu Su was now silent. She didn't want any contact with Wu Yu and had no more thoughts of revenge against Fang Chen. She only had one thought now. To cure Lin Yu Yu. If Fang Chen was willing to let her go, she would find her family. If not, she would commit suicide. Outside, Wu Yu was now so angry that smoke seemed to come out of his head. He wished he could rush in and kill Fang Chen, the man who cuckled at him. Unfortunately, with his strength, he couldn't break open Fang Chen's door. Instead, under the scorching sun, he wasted a lot of energy and was now as tired as a dog. Damn it, open the door if you dare, don't act like a coward. Wu Yu cursed in anger. Fang Chen, hearing his impatience, couldn't help but smile. Why should he go out and fight with those dozens of people outside? Isn't the cold storage comfortable enough? Fang Chen chuckled, it seems like someone is a cowardly turtle, TSK TSK, lady's mouth is really soft. Hey, she didn't sleep well last night, she has dark circles under her eyes, I feel sorry for her. Beside him, Lu Su felt both angry and amused. Although she hadn't done anything with him, he made it sound like they had spent the whole night together. The key point was that she did have dark circles under her eyes, so he wasn't lying. However, she was utterly disappointed in Wu Yu now and didn't want to explain anything further. You. Wu Yu, unaware of the truth, thought they had fought all night resulting in dark circles, and couldn't help but feel like spitting blood. But to save face, he pretended not to care, suppressing his anger and said, just a woman, with my abilities, what kind of woman can I find? Oh, your abilities? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, ready to tease him again, that's right, you have earth-based abilities, full defense, and you're a cowardly turtle, combined, aren't you just a country bumpkin? Lu Su watched Fang Chen's teasing expression on the side and couldn't help but burst into laughter. Obviously, Fang Chen helping her to anger Wu Yu made her feel relieved. Since entering the cold storage, it was the first time she didn't find Fang Chen so annoying. You! Wu Yu was on the verge of collapse, can't you say something else? Something else? Sure. Fang Chen grinned, I wonder, during this apocalypse, how much supplies have you hoarded? Mind your own business. Wu Yu was stunned, not understanding why Fang Chen changed the subject so quickly. He wanted to say, it's none of your business, but upon careful thought, he immediately remembered his stolen supplies. He widened his eyes and asked, did you steal my supplies? Let me calculate, 251 bags of rice, 1,282 bottles of mineral water, plus 18 evolution crystals. Fang Chen didn't directly answer but loudly counted a string of numbers on his fingers. However, Wu Yu still didn't understand what Fang Chen was counting. These were clearly the goods he had lost. You bastard. Wu Yu was furious, his lungs almost exploding. First, his wife was kidnapped, then he was ambushed, followed by his supplies being stolen, and now his wife was being slept with. Each and every one of them here was enough for him to kill Fang Chen once. But the most infuriating thing was that he couldn't even open the door of the cold storage, unable to seek revenge against Fang Chen, unable to curse him out. He was pushed to the brink of explosion. 
Wu Yu, in a fit of rage, signaled his men to start smashing the door like crazy. Before the apocalypse, he was a rich second generation worth billions, and after the apocalypse, he became the leader of a second-rate gang, possessing earth elemental abilities, never having suffered such a huge loss in his life. It was simply unreasonable. Fang Chen, on the other hand, remained calm, knowing that with the strength of the people outside, they couldn't break open the door of the cold storage. At most, it would just be noisy, but that didn't bother him. Fang Chen went to the TV and turned it on, then switched on the sound system to play music. Fang Chen's sound system was imported, from the Karma brand in the Netherlands, worth over 2 million, with top-notch sound quality. Playing a song digging in the garden, the sound of Wu Yu and the others banging on the door couldn't be heard at all. Outside, Wu Yu was vigorously banging on the door, when suddenly he heard a burst of singing in his ears, digging in the little garden. He almost had a brain hemorrhage from anger. What did Fang Chen mean by playing music while he was banging on the door? Was he planting flowers instead? Damn! Outside, Wu Yu couldn't take it anymore. Thinking about how he was banging on the door with all his might while Fang Chen was inside the cold storage listening to music with his wife, he wanted nothing more than to tear Fang Chen apart. Boss, this door can't be broken open, should we just give up? One of his men advised. No, I must kill this damn bastard. Wu Yu's hatred towards Fang Chen had reached its peak, how could he possibly give up now? Boss, I know you're anxious, but don't rush it, a smarter henchman said, Boss, why do we need to go in, if they don't come out, we just need to guard the entrance, wait until they run out of supplies, they can't stay inside forever. Besides, your wife has already been slept with, let him sleep a few more days, it's not a big deal. What did you say? Wu Yu exploded, grabbing the man by the neck, how could he say it's no big deal for his wife to be slept with, are you implying you're the one wearing the green hat? And besides, the man stole all his supplies, waiting for his supplies to run out, his wife would have changed color. But he really couldn't think of a better way. Damn, this is the only way. Wu Yu cursed under his breath, hoping Fang Chen's supplies would run out soon. So, Wu Yu saved his energy and stopped banging on the door, instead squatting at the entrance of the cold storage, waiting for Fang Chen to come out. Damn, I'm starving, bring out the food. After banging on the door for a while, using up too much of his abilities, Wu Yu was now dizzy with hunger, and quickly ordered his men to bring out a piece of whole wheat bread. The other henchmen took out rice and started stir-frying it on the ground. There was no water now, no chance to make steamed rice, all the food was placed on the ground or on an iron plate for dry frying. Whole wheat bread was already a luxury food. Inside the cold storage, Fang Chen had no idea that Wu Yu was waiting outside for his supplies to run out. If he knew, Fang Chen would definitely laugh out loud. With hundreds of billions worth of supplies, by the time my supplies run out, your wife would have given birth to a second child, no, your wife would have a house full of grandchildren. Hearing the commotion outside stop, Fang Chen lowered the volume and switched to a more melodious song. Good days. LV Su, on the side, rolled her eyes, playing such a song, was it because Wu Yu and the others were not annoyed enough, did he want to continue to provoke them? However, she didn't feel sorry for them, instead, she thought Fang Chen was doing quite well. She had no feelings for Wu Yu now, nor would she hate Fang Chen for him. On the contrary, thinking back to her previous misunderstanding of Fang Chen, calling him shameless, she felt a bit guilty. Putting aside her previous bias, LV Su looked at Fang Chen again and found that he was actually not a bad person. Although he is lecherous, he has never forced himself, and the only kiss was initiated by himself. Even though he tied himself up, it was because he falsely accused him first and attacked him. Before that, he even prepared clean clothes for himself and treated himself quite well. And Fang Chen is also very protective of his woman. When Lin Yu Yu was injured, Fang Chen risked danger to find a doctor for her. In order to avenge Lin Yu Yu, he broke into the villa alone and injured Wu Yu. Similarly lecherous, compared to Wu Yu, Fang Chen is obviously much more gentlemanly. Fang Chen didn't know that, because of Wu Yu, Lu Su, who had previously sworn to kill Fang Chen, now gave him the title of a gentleman. He was a little hungry and was planning to eat, but he was delayed for a while because of Wu Yu, so he couldn't help but curse all the women in his family in his heart. But it doesn't matter. Fang Chen returned to the room and was about to call Lin Zijin. Lin Zijin was holding her younger sister, both looking worried, but when they saw Fang Chen, their hearts immediately settled down. Brother-in-law, I have caused you trouble. Lin Yu Yu said guiltily to Fang Chen. It's okay, Fang Chen said, are you hungry? Let's prepare dinner. Yes, I'll go cook now. Lin Zijin nodded immediately. Let's not cook today, Fang Chen said, eating every day can be a bit boring. Then what should we eat? Lin Zijin was a bit puzzled. Fang Chen thought for a moment, looked at Lin Zijin, and suddenly brightened up, coming up with an idea. 
Let's have a barbecue, Fang Chen said. Lin Zijin had just awakened her fire elemental ability. Although she had strong talent, she had no experience in controlling flames. She almost burned herself yesterday. Barbecuing requires good control of the fire, which is a good way for Lin Zijin to practice and gain experience for facing zombies in the future. At the same time, they don't have to cook. It's a win-win situation. Barbecue? Lin Zijin wasn't very good at barbecuing, but she didn't want to refuse Fang Chen's request, so she nodded in agreement. Brother-in-law, I want a barbecue too. After yesterday's treatment, Lin Yuyu's injuries had improved slightly. Although she couldn't get out of bed, Fang Chen could prepare a wheelchair for her. As for barbecue utensils, Fang Chen had everything ready. Barbecue grill, ingredients, everything was there. Soon, Fang Chen cleared out a space in the cold storage and set up a barbecue grill. Then he thought about what food to grill. They had eaten lobster for the past two days and were getting tired of it, and eating too much could cause gout, so they needed to eat some staple food. Let's roast a whole lamb first. Fang Chen took out a Xinjiang lamb from his space, which had delicious meat and was perfect for grilling. While Lin Zijin set up a chair and started using her fire elemental ability to give the lamb a fire treatment. Lin Zijin was not very skilled at using fire at first, struggling to control the temperature and size of the flames, almost burning the lamb. Fortunately, with Fang Chen's guidance, she began to become a skilled barbecue master. Roasting a whole lamb would take some time. During the downtime, feeling a bit bored, Fang Chen set up a table and put a fruit platter on it to start with some fruits. In the cold storage, the three of them and a cat were having a great time together. Outside the cold storage, Wu Yu's feet were starting to numb from squatting. He couldn't sit down because the air temperature was 70 degrees Celsius, and the temperature of the concrete floor had already exceeded 100 degrees Celsius. If he sat on the ground, his hemorrhoids would be roasted. He could only squat or stand. Damn guy, don't you dare come out, or I'll kill you. Wu Yu cursed as he took a bite of his whole wheat bread, which was dry, especially in the hot weather. The bread had almost no moisture left, making it hard to swallow, like eating a rag. However, compared to his subordinates who could only eat fried rice, he was much better off. Suddenly, Wu Yu caught a strange smell on his nose. He sniffed and his throat involuntarily moved. It smells so good. This is the smell of roasted lamb, is someone roasting lamb? How is this possible? We must be hallucinating from hunger. There can't be any normal cattle and sheep outside now. If they're not dead, they've turned into zombie sheep, completely inedible. No, it's real. The taste is coming from the cold storage. Damn, it seems like the smell of roasted lamb is real, someone is barbecuing inside. The area near the cold storage door became lively. The ability users who were still eating fried rice all gathered at the crack of the cold storage door, constantly sniffing and greedily absorbing the smell coming from inside the cold storage. It was just too fragrant. Since the apocalypse, animals either died from the heat or turned into zombies due to virus infection. Even some meat in the cold storage had gone bad and couldn't be eaten because of power outages and hot weather. Not to mention lamb, they hadn't even eaten mosquito meat in days. Suddenly, their eyes were filled with desire. If they could eat some meat now, they would be willing to be dogs. Wu Yu also drooled, his eyes full of disbelief. How is this possible? Where did Fang Chen get lamb from? He remembered that there was no lamb in his lost supplies. How did this guy get lamb? Smelling the fragrance at the tip of his nose, Wu Yu felt extremely unfair. Why, as a second generation rich kid, was he squatting outside nibbling on whole wheat bread, while Fang Chen, a loser, was eating roasted lamb inside the cold storage? And he was even eating with his wife. Damn it! Wu Yu was filled with envy, jealousy, and greed. This guy not only had an armored vehicle but also had lamb, and could silently steal his supplies. He must uncover this secret. However, he couldn't open the cold storage door now. If Fang Chen didn't come out, he had no way to do anything, so he could only watch the other party enjoy with his wife. I don't believe there are no flaws. Wu Yu sneered in his heart. Fang Chen's cold storage was not invincible. When his own strength grew stronger, after entering. Hiss, it smells so good. Wu Yu couldn't help but drool again. Then he followed his little brother to the door, smelling the fragrance that came wafting out. However, faintly, he heard voices from inside. Inside the cold storage. Bomb. Fang Chen played a bomb card with four twos, finishing the game directly, grinning at the women in front of him. I won again, drink up. Roasting a whole lamb was a bit slow. When they were bored, Lin Yu Yu suggested playing some games, and Fang Chen happened to have collected various game props like playing cards and dice in his space. Lin Zijin was grilling meat. So Fang Chen, Lin Yu Yu, and LV Su played a game similar to Landlord. The loser either had to take a big risk or drink. However, the women couldn't beat Fang Chen at all. 
Because for him, winning was just too easy. Brother-in-law, are you cheating? How do you have two kings in every round? Lin Yuyu looked at her lousy hand, her face puffed up with anger. Stop talking nonsense, you can't drink, take the big risk. Fang Chen chuckled, how could this be called cheating? Don't you understand special abilities? Humph, Lin Yuyu pouted and looked at her sister coquettishly, Sis, you owe brother-in-law nine kisses now. Lin Zijin, who was grilling meat on the side, was speechless. Every time Lin Yuyu lost, she had to bear the punishment, nine kisses, she didn't know if she could bear it when the time came. I won't drink, I won't drink, I'll take the big risk. LV Su, unable to hold her liquor, had lost eight rounds in a row and was already tipsy. When she heard she had to drink more, she waved her hands in fear. Big risk? Lin Yuyu's eyes lit up, and she quickly said, since it's a big risk, everyone should be the same, you should also kiss brother-in-law. Ha! Huh? LV Su was taken aback. How could this be allowed? Although she didn't hate Fang Chen now, it wasn't appropriate to kiss him casually. But looking at the full glass of red wine, she really couldn't drink anymore. She was torn inside. Hearing Lin Yuyu's words, Fang Chen couldn't help but laugh and cry in his heart. This Lin Yuyu was really strict with her sister. However, as the old saying goes, younger sisters-in-law are indeed the caring little cotton jackets of their brothers-in-law. They never forget to take advantage of the situation. It's really worth pampering her. Lin Zijin just gave her younger sister a stern look, thinking that her sister was really too mischievous. However, she didn't say much. She had already figured it out yesterday. Instead of being jealous, she decided to improve herself and make Fang Chen rely on her. What? Can't you handle it? Lin Yuyu provocatively said, If you can't handle it, then forget it, I won't force you. I can't handle it? LV Sua, proud and wealthy, excelled in her studies since childhood and was the envy of others. When she heard the sarcastic remark about not being able to handle it, she immediately became upset. Combined with the alcohol she drank and the various things that happened today, and thinking about her scumbag husband waiting outside, under the influence of various complex emotions, LV Sua's head heated up and she wanted to retaliate against her scumbag husband, so she stood up and kissed Fang Chen. Fang Chen hadn't reacted yet when a soft, fragrant lip pressed against his. He didn't expect to be kissed twice by her today. Wow! Lin Yuyu clapped on the side, not minding the situation at all, but upon closer inspection, one would notice that she was constantly observing Lin Zijin's expression. She found that Lin Zijin was not angry, and her lips curled up in an imperceptible smile. The reason she proposed this game was to see if Lin Zijin would get angry when Fang Chen was with other women. It was paving the way for herself. After a while, Lin Zijin smiled and changed the subject. The barbecue is ready, come and eat. Lin Yuyu stopped making a fuss. Everyone's stomachs were already growling, and they began to divide the lamb meat, with the electric mother meowing and running over. The whole cold storage room was bustling. It was just a pity for Wu Yu and the others outside, all the supernatural beings hiding at the door smelling the aroma, heard the commotion inside the cold storage, and looked at Wu Yu with pity. Annoyed, Wu Yu began banging on the door again. Laughter and joy filled the cold storage room. Wu Yu and the others stood steadfastly outside the cold storage, banging on the door. They're still banging on the door, Lin Yu Yu frowned, feeling a bit unhappy. They probably smelled the barbecue and got hungry, Fong Chen smiled slightly, here, give me the bones after you finish eating, they won't make noise with bones. Fong Chen took the bones after they finished eating, threw them out the window, and then closed it again. The banging noise indeed stopped. The supernatural beings outside immediately rushed towards the bones, excitedly picking them up. There's still meat shreds. They were excited to see the meat shreds that even the dogs would shake their heads at. After all, it was still meat, and they could have a bowl of fried rice with a few licks. What are you doing? Wu Yu angrily looked at his subordinates. Do you think your dogs, actually fighting over bones? Stop fighting. Give me the bones. Seven days passed, and Wu Yu and the others stayed outside the door every day. Occasionally, when they banged on the door, Fang Chen would throw a few pieces of leftover bones, and then they would stop making noise. As for why they didn't leave, Fang Chen couldn't be bothered with them. In the apocalypse, he should enjoy himself, listen to music, play games, play cards, drink a bottle of happy water when he's free, and flirt with the girls. For a few days, Fang Chen didn't go out at all. Because he had collected enough evolution crystals now, he didn't need to waste time going out anymore. Now, he just needed to seize the time to improve his strength, because soon the zombies outside would evolve, some even gaining supernatural abilities, no longer killable with firearms, requiring supernatural abilities to fight against them. By then, the energy crystals obtained from killing supernatural zombies would be more than the current evolution crystals. Currently, Fang Chen could absorb 5 evolution crystals a day, and his strength was improving rapidly. 
In seven days, Fang Chen absorbed 35 crystals, accumulating around 80 crystals. The distance of the spatial blink reached 20 meters. The defense power of the spatial barrier reached 3 tons. The number of spatial imprints has reached 8, with an explosion range of 10 meters. In addition, Fang Chen has acquired a new skill, an attack type skill called Spatial Blade. Fang Chen can summon an invisible blade at any time and place, attacking enemies within a radius of 50 meters with greater power than a regular rifle, leaving clear marks on stainless steel blocks. In addition to these supernatural abilities, Fang Chen's physical strength has also been greatly enhanced. He can now easily lift weights of 500 kilograms, reach a maximum running speed of 20 meters per second, and sustain endurance for 7 to 8 hours. Lin Zijin can't help but grit his teeth. With his current strength, even if he were to face dozens of people alone, he could easily emerge victorious. In these days, everyone, including Dian Mu, has been busy improving themselves. Dian Mu's method of enhancing her strength seems different from humans. She doesn't need to absorb crystals like humans do. She simply helps the cold storage generate electricity every day, depletes her own electricity, then eats a bunch of dried fish and rests, resulting in a significant increase in strength the next day. Currently, Dian Mu's speed exceeds 50 meters per second, running like a shadow that Fang Chen's spatial flashes can't catch. Moreover, her electric shock power is also significant. Fang Chen tested it with a voltmeter, and a 2000V voltmeter was directly blown by her. If this were on an electric person, it's unimaginable. Fang Chen remembers that Dian Mu wasn't this powerful in her previous life. This may be because in her previous life, Dian Mu often went hungry, but now in this room, she doesn't have to worry about food and drink just focusing on enhancing her electricity. This can also be considered her opportunity. Additionally, Lu Su treats Lin Yu Yu every day, gradually increasing her control over her supernatural abilities. At the same time, Fang Chen gave her some ordinary zombie-enhancing crystals to boost her strength and help Lin Yu Yu recover as soon as possible. She is not good at attacking, with only a vine as her means of attack. However, her physical fitness already surpasses that of a normal male. Lin Zijin is now a level 2 supernatural being, but lacks practical combat experience, so Fang Chen has her barbecue every day to practice her fire-based abilities. She has a high level of comprehension and can easily control flames after just 7 days of practice. It is estimated that she is the only one in the apocalypse who has mastered fire-based abilities through barbecuing. Her flame temperature can reach up to 1800 degrees Celsius, easily melting iron blocks. Besides Fang Chen, she is the most powerful person in the cold storage. Therefore, she is very grateful to Fang Chen and repays him every day while Lin Yu Yu is asleep. As for whether Lin Yu Yu is really asleep, no one knows. Due to Lin Zijin's practice of supernatural abilities, Fang Chen also eats barbecue every day, either a whole lamb or a suckling pig. One day, they consumed too much energy and shared a whole cow. It's fortunate that Fang Chen has sufficient resources, otherwise, they wouldn't have enough to eat. This is also why Fang Chen and the others have improved their strength so quickly. Other supernatural beings dare not casually consume their abilities because once their abilities are depleted, there is no food to help replenish their energy. However, Fang Chen and his group use up their energy every day, eat barbecue for free, and are full of energy again in less than a day. Their daily training volume is more than 10 times that of others. How can they not progress quickly? It's a bargain for people like Wu Yu, who can eat free bones every day. Fang Chen thinks that with his current strength, he can completely deal with Wu Yu and his group. It's time to send them on their way, Fang Chen prepares to clean up the garbage at the door. Outside, Wu Yu looks haggard. These people are both enjoying and suffering. They enjoy having bones to lick every day, although there is no meat, it's much tastier than eating fried rice directly. They suffer because the weather outside is hot, and they have no place to sit, only squatting to sleep. Key, there are many zombies outside now, and from time to time some zombies are attracted by the smell of roasted meat. Exhausted both physically and mentally, now having to waste energy to help Fang Chen fight zombies. Several brothers have died in the past few days, and the remaining people are also lamenting and wanting to leave the gang. Wu Yu is somewhat numb. Fang Chen is in the cold storage hugging his wife, eating roasted meat, listening to music, playing cards, while he is here guarding the gate, hearing various strange noises every night, and having to help Fang Chen eliminate the zombies attracted by the roasted meat. What is the point of guarding the gate here? Finally, he couldn't hold on anymore. Forget it, let's go first, come back after improving our strength a bit. Wu Yu didn't want to stay here anymore, ready to leave. However, just as he was about to leave, another group of zombies surrounded him nearby. Damn! Wu Yu cursed in anger. He had to help Fang Chen fight zombies again. Fortunately, they were just zombies, and he had killed many zombies in these days. 
The combat power of the zombies was not high, and he was not afraid. However, when the zombies attacked his subordinates in front of him, he was dumbfounded. Puff! A blood arrow splattered on Wu Yu's face, and he looked incredulously at the scene before him. A zombie that he could easily kill under normal circumstances directly smashed the head of a defensive esper with a slap and the shattered part of the subordinate's skull rolled to his feet, still covered in red and white sticky fluid. How is this possible? You should know that this subordinate of his is someone who is not even afraid of a watermelon knife. How could this zombie be so powerful? The espers who were fighting the zombies were also incredulous. Since awakening their esper abilities, they had fought zombies many times, and although there were casualties, those zombies were just slightly stronger in speed, strength, and defense than ordinary people. As long as they found the right opportunity, they could still chop off a zombie's head with a watermelon knife. But the zombies today, the watermelon knife had no effect on their necks at all, and the blade even rolled up. Some stubborn subordinates picked up a pistol they had taken from a sacrificed police officer. Bang! A shot hit the zombie's head. No harm done. The actions of the espers angered the zombies, and the zombies pounced on them, biting off their necks in one bite. No fear of guns either? Everyone was in a panic. Wu Yu was also a little panicked, but he was the leader after all. He calmed down and quickly used his esper abilities to attack the zombies. Puff! A zombie had its arm smashed by his rock. Use esper abilities, everyone use esper abilities. Wu Yu realized that using esper abilities could injure the zombies, and he quickly commanded his subordinates. Normally, even when facing zombies, they rarely used esper abilities because energy was too precious, and they did not have enough food to replenish their energy. But now, in a critical situation, they had to use them. Hearing the command, everyone began to use their esper abilities to fight. However, most of them were low-level espers, many of whom had no means of attack, and they were usually not well-fed, with almost no energy left. Faced with dozens of powerful zombies, they were completely powerless. The entrance of the cold storage instantly became a meat grinder, with limbs flying everywhere. The screams were endless. Inside the cold storage, Fang Chen, who was planning to go out to deal with Wu Yu, also saw this scene from the window, and his expression immediately became serious. Enhanced zombies, they appeared ahead of schedule. Espers can level up, and zombies will also evolve slowly. Just like the cold virus, people who often take cold medicine will have reduced effectiveness in treating colds in the future. Because the cold virus has evolved and developed resistance to cold medicine, the zombie virus is the same, and even more advanced. From the outbreak of the zombie virus until now, it has been more than 10 days, during which people are bitten to death by zombies every day, and zombies are also killed by humans. The zombie virus, in order to survive, slowly evolves to increase resistance to weapons that have killed it in the past. During this time, the only way humans kill the virus is with cold weapons like knives or modern weapons like guns. As more zombies die, the next time these viruses infect a host, they will reduce the damage these weapons can do to them. This is why Fang Chen previously said that guns will have lower damage to zombies in the later stages. It's not that guns are not powerful enough, but precisely because their power is too strong, the zombies killed by guns the most, so the later zombies have greater immunity to guns. In the end, guns may even do less damage to zombies than fists. Just like a certain MOBA game Fang Chen played, Whoever has higher damage will be marked with a chain of hatred. Zombies fear guns, so they mark guns with a chain of hatred. This is also one of the reasons why the military has always been unable to eliminate zombies. The damage weapons due to zombies has decreased. Moreover, there is not only one way for zombies to evolve. Another way, and the most terrifying, is zombies transformed from supernaturals. Supernatural zombies. These zombies not only retain the abilities of supernaturals but also retain the way supernaturals level up they will prioritize attacking supernaturals. Moreover, the stronger the supernatural, the more likely they are to be attacked by supernatural zombies. Because they can enhance their own strength through the crystals in the supernatural's heads, the more powerful the supernatural, the more energy they provide. In their eyes, ordinary people are plain rice, while supernaturals are delicacies. Like Fang Chen, who is no less than a sumptuous feast. The way these zombies replenish energy is also straightforward and brutal, as long as they eat the brains of supernaturals, they will immediately restore energy. It's almost like a perpetual motion machine. If a powerful supernatural unfortunately becomes a zombie, it would be an enormous disaster for humanity. If one day Fang Chen becomes a zombie, a terrifying monster that can use spatial jumps, barriers, imprints, blade, to kill anyone instantly will appear in the world. At that time, no one in the world would be able to kill him. Thinking about this, Fang Chen's expression was strange. If he became a zombie, would unifying the world be much easier? But after some thought, Fang Chen decided it was better not to. 
Becoming a zombie means losing consciousness, and then instead of just seeing a beautiful woman, he would actually devour her. It's too disgusting. A man who doesn't look at beautiful women, even if he unifies the world, it's meaningless. Fong Chen doesn't want that. The roar outside also alarmed several women in the cold storage. Honey, what's happening? Lin Zijin asked anxiously. Fang Chen, it's zombies, they are fighting zombies. So that's it. Lin Zijin and the others breathed a sigh of relief. During this time, Wu Yu and others often helped Fang Chen deal with the zombies outside the cold storage, solving many problems for Fang Chen, so they were already used to it. This time is different. Fang Chen shook his head, these are enhanced zombies. Enhanced zombies? The women were puzzled. Fang Chen stepped aside from the reconnaissance window and let them see the scene outside. Outside, Wu Yu was still fighting zombies, but the battle was almost over. His dozens of subordinates had all died by now. Limbs and arms were scattered all over the ground, and the blood, baked on the hot ground, had dried up into a pitch black mess. Wu Yu himself was covered in blood, with wounds all over his body from the zombie attacks. He wanted to break through the encirclement, but unfortunately, surrounded by dozens of zombies, being an earth elemental ability user, he couldn't teleport and couldn't break out. Using his last bit of strength, after attacking a zombie, he also fell to the ground powerless. Why are these zombies so powerful? Lu Su's face turned pale. She was a doctor, and even though she had seen all kinds of bodies, she couldn't help feeling nauseous at this moment. This is the enhanced zombies. Fang Chen explained the matter of enhanced zombies to several women, warning them to be extremely careful when facing zombies in the future. The women nodded heavily. None of them wanted to turn into those monsters outside, or have their heads eaten. Thud thud thud. Wu Yu and the others were all dead, and the zombies smelled the scent of Fong Chan and the others in the cold storage, continuously banging on the door. These zombies were much stronger than Wu Yu and the others before, the door emitted a deafening sound, and Fong Chen even felt the ground trembling. His expression was solemn. These zombies were tireless, and if they were allowed to continue banging endlessly, even the extremely hard cold storage would eventually be shattered. What should we do? Lin Zijin asked anxiously. We must deal with them, Fang Chen said solemnly. However, with his strength alone, it would be extremely difficult to eliminate so many zombies. He looked at the women. Lin Zijin and the others had already improved a lot in strength, at least not inferior to Wu Yu. Fang Chen was prepared to let Lin Zijin and the other women help him eliminate the zombies outside together. He had said from the beginning that he would not shelter people who were just eating for free. When he first found Lin Zijin, he was attracted by her fire-based ability, helping her improve her strength. Some might think Fang Chen was heartless, using his women for his own benefit, but that was just how the world was, no one would spend a lot of energy on someone who was useless to them, especially in the apocalypse. Of course, Fang Chen wouldn't abandon Lin Zijin just because she was useless, he wasn't a true scumbag, and since he possessed her, he would take responsibility to the end. However, he could no longer afford to spend a lot of energy and resources to cultivate her. Resources were limited. He could only give them to outstanding individuals. Husband, I'll help you. Before Fang Chen could speak, Lin Zijin volunteered to help him. Lin Zijin had always been very independent since she was young, quickly adapting to her environment. After so long in the apocalypse, she was no longer the girl who was afraid of zombies. Moreover, she had already set her goal, she wanted to stay by Fang Chen's side. And the way to make Fang Chen pay attention to her was to help him, to make Fang Chen rely on her. So during this time, she had been working hard to practice controlling her abilities. Now that she had the opportunity to help Fang Chen, she naturally wouldn't miss it. Hmm. Fang Chen nodded, very satisfied with Lin Zijin, he had indeed not mistaken her. As for Lu Su, Fang Chen valued her quite a bit. She had a good character, was beautiful, and had a tier 1 ability. Although there had been some misunderstandings before, they had been resolved. If she could be useful to him, Fang Chen would cultivate her. However, she was more of a support ability user and not good at combat. You all wait for a few minutes before going out, Fang Chen said, looking at the zombies outside the door. The zombies were all crowded at the door, once it was opened, they would swarm into the cold storage. It would be inconvenient to fight in the cold storage, even if the zombies were killed, the cold storage would be a mess. Fang Chen didn't want his hard work in building the cold storage to be ruined. So, he planned to use his spatial ability to jump out of the cold storage and lead the zombies away. He made an agreement with Lin Zijin that they would open the door again in three minutes. Meanwhile, from another location, Fang Chen took advantage of Lin Zijin and the other's distraction, used spatial blinking to jump out of the cold storage, and circled around to the front door of the cold storage. Lin Zijin didn't know how Fang Chen had left, 
as they had no idea about spatial abilities, they thought Fong Chen had left through the back door. After all, Fong Chen quite liked taking the back door. Roar! When the zombies noticed Fong Chen's presence, they immediately rushed towards him, eager to strip him naked. Fong Chen's expression changed. He quickly used spatial blinking to escape, leading the zombies to a place tens of meters away from the cold storage. Seeing the zombies leave, Lin Zijin also immediately opened the door and walked out. Fang Chen is in a battle with zombies, and these zombies are very strong, with the punching power of a single zombie estimated to be over 800 kilograms. Some of the stronger ones have a punching power exceeding 1,000 kilograms. One punch can shatter a person's head. Fortunately, Fang Chen's spatial barrier can withstand a force of 3,000 kilograms, so as long as Fang Chen has energy, the zombies cannot harm him. A zombie with sunken eye sockets and no eyeballs lunged at him, and Fang Chen immediately condensed a spatial blade and slashed at its neck, causing its head to immediately fall to the ground and roll twice. However, soon dozens of zombies rushed towards him, unafraid of death, only endlessly attacking. Husband, Lin Zijin had arrived and immediately cast a fireball, smashing down the group of zombies. Fire abilities are considered one of the most powerful abilities in the early stages, causing explosive damage, and the burned zombies began to wail. Let's deal with them together, Fang Chen smiled slightly, feeling very relieved by Lin Zijin's obedience and cooperation. The electric mother also arrived, emitting tens of thousands of volts of electricity, directly stunning four or five zombies. The electric mother's damage was truly high. Fang Chen, Lin Zijin, and the electric mother, two humans and a cat, began to slaughter the zombie horde, and in just a few minutes, all the zombies were eliminated. Fang Chen breathed a sigh of relief. Although it was relatively easy to deal with, it also consumed a lot of abilities. Without the electric mother and Lin Zijin, it would not have been so easy to resolve. Fang Chen looked at the bodies around him. There were at least a hundred bodies, which looked quite terrifying. However, Fang Chen was somewhat excited because each of these bodies had a crystal. Despite feeling disgusted, Fang Chen began to cut open the heads of the bodies to retrieve the crystals from their brains. It was relatively easy for abilities users like Wu Yu, who only needed a machete to cut open the heads. However, it was a bit more difficult with the zombies, as their bodies were resistant to machetes and firearms, requiring the use of abilities to cut them open. Fang Chen's energy consumption was a bit high, so he started by cutting open the heads of abilities users. Half an hour passed, and Fang Chen had already obtained more than 30 crystals. Finally, he came to Wu Yu. This guy, a hint of ruthlessness flashed in Fang Chen's eyes. Lin Yu Yu's leg was not only injured by him, but he also killed a 7 or 8 year old girl. It was simply heinous. Unfortunately, he did not get to kill him personally. Fang Chen raised his knife and stabbed towards his head. Suddenly, Lu Su exclaimed. Hearing Lu Su's cry, Fang Chen subconsciously frowned. Was Lu Su reluctant to see him cut open Wu Yu's head? It seemed that she still had feelings for Wu Yu. Fang Chen felt a bit unhappy about this. However, he would not let Wu Yu off because of this. Just as he was thinking about it, the next moment, a warm and soft body threw itself into Fang Chen's arms causing him to take a few steps back. Then, Wu Yu, who was originally lying on the ground, suddenly jumped up and rushed towards Fang Chen and Lin Zijin with a ferocious look. Fang Chen's pupils contracted, suddenly understanding why Lu Su had exclaimed. Wu Yu had turned into a zombie. Earlier, Wu Yu had fought with the zombies and had multiple bite marks on his body. However, as an Earth abilities user, his body's defense was much higher than normal, making it not so easy to have his head smashed or be dismembered. The bodies that killed Wu Yu were also intact. During Fang Chen's battle with the other zombies, the zombie virus in Wu Yu's body began to erode his body, turning Wu Yu into a zombie. Lu Su had been standing at the door of the cold storage room, and she had noticed Wu Yu's body early on. She remembered what Fang Chen had said before, that abilities users could also turn into zombies. She wasn't sure if Wu Yu would turn into a zombie, so she had been observing. Just now, when Fang Chen was about to cut open Wu Yu's head, she noticed Wu Yu's fingers suddenly move, immediately guessing that Wu Yu might turn into a zombie. In a panic, she instinctively threw herself towards Fang Chen, trying to push him away. Fang Chen was also extremely grateful at this moment. Fortunately, LV Su pushed him away, otherwise the consequences would have been unimaginable. Wu Yu is an earth elemental ability user, his body is much tougher than other ability users, it would be impossible to split Wu Yu's head with just a knife in hand. And once he failed to kill the opponent, he would be in close contact with the zombie Wu Yu, waiting for the zombie Wu Yu's bite. Just thinking about turning into a zombie himself made Fang Chen shudder. Roar! Watching Wu Yu pounce towards him, alarm bells rang in Fang Chen's mind, he immediately wanted to use spatial blinking to dodge. 
However, after just fighting dozens of zombies, his energy was less than 10%. Spatial blinking also consumed a lot of energy, with his current energy, he simply couldn't teleport, not to mention he was still holding someone in his arms. Was he going to be bitten by this guy? Damn it, he didn't want to be bitten by a man, it would be more acceptable if it was his wife. Soon, Fang Chen calmed down again. Although he couldn't teleport, he could activate the spatial barrier. The spatial barrier required little energy and could withstand 3000 kilograms of damage. Fang Chen immediately activated the spatial ability, turned around to protect LV Su who was protecting him, and directly took on a claw from the zombie Wu Yu. Bang! Wu Yu's strength was immense. After turning into a zombie, his strength reached 1,500 kilograms. Although Fang Chen's barrier could withstand 3,000 kilograms of force, Fang Chen himself couldn't. The impact of 1,500 kilograms hit Fang Chen, who weighed just over 150 pounds, and he and LV Su were immediately hammered more than 5 meters away, falling tightly intertwined on the ground. Ah, LV Su exclaimed, as if she had hit something. Fang Chen's face was also very ugly. The zombie Wu Yu's last blow had depleted his remaining energy, when he was thrown out, he hit the ground hard and felt like his ribs were broken with LV Su pressed on top of him. Gritting his teeth in pain, Fang Chen immediately took out food and tried to replenish some energy during the gap. However, energy replenishment was not as quick as taking a blue pill. Seeing the zombie Wu Yu charging towards him again, Fang Chen broke out in a cold sweat. He probably wouldn't make it through today. Husband. Lindsay Jean woke up beside him, immediately sending a flame towards Wu Yu, but her energy was also running low, and Wu Yu's earth elemental ability had a certain restraint against fire elemental abilities, so Wu Yu was not injured. Meow. Fortunately, the electric mother appeared, using all her energy to shoot a stream of electricity at Wu Yu, temporarily immobilizing him. Seeing this, Fang Chen immediately pulled LV Su and rushed towards the cold storage room. The only safe place now was to hide in the cold storage. Bang! The group rushed into the cold storage, and Fang Chen immediately closed the door. The reactivated zombie Wu Yu began to fiercely pound on the door, in his eyes, Fang Chen was a delicious feast. Fang Chen's expression was extremely serious. After turning into a zombie, Wu Yu's strength, speed, and abilities were all several times stronger than before, and he was not afraid of pain, his combat power soaring. This was the most troublesome zombie Fang Chen had encountered since the apocalypse. If he was in his prime state, Fang Chen wouldn't be afraid of him and would have the ability to kill him. However, Fang Chen's energy had been completely depleted, he couldn't win now. Lin Zijin and the electric mother were even less capable. Their abilities were all restrained by Wu Yu, unable to exert their full strength. There were relationships of restraint between abilities, such as water restraining fire, fire restraining wood. Perhaps the only ability not restrained by any other ability was spatial ability, because space had no attributes. However, spatial ability also had its drawbacks, the energy consumption when using the ability was twice that of other abilities, or even more. The speed of supplementing abilities is slower than others, and more energy is needed. Fang Chen's energy is completely depleted. In order to restore to the peak state, besides needing to eat dozens of pounds of food, it will take at least 10 hours to recover. Fortunately, Fang Chen has plenty of supplies, so there is no need to worry about food. If it were someone without supplies, even if they awaken spatial abilities, they would not be able to sustain them at all. Just like in Fang Chen's past life, without supplies, several ordinary people couldn't even win a fight, and in the end, they could only wait to die. This is a double-edged sword. Boom! 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 At the door, a louder impact sound came, and the cold storage inside emitted a buzzing tremor as the zombie Wu Yu used his abilities to hit the door. Not good, Fang Chen thought to himself, although the cold storage door is extremely strong, if he keeps hitting it continuously for hours, the door will eventually collapse. Ah, what should we do? Lin Zijin asked anxiously, is there a way to stop him? If I were at my peak, I could kill him, Fang Chen said heavily, but my energy is almost depleted, and to fully recover, it will take at least 10 hours, which is simply too long. Fang Chen felt a sharp pain in his chest and couldn't help but groan in pain. Husband, what's wrong with you? Lin Zijin immediately checked nervously. Fang Chen waved his hand to indicate that it was nothing serious, just a cracked rib, it's not a big deal. A cracked rib. Lin Zijin's eyes filled with concern. I'll help you heal. LV Su immediately offered. She had not participated in the battle just now, and her abilities were still at their peak, so helping Fang Chen heal a minor rib fracture was no problem at all. Okay, Fang Chen nodded, instructing Lin Zijin to quickly prepare some food for him. Then he returned to the room. He also needed to take this opportunity to rest and replenish his energy as soon as possible, rather than sitting around waiting to die. 
In the room, Lin Yuyu had been anxious for a long time. Her leg was not healed and she couldn't move at all. Brother Fong Chen, are you injured? It's okay, just a minor injury, Fong Chen reassured her, indicating that there was no need to worry. Then he lay down on the bed to rest. To be honest, it still hurt a bit. LV Su was a doctor and very sensitive to micro-expressions. Seeing Fong Chen lying down with a slight twitch in the corner of his eye, she knew that Fong Chen was trying to be strong. She felt a little guilty in her heart. She knew better than anyone how Fong Chen's injury had been caused. Over these days, LV Su had also almost understood Fong Chen's character. She knew that Fong Chen appeared cold on the outside, but deep down he was pure, kind, and had his own principles. She could tell from the way he had protected her just now. In that situation, if it had been Wu Yu, he would probably have run away long ago, or even used her as a shield, without protecting her at all. LV Su could vaguely sense that Fong Chen's personality was probably shaped by a betrayal, and a very bitter one at that, which was why he was always on guard against others. Even when facing Lin Zijin, Fang Chen seemed reluctant to reveal all his cards. What kind of betrayal had it been? LV Su was curious about Fang Chen now. Before understanding the situation, she really didn't want Fang Chen to die like this. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you thinking of kissing me again? Fang Chen noticed LV Su staring at him and couldn't help but tease. Do you want me to kiss you? LV Su unexpectedly countered, leaving Fang Chen somewhat stunned. But since she didn't mind, Fang Chen honestly replied, What's the use of wanting? Your zombie husband is outside smashing the door. Who knows when he'll break in? I need to recover more strength now, or else he might end up eating my brain. No time for kissing, save it for next time. He's not my husband. LV Su snorted. She was completely disappointed in Wu Yu and felt deeply ashamed of her own experience with him. If only I had listened to my father or master in the first place, if I hadn't been so stubborn and thought Wu Yu was a gentleman, I wouldn't have had this experience and I wouldn't be lost with my father and master now. I don't know how they are doing now, whether they are safe or not. After this is over, I will go find them. Fang Chen shrugged and began to rest with his eyes closed. You, Lu Su looked at Fang Chen, hesitated for a moment and said, Actually, I have a way to help you quickly recover your strength. You have a way? Upon hearing this, Fang Chen immediately opened his eyes. Yes. Lu Su nodded. My ability can do it. Why didn't you say so earlier? Help me restore my strength quickly. Fang Chen quickly sat up, but the sudden movement caused pain in his chest again. However, he didn't care. The powerful mutant zombies were outside, and he had to quickly regain his strength now. Well, Lu Su hesitated a bit, thinking about that bizarre and unconventional method, she felt a bit embarrassed, she didn't want to use that method. However, seeing Fang Chen's urgent gaze, she softened a bit. Forget it, consider it as a last repayment before leaving, apologize to him. Lu Su thought to herself. You let you you go out first. Lu Su said, she didn't want others to see her way of healing. Why? Fang Chen was puzzled, did he have to take off his clothes? However, he wasn't afraid of others seeing. But after some thought, he agreed to Lu Su's request and let Lin Zijin take Lin Yu Yu out. Lin Zijin was also puzzled. However, she noticed Lu Su's blushing face and began to speculate. There were only Fang Chen and Lu Su left in the room. What method do you have? Fang Chen asked urgently. Lu Su didn't answer directly, but said, Do you know the source of life? Source of life? Fang Chen was confused. Are you talking about water? Close enough. Lu Su nodded somewhat unnaturally, and continued, The life of a big tree is very long. It can live for hundreds or even thousands of years. And even if they are cut down, they can grow new branches. This is because, during their growth, they retain some essence, and when they are close to death, they will use this essence to accelerate their absorption of nutrients. This essence is the source of life. Are you asking me to cut down trees? Fang Chen thought it was a good method, but was disappointed. But, it's so hot now, the trees must have died long ago. No. Lu Su shook her head, hesitated and said, In fact, humans also have essence, but it doesn't have that magical effect. But after awakening the wood element ability, the source of life becomes effective. How do you know all this? Does the medical school teach this? Fang Chen felt incredulous. What essence did he have that could be compared to a tree? Lu Su, my master taught me. He is a descendant of ancient Chinese medicine. So this source of life doesn't require self-amputation or anything like that, right? If that's the case, forget it. Hearing what Lu Su said, the source of life should be very rare. Fang Chen didn't want to help himself in a cruel way. No need. Lu Su shook her head. Then what is it? You, close your eyes first. Lu Su's face turned red. Her breathing became rapid. It was the first time she had done such an embarrassing thing, knowing that Wu Yu had only held her hand and never touched her. Close my eyes too? Fang Chen was even more confused, 
but still closed his eyes as requested. Lu Su felt it wasn't safe enough, so she took out a piece of cloth from somewhere and blindfolded Fang Chen's eyes. Now she felt more at ease. But Fang Chen became even more puzzled. Did he have to be blindfolded to be treated? Is it done? Fang Chen asked. Yes. Lu Su's almost imperceptible response came in his ears, and then suddenly there was a rustling sound, making Fang Chen even more puzzled. Amidst his chaotic thoughts, he heard Lu Su's coquettish voice. Open your mouth. Fang Chen subconsciously opened his mouth. The legendary source of life flowed into his mouth, and he subconsciously pursed his lips, feeling a shock in his heart, truly able to quickly restore energy. Be honest, oh oh oh. Are you doing this on purpose? Used to it. Used to it. Sorry. Used to it? You really are a jerk. At the dining table. Fang Chen destroyed dozens of pounds of food, burped contentedly, and his energy was rapidly recovering, all thanks to LV Su's source of life. He couldn't help but think of what had just happened. He had his eyes covered, while LV Su knelt in front of him, wearing the flesh-colored stockings he had given her on her fair and smooth thighs, with her shirt half open. LV Su, 28 years old, was at the most mature and perfect age for a woman, and growing up in a scholarly and noble family, she exuded an intellectual, mature, and noble aura. Although Fang Chen was not a novice, it was the first time he had encountered this type of girl, the charming and intoxicating fragrance that made him quite excited at the time. Unfortunately, with his eyes covered, he couldn't see the other party clearly, but Fang Chen could still imagine the scene vividly. However, Fang Chen was not so shameless as to take advantage of this opportunity to make advances. She was currently treating him, being a doctor, so Fang Chen focused only on sucking the source of life, completely focused and free of distractions. I didn't expect it to have a digestive function. Fang Chen's expression was quite strange. After consuming the source of life, Fang Chen's digestive function had improved, and previously, he would never have been able to eat dozens of pounds of food at once. No wonder he could quickly recover his strength. In just three hours, Fang Chen's strength had already returned to its peak, and the rib wound had also healed. If he ate this every day, wouldn't he be able to fly? It seemed like she had guessed Fang Chen's thoughts, and LV Su on the opposite side couldn't help but glare at Fang Chen with a coquettish look. Still want to eat every day? Do you really think I'm just any random woman? The reason she did this was because it was caused by her, not wanting Fang Chen to end up dead in the street. And, the source of life was different from an ordinary mother's. That was not the same. It was very difficult for her to condense the source of life, and what Fang Chen had just sucked away was all of hers. If she wanted to condense it again, she would need at least half a month, or even longer. And you, still want to eat every day? By then, even the cantaloupe would be sucked into small buns. Go and eliminate the zombies. LV Su rolled her eyes and glared at Fang Chen. He he, Fang Chen chuckled, that zombie is your husband, should I hurry up and kill him? If you keep this up, I'll be angry. LV Su's face turned stern. Although she had been influenced by Fang Chen during this time and had behaved a bit out of character, it didn't mean she was a fickle woman. Wu Yu was her husband, but that was because she had been deceived by the other party. And she and Wu Yu were only nominally husband and wife. At that time, because her father did not agree to her marrying Wu Yu, they made a deal during their argument. Within six months, as long as Wu Yu didn't make any mistakes and had no character issues, her father would agree to the marriage. But during this time, she couldn't do anything out of line. She agreed. So, on their wedding night, she went to the hospital, not spending the night with him, and every time he brought it up afterwards, she often made excuses not to be at home. Originally feeling a bit guilty towards him, thinking of making it up to him in the future. But who knew, just one month later, problems arose. Now, she had been stripped of half a peach by Fang Chen, all of which had been transferred to Fang Chen. However, it was fortunate that Fang Chen appeared, allowing her to see through everything, otherwise she would have ruined her life forever. Well, I won't say anymore. Fang Chen nodded seriously, he could tell that LV Su had completely lost her affection for Wu Yu, and he felt inexplicably pleased. He was taken aback. Could it be that he really had some strange fetish for stealing someone else's wife and feeling a sense of accomplishment? He quickly shook his head. Too sinful. I will go deal with him now. Fang Chen stood up, ready to go out and take care of the zombie Wu Yu. This was the first supernatural zombie Fang Chen had encountered, and both the combat experience and the crystal in the opponent's head were precious to him. Husband, please be careful, Lin Zijin reminded hastily. She already understood the strength of this zombie, with a power of up to 1500 kilograms and a defense capability of at least 300 kilograms. Moreover, the opponent possessed earth-based supernatural abilities, and after activating the abilities, the defense power was at least 1000 kilograms. He could also control giant stones weighing 500 kilograms, with a smashing force of at least 2000 kilograms. 
If accidentally hit by him, one would probably turn into minced meat directly. Don't worry, Fong Chen grinned. After this replenishment, not only did he regain energy, but his strength also increased. Dealing with the zombie Wu Yu was completely no problem. Although the zombie Wu Yu's strength and defense were very strong, almost impenetrable, he had a huge weakness, which was his clumsiness. And Fong Chen's spatial supernatural ability was extremely flexible, and the opponent couldn't hurt him at all. As long as he waited for the opponent to exhaust his energy, a single blow would be fatal. Bang, bang, bang. At the door, the zombie Wu Yu was still banging on the door with all his might. In the cold storage, there were four supernatural beings, plus a supernatural cat. The temptation of the supernatural zombie was too great. Unless there were stronger supernatural beings nearby than Fong Chen, the zombie Wu Yu would not leave. Fong Chen directly opened the cold storage door. Outside, the zombie Wu Yu, who was originally banging on the door, lost his balance and fell flat on his face in front of Fong Chen. Fong Chen looked at him with pity. This guy was quite pitiful. His wife had been living with him for so long, and he had been standing guard at the cold storage door every moment, eliminating zombies for him every day, acting as a loyal bodyguard. In the end, he turned into a zombie himself. He almost killed himself. Unfortunately, his wife saved his life and helped him regain his strength. However, this guy was also very hateful, killing a deer that was only 7 or 8 years old, which was simply inhumane. He would not let him go. Roar! Wu Yu, who had turned into a zombie, had no rationality at all. He only felt that Fong Chen was a delicious meal, got up from the ground, and pounced towards Fong Chen. I will use the energy given by Lu Su to deal with you personally, Fong Chen sneered. A spatial flash appeared behind the opponent, followed by spatial blades stabbing towards his back of the head. Put. The spatial blade stabbed into the back of the zombie Wu Yu's head. Unfortunately, the zombie Wu Yu had earth-based supernatural abilities. In the situation of activating the abilities, his whole body was covered with hard stones, and his head was filled with cement. It was difficult for Fong Chen's attack to break through the defense. Roar! The zombie Wu Yu was angry, turned around and pounced towards Fong Chen again. Hee hee, come chase me, green turtle. Fong Chen grinned, beckoning towards the zombie Wu Yu, then ran towards the outside of the cold storage. Fighting couldn't be done at home. Any piece of furniture inside was worth tens of thousands and was a famous brand. It would be a pity if it was damaged. Supernatural zombies usually were interested in the strongest person around them because there was more energy in the crystal in the person's head. So even if Fang Chen ran out, the zombie Wu Yu did not choose to attack Lin Zijin and the others but chose to chase after the stronger Fang Chen. Soon, one person and one zombie started playing a game of chase outside the cold storage. Unfortunately, with just a random teleportation, Fang Chen could move more than 20 meters. The clumsy earth-based supernatural zombie Wu Yu couldn't catch up with Fang Chen at all. He was being led around like a dog. Roar! Finally, after several twists and turns, the zombie Wu Yu, who had been unable to catch up with Fang Chen, roared. The instinct of battle drove him to use all his strength to control countless stones to smash towards Fang Chen. Dozens of densely packed stones were thrown towards Fang Chen, with the lightest one weighing at least a hundred pounds. If hit, even an armored vehicle would be flattened. In the cold storage, Lin Zijin and several women were all terrified. If it weren't for their energy being depleted, they would have rushed over to protect Fong Chen. They shouted, be careful. However, their warning was unnecessary. Just as the stone was about to hit Fong Chen, the next second, Fong Chen had appeared behind the zombie Wu Yu, seizing the opportunity to stab him in the back of the head with a spatial blade. Splurt! After so long in battle, Fong Chen had been evading attacks without using much energy. Meanwhile, the zombie Wu Yu not only had to chase Fong Chen but also kept using his abilities recklessly. After controlling the stones, his abilities were completely drained, his defense greatly reduced, making it the weakest moment in the battle. Fang Chen's strike directly caused Wu Yu's brain to burst out. So fast. In the cold storage, the women watching Fang Chen's battle were all stunned. They hadn't seen how Fang Chen dodged the falling stones and moved behind the zombie Wu Yu to kill him with a single strike. It was truly unbelievable. They swore that Fang Chen was definitely the fastest man they had ever seen in the world. Is my brother-in-law an ability user with speed? No. Lin Yuyu shook her head again. Although my brother-in-law has been evading attacks and is very fast, similar to an ability user with speed, his method of attacking the zombie just now is clearly not a speed ability. My brother-in-law was clearly holding a knife just now, but now he isn't. It's more like my own wind ability. His blade might be a wind blade. However, my brother-in-law's wind ability seems much faster than mine. He's really amazing. Lin Yuyu thought to herself, feeling that she and her brother-in-law were a perfect match with similar abilities. 
Wind ability? Lin Zijin felt proud. After learning a lot from Feng Chen these days, she also knew which abilities were powerful and which were not. Her man not only had a powerful wind ability but also could use it so effectively, which was fantastic. LV Su, on the other hand, sneered inwardly. What wind ability? Fong Chen should have awakened the Chao Zhe ability. But she couldn't help but admire Fong Chen's strength, he had just cut off Wu Yu's head with a single strike. On the side, Fong Chen naturally heard the women's conversation and chuckled to himself. He didn't have a wind ability but a rare spatial ability. Although his fighting style appeared very similar to a wind ability, his combat power was quite different. However, he didn't blame them for not being able to distinguish. Spatial abilities were too rare. Since the apocalypse, they had encountered at least a hundred ability users, but none had awakened a spatial ability. It was likely the same for others. Even if he didn't reveal it, no one would probably know about the existence of his spatial ability and would just assume he had abilities like wind or speed. This also saved Fong Chen a lot of trouble. His strength was still not enough, and if his spatial ability was exposed, others would link it to the pre-apocalyptic theft of resources, leading to everyone attacking him. Moreover, he had stolen resources from LV Su's family, and if she found out, she would definitely come after him. With one strike, Fang Chen dealt with the zombie Wu Yu, and the cold storage finally returned to tranquility. Fang Chen dug out the crystal from Wu Yu's head, and it immediately emitted a bright light. The radiance of this crystal was brighter than all the evolution crystals Fang Chen had found. Fang Chen estimated that this crystal was worth at least 10 or more evolution crystals. Indeed, killing zombies and absorbing energy brought in more rewards. There were still dozens of zombie bodies outside, and with the crystals he had extracted from the heads of dozens of ability users earlier, he had harvested nearly a hundred crystals today. However, the energy was not just a hundred crystals but at least around 300. Fang Chen estimated that if he absorbed all the energy, his strength would increase by at least twice. It would be great if he encountered more ability zombies. Come and help, ladies. Fang Chen called on Lin Zijin and LV Su to help cut open the heads of the other zombies. Yes, husband, Lin Zijin was very happy, feeling proud to see how capable her man was. LV Su sighed. Looking at the body of the zombie Wu Yu, this period of wrong time finally came to an end. This also meant that she would have to go find her father and master soon. Somehow, she found it hard to leave. Could it be that the cold storage was too comfortable? Well, not only was it cool, but there was also food and drink. One could say it was the most comfortable place in the world. I want to help too. Lin Yu Yu sat in a wheelchair, insisting on helping. Fang Chen gave her a look. You're lame, just stay put. Humph. Lin Yu Yu was very unhappy, turning to LV Su, second sister, you have to cure me soon. Second sister? Hearing such a strange title, LV Su was taken aback. Why are you calling me second sister? My sister is the first woman of my brother-in-law, the eldest, and you are the second woman of my brother-in-law, so you are the second in line, Lin Yu Yu said playfully. LV Su's face turned red all of a sudden, quickly explaining, we don't have that kind of relationship. No need to explain, I understand, Lin Yu Yu winked. LV Su was almost in tears. However, she felt relieved in her heart. Lin Yu Yu's legs were not healed yet, so she couldn't leave so soon. They collected crystals together. In less than an hour, all the crystals were taken out, and the women handed them all over to Fang Chen without keeping any for themselves. Fang Chen counted them, 85 in total. Excluding the one from the zombie Wu Yu, each of these crystals had energy equivalent to 3 to 4 evolutionary crystals, which meant there were 300 evolutionary crystals here. It was more than the evolutionary crystals Fang Chen had found since the apocalypse. Fang Chen didn't keep them all to himself, he gave 10 to Lin Zijin and LV Su each to enhance their strength. Back in the cold storage, after a busy day, everyone rested well, had dinner, and Fang Chen began to enhance his strength. This time, the enhancement was unprecedentedly huge. This time, Fang Chen harvested 85 zombie crystals, equivalent to over 300 evolutionary crystals. Combined with the nearly 100 crystals he had saved before, Fang Chen now had the equivalent of 400 evolutionary crystals. Originally, Fang Chen could only absorb 5 evolutionary crystals a day, but after absorbing LV Su's source of life, he could now absorb 10 a day, doubling the efficiency of enhancement. And, as his strength increased, he absorbed more and more. 10 days passed. During these 10 days, Fang Chen absorbed over 120 evolutionary crystals. But his crystal count did not decrease, instead, it increased. Because every day, zombies came to the cold storage and Fang Chen went out to eliminate them. Originally, he could absorb more crystals. Unfortunately, LV Su's source of life effect disappeared on the fifth day, and in the following days, his absorption speed decreased. Fang Chen secretly approached LV Su, 
wanting to borrow some more life source from her. Unfortunately, he was scolded by her. No way. Fong Chen was full of regret. If he could absorb it again, his strength would increase significantly. Seeing Fong Chen's disappointed and sad look, LV Su felt a bit sorry and told Fong Chen that it was not that she didn't want to, but that she had been drained by him last time. Fong Chen suddenly realized. At the same time, he felt excited. So, when you recover, I can absorb it again? Get out! LV Su blushed and drove Fong Chen away. Fong Chen, smiling, focused on enhancing his strength. Now, Fong Chen's spatial blink distance had increased from around 20 meters to about 40 meters. And, with his current strength, he could release it continuously over 50 times. The gap between each teleportation was less than zero. Five seconds. A blink every zero. Five seconds. Isn't this more terrifying than a level 16 Cassidon? It's better to just blow up the opposite base directly. The spatial barrier has also been enhanced significantly. Previously able to withstand a force of 3,000 kilograms, it is now increased to 5,000 kilograms. Even if a small truck is completely pressed on Fang Chen, he will not be harmed. It can be said that not all defense type ability users have as high defense as Fang Chen. Fang Chen's endurance is also very long lasting. Continuously releasing, it can last for 10 hours. As long as it's not a one on many situation, in a normal combat scenario, it can last for at least 5 hours. But if encountering a seasoned expert, that's a different story. In addition, there are spatial imprints. Now, Fang Chen can release up to 15 imprints simultaneously, equivalent to 15 high definition monitors, and can also generate explosions with a diameter of over 15 meters, causing considerable damage. The damage of the spatial blade is also very high. A solid steel rod with a thickness of 5 centimeters can be easily cut through. If it's used on a person, it can easily cut them in half. Brother-in-law, it's time for dinner. Lin Yu Yu's voice came from outside. During this period, LV Su's strength has improved significantly, and Lin Yu Yu's leg injury was just completely healed today, now she is jumping around. Fang Chen walked out of the room. There was at least hundreds of pounds of food on the dining table. With the improvement of strength and energy consumption, the appetite of ability users has also become increasingly large. In order to practice abilities, Fang Chen has to deplete his abilities every day. In the most hungry situation, he can eat about 45 pounds of food. Lin Zijin can eat over 10 pounds. The electric mother also needs to eat 20 pounds. Altogether, the entire cold storage consumes at least 200 pounds of food a day. 200 pounds. According to the current post-apocalyptic commodity prices, 200 pounds of food can at least buy 100 decent-looking maids from the market. Calculated, Fang Chen and the others need to eat 100 maids a day. Fortunately, Fang Chen's resources are rich enough to withstand such consumption. If it were other ability users, they wouldn't dare to consume abilities so casually like Fang Chen. Brother-in-law, it seems like the weather outside is not as hot anymore. While eating, a few people started chatting. Hmm. Fang Chen nodded. From the beginning of the apocalypse until now, it has been almost a month, and the high temperature weather has gradually passed. Now going out no longer requires being shirtless. However, this does not mean that the apocalypse has ended. The real crisis of the apocalypse is the zombies and those awakened ability users. Human technology has collapsed, and abilities have become the most powerful weapon in the world. Powerful ability users can dominate in the apocalypse and do whatever they want. Modern day emperors, if someone tells these resource rich ability users, you must abide by the law, cannot fight, cannot kill, for the sake of more people living, you must share the resources you have looted with those who have none, and work together to restore civilized society. Will anyone pay attention? Absolutely not. They might even kill the person who says such things. Making a poor person rich will make them happy. But making a rich person poor, heh. That's reality. Even Fang Chen finds it difficult to do it himself. At most, he just won't harm innocent people. Of course, there are certainly some people who are striving for peace and restoration. But they are few and far between. Fang Chen does no one, and considering the time, he should have appeared by now. The group continued chatting. LV Su stared blankly outside. The weather was returning to normal, and she should go find her father and master. In fact, she could have healed Lin Yu Yu's leg a few days ago, but in order to have a reason to continue staying in the cold storage, LV Su deliberately let Lin Yu Yu limp for a few more days. But she also knew she couldn't keep doing this, because she really had no reason to stay here. She couldn't possibly be Fong Chen's woman, that would be too absurd. I am five years older than the other person. And, the other person has three women. In Lu Su's worldview, men and women can only have one partner. Love should be pure and flawless. So, when she woke up and saw the weather starting to clear up, 
she made up her mind. She was going to leave. I'm leaving, Lu Su said to Fang Chen. You're leaving? Fang Chen immediately frowned. Lu Su had the ability of wood element and the use of the source of life, which was very helpful for Fang Chen. Fang Chen had already considered her as part of his camp, but he didn't expect her to say she was leaving. For him, this was like losing billions. Fang Chen asked, why? I want to find my father and my master, Lu Su said, only mentioning one of the reasons. If Fang Chen didn't have other women, she might not have made up her mind to leave. Fang Chen fell silent. If it was for another reason, Fang Chen could try to persuade her to stay, but he couldn't refuse this reason. Fang Chen was very filial. If his parents were still alive, even if there were billions in front of him, he would choose to find his parents. He admired Lu Su's behavior. All right, Fang Chen nodded. He wasn't a very selfish person. If he tried to force Lu Su to stay, she wouldn't be able to leave. However, Fang Chen continued, I'll help you find them. Lu Su wanted to find her father, it didn't mean they had to separate. If she brought her father over, couldn't she still have access to the source of life? Really? Lu Su's eyes lit up, feeling grateful. Of course, Fang Chen smiled and nodded. He happened to have something to do outside as well, and he calculated that the person should be appearing soon. After dinner, Lu Su prepared to go out to find her father, and Fang Chen accompanied her. Lin Yu Yu originally wanted to go with them, but Fang Chen refused. She was the weakest one due to her recent injury. If they encountered danger outside, Fang Chen might not be able to save her. Lin Yu Yu felt very resentful. She clung to Fang Chen's arm and kept acting cute, saying she was bored and in danger at home alone. If someone breaks in and does something to me, brother-in-law, you'll lose a pure and lovely little sister-in-law. But Fang Chen ignored her completely. Just a little sister-in-law, it has nothing to do with me whether you are pure or not. Fang Chen shrugged. How does it have nothing to do with me? Lin Yu Yu wanted to say something in a hurry, but stopped herself. In the end, it was Lin Zijin who said, I'll stay and keep you company. In the end, Fang Chen, Lu Su, the electric mother, two people, and a cat left the cold storage together. Where is your home? Fang Chen asked. My home is in Bin District, Lu's Manor, Lu Su said. Lu's Manor? Fang Chen knew about this estate, located in the coastal area, covering 2,000 acres, including residential villas, swimming pools, golf courses, and so on. It could be said to be comparable to a small palace. It was said to have cost over 5 billion, and if it were for sale, it would probably be even higher. Unexpectedly, it belonged to Lu Su's family. Fang Chen was slightly surprised, but considering Lu Su's family's assets of tens of billions before the apocalypse, he understood. Compared to that, his cold storage was still quite far behind. He jokingly said, rich lady, leave a room in the manor for me to stay in. Don't call me a rich lady, it sounds terrible, Lu Su pouted, if you want, I can give it to you. She was speaking the truth. After more than a month of the apocalypse, the population had decreased by billions. If a large estate didn't know how many people were still alive, and her father didn't know if he was still there, giving it to Fang Chen was no big deal. The two continued to joke around. They drove towards the manor. The weather had cooled down to 40 degrees Celsius, still hot but not enough to kill anyone. However, due to the strengthening of the zombies, not many people would wander around the streets alone. So, Fang Chen didn't encounter many people on the way. However, some zombie dogs, cats, rats, and the like were encountered. Fang Chen directly rolled over them to prevent harm. Over an hour later, Fang Chen finally arrived near the LV's manor. However, many zombies were surrounding the area, some even wearing maid outfits, presumably former maids of the manor. These zombies were much stronger than before, and Fang Chen's armored vehicle had a hard time rolling over them. Could there be people inside? Fang Chen looked at at least a few hundred zombies around. Zombies seek food, they follow the scent and move towards crowded places. With so many of them gathered here, it was very likely that there were people inside the manor, and quite a few at that. Is it my father? LV Su was somewhat surprised. She had learned from Wu Yu that her father had gone missing, and she had initially believed the other party's words, feeling foolish. Let's find an entrance and go in to take a look. Fang Chen, however, was not so optimistic and felt that it probably wasn't LV Su's father inside. He drove the car, shook off the zombies behind him, parked the car in a safe place, and then said to LV Su, close your eyes, I'll take you in. Why do I have to close my eyes? Hearing the words close your eyes, LV Su subconsciously remembered the scene where she asked Fang Chen to close his eyes, blushing involuntarily. Don't worry, I don't have anything for you to drink. Fang Chen joked. Hmph, I wouldn't drink it anyway. LV Su lightly scolded, obediently closing her eyes. Fang Chen then used his spatial ability to bypass the nearly 2 meter thick, 8 meter high wall and entered the manor. 
When she opened her eyes and saw that she had already entered the manor, LV Su couldn't help but be amazed, her mouth hanging open. The wall was 8 meters high, making it difficult for zombies to climb in, yet Fang Chen had brought her in in less than 2 seconds, which was truly amazing. How did you do that? Secret. Fang Chen covered it up. He then said, I'm not familiar with the inside, so you lead the way. Okay. LV Su nodded and then started walking in the manor. Who are these people? After just a few steps, the two of them found many survivors covered in dirt inside the manor. These survivors, upon seeing Fang Chen and LV Su, who looked fresh and bright, dared not say anything and quickly began their work. Are they your servants? Fang Chen asked. No, my family doesn't have so many servants. LV Su shook her head. There were at least a few hundred people here. Where did the LV family get so many servants from? Suddenly, the sound of a whip cracking came, interspersed with a man's cursing. Damn, dare to be lazy, you've eaten your meal for nothing, I'll whip you to death. Guo Xiao is doing well, these lowly people are just despicable. A woman chimed in. Fang Chen frowned, let's go take a look. The two of them walked over, and soon a group of grimy people were working hard digging pits. Beside the crowd, a weak man lay on the ground, while a young man in his twenties held a charming woman in his arms, one hand rubbing the woman's body, the other hand holding a whip and fiercely whipping the weak man. It's her. LV Su seemed to recognize the woman, seeing her lying in a man's arms, her face immediately filled with anger. Do you know her? Fang Chen turned to ask. However, before LV Su could answer, a man and a woman not far away seemed to have seen Fang Chen and LV Su, and walked towards them. Who are you? The young man called Guo Xiao looked at Fang Chen and LV Su. Fang Chen and LV Su were clean and tidy, unlike the grimy survivors, so the young man didn't act too rudely towards Fang Chen, thinking they were new superhumans. However, when he looked at LV Su, his eyes involuntarily roamed up and down, a hint of desire flashing in his eyes. LV Su was fair-skinned and beautiful, exuding an air of nobility, making it hard for 99% of men to resist being attracted to her. I'm Gua Hao. Gua Hao reached out his hand. It's you, LV Su. The woman in Gua Hao's arms also recognized LV Su, feeling Gua Hao staring at LV Su all along, feeling somewhat displeased. Do you know her? Gua Hao was taken aback. She, the woman in Gua Hao's arms chuckled, she is someone's daughter. What a joke, you are only in your twenties, how could you have such a grown-up daughter? Gua Hao rolled his eyes. She's not my biological daughter, the woman said, her father used to be the owner of this estate, Lu Tian. She is Lu Tian's only daughter, the young lady of the Lu family. She is the young lady of the Lu family? Upon hearing the woman's introduction, Gua Hao's eyes widened, and he once again looked at Lu Su. She had a tall and curvy figure, probably over 168 centimeters tall, with a soft and gentle almond-shaped face, delicate and three-dimensional features, appearing intellectual and gentle. Looking down, her long and shapely thighs were wrapped in flesh-colored stockings. Looking at those perfect feet, Gua Hao thought to himself that he would be willing to lick them a few times. Even being stepped on by her would be a reward. The Lu family was one of the three major families in Luo City. The title of the young lady of the Lu family was well known among those with power, as she was one of the three goddesses of Luo City. Gua Hao, being a second generation wealthy individual, naturally had heard of her. However, he had never seen her before. This was because Lu Su did not grow up in Luo City but lived with an old Chinese medicine practitioner. Later, at the age of 18, she quietly entered the medical school in the capital city to further her studies. She graduated with a master's degree at the age of 25 and then came to Jiang City to work as a young doctor, becoming the head of a department at the age of 28. She had always kept a low profile during this period, with her reputation only circulating among the top circles. Lu Su truly entered the public eye when she married a scion of a third-rate family, as he had saved her, and the newspapers even reported on the incident, claiming that Lu Su repaid kindness. At that time, all the top second-generation wealthy individuals in Luo City lamented that such a good cabbage had been snatched by a pig. They almost wanted to kill Wu Yu. The reason Gua Hao did not immediately recognize Lu Su was also because of his low social status, as he did not attend that wedding, and the newspapers did not publish Lu Su's face. Now that he recognized her and saw Lu Su's beauty, combined with her former identity as one of the three goddesses of Luo City, he was truly amazed. His jaw almost dropped to the ground. She was indeed a goddess. He is that third-rate wealthy second generation? Gua Hao pointed to Fang Chen beside him, who looked like a little white face. How could he, with no outstanding qualities, marry such a beautiful goddess? Him? The charming woman glanced at Fang Chen and shook her head. No, I remember that person was not as handsome as him. Good daughter, I really didn't expect that in just a few days, you would change boyfriends again. Where is your husband? Did you guys kill him? 
The charming woman sarcastically teased Lu Su. She did not like the woman who pretended to be gentle and virtuous, like a white lotus flower. She used to hold back her complaints, but now she had no reservations. Shut up. Lu Su was very angry. Don't call me daughter, Sun Yu, you are just my stepmother. Where is my dad? Why are you with this person? Sun Yu? Fong Chen was taken aback. Why did this name sound so familiar? He looked at the woman opposite him again and suddenly remembered who she was. Wasn't she the female lead of a certain TV drama? Known as the pure and virtuous beauty, she was the idol of many otaku men, with millions of fans on Weibo. Fang Chen's former university roommate really liked this woman and even dragged him to watch her TV dramas. Unexpectedly, she turned out to be Lu Su's stepmother? This was too unbelievable. Lu Su was 28 years old, and her father must be over 50. Sun Yu, who looked about 25, had actually married a man twice her age. The entertainment industry was truly chaotic. It was no wonder Lu Su was so angry. Sun Yu, the woman in front of her, was her father's woman, and now she was coquettishly leaning on another man's arms. Wasn't she humiliating her father? TSK TSK. Why am I with Gua Sha? Sun Yu chuckled, of course, Gua Sha is amazing. Your deadbeat old man has such poor physical condition. If it weren't for him supporting me back then, I wouldn't have wanted to be with him. Now that his business has been stolen, why would I stay with him and wait to starve to death? Following Guo Xiao is great. I can eat rice every day, drink water every day, and don't have to work. Besides, Guo Xiao has powerful abilities to protect me. You shameless. LV Su's chest heaved with anger. If she hadn't been well-bred, she would have gone up and slapped the other person. Fong Chen's expression was strange. When you think about it, LV Su's father was betrayed, and he indirectly played a part in it. Ashamed, ashamed. Don't worry, I will take care of your daughter. Me, shameless? Sun Yu sneered, who is it that got married just over a month ago and already found a wild man? Not me. LV Su's face flushed. Hearing this, Fang Chen was also displeased to be called a wild man by such a woman. Where is my father? Where is he? LV Su didn't want to say much to Sun Yu, she asked coldly about her father's whereabouts. He, he. Sun Yu sneered, when he found out his business was stolen, he fainted on the spot. Later, he suffered from heatstroke and didn't wake up due to his poor health. Then an old man came and said he would take him to the capital for treatment. What a joke. It's so hot, the planes are grounded, the roads are closed, are they going to walk to the capital? I bet they'll be eaten by zombies halfway. Could it be the master took my father to the capital? LV Su's eyebrows furrowed, feeling very worried. The master and her father are both in their 60s, and the distance from Luocheng to the capital is thousands of kilometers. How will they get there? As Sun Yu said, they are both at risk of accidents. LV Su became increasingly anxious. No, I have to go find them. LV Su turned to leave. However, just as LV Su was about to leave, Gua Hao blocked her way in advance. Miss LV, you're already home. Come in and have a drink. I'll take good care of you. Gua Hao greedily eyed LV Su. Such a beautiful woman, he never dreamed of before. Although she is now a second hand, she is still better than the woman next to him. This is my home. I'll go in if I want to. Do I need you to take care of me? LV Su gave him a cold stare. LV Su has always been aloof before meeting Fong Chen, and with her extraordinary background, she exudes a sense of distance that keeps people away. This stare made Gua Hao's heart tremble. Damn, she's just a woman, I'm an ability user, what am I afraid of? Gua Hao cursed inwardly. Miss LV, this is no longer your home. Gua Hao sneered. Fong Chen raised an eyebrow, sizing up this guy. What, is this your home? Fong Chen became alert. It is obvious that this mansion has been occupied by others, with probably thousands of people inside. To manage so many people, there must be at least a hundred ability users in this mansion, and Gua Hao is at least a T1 level ability user to manage so many of them. Although Fang Chen is confident and not afraid of anyone, he is not arrogant enough to look down on everyone. He silently activated his spatial barrier, holding three spatial imprints and a spatial blade in his hand. If the other party makes a move, he will counterattack and directly kill them. This area is under my control. Gua Hao proudly patted his chest. What do you mean? Fang Chen was taken aback. He heard the loophole in the other's words. The other said this area, not the entire mansion. Humph, Gua Xiao is the team leader of the mountain villa, managing five ability users and 100 survivors. Gua Hao, holding Sun Yu, said proudly. Put. Hearing the other's words, Fang Chen couldn't help but laugh. Team leader? Managing five ability users? He thought the other was the manager of the entire mansion, but he turned out to be a small fry. Humph, now you know how powerful I am. Sun Yu didn't see Fong Chen's disdain and continued proudly, 
Guoxiao now earns a daily wage of one caddy of rice, two bottles of mineral water, and a bonus of a chicken leg for each powerful person. Ha ha ha. Meow meow meow. Even the electric mother couldn't help but meow loudly when she heard the other party's words, rolling on the ground with a disdainful look in her eyes. Brother, one kilogram of rice a day? Only eating a chicken leg once a week? What you eat is not as good as what I poop. Why be a team leader? How about this? Come to me and help me clean the toilet. You can eat what I poop. Don't make yourself suffer. Meow. Fan Chen was also somewhat speechless. Originally, seeing Sun Yu following Gua Hao, he thought the other party was a powerful character. After all, Sun Yu used to be a popular actress and also the daughter of Lu Su. But he didn't expect her to be just a team leader. However, Sun Yu was doing quite well. You have to know that this is the end of the world. Pure beauty is not useful in the end of the world. There are many stars like Sun Yu in Yen Country. Moreover, she is a second hand, or even an nth hand accident car. The real big shots, where would they look at such women? Like Fang Chen, they value abilities first, then character and appearance. So, Sun Yu can only find these half hearted ability users. Hua Hao had a slightly better eye than Sun Yu, and noticed that Fang Chen's eyes were not right. Bro, what gang are you with? Sneaking into our Wan Chai Pier territory, do you know the consequences? Wan Chai Pier? Do you guys really like dumplings? Fang Chen found the name of the gang a bit strange. But on second thought, he seemed to have no gang. He would definitely recruit subordinates in the future. Giving the organization a name could also increase team unity and sense of belonging. He thought and said, I am from Ionia. Ionia? Gua Hao sneered. He had never heard of this gang. Probably some insignificant small gang. With this, Fang Chen's initial wariness towards Gua Hao completely dissipated, his eyes filled with disdain. He then looked at Lu Su, Miss Lu, following such a small gang, what future can you have? You might be wiped out by zombies one day. Join our Wan Chai Pier. As long as you follow me, I will give you half a kilogram of rice, a bottle of water, and chicken legs to eat every day. Gua Hao's eyes were hopeful, he felt he was very sincere, considering he only gave Sun Yu two ounces of rice a day. Get lost. Even though Lu Su had high quality, she couldn't help but show a look of disdain towards Gua Hao. Half a kilogram of rice? In Fang Chen's place, she had to eat dozens of kilograms of food every day, lobsters, abalones, different every day, why would she care about your measly offerings? Besides, this was originally her home. Or, let me help you take back the manor, Fang Chen suggested. As you wish, for Lu Su, whether the manor was taken back or not didn't matter, because she was going to the capital to find her father, in that case, I'll give it to you. I won't be polite then. Fang Chen grinned. The weather was not as hot now. Although the living conditions in the cold storage were good, compared to the manor, it was definitely a bit lacking. And he would have to recruit followers in the future, they couldn't all live in the cold storage. Not to mention there wasn't enough space. Most importantly, Fang Chen didn't want other men to hear his and his wife's private conversations, so he needed a bigger place. This manor was perfect, and it belonged to Lu Su. Take back the manor? On the side, hearing that the two had already decided the ownership of the manor, Gua Hao couldn't help but sneer, this pretty boy really didn't know his place. Do you know how many people we have in Wan Chai Pier? Gua Hao looked at Fang Chen coldly. Fang Chen raised his eyebrows, how many? Our Wan Chai Pier is now one of the three largest gangs in Luo City, with over 3,000 survivors, 300 abilities users, our leader can single-handedly fight against 10 zombies, with just your third-rate gang, you want to take over our manor? Gua Hao sneered, as long as our leader gives the order, over 3,000 people can crush you instantly. Hearing this, Fang Chen couldn't help but frown. This waterfront pier is more powerful than he imagined. However, with his spatial abilities, as long as he doesn't act recklessly, there's basically no one who can kill him. As for taking over the manor, Fang Chen currently has no such plans. With over 3,000 people in the manor, the personnel are mixed, and Fang Chen doesn't have the time to manage them all. However, when the need arises in the future, he can consider it. Seeing Fang Chen silent, Gua Hao thought he was scared, so he became smug again, how about it, Miss LV, leave this loser and join us, become my woman, and you won't have to worry about anything. Gua Hao approached LV Su, reaching out to touch her face. So annoying. Fang Chen was too lazy to listen to Gua Hao's chatter, so he directly used a spatial blade to cut off his hand. Then he sliced open his head, took out the crystal from inside. Crushed. On the side, Sun Yu stared blankly at the scene, unable to react for a moment. The person who was alive just a moment ago had his head split open the next second, and the white sticky substance from his head even splattered on her face. She was shocked. What kind of demon is this? You, you actually killed Guahao, you're crazy, he's the leader of the waterfront peer team, you're doomed. 
Sun Yu pointed at Fong Chen in horror. Fong Chen glanced at her. Waterfront Pier? Popeye won't help. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Seeing Fong Chen's murderous look, Sun Yu panicked, knowing that threatening Fong Chen wouldn't work. She immediately knelt down, hugged Fong Chen's thigh, crying and begging for mercy, even reaching out to touch Fong Chen's hand inappropriately. Don't kill me, I won't tell anyone about this, I can be your woman, I'm good at acting, I can play any role you want, I can play as LV Su's stepmother. Don't touch her. At this moment, LV Su shouted to stop Fong Chen. Fong Chen looked at her in confusion. Could it be that she felt sorry for the stepmother? She's my dad's woman, do you want to betray my dad? LV Su glared. Although LV Su didn't like Sun Yu, she was still her father's woman before, and if Fong Chen got involved with Sun Yu again, wouldn't it be a mess? LV Su couldn't accept this. Fong Chen felt wronged. It was the other party who held his hand, he had no interest in such a woman. Should I kill her? Fong Chen asked. It's up to you. Although LV Su was kind-hearted and compassionate, after spending these days with Fong Chen, she had changed somewhat and wouldn't be as soft-hearted towards enemies as before. Then let's not kill her for now. Fong Chen thought for a moment and said. He planned to leave a spatial mark on Sun Yu, so he could use her to gather information about the manor and even use her as a bomb if necessary, for future use. It's more useful than killing her directly. After marking her head, Fong Chen let Sun Yu go. Let's go. Fong Chen pulled LV Su away. After Sun Yu returned, she would definitely inform the manor. Okay. The two left the manor. As Fong Chen had guessed, after Sun Yu left, she went to a villa in the manor to inform the manager. Using the monitoring function of the mark, Fong Chen also learned about this scene. The other party was a young man in his twenties, quite handsome, with a hint of a sinister aura between his eyebrows, appearing to be a ruthless and extremely intelligent person. Li Zetian, one of the three major families in Luo City before the apocalypse, the heir of the Li family. He graduated from a prestigious foreign university. After returning to China, he took over the family business. The Li family operated ports and fishing industries in Luo City owning over 70% of the fishing boats in Luo City, with thousands of sailors and assets worth billions. At the beginning of the apocalypse, Li Zetian felt something strange, so he did not sell the seafood harvested at the port that day, but hoarded it all. As expected, the apocalypse continued. In the end, it was these hoarded seafood that helped the family survive. Later, supernatural abilities emerged, and he discovered the secret of these abilities. Not only did he awaken his own abilities, but he also helped his family and relatives awaken theirs. Although some relatives died during the awakening process, the Li family had many members, and more than 20 people awakened their abilities. These people all respected and trusted Li Zetian, becoming his confidants. Later, he gathered the sailors who had awakened abilities under the family before, managed by more than 20 of his relatives, forming the Wan Chai Pier and becoming one of the largest gangs in Luo City. Currently, his territory includes not only the LV family manor but also the pier and other places. Li Zetian himself does not involve himself in gang matters, but focuses on improving his strength every day. He knows that resources are important, but strength is the key to protecting resources. You mean, you found LV Su? Li Zetian asked Sun Yu in surprise, where is she now? Li Zetian and LV Su were of similar age, and he had pursued her before, but she did not agree. Later, she married a third-rate rich second generation, which made him very angry. He had always wanted to take LV Su away. Just now in the manor, she was with a very powerful man, and she killed Guo Xiao, Sun Yu replied. Li Zetian laughed heartily, since the apocalypse, I have been sending people to inquire about her whereabouts. I heard she was abducted some time ago, but I didn't expect her to show up here. What is the man's name? He asked. Sun Yu shook his head, I don't know but he claims to be from the Ionia gang and wants to take over our manor. Ionia? Li Zetian frowned, is there a gang in Luo City called Ionia? Master, currently in Luo City, the largest gangs are the newly risen orphanage and the Chen family's merciless society. There is no gang called Ionia among the second-rate gangs, a relative explained. Ha, huh, a guy who isn't even from a second-rate gang dares to try to take over our Wan Chai Pier, Li Zetian said disdainfully, waving his hand to the relative, second uncle, go and bring LV Su back for me and while you're at it, wipe out this Ionia. As for you, Li Zetian looked at Sun Yu again, you've done well. I'll reward you with an evolution crystal. Whether you can awaken abilities or not depends on your luck. Thank you, young master. Another suitor of LV Su? Fang Chen observed this scene clearly through the imprint, surprised that there were quite a few suitors for LV Su. If these people knew that LV Su had helped herself regain strength in that way, they might be envious to the point of spitting blood. It seemed that this Li Zetian was not easy to deal with. 
Through observation, he realized that the other party's strength was not weak, much stronger than Wu Yu. Although not his match, it would be difficult to directly kill him. Moreover, Li Zetian seemed to know the method of enhancing strength, just like himself, constantly absorbing crystals and consuming a large amount of food. And his subordinates were all his relatives. Fang Chen had considered trying to turn them against him before. Now it seemed fortunate that he didn't do so. If he had impulsively attacked back then, even if he had killed the other party, it would have been difficult to unify the manor. He would have to deal with his relatives first. After leaving the manor, the two got back into the vehicle and drove away from the manor. Where do you plan to go now? Fang Chen asked LV Su, who seemed a bit absent-minded. I, LV Su glanced at Fang Chen, hesitated for a moment, then said firmly, I want to go to the capital, to find my father. To the capital? Fang Chen's tone was serious, we are over 2,000 kilometers away from the capital. Although the weather is not as hot anymore, there will still be zombies and mutants on the road, and you are very likely to die on the way. I know, LV Su nodded, but I was raised by my father alone since I was young. Now that he is in danger, as his only daughter, I must go find him even if it's dangerous. Fang Chen fell silent. LV Su's actions were indeed admirable, and Fang Chen couldn't find a reason to refute. Because if it were him, Fang Chen would do the same. I can't accompany you. Fang Chen said. It's okay, LV Su smiled slightly. You have helped me enough. If you accompany me again, it might only be repaid with my life. Ah, uh, do I need to accompany you now? LV Su was stunned for a moment, but quickly understood Fang Chen's meaning, blushing slightly. It's too late. That's a pity, Fang Chen looked disappointed. In fact, even if LV Su said there was still time, he couldn't accompany her. Because the journey was too dangerous and he was not familiar with the outside world. Everything he knew in his past life was about Jung City. If he went to the outside world, everything he knew would be meaningless, as if he had been reborn for nothing. Fang Chen wouldn't give up his own foundation for a woman. If he wanted to go to the outside world, he had to wait until he unified Luo City and strengthened his own power. How do you plan to go to the capital? Fang Chen asked. LV Su thought for a moment and said, I should walk there. Over 2,000 kilometers, how long will it take you? Fang Chen pondered for a moment and said, you should take this car. Ordinary zombies can't break through the defense of this car, and it can ensure your safety. For the current Fang Chen, the armored car was just a means of transportation, not essential, as his own defense was much stronger than the armored car. LV Su had good qualifications. If this car could keep LV Su alive, it would be like a life-saving grace to her, and she would only give him more in return. And that was the case. In a future dangerous situation, LV Su repaid him by sacrificing herself to save Fang Chen. Thank you, Fang Chen. LV Su was very touched. Fang Chen had helped her a lot during this time, and she didn't know how to repay him. After hesitating for a moment, she said, Fang Chen, pull over. What's wrong? Fang Chen asked in confusion. Just pull over, okay. Fang Chen stopped the car. LV Su then pointed to the electric mother who had been sitting in the back seat and said, let her leave first. Although it was just a cat, she had realized in these days that this cat was extraordinary and very clever. She felt awkward saying such things in front of the cat. Fang Chen instantly understood. He picked up the electric mother by the back of her neck and said, you go play over there. The electric mother was thrown out of the car, looking confused. No, is this really polite? How can you treat me like this when we were born the same way? It turned out that the power-up the other party mentioned was the source of life. However, Fang Chen ignored the electric mother and asked in surprise, you've recovered? Just recovered, Fang Chen was even more surprised. The effect of the source of life was self-evident, at least it could double Fang Chen's growth rate in five days. Originally, Fang Chen thought he would never have a second chance in this life. Unexpectedly, before LV Su left, she voluntarily offered him a drink. Good people do get good rewards. Hurry up, LV Su said coquettishly. He he, Fang Chen grinned, how can something like this be rushed? I haven't even tasted it last time, I'll savor it this time. You're such a jerk. Can you promise me one thing? Fang Chen said unclearly. What? Only let me drink it in the future. Pa, dreaming of beauty and wanting a future. Oh, stop it, I promise, I owe you. Be safe on the road. A little over an hour later, Fang Chen was satisfied, while LV Su's face was flushed. Fang Chen originally wanted her to stay a little longer, but LV Su was worried about her father's safety, so Fang Chen didn't stop her. Hmm. LV Su nodded, but in her heart, she was not as calm as she appeared on the surface. She didn't know how many dangers there were on the way, and whether she could survive was really uncertain. That's why she had just done what she did, otherwise she wouldn't have stood a chance. LV Su left. 
Fang Chen looked around again, not knowing where Dian Mu had gone. Hakimi, he called out twice, but there was no response, so he started looking around. After walking a few hundred meters, he arrived at a dilapidated street. Suddenly, the voices of several men and women came over, and Fang Chen looked over to see several middle-aged men and women chatting together. Is it them? Seeing the appearance of the few people, Fang Chen's eyes turned cold, it's a small world. These people were none other than relatives of Su Qingqing's family. Unexpectedly, without him in this life, they were still alive. However, meeting him, they might not survive. During this period, the Su River family had a hard time. Before the apocalypse, Fang Chen had tricked Su Qingqing's family, and Su Qingqing had begged them to borrow tens of thousands of yuan. Su he was stingy. After losing tens of thousands of yuan, he clamored to save money, so there were not many supplies at home. During this period, the family survived by consuming each other's waste. They had just encountered zombies and almost died. Fortunately, they met a good person who brought them here. Dad, isn't that guy Su Qingqing's boyfriend? This was a young man next to Su He, pointing to a familiar figure not far away. Su He also looked over. Damn, it's really that guy named Fang Chen. Let's go, let's settle the score with him. Su He remembered how Fang Chen had tricked them before, and anger surged in his chest. He walked towards Fang Chen with his wife and children. You little brat, how dare you show up in front of me. Give me back the money right now. Su He pointed at Fang Chen's nose and cursed. Slap. Fang Chen slapped him directly, causing Su He to spin a few times and his head to spin. Who are you pointing at? Am I someone you can point at? You, how dare you hit someone? Beside him, Su He's wife couldn't stand it anymore and started scolding like a shrew. Is there no law left? Not only did you cheat us out of money, but you also dared to hit people, you damn bastard. Slap. Fang Chen slapped the woman in the face again. Your mouth stinks, go eat shit. When did I cheat you? Su He's son was a coward. Seeing Fang Chen being so domineering and slapping people at every turn, he involuntarily took two steps back and said to Fang Chen with a fierce look, You're still trying to argue. Why did you run away without paying the bill at the Luocheng Hotel? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have run out of money, we wouldn't have been able to buy supplies, would we have fallen to this point now? Pay the bill? Fang Chen sneered, Did I eat anything? From start to finish, the dishes were ordered by you, the drinks were drunk by you, why should I pay the bill? What a joke. The young man was speechless. He understood this principle. However, they understood the principle but didn't act according to it, otherwise Fang Chen wouldn't have such a strong aversion to them. Even if you didn't eat, as Su Qingqing's boyfriend, isn't it normal for you to treat her relatives to a meal? Is it normal? Fang Chen sneered, which law says that a boyfriend should be treated like a pig? Besides, when did I admit to being her boyfriend? Even if we are relatives, are you worthy? You. Sui's family was so angry that their faces turned red. They had come to pick a fight with Fang Chen, but ended up being scolded by him. Just wait for me, when Wu Du comes, I'll make you pay. Su He pointed at Fang Chen. Slap. Fang Chen slapped him again. Dare to point? I'll chop off your hand. The Su River's gas was unbearable, and he almost had a heart attack, but he didn't dare to point again. His eyes caught sight of a man not far away, and he immediately became excited. Wu Dai is here. Su River's wife and son also became excited upon seeing him. You're dead, brat, Wu Dai is an esper. Esper. Fang Chen sneered, but the name Wu Dai sounded familiar to him. Fang Chen also saw the other party. It's him. Fang Chen knew this Wu Dai from his past life, a member of a faction called the Orphanage. The Orphanage was originally a CX organization, named after its headquarters being in an orphanage. The leader of the orphanage was named Zheng Shijian. By chance, he learned of a method to quickly enhance his strength, which was to obtain the crystals and the brains of other espers. Excited by this news, Zheng Shijian immediately killed one of his underlings to try it out, and found it to be effective. He wanted to kill more people right away. However, Zheng Shijian's strength was average, and his esper ability was just a mental type ability with no combat power, making it very difficult for him to hunt down other espers. Zhang Shijian thought of his old profession, CX. He was best at deceiving people. Coupled with his mental type ability, he was even more effective at deceiving people. In just a few days, they had deceived hundreds of espers into joining them. Later, Zhang Shijian used these espers to seize the territories of other small factions, expanding their territory and resources, eventually becoming one of the three major factions in Luo City. Now, they not only deceive espers but also deceive ordinary people. After the devastation by the zombies, many facilities in the city were in ruins. After occupying these areas, they needed people to repair them. However, how could the high and mighty espers do manual labor themselves? 
So, they had to deceive some ordinary people into becoming laborers, while also serving the high and mighty espers. And Su River was the laborer that Wu De had his eye on. The reason Fang Chen knew all this was because in his past life, Su River had brought this Wu De home, claiming that Wu De was a powerful esper who could lead them into a better life in the faction. Su Qingqing's parents even tried to matchmake Su Qingqing and Wu Di. Later, when Wu Di found out that Fang Chen also had an esper ability, he proposed that Fang Chen could join the faction as a leader and receive a large amount of resources every day. At that time, Fang Chen didn't want to go because he felt that there was no such thing as a free lunch in the world, and the other party must have some ulterior motive. However, under the pressure from Su Qingqing's family, Fang Chen had no choice but to go along. However, before joining the faction, Fang Chen met a brother who was a policeman, who revealed to Fang Chen that this faction was not a good organization. It was the former CX organization they were investigating, specializing in luring espers in with the aim of extracting the crystals from their brains to upgrade their leader. Fang Chen was shocked at the time. Fortunately, with the help of his brother, Fang Chen managed to escape. However, after returning home, Su Qingqing's family plotted to kill Fang Chen and extracted the crystal from his brain. Now, upon careful consideration, Fang Chen realized that Su Qingqing's family, who had no esper abilities, could not possibly know the purpose of the crystal in his brain. Why did they do this? There was only one reason. It must be that Wu De, upon learning of his escape, had found Su Qingqing's family and revealed the matter of the crystal. Driven by desire, Su Qingqing's family killed him. He never expected to encounter this guy in this life. He estimated that this guy didn't know that his leader would extract the crystals from all his subordinates. However, he didn't need to know, because he would kill him before Zhang Shijian could extract his crystal. Uncle, aunt, Wu De walked over and greeted them with a smile. Wu De, you've come. Sua rushed to Wu De's side as if seeing a savior, pointing at Fang Chen and said, you have to be the master for us. This guy not only cheated our money but also hit me. Look at my face, it's all swollen. Swish. A sound of breaking air came, and an arm fell to the ground, Sua let out a piercing scream. Fang Chen snorted. He said, I warned you, I'll chop off hands. And he did. Beast, murderer, you deserve to die. Sua's wife and son, seeing Sua's hands being chopped off, were both shocked and angry. I'll show you. Fang Chen, tired of listening to their complaints, took out a spray and directly aimed at the whole family. Wu De was still in shock. Fang Chen's actions were so decisive and ruthless, it was like killing without blinking an eye. Kid, do you know who I am? You dare to kill in front of me. Wu De finally reacted glaring angrily at Fang Chen. Who do you think you are? Fang Chen retorted. You. Wu Du was stunned, never seen Fang Chen being so direct and harsh. I am an orphan. Wu Du revealed his identity. The orphanage was one of the three major gangs in Luo City, and no one dared to disrespect them. Orphanage, so what? Fang Chen already knew the other's identity. What was there to fear about the orphanage? He would eventually take down their leader. You probably don't know the strength of our orphanage, do you? Wu Di thought Fang Chen was just an ordinary person, unaware of the gangs in Luo City, and said, Our orphanage has nearly a thousand people, hundreds of mutants. A spit from each of us could drown you, believe it or not. But, considering your ignorance, I'll give you a chance. Wu Di arrogantly said, Kneel down, apologize to me, then come with me to the orphanage, to replace their positions. But rest assured, we won't mistreat you. In our orphanage, we eat white rice every day, occasionally we have pickles to eat, definitely better than what you have now. Better than what I have now. Fang Chen laughed, understanding that the other had a limited perspective. But daring to threaten him, that was seeking death. Bang! Fang Chen shot at Wu De. Wu De didn't even have time to react, as he thought no one could resist the temptation of a bowl of white rice, especially in the apocalypse. But little did he know, Fang Chen was unpredictable, there was no warning before the shot, no chance to react. Wu Du was hit directly by Fang Chen's shot. However, Wu Du had defensive abilities, so when Fang Chen shot him, it only crippled his lower body. A foul-smelling liquid leaked out. Ah! Wu Du screamed in pain, glaring at Fang Chen with shock and anger. You sneak attacked me. I'll kill you. Wu Du was ruthless. Despite the blood pooling from his lower body, he endured the pain and used his defensive abilities to charge at Fang Chen. Impressive. Fang Chen couldn't help but give a thumbs up. However, Wu Du was just a low-level defensive mutant. The previous shot didn't hit a vital spot, didn't kill him directly, but could he withstand a second shot? Fang Chen sprayed another shot at Wu De. Oops, missed, sprayed my hand. Again. Damn, this time it's on my foot, don't move, let me improperly. Fang Chen sprayed several shots, only hitting Wu De's limbs. Wu De lay on the ground, howling in pain. Are you doing this on purpose? 
who misses the target every time. Wu Di resented his defensive abilities, as Fang Chan's shots only caused injuries to his limbs, not death. The pain from being shot in the limbs made him wish for death. Just wait, the orphanage won't let you off. Blah blah. Fang Chen stepped on his face, didn't you say a spit from each of you could drown me? Seems like you're pretty thirsty, I'll drown you. Fang Chen loosened his belt and sprayed him in the face. Looking at the crazy Wu Di, Fang Chen no longer had the heart to torture him, and directly cut off his head. In the previous life, he dug his own crystal, and in this life, it was his turn. After dealing with Wu Di, Fang Chen began to look for the electric mother. However, halfway there, Fang Chen encountered another group of people, at least dozens of them, all with special abilities. Kid, have you seen an armored vehicle, with a man and a woman inside, the woman is under 30 and very beautiful? The leader, a middle-aged man, stopped Fang Chen in his tracks. Armored vehicle? Fang Chen's expression was strange, immediately realizing that these people were probably looking for him. However, these people had never seen him before and did not know what he looked like, thinking he was just a passerby. With this in mind, Fang Chen came up with an idea. Yes, I saw them heading in that direction. Fang Chen pointed to the place he had just come from, which was the territory of the orphanage. Are you sure? If you dare to deceive me. Li Quan narrowed his eyes, scrutinizing Fang Chen. Fang Chen lied without blinking. I'm sure, it's definitely there. Boss, that place is the territory of the orphanage, if we chase after them, there may be a conflict. One of the henchmen said. After experiencing the baptism of the apocalypse, the world had long lost its laws, and now different factions controlled various districts of the city. As one of the three major gangs, the Wan Chai Pier occupied all the coastal territories. The orphanage, on the other hand, occupied the northern suburbs, adjacent to the territory of the Wan Chai Pier. Conflict? It seems that this Ionian is pretending to be from this orphanage, no wonder I haven't heard of it before. Li Quan snorted coldly, his eyes extremely cold, what an orphanage, what a Zhang Shijian, a CX operator, dare to bully us. I had already sensed their ill intentions towards us, but I didn't expect them to send people to invade our estate and kill one of my brothers. The Li family was in the port industry, and in such industries, there were always some grey areas involved. Li Quan had been in the game for decades, and in his eyes, Zhang Shijian was just a small role, how could he bear such a loss? Moreover, if he ignored the killing of a henchman like this, who else would be willing to work for the Wan Chai Pier in the future, they would probably all run away. He immediately waved his hand, let's go, let's go to the orphanage and demand an explanation for our dead brother. Before leaving, he glanced at Fang Chen again, his eyes unkind as he said, brother, you must also be a special ability user, from the orphanage? I am indeed a special ability user, but I am not from the orphanage, just a lone wolf. Fang Chen bluffed. He was secretly delighted. Seeing this situation, it was very likely that the Wan Chai Pier would start a fight with the orphanage. Dogs biting dogs, weakening their strength and creating space for his own development, Fang Chen found it enjoyable. A lone wolf? Do you want to join our Wan Chai Pier? Li Quan asked. I would be honored. Fang Chen nodded. After Fang Chen left, not long after, several of Wu Di's companions found Wu Di's body. Each one was furious. Who dares to be so bold as to kill someone from the orphanage on their territory? Captain, look at that. Suddenly, a special ability user exclaimed, pointing in a direction. Everyone looked over. They were instantly shocked. People from Wan Chai Pier? Damn, they must have killed Wu Di. Go get help. Wan Chai Pier is invading. Damn it. The special ability users from the orphanage thought that Li Quan and the others were coming to invade, immediately releasing a signal to gather people, and soon dozens of special ability users surrounded them. The two groups, each thinking the other had killed their faction member, met and immediately started fighting. Fang Chen watched the scene, chuckled lightly, and slipped away while no one noticed. Meow. After leaving, Fang Chen was looking for the electric mother, and finally heard a meow in a certain place. Following the sound, he found the electric mother in a woman's arms, rubbing its head uncomfortably. Damn, this mother cat is still so rogue? Fang Chen was speechless. He immediately went over. Dian Mu. Fang Chen went up and grabbed Dian Mu by the back of her neck. You can really run, huh? You don't want the dried fish, do you? I'll deduct your salary, believe it or not. Meow. Dian Mu protested hurriedly. How can you lift me up like this in front of others? Don't I deserve a little dignity? Who are you? Why do you call her little flower Dian Mu? The woman who had just held Dian Mu in her arms stared at Fang Chen with an unfriendly expression. The woman, about 24 to 5 years old, was wearing a short-sleeved police uniform with a gun at her waist, looking relatively clean. She had single eyelids, slightly upturned eyebrows and eye corners, giving off a very cold and difficult to get along with vibe. However, she was very good-looking, 
a solid 9 out of 10. It seems she was still a police officer after so long in the post-apocalyptic world, where most police officers had either sacrificed themselves or quit. Little flower? Do you know this cat? Fang Chen was surprised, as the woman seemed to know Dianmu. That's right, Yuan Yan Yan nodded. This is a cat my former classmate's mother used to raise. But after the old lady passed away, this cat went missing. I've been looking for her for a long time and couldn't find her. How did she end up with you? Did you steal the cat? Yuan Yan Yan's eyes were sharp. I didn't steal her, I saved her. Fang Chen quickly explained the situation of rescuing the cat. She was a police officer, and Fang Chen respected this profession and didn't want to conflict with her. I see. Yuan Yan Yan's expression softened. Thank you for taking care of her, but I have to take her with me. Take Dian Mu away? Absolutely not. Fang Chen immediately refused. He had invested so much energy in raising Dian Mu, feeding her crystal and dozens of pounds of food every day, and even arranging a maid to clean up after her. How could he just let someone take her away? If he took you away, would your dad agree? You can tell me what compensation you need. Yuan Yan Yan said, taking out a few pieces of bread from her pocket. No wonder she looked so bulging just now, she was hiding something. Now that she had taken out the bread, it was all flat. What would the bread taste like when it was hidden in her pocket? However, Fang Chen was not interested and shook his head, refusing, I don't need compensation, Dian Mu is not going with you, goodbye. He didn't lack food anyway. As he turned to leave, Yuan Yan Yan immediately stopped him. Fang Chen frowned, what, you want to snatch her? Fang Chen didn't want to conflict with her, as he respected her profession, but if she insisted on taking Dian Mu, Fang Chen would not hesitate. No, Yuan Yan Yan shook her head. How about this, Yuan Yan Yan hesitated for a moment and said, let little flower choose for herself. Whoever she wants to follow, she can follow. You can't force her. This, Fang Chen hesitated. What if this Dian Mu was flirty and jumped into the arms of the other person? He would be at a loss. But looking at the other person, if they didn't come to a decision, they wouldn't let him leave. Just as Fang Chen was hesitating, another figure approached. Yen's sister. The newcomer was a man, also in his early 20s, tall and estimated to be about 190 centimeters, with dark and robust skin, giving a simple, stable feeling. It was him. Fang Chen recognized him, memories flooding back, and a joyful smile unconsciously appeared on his face. Fang Chen? The man also recognized Fang Chen and also stood still for a moment, before excitedly saying, Damn, you're not dead. Damn, he da jiang, can't you speak properly? Do you want me dead so badly? Fang Chen was somewhat speechless. Bro Luo, that's not what I meant, I. He da jiang was not good at communicating, scratching his head awkwardly. Let's not say anything else, bro Luo, words are in the embrace. With that, he da jiang immediately hugged Fang Chen tightly. Damn, why hug so tightly? I don't like men. Fang Chen and He Da Jiang hugged tightly, both filled with joy in their hearts. He Da Jiang and Fang Chen were the best college roommates, often watching movies and playing games together, and helping each other pursue girls. However, He Da Jiang joined the army halfway through. After that, their contact slowly faded. In the previous life, Fang Chen met He Da Jiang after the apocalypse. At that time, Fang Chen was taken by Wu Di to join the orphanage and coincidentally met He Da Jiang there. It was He Da Jiang who told Fang Chen that the orphanage was actually a CX organization and helped Fang Chen escape from it. He Da Jiang saved Fang Chen's life, and Fang Chen has always been very grateful to him. Unfortunately, in their previous life, they had agreed to fight together, but Fang Chen went home and was killed by Su Qingqing's family. However, this time he successfully took revenge. Besides sending Lu Su away, his other goal this time is to find He Da Jiang. Fate works in mysterious ways, as they unexpectedly met here. Meow. You too, let go. On the side, Yuan Yan Yan angrily approached Fang Chen and He Da Jiang, pushing them apart. Two men, being so sentimental. It turned out that Fang Chen and He Da Jiang were too excited and squeezed the electric mother in between them when hugging, almost turning her into a cat pancake, which made Yuan Yan Yan feel sorry for her. By the way, Luo Gu, how did you survive? Did you also awaken abilities? He Da Jiang curiously asked Fang Chen. Oh, I was planning to do some business, built a cold storage, and coincidentally encountered the apocalypse, so I hid in the cold storage, Fang Chen said half truthfully. Rebirth is something that shouldn't be known to others. What about you? Fang Chen asked. I went to join the army before, and just happened to be discharged this year. I then joined a branch of our Luo city as a criminal investigator. I was planning to meet up with you, but things got busy, and a few days later, the apocalypse happened again, and I was assigned to maintain order. He Da Jiang sighed, the world is too chaotic, not only do we have to deal with zombies, 
but also watch out for ability users. Now our branch is almost empty, with only me and Sister Yin left. I don't know if the world can return to normal. By the way, let me introduce you. He da Jung pointed to Yuan Yin Yin and said, This is Yuan Yin Yin, a senior member of the criminal investigation team. Don't underestimate her just because she's pretty and slender. She's very capable. Even I can't beat her now. You can't beat her? Fang Chen looked at Yuan Yin Yin in surprise. When he met He Da Jiang in his previous life, he didn't see Yuan Yin Yin and didn't hear about this mentor. Fang Chen took another look at her, she was tall, about 175 centimeters, only half a head shorter than himself, but looked very slim, probably around 100 pounds. In the previous life, He Da Jiang was able to escape from the orphanage headquarters with him, yet he couldn't beat her now. What kind of ability does this woman have? Luo Go, were you just talking with Sister Yen about something? Is there a misunderstanding? He Da Jiang looked at the two, sensing some tension between them. One was his brother, and the other was his mentor, he didn't want any conflict between them. Nothing. Fang Chen shook his head and explained the situation with the electric mother. Oh, what have I done? He Da Jiang breathed a sigh of relief. Luo Good, do you have a place to go now? Why not come with us, then you won't have to fight over this cat, we can raise it together. Let me tell you, Luo Go, our place is huge, with beds, blankets, everything you need, you won't go hungry. Join you? Fang Chen was actually thinking of having He Da Jiang follow him, but before he could say anything, Yuan Yin Yin spoke up. He can't come with us, we still have a mission. I almost forgot. He Di Jiang suddenly remembered, scratching his head awkwardly, Luo Go, for your safety, you can't follow me for the time being, but it will be fine after the mission is completed. By then, we brothers will work together, and we will be as close as iron and gold. Let me tell you, I still have the disc you gave me before. I haven't had the heart to throw it away even in the apocalypse. Let's review it together when we find a computer, he he. What mission? Fang Chen asked curiously. He did Jiang explained, Luo Go, you also know that the order is chaotic now, no one is following the law at all, many people are acting as kings, wantonly exploiting and killing refugees. Our mission is to rescue refugees and prevent more casualties. Fang Chen listened solemnly. He didn't expect that after more than a month in the apocalypse, the order had deteriorated to this extent, and he Di Jiang and the others still wanted to maintain order. They were not just dedicated. Now they have no profession, they simply want to reduce casualties. It has to be said that such a spirit is truly admirable. He Di Jiang continued, this time, we are going to a place called Orphanage. According to our intelligence, their leader used to be involved in pyramid schemes. Recently, many survivors have died there. Orphanage? Fang Chen suddenly realized, no wonder he met He Di Jiang at the orphanage in the previous life, it turned out he had gone undercover there. They are indeed up to no good, Fang Chen said. Luo Gu, do you know their purpose? He Di Jiang asked in surprise. Fang Chen smiled lightly. Speaking of which, this was something He Di Jiang had told him in his previous life, and now it was his turn to tell him. Their purpose is to. Fang Chen explained about Zhang Shijian, the head of the orphanage, who kept supernatural beings captive and tried to dig out the crystals of supernatural beings to enhance his power. What? He did Jiang was furious at the news, rolling up his sleeves ready to go settle accounts with the orphanage, I'll go and dismantle their orphanage and save those survivors. Yuan Yen Yen also frowned. She was also very angry about Zhang Shijian's actions, I'll go too. It's no use for you to go now, Fang Chen quickly stopped He did Jiang, there are hundreds of supernatural beings on their side, can you beat all of them alone? He did Jiang had just impulsively rushed forward, using almost 70% of his strength, but he was unexpectedly stopped by Fang Chen's casual gesture. He was somewhat incredulous. Stubbornly, he pushed Fang Chen again, only to find that Fang Chen remained unmoved. He slowly increased his strength, but Fang Chen still didn't budge an inch. He Dai Jiang was astonished. Although he awakened the ability of metal manipulation, his most powerful ability was not strength but the strength was definitely not small, at least several hundred kilograms. How could he not push a seemingly weak Fang Chen? What kind of ability did Fang Chen have? With a single move, He Di Jiang's temper also subsided, and he stopped his steps from rushing out. But, He Di Jiang was a little anxious, but even if we can't beat them, we have to fight. Are we just going to watch those refugees being killed? Of course not, Fang Chen shook his head with a bitter smile. His brother, although very strong and righteous, had a too impulsive temper. Without proper guidance, he was likely to suffer. Since he found him, it was necessary to point out to him how to survive in this apocalypse. Rescuing refugees, of course, must be done. Fang Chen smiled and patted He Di Jiang on the shoulder, but, Di Jiang, have you ever thought about a few things? What things? He Di Jiang was puzzled. Let's not talk about your lack of strength. 
Even if you have enough strength to kill those supernatural beings, are those refugees willing to let you save them? Why wouldn't they be willing? I'm saving them. Let me ask you, Fang Chen asked seriously, do you have food? Yes. Enough for how many people? Fang Chen asked again. Well, enough for five or six people for two or three days. He did Jiang scratched his head. Two or three days? Fang Chen chuckled, do you know how many refugees there are? A few thousand? Yes, a gang has several thousand refugees, at least tens of thousands in Los Angeles, and nationwide, at least tens of millions, even hundreds of millions. Although they are exploited and could be killed at any time, most of them still have food to eat, barely enough to survive. Fang Chen questioned, but if they follow you, can you support them? He Dajang's face turned pale. Of course, he couldn't. If you can't, why would they follow you? Fang Chen sneered, not only will they not follow you, they will turn around and help those gang members kill you. When the time comes, will you fight back or not? He Dajuang's face grew even paler. And, Fang Chen continued, there are hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of people with abilities. Are you going to kill them all? They have broken the law, He Dajuang said dryly. Yes, they have broken the law, but the law no longer exists. Moreover, the law also considers the severity of punishment, not everyone deserves to die, Fang Chen said. This, He Dajuang calmed down. Yes, he couldn't possibly fight against so many people. And as a police officer, there are different standards for different criminals. Not everyone who makes a mistake should be sentenced to death. If that were the case, there would probably be no one left in the world, because everyone makes mistakes. Thinking about this, He Dajong was shocked. Fortunately, Fang Chen woke him up. Otherwise, he would not only go in the wrong direction but also put himself in danger. On the side, Yuan Yan Yan, holding her daughter, also nodded secretly, thinking that Fang Chen's words made sense, not everyone deserves to die. And, Fang Chen said with a serious expression, Da Zhang, have you ever encountered zombies? Of course. He Da Zhang immediately nodded, many of our colleagues have died at the hands of zombies. And I just killed two zombies, these zombies seem to be getting stronger recently. That's right, Fang Chen nodded, the strength of the zombies will continue to grow. If you kill all the people with abilities, who will deal with these zombies later? Just you? Well, He Da Zhang was stunned again, how could he possibly kill so many zombies alone? There are more zombies than survivors. Some people with abilities are indeed our enemies and deserve to die. But we can't kill all of them, it will only bring greater disaster, Fang Chen smiled. This is also why Fang Chen did not directly kill at the Wan Chai Pier at the beginning but was thinking about how to subdue those people with abilities. With his abilities, he could easily kill one person and then escape safely. Killing a few hundred people with abilities would just take a few more rounds. But once the people with abilities are dead, there will be no one to deal with the zombies. Zombies are the common enemy of humanity. Thank you, Brother Luo, I understand, He Dezhang's expression became serious, Fang Chen's reminder was very enlightening to him. But, He Dezhang continued, what should we do next? On the side, Yuan Yanyan also looked curiously at Fang Chen. Fang Chen talked a lot, pointing out various dangers, but did not offer any solutions. It's simple, Fang Chen smiled slightly, we will build a stronger shelter. Naturally we will be able to save those refugees. Upon hearing this, Yuan Yanyan felt somewhat disappointed. Build a stronger shelter? Do you have the ability to do that? Do you have enough food to support the survivors? Speaking so justly, in the end, won't you have to fight and compete with other gangs? Ultimately, just like those gangs, occupying territory and establishing dominance. Yuan Yanyan is a police officer, she has her own principles of doing things, and she will not easily violate her principles. She hates fighting and robbery the most. Fang Chen's actions went against her principles. Originally, she had a good impression of Fang Chen, but now her good impression of him suddenly disappeared. However, she didn't show it. Her face still maintained a cold expression. But He Da Zhang didn't feel the same way. Coming from the military, he didn't shy away from violence. That's right, all we need is to establish a safer shelter. Let's go, let's go home. Fang Chen smiled and hooked He Da Zhang's shoulder. Yen Jia, He Da Jian looked at the motionless Yuan Yan Yan and said innocently, Yen Jia, let's go, let's go to Brother Luo's house first. I'm not going. Yuan Yan Yan glanced at the two of them, then said to He Da Jiang, Da Jian, since you found friends, let's part ways, I don't want to delay my own matters. Yuan Yan Yan didn't want to associate with Fang Chen. She wanted to help refugees in her own way. Part ways? He Da Jian's face turned pale. However, Yuan Yan Yan didn't even give him a chance to respond, she just left. He Da Jiang felt a bit sad. Meow. Seeing Yuan Yan Yan trying to take her away, the electric cat meowed, jumped out of her arms, and ran towards Fang Chen. She knew who could provide her with food, and Fang Chen had been kind to her. 
The electric cat held grudges but was also grateful. Xiao Hua. Yuan Yan Yan hurriedly remembered her agreement with Fang Chen that no one should stop the electric cat from following whoever it chose. Now, wasn't she losing the electric cat? She immediately wanted to chase after it. But the electric cat was fast and had already reached Fang Chen. After a moment of hesitation, Yuan Yan Yan ultimately didn't go back on her word. Take care of Xiao Hua, or I won't let you off. Yuan Yan Yan left these words and then turned and walked away. Fang Chen watched Yuan Yan Yan's back, shook his head, and thought to himself, it's a pity, this beautiful policewoman is stubborn but not bad. However, he wasn't sad. Fang Chen had already found the person he was looking for. He glanced at the bewildered He Dajiang and joked, Da Jiang, do you like her? He he. He Da Jiang chuckled innocently, Yan Jia is very good to me, she often helps me, I really like her. But, He Da Jiang sighed, she's too beautiful, strong, and comes from a good family, I'm not worthy of her. He Da Jiang's eyes lit up, then he turned to Fang Chen, Brother Luo, I think you are worthy of Yan Jia, go after her. Fang Chen was speechless. Who introduces the woman they like to someone else? You already have a sister-in-law. I have a sister-in-law. Where is she? Let me see if she's pretty. Hey, do you care if your sister-in-law is pretty? When Fang Chen and He Da Jiang returned to the cold storage, it was already evening. Fang Chen, is this your home? He Da Jiang looked at the 300 square meter cold storage in front of him, plain and unremarkable. It seemed that Brother Luo wasn't living well, only able to stay in a warehouse. Fang Chen, do you have enough food at your place, or should we go to mine to get some? He Da Jiang asked. After the apocalypse, food in supermarkets, convenience stores, and other places either spoiled or was divided among survivors. He was worried that with an additional person at Fang Chen's place, there wouldn't be enough food to go around, adding to Fang Chen's burden. No need, there's enough food. Fang Chen smiled. The food in his space could support tens of thousands of people. Could he Da Jiang eat it all by himself? But he Da Jiang didn't know that. He felt touched by Fang Chen's care. Fang Chen truly treated him like a brother. Let's go in. Fang Chen opened the door to the cold storage. Immediately, He Da Jiang felt an incredibly refreshing cold air. After over a month of high temperatures, water and power outages, and broken air conditioners, He Da Jiang had almost forgotten what cold air felt like. The sudden rush of cold air made him feel refreshed from head to toe. Fang Chen, has your home always been this cool? He Da Jiang exclaimed in shock. The temperature was as high as 60 or 70 degrees Celsius recently. I don't know how many people died from the heat. Fang Chen has been living in this environment all along. It must be so comfortable. Husband. Brother-in-law. He Da Jiang was extremely surprised, then suddenly saw an extremely pure girl and a lively and lovely girl walking over. My goodness. Is this Fang Chen's girlfriend? Or sister? They are so beautiful. He Da Jiang widened his eyes. Now he finally understood why Fang Chen wasn't interested in Yuan Yan Yan. It turns out that brother Luo knows how to play. When he was in college, Fang Chen knew more teachers' names than himself. Unexpectedly, now Fang Chen has achieved his dreams in movies. For a moment, He Da Jiang felt both envious and admiring of Fang Chen, living in such a comfortable place, and having such a beautiful girlfriend and sister-in-law. He had just thought that Fang Chen's life was hard, but damn, this is simply a fairy tale life. However, He Da Jiang was not jealous, only happy for Fang Chen. That's what brothers are for. This is Lin Zijin, and her sister Lin Yuyu, this is my brother, He Da Jiang. Fang Chen introduced each other. Hello, sister-in-law. Hello, sister-in-law. He Da Jiang quickly nodded in greeting. Hello. Lin Zijin was very gentle. When Lin Yuyu heard the other person being called sister-in-law twice, she was delighted. Hello, big guy. Let's go, let's eat. Seeing that He Da Jiang didn't show any greedy expression, Fang Chen was very satisfied, and he hugged his arm and entered the cold storage. Seeing the various items in the cold storage, He Da Jiang was speechless. Luxurious. Too luxurious. Even before the apocalypse, he had never lived in such a good house. They arrived at the dining table. When He Da Jiang saw at least hundreds of pounds of food piled on the table, his mouth watered even more. Husband, I'm sorry, I didn't know we had guests, so I made a little less food. Lin Zijin said somewhat embarrassed. Lass, He Da Jiang's eyes widened. This amount of food was enough for him to eat for a month, no, enough for him to eat for three months, and Lin Zijin actually said it was less. Brother Luo, do you have other people in your house? He Da Jiang thought Fang Chen had hundreds of little brothers, that's why he made so much food. No, just the four of us. Fang Chen shook his head, oh, and a cat. Is Li Nana not here? Lin Yu Yu's eyes lit up, did she get eaten by zombies? Fang Chen rolled his eyes. Just the four of us and a cat, do we need this much food? He Da Jiang felt Fang Chen was joking. 
Fang Chen smiled and told He Dajiang the method to increase his ability proficiency. Is there such an operation? He Dajiang found it hard to understand, using up the ability first, then eating food to replenish it, just to increase a little proficiency? This is really too wasteful. He usually can't bear to use his ability. If you want to get stronger, you have to get used to these things. Fang Chen patted Yi Dajiang's shoulder, eat lobster as the main food, it will replenish your ability faster, come, eat more. Fang Chen picked up a two-pound lobster for Yi Dajiang. Yi Dajiang's face was numb. After dinner, Fang Chen asked Yi Dajiang to take a bath and gave him a set of new clothes. Since the apocalypse, this was the first time Yi Dajiang had taken a bath, considering that he had very little water before. There is only one room here, you can bear with it and sleep on the sofa. Fang Chen patted He Dajiang's shoulder. Although he and He Dajiang were brothers, it was not possible to sleep on the same bed with his woman. Fang Chen didn't have any special preferences. It was time to get a bigger place. This area was all warehouses, and he could convert other warehouses into dormitories for his subordinates when the opportunity arose. It's not a problem, this is much better than where I live. He Dajiang quickly shook his head and lay down on the sofa. The place he lived in was just a dormitory, not only hot, but the bed was also small. Fang Chen's sofa was worth hundreds of thousands. That's good. Fang Chen nodded, took a bath, and returned to the bedroom. Seeing Fang Chen entering the bedroom with Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu, He Dajian couldn't help but admire him. Luo Gu is really in good shape. Two more days passed. He Dajian had slowly adapted to Fang Chen's way of life, with abalone porridge in the morning, steak for lunch, and lobster for dinner, totaling hundreds of caddies a day. He Dajiang is a metal-based esper, specializing in defense and able to control metal structures and density. Fang Chen gave him a few crystals to enhance his strength. Thinking back to the large door of the cold storage that might have been pushed down by zombies, Fang Chen had He Dajiang strengthen the cold storage. After He Dajiang's modifications, the density of the metal materials in the cold storage increased by 50%. Now, even esper zombies would find it difficult to break through the defense of the cold storage. In addition to enhancing strength, Fang Chen also planned to establish his own power. Building a power base is different from having trusted aides. Trusted aides like Lin Zijin and He Dajiang must undergo a character assessment, while subordinates can be more leniently recruited. With trusted aides, they can manage subordinates, saving energy and avoiding duplicity. Without trusted aides, recruiting a group of unreliable people would not only be difficult to manage but also prone to betrayal. This is why Fang Chen did not shelter survivors before. Just as Fang Chen was contemplating, several people gathered outside the cold storage. Shanzij, isn't this your warehouse? There are lights on inside. Li Shan, an 18-year-old school dropout, relied on his family's savings and hung around with friends, going to bars, drinking, and harassing older women. But he was actually very timid. He only dared to show off in front of his friends and never really dared to fight. However, not long ago, he luckily awakened an esper ability while searching for food, instantly becoming popular among his friends. Influenced by a few friends, he was preparing to establish a gang, learning from the big shots, gathering survivors, and reaching the peak of life. The group searched for gang bases everywhere. However, most parts of the city were either infested with zombies and uninhabitable or already occupied by major gangs. Feeling lost, Li Shan thought of his family's warehouse located in the western suburbs, which should be unoccupied, so he brought people over. It seems to be my family's warehouse. Li Shan surveyed the cold storage and realized that this location used to be his family's warehouse, but he didn't know when it had been converted into a cold storage and occupied by people. Shanzij, let's quickly drive the people inside out so we can use this place as our gang base. Of course, this is my family's. Li Shan snorted and prepared to use his powerful voice esper ability to scare the people inside the cold storage. Several friends excitedly covered their ears. They had witnessed Li Shan's ability before, making a dog foam at the mouth. Li Shan took a deep breath. With a loud roar, he shouted into the cold storage. Inside the cold storage, Fang Chen's thoughts were suddenly interrupted. He furrowed his brows and looked outside. What was the commotion in broad daylight? Upon closer inspection, he found only seven or eight spirited young men, so he opened the door and walked out. What do you want? Fang Chen stared coldly at the group. Fang Chen didn't act directly, he didn't like indiscriminate killing. Although Fang Chen had killed many people since the apocalypse, they were either enemies from his past life or those who threatened his safety. He had never killed the innocent. I'm entering my own home, why do you care? Facing Fang Chen's icy gaze, Li Shan, who had just gathered his courage, felt a bit weak again. But due to his pride, he still stood his ground against Fang Chen. Fang Chen chuckled and pointed at the cold storage, your home? That's right, this is my family's warehouse. 
Li Shan didn't dare to fight with Fang Chen, so he prepared to scare Fang Chen, angrily saying, You are occupying my family's warehouse. Do you know that this is trespassing on private property? You even modified it without permission. The police can arrest you. Fang Chen was taken aback. He remembered that he had rented this cold storage. You are Uncle Li's son? Fang Chen looked at Li Shan. Li Shan nodded, That's right. Get out of here quickly. This place belongs to my family. Fang Chen smiled. How naive this guy was. It's the end of the world now, who cares whose place it is? If it were true, the Lu family's estate wouldn't have been taken over by others. However, since the end of the world, it was rare to meet someone who talked about the law, so Fang Chen didn't want to resort to violence. He was a reasonable person. Your father rented this place to me. I have paid six months rent, and there are still over four months left. So, legally speaking, this place is mine now, Fang Chen said, pulling out a contract with black and white words on it. This. Li Shan choked. He never dealt with family matters and had no idea about these things. Well, Li Shan said with a fierce look, my dad has passed away, so I'm not renting this place to you anymore. I want to take it back, so you better move out. Move out? Fang Chen couldn't help but laugh, nodding, moving out is fine, but according to the contract, you have to compensate me for breach of contract. How much? Li Shan asked. The rent is 20,000 per month, three times the compensation, so three times the rent for four months is 240,000, Fang Chen said. However, money is useless now. The circulating goods are food, so you need to compensate me with food worth 240,000. I rented it before the end of the world, so you need to compensate me based on pre-apocalyptic prices. Rice is 3 yuan per pound, so you need to compensate me with 80,000 pounds of rice. What? 80,000 pounds of rice? Li Shan was dumbfounded. He couldn't even produce 8,000 pounds, let alone 80,000 pounds. Li Shan's face turned red. Brother Shan, why waste time talking to him? Just knock him down, yeah, 80,000 pounds of rice, why doesn't he go rob someone? Who still follows the law now? This contract is just a piece of paper. Several friends incited Li Shan. Li Shan hesitated. He was timid and although he was a bit of a troublemaker, smoking and drinking, he never dared to break the law. Fang Chen's eyes looked menacing, and he didn't dare to act. Fang Chen was interested in watching this scene. He found this young man in front of him quite interesting. The group of people stood in a stalemate. Suddenly, a strange sound came from a distance, piercing and eerie, like the sound of nails scraping glass. What's that sound? Li Shan and the others turned their heads in confusion, only to see a dark mass on the ground in the distance, countless cockroaches the size of apples, crawling rapidly towards them. Damn, cockroaches? Li Shan and the others were scared pale. Cockroaches were already disgusting creatures, enough to scare many men even in normal times. If they flew onto their hands, they would want to chop them off. Moreover, the cockroaches in front of them were larger than apples, with visible fur on their legs, at least a few thousand of them, each with bright red eyes and some flesh and blood hanging from their mouths. Obviously, they had just feasted on human flesh. Compared to human zombies, these cockroach zombies were even more disgusting, terrifying, and creepy. Li Shan and the others vomited in shock. Fang Chen's expression also turned serious. The zombie virus not only infected humans but all living creatures. He had encountered zombie cats and dogs before. However, this was the first time he had seen cockroach zombies. Near his cold storage were warehouses, usually the places with the most cockroaches. Although there had been a prolonged period of high temperatures before, the vitality and reproductive capacity of cockroaches were extremely strong. Before, they should have been hiding underground to avoid the high temperatures, but now that the hot weather has passed, these cockroaches have crawled out and eaten the flesh of the zombies, mutating into zombie cockroaches. Honey, what's wrong? Brother Luo, what's happening? Lin Zijin, Lin Yuyu, and He Da Jiang in the cold storage heard the voices and walked out in confusion. When they saw the densely packed zombie cockroaches, they all felt goosebumps. Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu, not to mention the two girls, were so scared that they directly hid in Fang Chen's arms, trembling. Why are there so many cockroaches? Close the door first. Watching the zombie cockroaches getting closer, Fang Chen immediately prepared to close the door. There were too many cockroaches. Although Fang Chen was not afraid, Lin Zijin and the others would probably be devoured in a few seconds. Seeing Fang Chen closing the door directly, Li Shan and the others were all dumbfounded, not reacting at all. Fang Chen's actions were too fast. He didn't hesitate at all. But, now that you've closed the door, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to feed the cockroaches? With so many zombie cockroaches, the few of us are not enough for them to pick their teeth. We don't want to die. Several people hurriedly knocked on the door, asking Fang Chen to let them in to hide. Damn, 
Big brother, don't close the door, let us in to hide too, these cockroaches are too disgusting, and they have feces on them. What are we going to do if you close the door? Please, let us in, we have elderly and children, we don't want to die. Sean Z, please say something, this is your warehouse, quickly ask them to open the door. The zombie cockroaches were only a few hundred meters away, just a few seconds away from reaching them. Li Shan and the others were all scared, their legs trembling, their faces as pale as paper. Humans are easily frightened by dense things, let alone these dense cockroaches, one of the most terrifying creatures in the world. Li Shan's legs were trembling, and he began to pound on the door, begging Fang Chen to let him in. Save us. Listening to the cries for help from the people outside, Fang Chen felt no ripple in his heart. He didn't like killing innocent people, but he wasn't a philanthropist either. He had no obligation to save these people. Why should he invite trouble for himself? What benefit do I get from saving you? Fong Chen said indifferently. Well, Li Shan choked. He had nothing on him. What benefit could he offer Fong Chen? Suddenly, he thought of something and said, Big brother, as long as you save us, this cold storage will be yours directly in the future, and when the contract expires, it will be yours too. He he, Fong Chen chuckled, Brother, you are too naive, even if you die, won't this cold storage still be mine? Fong Chen's words were shameless, but that was the truth. In the apocalypse, once a person dies, their belongings become ownerless, whoever gets them first owns them. It's not like playing a game where items are bound and cannot be used by others. If Fang Chen dies, wouldn't his belongings be divided up? Li Shan's face turned pale, Fang Chen was right, once he died, the cold storage would be his. In fact, whether he lived or died, the cold storage wouldn't belong to him, Fang Chen would just occupy it in front of him, could he really snatch it back? But he really didn't want to die, he hadn't lived enough. Big brother, please save us, as long as you save me, I'll be your follower, I can do anything. Li Shan pleaded with a face full of despair. The zombie cockroaches would arrive in at most 20 seconds, he didn't want to become the cockroach's excrement. Fong Chen raised an eyebrow. He felt a bit intrigued. Fong Chen was planning to build his own power recently, he already had his trusted aides, but he hadn't found any followers yet. Although this Li Shan outside was of average ability, he still had some value. It wouldn't hurt to bring him in first. Fang Chen wasn't afraid that he would be attacked once he opened the door, with their strength, they couldn't harm him. With a decision made in his heart, Fang Chen opened the door. Li Shan and a few others saw the situation and immediately rushed into the cold storage. Their hearts were pounding wildly as the roach-infested corpses were just a dozen meters away from them. They almost died. The faces of the few people were filled with immense gratitude, feeling a sense of relief as if they had just survived a disaster. Thank you, brother, Li Shan gasped for breath hurriedly thanking Fong Chen. It's nothing, just remember what you said earlier, Fong Chen chuckled lightly, then ignored Li Shan and the others, sitting comfortably on the sofa and stretching lazily. Last night, he had fought with Lin Zijin all night while Lin Yuyu was asleep, and this morning he had absorbed several crystals. His back was almost breaking now. He needed a good rest. Go, bring me a bottle of cola, Fong Chen sat next to Lin Yuyu and patted her on the hip. Honey, I'm in the middle of a game. Big guy, Hurry up and block these zombies for me. Lin Yuyu, lively in character, usually focused on enhancing her abilities, eating, sleeping, and calling her husband, and playing games. She had just been playing Biohazard with He Da Jung, claiming to accumulate experience in fighting zombies. Now she was back at it. Fang Chen, annoyed, patted her head again and snatched her game controller. You noob, let me play. Get me the cola, or I won't let you sleep on the bed tonight. Da Jung, cover me. Honey is so annoying. Lin Yuyu pouted, unwilling to give up the game, not realizing how tired she was of pretending to sleep every night. Didn't they know how loud they were? And they were holding hands wrong again. However, Lin Yuyu reluctantly went to the fridge to get the cola. After all, she still had to go to bed. On the side, Li Shan and the others, who had just regained their lives, stared dumbfounded at the scene in the cold storage. They hadn't noticed it before. Now, looking closely, wow, this cold storage was like a villa. Not only did it have electricity, but also carpets, sofas, TVs, game consoles. There was even a wine cabinet, kitchen, fridge everything you could normally see was here, and things you couldn't see normally were also here. Most importantly, they now felt how cool it was in the cold storage. The temperature was not above 20 degrees Celsius. Damn, did this guy live in such a cool place even when it was 70 degrees Celsius before? Also, what was the name of that cute girl just now? Honey? Were they just discussing whether or not to sleep on the bed? Damn it! Li Shan and his group had been living in misery since the apocalypse, enduring 70 degrees Celsius temperatures, worrying about zombie attacks, and often going hungry. 
This guy, on the other hand, was enjoying air conditioning, drinking cola, playing games, and hugging sisters. Are you sure this is survival in the apocalypse? Why does it feel like you're living in luxury? Envy and jealousy were written all over their faces, and they were itching to have this place for themselves. They all looked at Li Shan. He was the strongest here. And this place originally belonged to Li Shan's family, but now Fang Chen was enjoying it. Li Shan should be the most unhappy about it, right? They were all waiting for Li Shan to kill Fang Chen. Fang Chen also glanced at them out of the corner of his eye. He was testing these guys, wanting to see their reactions. Li Shan was indeed initially unhappy. However, he was a very smart person who understood even before the apocalypse that playing around was one thing, but not to joke with the law. So he only smoked and drank, didn't fight, and didn't do anything illegal. Fighting was no longer illegal now, but it could still be deadly. Li Shan awakened his abilities, but he didn't think of himself as a chosen one. He knew many people had abilities. And when Fang Chen faced his abilities for the first time, he didn't show any nervousness, and even when faced with thousands of roach zombies, he was only surprised, not scared. Obviously, Fang Chen also had abilities, probably very powerful. And beside Fang Chen was a big guy, at least one. Nine meters tall. His hands were calloused. Li Shan had seen in a popular science video on Douyin before that this callus was caused by long-term gun holding. This big guy was obviously either a cop or a soldier. After struggling for a while, Li Shan's reason told him that he couldn't easily make a move against Fang Chen, otherwise he might be done for. So he obediently stayed in place, waiting for Fang Chen to speak first. Li Shan's few companions, seeing that Li Shan didn't dare to act, and they themselves had no special abilities, also didn't dare to act, feeling quite disappointed. Fang Chen played games for several hours. Seeing that Li Shan and the others showed no signs of rebellion, a satisfied smile appeared on his face. Fang Chen stood up and walked over to Li Shan, looking down at him. Want to be my little brother? Li Shan glanced around, to be honest, even if he became Fang Chen's dog, it would probably be better than being alone outside. I'm willing, Li Shan nodded quickly. Fang Chen then glanced at the others, what about you guys? These people all wanted to dominate the cold storage, but they didn't have the strength. Thinking about it, being a little brother wasn't bad either, so they immediately nodded along. Willing, willing. Very good, Fang Chen chuckled, being my little brother is fine, but I hate betrayal the most. The few people were shocked. Could it be that Fang Chen could read minds? However, they didn't show it on their faces, and quickly said they wouldn't betray him. But Fang Chen couldn't possibly believe what they said. He reached out and patted Li Shan's head, imprinting a mark on his head. Do you know what this is? Fang Chen smiled. Li Shan was a bit confused. What? A bomb, Fang Chen casually said, he had no intention of hiding it. Instead of playing mind games with Li Shan in the future, it was better to tell him directly, to deter him and prevent him from thinking about betrayal. Li Shan was shocked, his face immediately turning pale. Was Fang Chen going to kill him? Don't worry, Fang Chen comforted, patting Li Shan's shoulder, this bomb won't affect your health, at most it will blow up your head. But as long as you don't betray me, the bomb won't explode. Li Shan's face was extremely ugly, not comforted at all, but instead feeling that Fang Chen was extremely sinister. Putting a bomb in someone's head and then comforting them that it wouldn't affect their body, was there such a comforting method? Fang Chen then looked at the other few people and also patted their heads. However, Fang Chen only imprinted a mark on Li Shan's head, the others were just for show. Imprinting marks not only consumed energy but also consumed a lot of mental energy. Fang Chen could only maintain about 20 at a time, so he couldn't mark everyone. He just needed to control the most important ones and scare them. As for whether anyone would find out later, Fang Chen didn't care too much. By that time, he wasn't afraid of betrayal. Li Shan's companions were also a bit frightened, but soon relaxed. A bomb just by patting their heads? It was too absurd. They thought Fang Chen was lying to them and didn't take it seriously. I won't keep useless people. If you want supplies or to stay here, you need to work for me, Fang Chen said seriously, looking at them. Thinking to himself, he should also establish a system of rewards and punishments, which would also motivate his subordinates and get rid of those who weren't proactive. Yes, Li Shan and the others nodded quickly. You guys stay in the corner tonight, no running around, Fang Chen pointed to a place. Fang Chen couldn't let these people stay in the cold storage all the time, otherwise how could he be intimate with Lin Zixin, and Fang Chen didn't have the habit of letting outsiders eavesdrop. But now there was a large area of cockroach zombies outside, so he couldn't open the door, he could only temporarily let them stay in the corner. He didn't know when these cockroach zombies would leave. Fang Chen estimated that they wouldn't leave. Because of the powerful abilities, zombies are very attractive to the powerful abilities. There are so many powerful abilities in the cold storage. Unless there are other powerful abilities nearby, 
The cockroach zombies will not leave. However, there are too many cockroach zombies, thousands of them, it is really difficult to kill them all. Fang Chen only has two attack skills, Spatial Imprint and Spatial Blade, his single target killing ability is very strong, but he is not good at AoE attacks. To kill so many cockroach zombies, his abilities may not be enough. Lin Zijin's flames have AoE, but she cannot attack through the door, and if she opens the door, she will be overwhelmed by the cockroach zombies. Unless there is a skill that can attack through the door and has AoE damage. Forget it, let's eat first. Lin Zijin prepared dinner again, hundreds of pounds of food. Li Shan and the others were stunned. The four of you eat so much food with just one cat? Up until now, the food we have eaten from the end of the world is not as much as your meal. How many resources does Fang Chen have after the end of the world? Before the end of the world, was he a billionaire second generation? Watching Fang Chen and the others eat, several people salivated, but Li Shan, the powerful ability, did not move, and the other people did not dare to move. Fang Chen glanced at Li Shan and the others. Seeing them drooling, he found it somewhat amusing. After some thought, Fang Chen got up and took two meaty bones to Li Shan and threw them to him. Immediately, several people rushed to grab them. This is barbecue. They usually eat rotten meat, sometimes they don't even have rotten meat to eat. What kind of ability do you have? Fang Chen curiously asked Li Shan. Li Shan looked at the bones, swallowed his saliva, I have the ability of sound. Sound ability? Fang Chen was surprised, thinking that there was such an ability? What's the use? Do you want to be a singing god? But I have a sound system here, I don't need you to sing. Li Shan was somewhat embarrassed, he sings out of tune, how can he be a singing god? His ability is somewhat useless, just a little louder voice, a full force shout can only stun a dog, far from being able to stun a person. Roaring Lion of the East? Fang Chen laughed, finding this ability quite interesting. Suddenly, Fang Chen thought of something, and couldn't help but ponder, his eyes lit up. He figured out a way to deal with the cockroach zombies. Cockroaches are very sensitive to sound, with several ears, their hearing sensitivity can range from 5 Hz to 100,000 Hz, while humans only have 20 to 20,000 Hz. Li Shan's ability does not cause much harm to powerful abilities, but for these cockroach zombies with sensitive hearing, it is definitely a great weapon. It can directly deafen the cockroaches, even shock them to death. Thinking of this, Fang Chen smiled, fortunately he just saved Li Shan's life, otherwise he would have a hard time dealing with these cockroach zombies outside. However, Li Shan's current strength is average, and it is probably not enough to shock the cockroach zombies to death directly. He needs a little external help. After dinner, Fang Chen took Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu back to the bedroom to sleep. At night, Fang Chen organized a set of reward and punishment system for managing subordinates in his mind. Task Point System For example, if they hand over a crystal to Fang Chen, he will give them a minimum of one point, and the amount of points depends on the energy content of the crystal. Completing tasks can also earn points. In addition, Fang Chen will also provide some ordinary tasks for non-abilities. After they complete the tasks and make contributions, they can also earn points. After all, powerful abilities are few. Ordinary people cannot kill zombies. But it doesn't mean that ordinary people are useless. After the city has been destroyed by high temperatures and zombies, most facilities have been damaged. To repair them, the power of ordinary people is needed. In addition, Fang Chen's life will also need some ordinary people to take care of it. It's a pity for those beautiful young girls to starve to death or be eaten by zombies. Fang Chen is willing to provide them with a maid job. Every day, give one point. They can exchange points for goods here in Fang Chen, or for positions in the gang, etc. The goods here in Fang Chen are priced. One point can be exchanged for a bottle of tap water, or a loaf of bread. Different items have different prices. Ordinary people who want to become superhumans can also purchase evolution crystals here in function through points, but the price is higher, and they need to be bundled with space imprints for sale. Whether they can successfully awaken is not function's concern. If they cannot provide any value to function, function will not care whether they live or die. This is why function is cruel, he is not a philanthropist. He recruits subordinates mainly to help himself quickly improve his strength, and secondly to give survivors a chance to survive without starving. If someone feels cheated, they can leave. However, looking at the whole city of Luo, even the welfare benefits of the three major gangs cannot compare to Fangchen. And the people of the three major gangs are not as easy to talk to as Fangchen. To them, ordinary people are like animals, and beating them is just the beginning. They also have to worry about being killed at any time. Early in the morning, Fangchen announced this reward and punishment system to Li Shan and his five companions, wondering how these people would react. Will they leave directly? However, Fangchen obviously guessed wrong. When the few people heard it, they all showed joy on their faces. 
Crystals can be exchanged for food? Li Shan asked in surprise. Fanchen nodded, of course. I have three crystals here. Li Shan took out three shiny crystals from his pocket. Fanchen took a look and was astonished. These were not ordinary zombie crystals, but pure evolution crystals that could help ordinary people awaken their abilities. Li Shan was really lucky. Can I exchange them for three points? Li Shan asked tentatively. Evolution crystals were of no use to him because after absorbing the crystals, the body would consume a lot of energy, and Li Shan had no food to replenish his energy. He had used one before. As a result, he almost starved to death after not finding food for a day. For him, it was better to exchange them for a few loaves of bread. Ah, uh, Fanchen coughed, these were evolution crystals, and in his points store, these were worth at least 300 points each, three of them were almost 900 points. Li Shan's expression seemed like he would be happy even if he only gave him three points. But Fanchen didn't want to be too greedy, he wasn't a wicked capitalist. So, Fanchen patted Li Shan's shoulder, I'll give you a task, and if you complete it, I'll give you 500 points. He wasn't too greedy. If his evolution crystals were priced at 300 points each, then the purchase price had to be cheaper to make a profit. What's the point of doing business if you don't make money? 500. Li Shan was overjoyed. 500 points, equivalent to 500 bottles of mineral water, could basically guarantee his life for a few months. Fanchen was really good to him. He had misunderstood him yesterday, he was definitely not a bad person. Li Shan's companions looked envious, why hadn't they found any crystals? They needed to find crystals quickly. Boss, what task do I have to do? Li Shan asked excitedly. Fanchen grinned, sing. Sing? Li Shan was puzzled. Singing a song could earn him 500 points? Of course, it's not just singing. Fanchen smiled, brought over his 3 million worth sound system, and took out a microphone. It had been a night, and the cockroach zombies outside had not left, still tightly surrounding the cold storage. Although the cold storage had been reinforced by Hida Zhang, the cockroaches couldn't get in, but Fanchen couldn't stay in the cold storage forever. Yesterday, Fanchen came up with a way to drive away the cockroach zombies, which was to use Li Shan's voice to shake the cockroach zombies to death outside. However, Li Shan's strength was still very low, and he couldn't do it alone. But with Fang Chen's 3 million worth of speakers, it was a different story. With the sensitive hearing of the cockroach zombies, Li Shan's voice ability, and the amplification effect of the speakers, they could definitely kill these cockroaches. Come on, sing a song from the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. Fang Chen placed the speakers at the entrance of the cold storage, then handed the microphone to Li Shan, sing with all your might. This, Li Shan twitched at the corner of his mouth, he was tone deaf, was he really going to sing? But for 500 points, he would sing. Li Shan took the microphone, took a deep breath, gathered his energy, brewed his loudest voice using his ability, and then blurted out a lyric. Who brings the ancient call damn? With just one sentence, Fang Chen was stunned, immediately covered his ears. Damn, was this Yin music? Li Shan's voice was not just bad, it was extremely bad, super bad, his voice was incredibly loud, and it sounded like a monkey with a sore throat and he was completely off-key. The zombies would come back to life after hearing it, curse loudly, and then lie back down. The electric mother was sleeping, but now she was furious. She wanted to unleash a lightning bolt and electrocute Li Shan. Fortunately, Lin Zijin stopped her. Ah, uh, I can't take it anymore. Lin Yuyu was at a loss, immediately went back to her room, closed the door, and hid under the covers. Li Shan's companions were even worse off, they were all ordinary people. Their tolerance was not as good as Fang Chen's, Li Shan's singing made all five of them faint. Fang Chen immediately moved them aside, afraid that they would be killed by the sound. That's the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the cockroaches had very sensitive hearing, and after turning into cockroach zombies, their hearing had improved significantly. Li Shan's voice ability, enhanced by the three million worth of speakers, exerted unprecedented power, causing the cockroach zombies crawling on the cold storage walls to foam at the mouth and die one by one. As the song ended, the cockroach noises outside the cold storage stopped. Fang Chen was also deeply shocked. If he hadn't started the spatial barrier, he wouldn't have been able to sleep for at least three days and nights. This Li Shan was ruthless. Although his combat power was not great, an ordinary combat type Esper could easily defeat him, his unique, sore-throated monkey-like voice could deliver a relentless mental attack. In the future, if he were to fight with someone, he would have Li Shan bring his three million worth of speakers and sing in front of the enemy, how would they respond? They would all be debuffed. Boss, how was my singing? Li Shan looked at Fang Chen expectantly, afraid that Fang Chen would be dissatisfied and he would lose his 500 points. 6. Fang Chen gave him a thumbs up, you've earned your points. After observing that there was no movement outside, Fang Chen opened the door of the cold storage. 
Suddenly, thousands of cockroach zombies appeared in front of him, their bodies covered in an unknown white liquid, looking very disgusting, probably from listening to Li Shan song. Fang Chen almost vomited his lunch from yesterday. However, these cockroach zombies were not completely dead, their vitality was too strong, they were just unconscious, and would probably wake up soon. Zi Jin. Fang Chen immediately called Lin Zi Jin over, thank you, burn these cockroaches to death with your flames. Lin Zi Jin's fire type ability had a wide range of AoE damage, and she was much faster at dealing with these cockroaches than Fang Chen. Yes, husband. Lin Zi Jin originally did not want to be a burden. She hoped to keep Fang Chen by her side with her strength, so when Fang Chen needed her help, she appeared very happy. Although Lin Zi Jin also hated cockroaches, she endured the disgust and threw a few fireballs into the midst of the cockroach zombies. Immediately, a burnt smell filled the air. Beside her, Li Shan was speechless as he watched. He had thought before that Lin Zi Jin was just an ordinary woman, but he never expected her abilities to be so powerful. And yet, this powerful woman still listened to Fang Chen. Just how powerful was Fang Chen? He was now feeling extremely fortunate. Fortunately, he had not made a move against Fang Chen earlier, otherwise he wouldn't even know how he would have died. Ten minutes later, all the cockroach zombies had turned into ashes, leaving only some small crystals on the ground. Fang Chen picked one up. The cockroach zombies were numerous, but individually not particularly strong, giving ordinary people a chance to kill them. Therefore, their crystal energy was not very abundant. It would probably take dozens of them to match one regular zombie crystal. However, the advantage was in their numbers, with at least a few thousand outside, accumulating a considerable amount of energy. Go wake them up and collect all the crystals outside. With so many, Fang Chen couldn't be bothered to pick them up himself. Now that he had some underlings, he could let them do some unnecessary work. Li Shan led five awakened companions to clean up outside the cold storage, eventually collecting 5,670 small crystals, totaling a few hundred regular energy crystals. Well done, Fang Chen praised them. Thank you for the praise, boss, Li Shan looked at Fang Chen expectantly, still thinking about his 500 points. Fang Chen naturally wouldn't go back on his word. He took out a computer, made a form with Li Shan's name on it, and marked 500 points. The others each received one point. If you need supplies, you can come to me for exchange at any time, Fang Chen said. Thank you, boss, Li Shan and the others quickly expressed their gratitude, feeling very excited. Also, go pry open the warehouse next door, clean it up, and use it as your dormitory in the future. Fang Chen wouldn't let them stay in his cold storage. There were many warehouses nearby that could serve as their dormitories. Yes, boss, Li Shan immediately turned around, hesitated for a moment, and asked, Boss, what is the name of our gang? Ionia, Li Shan and the others happily went to clean up the warehouse next door. These were all ordinary warehouses, some of which had been damaged by zombies, with bodies still piled up inside. If they wanted to live there, they would need to clean and repair it. Brother Fang Chen, He Da Jiang also walked up to Fang Chen, looking hesitant. What's up? Fang Chen looked at him in confusion. Could you also keep a points record for me? Fang Chen was taken aback, then smiled and patted He Da Jiang on the shoulder, saying, We are brothers, there's no need for formal records. Just tell me what you need. No, He Da Jiang shook his head. Brother Fang Chen, precisely because we are brothers, I can't just sit back and consume so many resources from you without doing anything. I would feel guilty. Moreover, now that we have established a gang, if others know that I can get supplies without points, they might have opinions, which would not be conducive to the development of the gang. Fang Chen looked deeply at He Da Jiang. In fact, regardless of whether He Da Jiang did anything or how strong he was, Fang Chen would ensure he wouldn't starve to death, because He Da Jiang had saved him in his previous life. Fang Chen believed in repaying kindness. But seeing He Da Jiang's determined gaze, Fang Chen eventually nodded. All right, Fang Chen smiled knowingly and registered his name on the computer. This was what true brothers were about. They only wished the best for each other, wouldn't try to take advantage of each other for money, and wouldn't hold grudges for not helping. Don't worry, boss, I will use my strength to become your most powerful helper. He Da Jiang grinned and flexed his biceps. I'm ready. I'm going to work too. After speaking, He Da Jiang walked out of the cold storage. Husband. Fang Chen walked to the sofa and sat down, and Lin Zijin and Lin Yu Yu ran over. Fang Chen was surprised, then asked in amazement, Are you two also thinking of joining this points system? Yes. Lin Yu Yu nodded seriously. Brother-in-law, I want to join too. Fang Chen didn't know what to say. One was a girlfriend, the other was a younger sister-in-law, aren't they all family? Is it necessary to be so serious? In fact, this is because Fang Chen doesn't really understand the personalities of the two women. 
Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu's parents passed away when they were very young, and they were raised by their grandmother who had little workability. This also led to the two sisters developing independent personalities from a young age, especially Lin Zijin. She had to work part-time to earn tuition for her sister while studying, and it was only a few days after meeting Fang Chen that she began to have happy days. Recently, realizing the gap between herself and Fang Chen, she secretly vowed to improve her strength and not always rely on Fang Chen. She wanted to, in turn, help Fang Chen with her own strength and make Fang Chen rely on her. But recently, she has been relying on Fang Chen for everything, feeling more and more indebted to him and feeling that their positions are becoming more and more unequal. If this continues, in the future, she might become dispensable to Fang Chen. She didn't want that. Before, she couldn't say she didn't want to rely on Fang Chen for no reason, as it might make Fang Chen misunderstand. But now is a good opportunity. Fang Chen mentioned this point system, and she could take this opportunity to say that she no longer wants to rely on Fang Chen, and she can also help Fang Chen, improving her position in Fang Chen's eyes. Lin Yuyu is also so proactive because she wants to increase her importance through this matter, rather than stay here as a younger sister-in-law. Are you really going to join? Fang Chen looked at the two women who looked serious and asked, You have to think it over. When the time comes, food, clothes, and everything else will have to be purchased with points, your life won't be as easy as it is now. It's okay, no matter how hard it is, it can't be as hard as the days when we were in school. We've thought it over, brother-in-law, let us join. The two nodded at the same time. All right, then you can join. Fang Chen sighed, registered the names of the two on the computer, and then looked at the two women with a mischievous smile. By the way, if you want to use supplies, you'll need to purchase them with points. But the dresses, black stockings, white stockings, underwear. You're wearing were all given by me, you don't have any points, should you return these things to me? Ha! Huh? Lindsay Jean's face turned red at the thought of returning the clothes to Fang Chen. How could she be naked if she returned the clothes to Fang Chen? Lin Yuyu looked strange, brother-in-law, does that mean we don't have to wear clothes in the cold storage in the future? Yay, that's great. Fang Chen was puzzled, what does that mean, is there such a good thing? However, seeing Lin Yuyu's expression, Fang Chen knew she was teasing him on purpose. At such a young age, she dared to flirt with her brother-in-law? However, Fang Chen was not a thin-skinned person, he grinned and followed her words, of course, no problem, since you were so enthusiastic, you can take off your clothes first, return them to me, and when you earn enough points, you can buy them back. I have to take off first? Lin Yuyu blushed, apparently not expecting Fang Chen to be so shameless, really planning to look at his younger sister-in-law? Although she had a cheerful personality, she hadn't reached the point of doing such things in front of her sister. Brother-in-law is really a rogue. Lin Yuyu pouted, then hugged Lin Zijin's arm, Sis, can you earn points for me to buy clothes? Ha! Huh? Lin Zijin was stunned, earn points for herself? How to earn them? It's impossible to go outside and fight zombies without taking off your clothes. Fang Chen was also a bit curious. It's simple. Lin Yuyu smirked and winked, saying, Brother-in-law, give your sister a task, let her. Having been with Fang Chen for so long, Lin Zixin was no longer the innocent girl she used to be. After a moment of doubt, she immediately realized what Lin Yuyu meant and couldn't help but grab Lin Yuyu's ear in anger, you little brat, what nonsense are you talking about, daring to tease your sister? Fang Chen's expression was quite amusing. This little sister-in-law even called herself a rogue. Clearly she was more of a rogue than himself. Listening in at night, being caught by him and pretending not to be discovered. Ahem. Fang Chen coughed, don't mess around. Do I need to order your sister about our relationship? She takes the initiative herself. Hey hey, don't pinch me. Seeing Fang Chen and her sister teasing each other, Lin Zixin was so angry that she stomped her foot. She already had a thin face, how could she withstand such teasing? Gripping Fang Chen's arm, she coquettishly scolded, stop it, or I won't talk to you anymore. However, Lin Yuyu didn't stop. Winking again, she said, in that case, you guys can play something special. Special? Upon hearing this, Fang Chen couldn't help but swallow nervously, grinned, and said to Lin Zixin, how about we play something special? You guys, I won't talk to you anymore. Lin Zixin couldn't take it anymore, blushing, she hid in the bedroom. Look at you, you've made your sister angry. Fang Chen glared at Lin Yuyu unkindly. Lin Yuyu was very dissatisfied, brother-in-law, you were clearly happy just now. When you heard the word special, your mouth was watering. I. Fang Chen blushed. But, as a man, he had to save face. He glared unkindly at the lazy electric mother sleeping on the side, grabbed her by the back of her neck, and said, sleep, 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 all you do is eat and sleep. From now on, you will also be part of the points system. If you don't work, you won't get anything to eat. You currently have zero points, so no dried fish for you tonight. Meow. 
The electric mother looked confused. Why drag me into your points system when you created it yourselves? I never worried about food or drink, and I even had a maid to clean up after me, living a carefree life. I become the biggest victim in this matter. It's like a fire in the backyard, affecting me. Meow meow meow. Get out. Just as the electric mother looked mournful, a loud roar came from outside the cold storage, sounding like it was from Li Shan. Fang Chen frowned, wondering what was happening. He walked out of the cold storage in confusion. Su Xiao was the boss of Speed Reach Logistics Company. When the apocalypse arrived, there were several trucks of goods in his company that hadn't been delivered. With these goods, he managed to survive by hiding in the company. Recently, he was lucky enough to awaken an ability, so he formed a group called Speed Reach Gang with his truck drivers. After more than 10 days of effort, they finally managed to eliminate the zombies surrounding the company. They were planning to go out and find more supplies, but as soon as they stepped out, they heard an extremely unpleasant singing. Do zombies sing? Was everyone's first reaction. However, upon closer listening, they realized it was coming from a speaker. Curious, they followed the sound and ran into Li Shan and others who were clearing the warehouse. Both sides couldn't figure each other out, so they confronted each other. However, one of the drivers from Speed Reach Gang looked at Fang Chen's cold storage not far away and suddenly remembered something. Boss, there are supplies in that cold storage. Are you sure? Upon hearing that there were supplies, Su Xiao's eyes lit up. Really? The subordinate nodded, I delivered goods to this cold storage with Wang Dezhuang before, mineral water worth 10 million. 10 million? Su Xiao remembered this order, the highest priced one his company had received so far this year, delivered by an old driver from the company. In the first few days after the end of the world, Wang Dajuang said he was going out to find food, but didn't say where. He never returned, and Su Xiao had thought he was dead. Could it be that he had come here to take over the cold storage? It must be so. That Wang Dajuang, sneaking around behind my back, now has so many followers. I'll make sure to bring him back. And there's this 10 million worth of mineral water. If we can take it over, we won't have to worry about water for the rest of our lives. Where's your boss? Bring him to me, Su Xiao coldly snorted, pointing at Li Shan. Seeing the other party's tone, Li Shan's expression turned unfriendly. Our boss is someone you can see whenever you want? Huh, I'm his boss. He has to nod and bow when he sees me. How dare you talk to me like that? Our boss's boss? Li Shan was puzzled by the other's words. Fang Chen didn't seem like a driver, did he? Do you know our boss? Li Shan asked. Of course I do, Su Xiao said disdainfully. Your boss has been working under me for over 10 years and never dared to speak loudly in front of me. Over 10 years? Li Shan laughed upon hearing this. Fang Chen looked like he was in his early 20s. How could he have worked for him for over 10 years? Li Shan realized that these guys were here to cause trouble. Li Shan had just joined Ionia and had received Fang Chen's reward. Now was the time of his highest loyalty. Encountering troublemakers like this, he immediately wanted to show off. Old man, you've never dared to speak loudly to him, right? Let me make up for that regret for you. Li Shan sneered, then took a deep breath, gathered his strength, and shouted, Get lost. One word, clean and neat. Su Xiao and the others felt their eardrums ache, their heads starting to throb, and they quickly covered their ears. After a while, Su Xiao regained his senses. Damn, it was the first time someone had spoken to him so loudly in his life. And the voice was so unpleasant, like a monkey with phlegm stuck in its throat. Su Xiao was a supernatural being with stronger endurance than ordinary people. Li Shan's ability could cause harm to ordinary people, but to him, it was only a mental attack. Hoof. Su Xiao's face turned cold, staring menacingly at Li Shan, you, with your loud voice, why don't you go join a cheerleading squad and embarrass yourself in front of me? Today, I'll show you what a real supernatural ability is. Su Xiao waved his hand, conjuring a fireball with a diameter of 5 centimeters. This was Su Xiao's proudest skill. Fire-based supernatural ability. Among all the people he had met so far, his ability was the most powerful, without a doubt. This was why he dared to be so arrogant. The fireball moved at a rapid speed, and Li Shan couldn't dodge in time, only instinctively raising his hand to block it, resulting in a large burn on his arm. After a scream of pain, he fell to the ground. Ha ha, Su Xiao laughed triumphantly, feeling a sense of accomplishment. So what if he was a supernatural being? He was nothing in front of him. Shanzi Ge. Li Shan's companions were horrified by the scene, their faces filled with fear. The man in front of them actually set fire. 99% of living beings instinctively fear fire, and without checking on Li Shan, they immediately fled in panic. Fang Chen, who had just left the house, happened to witness the scene. His face darkened instantly. Li Shan had just become his underling, and he was already injured by someone else. 
Where was his dignity as the boss? You dare to hurt my people. Fang Chen stared coldly at Su Xiao. Su Xiao looked at the young man who had suddenly appeared in front of him. He was tall, handsome, and dressed differently from the others, as if he was wearing designer clothes. Who are you? Where's your boss, Wang Dajuan? Bring him out, Su Xiao demanded. Wang Dajuan? Upon hearing this name, Fang Chen felt a familiar sensation. After a moment, he realized that this seemed to be the name of a driver who had previously tried to break into his cold storage after the apocalypse, and later attempted to rob him, only to be shot dead by Fang Chen. Do you know him? Fang Chen curiously asked. Of course, I am his boss, Su Xiao grinned, proudly embracing a girl around 20 years old. Fang Chen raised an eyebrow. This Su Xiao, with a big belly and looking almost 50 years old, balding, how could a woman bear to be with him? The entertainment circle is really chaotic. Where's my dad? The woman arrogantly raised her eyebrows, pointing at Fang Chen imperiously, clearly treating Fang Chen as Wang Dajuan's lackey. Your dad? Fang Chen then remembered that he had killed Wang Dajuan before, and to avoid the police finding him, he had stored the body in his space and had been too busy to dispose of it. Now was the perfect time. The relatives of the deceased came to claim the body, so he would return it to them. Wait, I'll bring him over. Fang Chen grinned, then casually walked into a warehouse and threw out the bodies of Wang Dajuan and a few others, placing them on a cart and pushing it in front of Su Xiao and the others. Time was frozen inside the spatial ability, so although the bodies had been stored for a month, they looked freshly dead and warm. Your dad is here, take him back, and if anyone else's dad is here, take them too. Fang Chen took out a bottle of mineral water and washed his hands somewhat disdainfully in front of everyone. Su Xiao and the others were dumbfounded. What's going on? Did you bring them here? You clearly pushed them. Moreover, how could a young man like you have killed so many people without any hint of emotion on your face? As if it were an everyday occurrence. Su Xiao's expression changed, realizing that the warehouse was not occupied by Wang Dezhuang as he had initially thought. The young man in front of him was the real boss these days, and this young man seemed very mysterious, surely possessing special abilities. Su Xiao's arrogance diminished. The woman beside Su Xiao, upon seeing her father's body, was first stunned, then immediately burst into tears, digging out Wang Dezhuang who was at the bottom. Dad, dad, you actually killed my dad, you murderer. Wang Yanyan glared at Fang Chen with red eyes, full of resentment. Fang Chen snorted, he wanted to rob me, so he deserved to die. He wanted to rob you, does that give you the right to kill him? Wang Yan Yan stared with eyes wide open, if my dad wanted to rob you just to survive, what's wrong with that? You could have just given him some food and sent him away, why did you have to kill him? Is a life not worth a meal to you? Are you really that heartless? Do you have any compassion at all? Hearing Wang Yan Yan's words, Fang Chen felt both angry and amused. So I deserved to be robbed by him, and then killed. Fang Chen already disliked this woman, and now her words made him even more disgusted. He coldly replied, no, it's not worth it. Your dad's life is less important than a dog's in my eyes. Fang Chen was not truly heartless. Under normal circumstances, he was willing to help the weak, not a complete psychopathic killer. However, Fang Chen could not be kind to everyone, because not everyone deserved kindness. Wang Dezhuang, Wu Yu, Wu Di, each of them wanted to kill Fang Chen. Should Fang Chen still show kindness to them? The same goes for Wang Yan Yan in front of him. Your dad was his employee, right? Fang Chen pointed at Su Xiao, finding it quite amusing, he treats your dad like a dog, and you're lying in his arms all sweetly. If your dad knew about your behavior, he'd probably sit up from the ground. Now, take your dad and get lost, as far as you can. Fang Chen gave Wang Yan Yan a disgusted look. You! Wang Yan Yan was furious, but facing Fang Chen's gaze, she dared not say more. She was always afraid of death, otherwise she wouldn't have followed Su Xiao, who was even older than her own father, just for a living. However, she couldn't swallow this insult. Killing her own father was one thing, but framing her as well, that was unforgivable. She looked pitifully at Su Xiao, Godfather, my father, and you have been friends for so many years, you must help him seek revenge. As long as you help me seek revenge, I will immediately agree to the request you made before. Su Xiao was a superhuman. He had just knocked down a person with one move. Wang Yan Yan believed that as long as Su Xiao was willing to help her, he could definitely kill the bastard Fang Chen. That request? Su Xiao's heart stirred, thinking of the request that Wang Yan Yan had rejected before, a surge of anger rose within him, an anger that couldn't be shown even if censored. However, he sized up Fang Chen. This young man in front of him gave him a mysterious and unpredictable feeling, and despite just witnessing his flames, Fang Chen showed no fear at all. There must be some hidden card up his sleeve. What's even more terrifying was that Fang Chen was ruthless in killing, with so many bodies lying in front of him, 
yet his expression remained unchanged. Su Xiao was sure he couldn't remain as calm as Fang Chen. After careful consideration, Su Xiao decided not to provoke Fang Chen for now. Even if he had to provoke him, he had to make adequate preparations first. As for that request, there would be plenty of opportunities in the future. Could Wang Yan Yan possibly escape? Oomph, let's go. Su Xiao waved his hand and turned to leave. Godfather, don't go. Wang Yan Yan panicked and immediately chased after him. How could she seek revenge if Su Xiao left? Oomph, did I let you go? But before they could take two steps, Fang Chen flashed and appeared in front of them. Su Xiao and the others were shocked. They hadn't noticed how Fang Chen had run ahead of them. His speed was unexpectedly fast. Speed ability? Su Xiao's first reaction was that Fang Chen might have a speed ability, but this was the first time he had seen such a fast speed ability. This kid was indeed extraordinary. What do you want? Su Xiao stared coldly at Fang Chen. Not provoking Fang Chen now didn't mean he was afraid of him. Fang Chen sneered, You hit my people, don't you need to compensate? Compensate you? Su Xiao was dumbfounded. You killed so many of my employees. I only burned one of your subordinates, I didn't ask for compensation from you, and now you're turning the tables on me? Kid, don't push your luck. Exactly, you killed my father, you should compensate us. Wang Yan Yan also blared, angrily looking at Fang Chen. Then she coquettishly wrapped her arms around Su Xiao's, inciting him, Godfather, this guy is too arrogant, not only did he take what should belong to you, now he won't let you leave. We must not let him off, let him see how powerful we are, or else they will think we are all cowards. After hearing Wang Yan Yan's words, Su Xiao, who was already angry, was further incensed. He stared coldly at Fang Chen, Kid, you are just a speed ability user. No matter how fast your speed is, you can only run away. As long as your ability is exhausted, I can easily kill you. That's right, easily kill you. You dare kill my father, and even seize my godfather's resources, you're asking for death. Wang Yan Yan, seeing the fire successfully ignited, also began to show her attitude. What about me? At this moment, a big guy ran over and, together with Fang Chen, surrounded Su Xiao and his dozen or so men. He did Jiang had just gone to the bathroom, but when he heard the commotion, he hurried over and saw a group of people preparing to bully his brother, and even saying they could easily kill Fang Chen, he was instantly furious. He immediately released his ability. His whole body was covered in a set of metal armor, looking like a giant robot. Oomph, want to kill my brother? Try killing me first. He did Jiang snorted coldly glaring at Su Xiao like an angry tiger. What kind of ability is this? Seeing Yi Dajian's appearance and penetrating gaze, Su Xiao inexplicably felt a bit uneasy. What kind of strange characters are in this cold storage? First, there was a loud voice. Then, a fast-moving invisible young man. And now, a tall iron-skinned man. Except for the first one being funny, the combat power of the latter two is impressive. Especially this big guy, he looks even more formidable than Fang Chen. Could he be the leader here? But now that things have come to this point, with all the little brothers watching on the side, Su Xiao, as the leader, can't show weakness in front of his subordinates, otherwise how can he lead them in the future? He snorted coldly. So what if there's an iron-skinned man? He himself is a fire-type esper, and the highest temperature of his flames can reach 1,500 degrees Celsius, enough to melt him directly. What about you, trapped in an iron lump, do you think I can't kill you? Su Xiao sneered. Meow. Just as Su Xiao's words fell, a meow suddenly sounded in his ears. Following the sound, he saw a tabby cat walking out of the cold storage with an aggressive demeanor. Its expression seemed somewhat reluctant. You even keep a cat? Su Xiao sneered at Fang Chen. It seems like you have quite a lot of supplies, being able to keep a cat this fat. If you slaughter it, you can eat a lot of meat. Fang Chen's expression was gloomy just now, but upon hearing Su Xiao's words, his expression suddenly became strange. Wow, Su Xiao actually dared to talk to the electric mother like this, is he really not afraid of death? It should be noted that apart from defense, the electric mother is not inferior to Fang Chen in other aspects such as attack power and speed, and even has a stronger attack power than Fang Chen. Since the apocalypse, anyone attacked by the electric mother has never survived. It's just that the electric mother is a bit lazy. Generally, unless Fang Chen encounters real danger or actively requests it, the electric mother will not take the initiative to act. Today, the electric mother took the initiative to come out, which was a bit unexpected for Fang Chen. Fang Chen suddenly remembered that he had just included the electric mother in the points system, telling her that she would only get food by working. Did she come out to earn points? She really is a foodie. For dinner, even such minor characters are now coming out on their own. Fang Chen's expression was full of excitement. Da Jiang, don't move, let the electric mother deal with them. Fang Chen quickly stopped He Da Jiang. 
Since the electric mother took the initiative, let her earn this dinner. Yes, brother Fong Chen. He Dajian nodded. Although he had never seen the electric mother's strength, he was confident in Fong Chen, so there shouldn't be any danger. Electric mother, go easy on them, leave them alive. Fong Chen said. Su Xiao had injured Li Shan and had not compensated for the medical expenses. If he died like this, it would be too much of a loss. Let's take his supplies first before deciding. Meow. The electric mother reluctantly meowed, as if saying, you're asking too much for this task. Listening to Fong Chen and He Da Jung's conversation, Su Xiao's expression became extremely ugly when he realized that a cat was going to attack him, and they even said to let this fat cat go easy on him. Kid, are you insulting me? Su Xiao looked at Fong Chen darkly. He had lived for nearly 50 years and had never been so humiliated. This was not just a matter of disrespect, this guy simply didn't regard him as a human being, actually thinking that a mere cat could kill him. Does he think it's a mutated zombie cat? On the side, Wang Yin Yan was gloating. She had been worried that the two wouldn't fight, but unexpectedly, Fang Chen was so arrogant. Just a cat, and he made it sound like a war god. Oomph, fight, it's best if both of them die. No, no, Fang Chen quickly waved his hand, saying sincerely, don't misunderstand, I'm not insulting you, I just simply think you're trash. Trash? Su Xiao laughed in anger, what a trash. Didn't you say this cat could kill me? Oomph, today I'll roast it. Su Xiao grinned, his fierce eyes looking at the electric mother, conjuring a fireball nearly 10 centimeters in diameter in his hand, and fiercely smashed it towards the electric mother. In an instant, flames engulfed the electric mother's position. Fong Chen raised an eyebrow. This Su Xiao still has some strength. The power of this flame can match 30% of Lin Zijin's power. It's a pity that although this guy awakened the fire ability, his talent and potential are not high. Holding a T1 ability won't get him far. It's a bit of a waste. Everyone's talent is different, and having a higher level ability doesn't necessarily mean winning against a lower level one. For example, a person with a talent score of 60 awakens a T1 ability, while a person with a talent score of 90 awakens a T2 ability. Under normal development, the second person with a 90 talent score will definitely be powerful and much stronger. Because the person with a 60 talent score may have a level limit of only 6, but the person with a 90 score can reach level 10 or even higher. The reason why Lindsay Jean is powerful is that not only did she awaken a T1 level ability, but her talent score exceeds 90, destined to become a level 10 ability user as long as she doesn't die. But if we talk about the strongest talent and ability in the cold storage, besides Fang Chen, it would be the electric mother. In the previous life, even without Fang Chen providing food, the electric mother could turn the city upside down. In this life, with Fang Chen providing her with a lot of food, her strength seems to have no limit, continuously improving rapidly. The electric mother's ability level has now reached level 4, one level higher than Fang Chen. The electric current she releases now is probably something Fang Chen himself can't withstand. Inadvertently, Fang Chen glanced sympathetically at Su Xiao. Ha ha ha. Su Xiao, unaware of all this, continued to laugh smugly, throwing out the flames, already imagining the electric mother being burned to ashes. However, after just two laughs, his smile froze. The electric mother had somehow escaped the ring of fire and appeared behind him like lightning. A bolt of electricity struck directly down from his head, leaving Su Xiao convulsing on the ground, legs twitching uncontrollably. Su Xiao's subordinates, including Wang Yan Yan, were all stunned. This cat could actually generate electricity and had just electrocuted the invincible Su Xiao in an instant. What kind of monster was this? He Dae Jian was also astonished. Previously in the cold storage, he had noticed that this cat did nothing but eat and sleep, yet Fang Chen still provided food every day. He had initially not understood why Fang Chen was so good to her, but now he finally understood. Even he was no match for this cat. Fang Chen was not surprised, he had long known the electric mother's strength. He just looked speechless. Grabbing the electric mother by the back of her neck, he scolded her, didn't I tell you not to electrocute people? How am I supposed to ask him for medical expenses now? Where will the food come from without medical expenses? Your dinner is halved. Meow meow meow. The electric mother protested upon hearing this. She had already reduced her power and made sure not to electrocute anyone, but who knew that guy was bald, and the electricity directly contacted his head. If he wasn't bald, he wouldn't have died. It's all his fault, not mine. You can't deduct my dinner. On the side, Su Xiao's dozen or so subordinates, seeing Fang Chen grabbing the electric mother like this, were all speechless with shock. Big brother, this cat can generate electricity, and she just electrocuted our boss. How can you just grab her like a little chicken? Who exactly are you? They were all amazed. 
Why was this fierce calico cat so docile in Fong Chen's hands? Could it be that Fong Chen was even more powerful than this cat? Suddenly, their gazes towards Fong Chen became filled with fear. They were afraid that Fong Chen would kill them. Leaving the electric mother, Fong Chen glanced at the others, thinking about how to deal with these people. Kill them? After some thought, he shook his head. It was a time when he needed manpower, and these people hadn't caused him any harm, they were just following Su Xiao. He didn't want to kill innocent people. Walking up to the dozen or so people, they were startled, subconsciously keeping their distance from Fong Chen. Fong Chen is somewhat amused. He doesn't know how to kill them, so why be so afraid? However, Fong Chen still maintains a cold expression on his face. Do you want to die, or do you want to live? Who wants to die? Want to live. Want to live. Immediately, more than ten people said. Very well. Fong Chen smiled, if you want to live, go bring back all the supplies hoarded by your leader for me. Yes, yes. The group of people nodded in agreement, but some of them were secretly planning to leave and not come back. However, Fong Chen could not overlook this. Did Jiang, take Electric Mother with you? If anyone plays tricks, kill them directly. After the task is completed, each person will receive five points. Yes, Brother Fong Chen. He did Jiang immediately nodded, then called out to Electric Mother, Sister Cat, come here. Sister Cat? Hearing this title, Fong Chen couldn't help but chuckle. He did Jiang left. Fang Chen then looked at Wang Yan Yan, who was motionless, why aren't you going? Do you want to die? Fong, brother Fang Chen, I was wrong. Wang Yan Yan immediately put on a coquettish expression and tried to grab Fang Chen's arm. Fang Chen directly avoided her. This woman, with a character worse than Li Nana's, dares to approach him as if he collects trash? Wang Yan Yan felt embarrassed, but not ashamed, and continued, brother Fang Chen, I misunderstood you before. My father was a robber, and according to the law, he deserved to be executed. You killing him was to rid the people of harm. I apologize on behalf of my father, you can punish me however you like. Hearing this, even Fang Chen, who had seen a lot in the apocalypse, felt his values being challenged. This Wang Yan Yan, in order to live a better life, actually said such words, even though he killed her father. She used to clamor for revenge for her father, acting like a dutiful daughter. Is this all she has to offer? Sorry, my cold storage already has a cat and a dog, I don't need any more animals, so get lost. Fang Chen found women like Wang Yan Yan disgusting, even killing her would dirty his hands, so he just let her go. After sending Wang Yan Yan away, Fang Chen went to check on Li Shan. He had just been knocked unconscious by Su Xiao. Fortunately, Li Shan only suffered burns, which didn't have a big impact. Fang Chen applied burn ointment to him and that was it. Although Li Shan was a bit weak, Fang Chen was quite satisfied with his performance. You can't judge a person solely based on their education. Although Li Shan is unskilled, smokes, drinks, and hangs out in bars, at least his character is not a big problem. Compared to people like Wang Yan Yan, he is much better. Fang Chen sighed. So, Fang Chen rewarded Li Shan with 100 points. Thank you, boss. Li Shan was surprised and grateful, realizing that joining Fang Chen's gang was the right choice, and he needed to work even harder. Work hard. Fang Chen patted his shoulder, thinking that as long as they worked hard, the closer he would get to being invincible. Another hour passed. He did Jiang and others returned with two nearly scrapped trucks. Due to the extremely hot weather earlier, the tires of these cars had melted from prolonged contact with the ground, and the hubs were making cracking sounds on the ground, emitting sparks. Brother Fang Chen, I checked, there are a lot of supplies. He did Jiang jumped out of the car, his face full of joy. Fang Chen also checked and indeed found many things, mineral water, rice enough for these people to live on for a few years. Unload the goods into the cold storage. Food is the most important thing to control underlings, so it must not be placed randomly, Fang Chen had to keep it secure. After organizing everything, Fang Chen counted the current number of people in the gang. Excluding himself, Lin Zijin, and Lin Yuyu, there were a total of 21 people in the gang. Li Shan and his group of six, the 14 subordinates just recruited from Su Xiao, and He Di Jiang, totaling 21 people. Among them, including He Di Jiang and Li Shan, there were a total of six ability users. If Fang Chen, Lin Zijin's sisters, and Dian Mo are added, then there are 10 ability users. It may not seem like much, but their combat power is stronger than dozens of ability users in a big gang. Take Fang Chen for example, with his spatial teleportation ability, he can easily handle hundreds of people. Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu are both T1 level abilities, and with their daily intake of dozens of pounds of food to replenish energy, their strength has already reached the level of 3 ability users. Dealing with these lower level ability users, one person can take on 10 without any problem. Then there's He Da Jiang. Although he is only at level 2 now, 
he has a metal-based ability which is the strongest defensive ability in the early stages. When fully activated, his defense is not weaker than Fang Chen's spatial barrier. If they were at the same level, Fang Chen's defense would not be able to match his. If they work together, with He Dajiang in the front, Lin Zijin, Lin Yuyu, and Fang Chen providing support from behind, and Li Shan using his 3 million worth sound system to sing folk songs at the enemies, it would be a combination of strong defense and output, as well as magical damage. Facing dozens of ability users head on would not be a problem. Fang Chen then counted the new survivors who joined, listed them all, and included them in the points system. It was still early in the day, so Fang Chen prepared to send these people out on a mission. Da Jiang, Fang Chen looked at Yi Da Jiang and said, as the team leader, lead all the ability users to gather some household items outside, like beds, and then we can transform the warehouse into dormitories. In fact, Fang Chen's space already had many beds, but they were all very expensive, with each bed costing tens of thousands, some even hundreds of thousands. Giving them away for free would be a waste. Fang Chen planned to treat them as points commodities and have them exchange crystals for them later. He couldn't help but mock himself. He really had the potential to be a profiteer. Yes, Fang Chen. Hearing Fang Chen appoint him as the team leader, He Dajian was very happy, showing that Fang Chen valued him the most, and his morale was high. Miao. Dian Mu meowed and also joined He Dajian's team. Fang Chen found it amusing. This lazy cat, knowing that it couldn't get a free meal, was now so active. Dian Mu gave Fang Chen a resentful look. It's all because of your good deeds. Humph. Once I earn enough points to last a lifetime, I won't help you anymore. He Dajian left. Fang Chen then looked at the other ordinary survivors. You guys go clean up the warehouse, and each person can earn one point. We get points just by cleaning? That's too good to be true. The ordinary survivors were excited. They initially thought it would be very difficult to earn points, considering how valuable resources were and that they didn't have abilities. But it turned out to be so simple. Previously, under Su Xiao, they only had a meal every two days, but now it seemed like there was food available every day. Fang Chen was indeed a good person. Thank you, boss. The boss is too good, handsome, powerful, kind-hearted, I really want to be the boss's girlfriend. Forget about being a girlfriend, I'd be willing to be a lover. I regret not following the boss earlier. Everyone was grateful to Fang Chen and eagerly went to clean up the warehouse. Fang Chen smiled. It felt good to be appreciated. Most importantly, it wasn't his resources being spent, but those taken from Su Xiao. With subordinates now, Fang Chen's days became easier. Previously, the cold storage would often have zombies, requiring him to deal with them. But now he could leave it to He Da Jiang and the others. The crystals they obtained belonged to him. Moreover, he could send them out to deal with zombies for him. Although the hot weather had passed, it was now summer with temperatures reaching 40 degrees Celsius. The outside world was still very dangerous. Fang Chen wasn't afraid of ability users, but there might be powerful zombies out there. Tiger zombies, lion zombies, elephant zombies, they are much more powerful than human zombies. In non-essential situations, Fang Chen does not want to go out. Focusing on improving strength is the key. Currently, Fang Chen has a total of over 600 crystals, but the energy content is not very consistent. Fang Chen decided to classify these crystals into levels based on energy quantity, ranging from level 1 to 10, with higher levels being better. Currently, Fang Chen has 5 level 3 crystals, and one of these crystals is equivalent to 30 level 1 crystals. 25 level 2 crystals are equivalent to 20 level 1 crystals. There are 620 level 1 crystals. Fang Chen first took out all the level 3 crystals, and today's goal is to absorb them all. Currently, Fang Chen's ability level is at level 3. The teleportation distance is about 25 meters. The spatial barrier defense is 4000 kilograms. The spatial imprint can mark 15 points, with an explosion range of 20 meters. The spatial blade has a range of 60 meters. It is estimated that upgrading to level 4 will greatly enhance strength. However, the more powerful the ability, the more energy is consumed during upgrades. For a regular T3 level ability, it would take about 300 level 1 crystals to upgrade from level 1 to 4. But Fang Chen has a T0 level ability. The energy required for upgrades is more than 10 times that of T3 abilities. Just upgrading from level 3 to 4 would require at least a thousand crystals. Although the energy consumption is high, the combat power between the two is vastly different. Despite Fang Chen being only at level 3, even a T2 level ability at level May 5th not necessarily defeat Fang Chen. Moreover, it is impossible for anyone to reach level 5 in such a short time. After spending a few hours, Fang Chen finally depleted the 5 crystals. The level has not yet reached level 4, but Fang Chen's blue bar is now higher, allowing for more ability casts. 
He Di Jiang and others returned. They brought back five beds and placed them in the adjacent warehouse, which is now their dormitory where everyone will stay starting today. He Di Jiang is also preparing to move there. Although he is simple-minded, he is not foolish, and staying in the cold storage would affect Fang Chen, his girlfriend, and sister-in-law's lives. Fang Chen understands He Di Jiang's thoughts. After some thought, he took out a soft bed from the space and prepared to give it to He Di Jiang. He Di Jiang is his brother. Fang Chen would never be stingy with his brothers. Di Jiang, Fang Chen smiled and said to He Di Jiang, You are now the team leader, this bed is the team leader's exclusive reward, take it. Fang Chen knows He Di Jiang is very principled, so he found a reason to give it to him as a team leader exclusive reward. Wow, this bed is so beautiful. I used to work in a mall, I've seen this bed before, it seems to be worth 150,000. 150,000 for a bed? My goodness, is it made of gold? The boss actually gave a bed worth 150,000 to a subordinate, that's too extravagant. No, I have to work hard too, strive to become the team leader, maybe the boss will give me a bed in the future. Although I can't be the boss's girlfriend or the team leader, if I can be the team leader's girlfriend, then I can sleep on this bed. On the side, several survivors saw this scene, showing envy on their faces. They used to stand or squat to sleep. Because of the high temperature, the ground was too hot. Although they had just found a few beds, they were all in poor condition, with some missing pieces of wood. They didn't dare to dream of such a soft bed. Some people have already made up their minds to work hard and strive to buy a bed like this. After seeing the magnificent bed, He Di Jiang was also surprised and delighted, deeply moved by Fang Chen treating him like a brother. Fang Chen, this is the crystal we harvested. He Da Jiang took out nine crystals. Fang Chen took a look, one level two crystal, the other eight all level one. These were all killed by the electric mother, He Da Jiang added. The mutants sighed. Every time they encountered zombies, before they could even make a move, the electric mother would just strike them dead with a lightning bolt. They didn't even have a chance to act. After a busy day, they didn't earn a single point. And they didn't dare to complain. What if the electric mother struck them down? They definitely couldn't follow the electric mother again. Electric mother? Fang Chen glanced at the electric mother with its tail raised high on the side, finding it somewhat amusing. Meow. The electric mother meowed, as if saying, what are you looking at? Hurry up and add points for me, I'm waiting to eat. I'll give you 28 points, okay? Fang Chen smiled and added 28 points for the electric mother. The electric mother counted on its fingers, 28, barely enough for a meal. It would have to work hard again tomorrow. Fang Chen then looked at the other mutants and saw their faces full of bitterness. He couldn't help but find it a bit funny. But they had also put in effort, so he couldn't let them work in vain. I'll give each of you one point. We have points too? The mutants were overjoyed, thinking they were going to go hungry today. Fang Chen was really great. Long live the leader. Finally, we have something to eat. When I was with Su Xiao before, I only had a piece of bread every two days, almost starved to death. Yeah, the leader is much better than that shady merchant Su Xiao. Too bad the leader has a girlfriend now. What's the big deal? Leader, do you want a mistress? I can be your mistress. With the points they earned, all the survivors used them to buy food, then happily returned to their dormitory. Before leaving, they praised Fang Chen. Goo goo. After a busy day and absorbing five more crystals just now, Fang Chen was starting to feel hungry. He was about to call Lindsay Jean to make something to eat. But when he turned around, he saw that Lindsay Jean had already prepared the meal and was waiting at the table. Fang Chen couldn't help but feel moved. Lindsay Jean was truly a virtuous wife and mother, making him like her even more. Why aren't you eating? Fang Chen sat down to eat heartily, but noticed that Lindsay Jean and Lin Yuyu beside him hadn't touched their chopsticks, which made him curious. We, brother in law, we don't have any points. Lin Yuyu pouted feeling a bit wronged. It was their first day participating in the points system, and Fang Chen hadn't assigned them any tasks for earning points to exchange for food. So serious? Fang Chen looked at them with some amusement, thinking they were just joking before, so he didn't assign them any tasks. Who knew they were actually so serious and principled? It's okay, no one else knows, go ahead and eat. Fang Chen smiled and patted Lin Jean's long legs, feeling the smoothness of her black stockings, truly worthy of a high-class brand. I'm not hungry. Lindsay Jean shook her head. She had decided to be independent, not to rely too much on Fang Chen. But her stomach betrayed her. Goo goo. You say you're not hungry. Fang Chen teased with a smile. Lindsay Jean blushed, but still didn't eat. Fang Chen felt sorry for her. He didn't expect that someone as gentle looking as Lindsay Jean would also have a stubborn side. No wonder she awakened the fire ability. Brother-in-law. Lin Yu Yu suddenly spoke up. I have a way to make sister eat. 
What way? Fong Chen was curious. You can give sister a task and reward her with points, Lin Yu Yu suggested. Fong Chen suddenly realized. But what task to give? It was already dark outside, very dangerous, he couldn't let Lin Zijin go out to kill zombies. It's simple. Lin Yu Yu smirked and said, just that thing, since you both have to do it at night. You little brat, what nonsense are you talking about? Lin Zijin knew her sister wasn't serious and pinched her. Then her face turned red with embarrassment, Fang Chen said, I, I have relatives visiting, not today. Relatives visiting? Fang Chen seemed disappointed. Brother-in-law, Lin Yu Yu ran over with a smile, leaned into Fang Chen's ear and said, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Hearing Lin Zijin's words, Fang Chen's expression was priceless, this little sister-in-law was really something else. No, your sister won't agree. Fang Chen shook his head. It's okay, brother-in-law, I'll help you. Lin Yu Yu playfully blinked. Then, she started clutching her stomach and wailing, I'm so hungry, I'm starving, I'm already small, now I'm getting even smaller. Sister, I'm so hungry, please ask brother-in-law to give me something to eat, sob. Lin Yu Yu clutched her stomach and started rolling on the ground, tears streaming down, looking pitiful. If Fang Chen hadn't known in advance, he might have softened. Indeed, no matter how old a woman is, she's a drama queen, a queen of the screen. Fang Chen secretly criticized. Lin Zijin's parents were dead, now her only relative was her sister. Seeing her sister's appearance also softened her heart. She quickly came to her sister's side and helped her up. Sob, sister, I'm hungry. Seeing her plan succeed, Lin Yu Yu pitifully said, Sister, please ask brother-in-law to give you a task. But, it's dark now, it's dangerous outside. Bear with it. I can't bear it. Lin Yu Yu shrugged her nose, leaned into Lin Zijin's ear and said, Sister, we don't necessarily have to go out to fight zombies, brother-in-law is working so hard, why don't you help him? Then we can eat. Hearing her sister's words, Lin Zijin blushed. No. She now knew that her sister was obviously pretending, she must be colluding with Fang Chen to trick her. How could she be so deceived? Lin Zijin sat angrily on the sofa watching TV, ignoring her sister's antics. Sister, I'm hungry. Lin Yu Yu lay on the ground and acted cute again. Stop it, stop pretending. Lin Zijin snorted. Lin Yu Yu pouted angrily, sister doesn't care about me at all, she must be jealous that I'm developing faster, deliberately not letting me eat, not letting me surpass you. That's right, I'm jealous. Lin Zijin had seen through her sister's intentions, she wouldn't fall for it, let her say what she wants. Fang Chen shrugged, I said it wouldn't work, your sister won't agree. Who said that? Lin Yu Yu was very dissatisfied, wait until I use my ultimate move. There's still an ultimate move? Fang Chen was curious, rolling on the ground didn't work, what other ultimate move could she use? If sister doesn't care about me, then I'll have to go out and fight zombies myself. Lin Yu Yu stood up, deliberately said loudly, then resolutely walked towards the cold storage. Lin Zijin also turned her head. But Lin Yu Yu had already left. This. Lin Zijin was moved. She felt that Lin Yu Yu might be trying to trick her. But she didn't dare to gamble. She only had this one sister. If something happened, she would really regret it. After waiting for a few minutes, Lin Yu Yu still hadn't returned. Lin Zijin couldn't sit still. She quickly got up and ran outside to look for her. But there was no sign of Lin Yu Yu. Yu Yu. Lin Zijin called out anxiously, stop hiding, I agree with you. But there was no response. Husband, Yu Yu really left. Lin Zijin was a little flustered, there were no street lights now, it was pitch black outside, and there were zombies everywhere, accidents could easily happen, she was worried that Lin Yu Yu might be in danger. Fang Chen also walked over. He was a little puzzled, according to Lin Yu Yu's character, she shouldn't have really left. It's all my fault, if I had agreed with her, she wouldn't have left. Lin Zijin blamed herself, if something happened to her sister, she would regret it for the rest of her life. It's okay, let's go out and look for her, she shouldn't have gone far. Fang Chen quickly comforted Lin Zijin and said, Dian Mu, come out and find someone quickly. Fang Chen called out to Dian Mu. It was pitch black outside, and only Dian Mu's night vision ability could see the surrounding environment clearly. The two of them and a cat went out to search. After half an hour, they finally found Lin Yu Yu's trace in a park 8 kilometers west of the cold storage. Yu Yu. Lin Zijin ran over anxiously and grabbed her ear in anger. You naughty girl, it's so dangerous outside, and you ran so far. Do you know how worried I was about you? What if something happened to you, what would I do? Oh, sister, I was wrong. Lin Yu Yu quickly begged for forgiveness, with a hint of grievance in her tone. It's because you didn't agree with me. I was hungry and had to come out to find food myself. I... Lin Zijin scolded her sister, her voice somewhat muffled, if you were really hungry, I would have agreed. Who told you to trick me? Lin Zijin sighed inwardly, 
her sister was indeed her weakness, always siding with Fang Chen to bully her. However, she belonged to Fang Chen now, so there was nothing to be ashamed of. Really? Lin Yu Yu was delighted, casting a smug glance at Fang Chen, as if to say, I told you it would work out. Fang Chen secretly gave her a thumbs up. His sister-in-law was indeed his considerate little cotton jacket, he was in luck tonight. Why did you come here? Fang Chen asked in confusion. He looked around, this used to be a park with a small zoo and amusement facilities like roller coasters. It used to be lively with hundreds of middle-aged women dancing square dances every night, but now it was in ruins. I didn't intend to go far, Lin Yu Yu said, but when I was hiding outside the cold storage, I vaguely saw a little girl. I wanted to say hello, but she ran away as soon as I approached her. I chased after her, all the way here, and then she disappeared. A little girl? Are you sure? Fang Chen was puzzled. Where would there be a little girl at this late hour? Lin Yu Yu gestured, I'm sure, she was probably seven to eight years old, about this tall. Seven or eight years old, couldn't you catch up using your ability? I tried, but I still couldn't catch up, she ran too fast. Lin Yu Yu shook her head, feeling frustrated. Fang Chen was surprised. Lin Yu Yu was a wind ability user, best at speed, and her ability level had reached level 3, with a maximum speed of 50 meters per second, not much slower than his own spatial blink. And yet she couldn't catch up. Could it be that the girl was also an ability user, and her wind or electric ability level was higher than Lin Yu Yu's? How was that possible? Fang Chen thought that Lin Yu Yu must have been mistaken, it might not have been a little girl, but some other creature, or she was deceiving them. It's so dark, you might have seen wrong. Fang Chen said. It's impossible, I'm sure I didn't see wrong, it was really a little girl, she kept staring at our cold storage. Lin Yu Yu was very certain. I also think you saw wrong. Lin Zijin said, finding Lin Yu Yu's story a bit far-fetched. You don't believe me, I'm angry, humph. Lin Yu Yu felt very wronged. Let's go, let's go back. Lin Yu Yu was a drama queen, and Fang Chen couldn't be bothered with her. However, just as Fang Chen was about to leave, Dian Mu suddenly bristled and roared towards a corner of the park. Fang Chen's brow furrowed. From the apocalypse to now, Fang Chen had encountered many dangers, but it was the first time Dian Mu had made such a sound. Danger! Fang Chen's pupils constricted, the power of these small stones was almost as strong as bullets. Lin Zijin and Lin Yu Yu, the sisters, have no defense at all. If they were hit, they would definitely be in big trouble. How could Fang Chen just stand by and watch his women die? He immediately activated the spatial barrier, then rushed towards the two women, pushing them down to protect their safety. Thud thud thud. Fang Chen's spatial barrier has a defense power of up to 4,000 kilograms, so small stones couldn't break through it. The stones were all bounced off upon hitting Fang Chen. The electric mother was very fast and had already dodged to the side, unharmed. Are you okay? Stone stopped, and Fang Chen looked at the blushing two women, especially Lin Yu Yu. Fang Chen's speed was too fast just now, and he accidentally knocked her down. They were in close contact, their mouths almost touching several times. Brother-in-law, I'm fine, Lin Yu Yu whispered. Husband, I'm fine. That's good. Fang Chen didn't mind the contact just now. He stood up and stared sharply in the direction where Stone came from. There's Lao Lu. Who's there, daring to launch a sneak attack? Fang Chen said coldly. No one responded. Fang Chen's expression became serious. The city was in a blackout, the street lights were broken, and the park was pitch black, making it impossible to see anything clearly. It was easy to be ambushed if they entered recklessly. Electric Mother, go check it out. Fang Chen called out to the Electric Mother. She had the strongest night vision ability here and was fast making her the most suitable for the task. Meow meow meow. The electric mother protested with meows. She knew that it was Lao Lu on the other side, yet she was asked to scout ahead. What if she got caught? Why didn't he go himself? Having been in contact with the electric mother for so long, Fang Chen understood her intentions to some extent. I'm here to protect the girls, if I go, what will happen if they are in danger? Electric mother, then I can protect the girls too. Okay, Fang Chen raised five fingers and said, if you go, I'll give you 50 points. 50 points? The electric mother's eyes lit up. Without waiting for Fang Chen to finish, she rushed out. Fang Chen was dumbfounded. This cat would do anything for food. Fang Chen stared in the direction the electric mother left, and soon, there were strange cries from the other side, accompanied by flashes of lightning. It seemed that the electric mother had started a fight with the other party. More than one enemy? Fang Chen listened to the cries. It sounded like there were at least a dozen, and the voices were somewhat familiar. It sounded like monkeys. How could there be monkeys here? Suddenly, Fang Chen remembered something, his pupils shrank instantly, his face turned extremely ugly. Not good, electric mother, come back quickly. 
Fang Chen immediately shouted. He finally knew what was on the other side. In his previous life, there was a notorious force in Luo City, which was not composed of humans but a group of monkeys. These monkeys were numerous, almost dozens of them, and each possessed the ability of speed. Among them was a monkey king who had awakened the ability of invisibility, making him extremely powerful and able to kill without a trace. They were top-notch troublemakers. These monkeys often robbed survivors of their food, and even large gangs of hundreds of people were not spared. And no one could do anything about them because they only acted at night, launching sneak attacks, making it impossible to track their movements. Moreover, the monkeys were highly intelligent, had great teamwork, and cooperated seamlessly with each other. In his previous life, several powerful ability users who thought they could deal with these monkeys all died miserably at their hands. What he didn't expect was that the monkey group space, which no one had discovered in the previous life, was actually found by himself in this life. Fang Chen combined this with what Lin Yu Yu had just said. He speculated that these monkeys had found his cold storage and were investigating it, preparing to rob him later. But they didn't expect Lin Yu Yu to discover them and mistake the monkeys for little girls, chasing after them. Fang Chen felt fortunate. Fortunately, Lin Yu Yu stumbled upon all this by accident. If they had been caught off guard, their home might have been stolen by these monkeys. However, Fang Chen was worried about Dian Mu. The monkeys had a strong sense of territory, were all proficient in speed abilities, and it was their familiar territory. Dian Mu was likely in danger. Meow. Soon, Fang Chen heard Dian Mu's screams, his face becoming even more grim. He had to go save Dian Mu. You two, quickly leave this place, Fang Chen immediately ordered the two women. He was worried that after he left, the invisible monkey king would come to attack them. Although they were strong, their defense was not high. Okay, husband, be safe, Lin Zijin and the other woman knew they might slow Fang Chen down, affecting his performance. So they obediently walked away and waited for Fang Chen a hundred meters away. Once the two women were safe, Fang Chen immediately used spatial blinking and ran towards the depths of the park. Soon, Fang Chen found Dian Mu near a rockery. So it's the monkeys in this park. This park originally had a small zoo where some small animals were kept, with Monkey Mountain being the most famous. Unexpectedly, all these monkeys had awakened abilities. Fang Chen noticed a large pit in the middle of Monkey Mountain, indicating that many evolution crystals had landed there before, which the monkeys had found. Gay Gay Gi. The monkeys were very agile, constantly coordinating to attack Dian Mu. Although Dian Mu was fast, she couldn't handle four hands with her two fists. She had already lost a lot of fur and her escape route was blocked. She looked a bit embarrassed. However, Dian Mu also electrocuted three monkeys. Dian Mu, are you okay? Fang Chen came to Dian Mu's side and lifted her up. Meow. Dian Mu meowed, looking very resentful. It wasn't your fault, but you have to pay for it. 50 points are not enough, you need 100 points. Let's go. Fang Chen didn't want to continue the fight. It was night, visibility was poor, the monkeys were fast, and there were many of them. It was difficult for him to attack them, and he had to keep the spatial barrier defense open, which could easily drain his abilities. It wasn't suitable for him to fight. Fang Chen carried Dian Mu, preparing to use spatial blinking to leave and come back during the day. However, as Fang Chen was about to leave, he noticed a stone cave out of the corner of his eye, where there was a lot of food stored, including several faintly glowing items. Evolution crystals? Fang Chen's eyes lit up, and he immediately blinked over, collecting all the supplies and crystals into his space. Suddenly, the monkeys angrily started Gejiing, realizing that their supplies had been stolen. Dong! Just as Fang Chen finished collecting the supplies, a stick appeared out of thin air in front of him and smashed towards his head. Fortunately, Fang Chen had activated the spatial barrier, otherwise he would have suffered a minor concussion from the blow. Monkey King? Fang Chen immediately realized that it must be the invisible old sixth. His heart sank. The Monkey King was extremely powerful, having killed more than a hundred ability users in his past life, including T1 level ability users. His invisibility ability was almost impossible to defend against. Now that it was dark, Fang Chen found it even harder to locate him, so he could only defend himself and couldn't attack. When in doubt, retreat. Fang Chen didn't want to stay any longer. He had found Dian Mu and obtained supplies and evolution crystals, so there was no need to fight the Monkey King. Lin Zijin had just agreed to help him, so why not go back and cuddle with his girl? Fang Chen immediately used spatial blinking. However, with his current strength in carrying a living being, he couldn't blink through walls, and the distance he could blink was also reduced. He could only blink about 20 meters alone. But after putting on the electric mother, the flickering distance directly decreased by half, and the pause time between each flicker increased from 0.5 seconds to 1 second. 
Fong Chen blinked once and appeared 10 meters away. However, the monkeys were fast. At the pause, the invisible monkey king caught up to Fong Chen again and swung a heavy iron rod towards him. This skinny monkey is quite strong. Fong Chen was not injured, but his steps still staggered. Other little monkeys also chased after Fong Chen, constantly throwing stones at him. Although the damage was not high, the attack frequency was very high. Moreover, with the darkening sky, they awakened their speed superpower again, making it difficult for Fong Chen to attack them and forcing him to defend. Fong Chen blinked again. However, the monkeys, with their speed superpower, still chased after him. Fong Chen could not escape their attack range, and the invisible monkey king once again attacked Fong Chen with the iron rod. Damn it, a tiger does not show its might, treating me like a sick cat. Electric mother? Fong Chen was annoyed by these attacks and began to feel angry. He was very clear that if they continued this chase, he would not be able to shake off these monkeys. And as time passed, his superpower would slowly deplete, eventually making him an easy target. Fang Chen had to find a way to make the monkeys stop chasing him, especially the invisible monkey king. Fang Chen opened his space and searched for something he could use. Most of the space was filled with food, furniture, and some weapons, but ordinary weapons could not reach these monkeys. Just as he was feeling troubled, he suddenly found something useful. Chili powder. Fong Chen's eyes lit up, and he immediately took out 100 pounds of chili powder. Since you can turn invisible and ordinary attacks can't reach you, I'll just irritate your eyes and see how you can chase me when you're blind. After marking the space on the bag, Fong Chen threw the 100 pounds of chili powder into the air. The surrounding monkeys, seeing Fong Chen take out a sack, all cast curious glances, wondering what Fong Chen was up to. Did this guy give up and was planning to return things to himself? What good stuff was in the bag? Watching the big sack thrown into the sky, the monkeys all stared with wide eyes. Some curious monkeys even waited at the landing point. However, a few seconds later, the sack suddenly exploded, and the red chili powder scattered everywhere within 50 meters, leaving no one unscathed. GGG the monkeys immediately started screaming in pain. They had just widened their eyes, but the explosion of chili powder almost filled their eyes, turning them into spicy eyeballs. The monkeys scratched their ears and cheeks in pain, jumping up and down, no longer having the intention to attack Fang Chen. The invisible monkey king, who was originally invisible, was also screaming in pain, frantically rubbing his eyes. However, with 100 pounds of chili powder exploding and splattering everywhere, the monkey king's hands were also covered in red, making rubbing his eyes almost as uncomfortable as constipation. Watching the scene of misery, Fang Chen couldn't help but be amazed and couldn't bear to look. I forgot, the raw material for this chili powder seems to be premium Indian ghost pepper, which costs about 100 yuan per pound. Ah, what a waste. Fang Chen felt a bit sorry, thinking about how many barbecues he could have made with that. Fortunately, Fang Chen had his space barrier protecting him, so the chili powder couldn't touch his body. Fang Chen was unharmed. Meow, meow, meow. However, the electric mother in Fang Chen's arms suffered a bit, with some powder splashing into her mouth making her meow continuously due to the spiciness. You, the cat litter scooper, not only made me a cannon fodder, but now you've made me so spicy. You owe me at least 50 points. No, 100 points. You want points? Fang Chen smiled, no problem, you've worked so hard today, you definitely deserve a reward. Meow, meow. The electric mother stuck out her tongue, indicating that it was almost enough. Is it too spicy? Meow. The electric mother rolled her eyes, nonsense. One bottle of water, 100 points. Fang Chen took out a bottle of water and handed it to the electric mother with a smile. Are you robbing me? The electric mother widened her eyes, looking at Fang Chen with great dissatisfaction. Fang Chen continued to smile, this is the only one. If you don't want it, I won't sell it. Meow. The electric mother, angry, cursed Fang Chen as a profiteer. However, the spicy taste in her mouth forced her to buy the bottle of water worth 100 points. Meow. Deal. The electric mother, with tears in her eyes, bought the mineral water worth 100 points, and today's compensation returned to Fong Chen's pocket. Let's go. Fong Chen chuckled. Stimulated by the chili powder, the monkeys scattered and fled, with no intention of chasing Fong Chen. Fong Chen had no intention of chasing them either and left with the electric mother. They met with Lin Zixin. Lin Zixin immediately approached, looking at Fong Chen with some concern. Honey, are you okay? Brother-in-law, Lin Yuyu also asked. I'm fine, just the electric mother got a little hurt, lost some fur. Fong Chen shook his head. Brother-in-law, I'm sorry, Lin Yuyu said apologetically, if I hadn't run around, nothing would have happened. It's not your fault, Fong Chen waved his hand, even if you didn't run around, we would have met them sooner or later. 
Thanks to you for discovering them, otherwise, if they ambushed us in the future, we would be in trouble. Really? Hearing this, Lin Yuyu became happy again, unexpectedly helping Fang Chen by accident. Brother-in-law, what's inside the park? It's a group of monkeys. The little girl you saw before should be one of the monkeys spying on our cold storage. They may want to rob our supplies. Fang Chen explained about the monkey group. Lin Zixin and her sister were shocked, dozens of awakened monkeys, and one of them could turn invisible, it was truly astonishing. Monkeys? Lin Yuyu looked puzzled, feeling that what she saw before was not monkeys, but she couldn't be sure now. Shaking her head, she dismissed the thought and said, Brother-in-law, what if the monkeys come in and expose my sister? Fong Chen rolled his eyes. However, he was also somewhat worried. A monkey that could turn invisible and wanted to pay attention to his cold storage was indeed a big problem. Early warning measures must be taken. The group returned to the cold storage. Fang Chen calculated the supplies obtained from the monkeys just now. There were probably hundreds of kilograms of food. There were even a few packs of cigarettes, two of which were already opened. Fang Chen couldn't help but laugh and cry. These monkeys could smoke? Speaking of which, there were tens of thousands of cigarettes in Fang Chen's space, but he rarely smoked, usually just one afterwards. Fang Chen lit one and took a puff, smoking is harmful to health, better smoke less. However, these things could be used as rewards for subordinates, priced at 10 points each. Not too expensive. In addition, Fang Chen also obtained a lot of evolution crystals from the monkeys. There were more than 30 of them, which could turn 30 ordinary people into superhumans. Although the energy of these things was not much, they were very valuable. Fang Chen had over a hundred evolution crystals in his hands. He had to save them for his trusted aides, selecting those with good aptitude to build an elite team. I'm starving, let's eat. Fang Chen had just used a lot of abilities such as space teleportation and barriers, and now he was hungry. He returned to the dining table and began to eat heartily. Today, Lin Zixin cooked some common home-cooked dishes. Steamed lobster, garlic oysters, braised pork, grilled fish. Meow. The electric mother meowed, indicating that she also wanted to eat. Points, Fang Chen smirked. Meow. The electric mother meowed discontentedly, profiteer, I've seen people being exploited, but I've never seen a cat being exploited. Do you have any humanity left? However, in order to eat, the electric mother still took out all her points. She swore that she would earn enough points to support herself for a lifetime and never let Fang Chen exploit her again. Hey, brother-in-law. Lin Yuyu also ran over, looking at Fang Chen with a playful expression, also wanting to ask for food. She had just chased after the monkeys, used too many abilities, was already hungry, and now even more so. Points, Fang Chen said sternly. Brother-in-law, Lin Yuyu said, sister just agreed to my conditions, she will help you. Right, sister? Lin Zijin was both embarrassed and angry. This little sister, leaning her elbow on her brother-in-law, I am your sister. However, she did just agree. Only once, Lin Zijin said proudly. Fang Chen smiled. This thing is either zero times or countless times, what only once, is completely deceiving oneself. He he, then I won't be polite. Lin Yuyu grinned, and began to eat heartily, mm -mm, so delicious, with the food exchanged by my sister, I must eat more, absolutely not wasting my sister's efforts. You're asking for it. Mei Mei finished dinner. Fang Chen hurriedly took a shower and then eagerly entered the room. Wife, thank you for your hard work, Fang Chen chuckled. Bad egg, Lin Zijin murmured somewhat unclearly. Hiss. As soon as Lin Zijin spoke, Fang Chen couldn't help but gasp. Outside the room, Lin Yuyu listened to the sounds inside with an exciting expression. In this way, my sister will be more open in the future. Maybe she will be able to accept. The next day, Fang Chen walked out of the room feeling refreshed. Last night was truly the most wonderful night ever. Lin Zijin's hair felt really soft to the touch. He he, does brother-in-law want to thank me? Lin Yuyu grinned and leaned towards Fang Chen, the two of them like a pair of mischievous villains. Ahem. Fang Chen was in a good mood, I'll reward you with a free lunch. He he, next time brother-in-law needs it, I can help you again, Lin Yuyu winked. Fang Chen couldn't help but sigh. This little sister-in-law is really a little witch, and she doesn't feel any pressure to deceive her sister. However, benefiting from it is himself, Fang Chen had nothing to say, and even felt that Lin Yuyu could be a bit more devilish and trick her sister a bit more. He he. After breakfast, Fang Chen found Yi Dajiang and the others again, and began to assign tasks to them. Fang Chen briefed them on the monkey situation and instructed them to strengthen patrols. Don't let the monkeys ambush them. Dajiang, Fang Chen said, when you go out, if you encounter anyone suitable, you can invite them to join our faction. The number of people in the faction is still a bit low, and the efficiency of collecting crystals needs to be improved. 
Fang Chen's spatial ability consumes too much energy, and to upgrade, he needs at least 10 times the crystals of other ability users. Yes, brother Fang Chen, I will definitely complete the task. He Dajiang nodded and led the ability users out to search for supplies and kill zombies. This time, Lin Zijin and Lin Yu Yu also went out, they now want to earn points for themselves and not just freeload off Fang Chen. Fang Chen did not refuse. It's a good thing that they want to be independent. Moreover, Lin Zijin is now a level 3 ability user, about to upgrade to level 4, awakening a powerful fire-based ability, with strong combat power. At this stage, there are hardly any ability users who can beat her. Lin Yu Yu recently reached level 3 as well, her wind-based ability excels in speed, an excellent skill for escaping. As long as they don't encounter powerful mutant zombies, ordinary ability users can't beat them. However, for their safety, Fang Chen let Dian Mu accompany them. Dian Mu is now a level 4 ability user, one level higher than Fang Chen, with formidable strength, she wouldn't have been injured yesterday if there weren't so many monkeys. The two groups went out separately. Fang Chen acted as a carefree boss, sitting leisurely on the sofa in the cold storage room, turning on the TV and watching a pre-downloaded TV series, Happy Apartment. By the way, open a bottle of wine worth 100,000 and pour yourself a glass. It's appetizing after a meal. Only when you are full and satisfied can you enhance your experience. After watching two episodes, Fang Chen began to use energy crystals to enhance his strength. Fang Chen estimated that if he absorbed another 500 or so level 1 crystals, he could upgrade to level 4. Currently, Fang Chen can absorb about 50 level 1 crystals a day under normal circumstances, so it would take about 10 days to reach level 4. Unfortunately, Lu Su is not around. Lu Su's source of life can increase the absorption speed of energy. When Lu Su left, Fang Chen drank a few sips, which could double the absorption speed. Yesterday, Fang Chen overabsorbed energy crystals, causing the effect to wear off prematurely. He doesn't know if Lu Su is still alive, and Fang Chen is starting to miss the taste of the source of life. I need to find a few hundred wood-based ability users to keep at home, this is top-notch support. Fang Chen thought to himself, it's not like he doesn't have the means, he can afford to keep as many as he needs, as long as they provide him with the source of life. After absorbing 50 crystals, it was already evening. Fang Chen was already hungry. Now, after each energy absorption, Fang Chen needs 80 pounds of food to replenish his energy. If Fang Chen didn't have so many resources, he wouldn't be able to sustain this level of consumption. He doesn't know how many people are still going hungry. Many leaders of major factions only have regular rice to eat every day, with either rotten vegetables or dishes that can't be cooked even at high temperatures. Who knows what kind of technology is being used in those dishes. Even if they were offered to Fang Chen for free, he wouldn't eat them. After a while, Lin Zijin and Lin Yu Yu returned with the electric mother. Both of them were sweaty but had joyful smiles on their faces. Brother-in-law, I want to have a good meal today, Lin Yu Yu grinned, pulling out a bunch of crystals from her pocket. Oh, you've harvested so many, Fang Chen was a bit surprised as he roughly counted at least 20 crystals. He couldn't help but ask, did your sister find these? I, I also killed some zombies, you know, five of them, Lin Yu Yu blushed. Well, then you can only eat five mouthfuls of rice today, Fang Chen joked. No way, five mouthfuls won't even fill the gaps between my teeth. But your points aren't enough, I don't extend credit here. This, Lin Yu Yu's eyes lit up, brother-in-law, just give my sister another task. You, Lin Zijin was getting impatient, why did it involve her again? She remembered yesterday's scene, her teeth were sore from grinding, it was too embarrassing. You can go hungry, I won't agree, humph, Lin Zijin said firmly. This time, no matter how Lin Yu Yu acted cute, she didn't even look at her. Fang Chen shrugged, he didn't mind, he wasn't some ultimate pervert, thinking about that kind of thing every day. There are plenty of days ahead, no need to rush. Fang Chen took the crystals from Lin Yu Yu and looked at them, a total of 15 level 1 crystals and 7 level 2 crystals, which could be exchanged for 155 points. Quite a harvest. According to the exchange value of points, he could exchange them for 155 bottles of mineral water or 155 loaves of bread. If he exchanged them for pork, he could get one and a half pounds. Exchanging them for chicken would get him two and a half pounds. Husband, Lin Zijin also brought out a handful of crystals, these were killed by the electric mother, she couldn't collect them, so I brought them over for her. Meow. The electric mother proudly exclaimed, add my points quickly. The electric mother obtained a total of 25 crystals, including 20 level 2 crystals and 5 level 3 crystals. Fang Chen was surprised. The electric mother had killed at least 5 zombies with abilities. This lazy cat, striking hard when needed. With 25 crystals, she could exchange them for 550 points. She could even exchange them for an abalone. 
If this continues, the electric mother may really earn enough points to cover a lifetime of expenses soon. Fang Chen felt that his exchange rate for points was a bit too cheap, and in the future, as the electric mother's strength increased, he would have to raise her price, otherwise his resources would not be enough. After registering the points, Lin Zijin went to the kitchen to cook. Lin Yuyu pulled Fang Chen and talked about what happened outside. After a while, Fang Chen heard the voices of He Dajiang and others, so he walked out of the cold storage to see their situation. What happened to you? Fang Chen looked at He Dajiang and the others. Six people went out, but only four came back, and one of them was injured. Luo Gu, we encountered a very powerful zombie. Xiaobo, Xiaoan were eaten, and Xiao Xu was also injured, He Dajiang's face was grim. When he went out, he promised Fang Chen to bring people back, but not only did he fail to bring them back, but two of them died. He felt somewhat guilty towards Fang Chen. Fang Chen also looked serious. Originally, there were not many ability users under him, and now there were even fewer. Ah! Suddenly, Xiao Xu, who was injured, twisted in pain and screamed. Xiao Xu! What's wrong with him? Not good, he's turning into a zombie, get away from him. Fang Chen's face darkened. When Xiao Xu was about to attack others, he immediately used the spatial blade to cut off Xiao Xu's head. The remaining people were all in shock. Looking at their companion who had just been helping each other, now with their heads and bodies separated, their faces were all grim. After being injured, it is very likely to be infected with the zombie virus. In the future, be sure to avoid getting injured, Fang Chen's face was serious. If injured. Fang Chen didn't want to be too cruel, but they all understood his meaning, if injured, try not to come back to avoid harming others. Understood, brother Fang Chen, He Da Jung nodded. He took out a few crystals, these are the crystals we harvested today. Fang Chen looked at them, one was a level 2 crystal, the rest were all level 1. Shaking his head, Fang Chen returned the crystals to He Dajiang. Brother Fang Chen, this is. He Dajiang didn't understand Fang Chen's meaning. You guys keep the crystals for yourselves for now. Fang Chen's expression was complicated. He had been too presumptuous before, thinking that with subordinates, he could be hands off. But he had overlooked the strength of these subordinates. Now, there were many powerful zombies outside some even stronger than level 3 ability users. Except for He Dajiang, his subordinates were all level 1 ability users, awakening only T3 level abilities, not much stronger than ordinary people. Before, they could kill zombies because the zombies were weak, but now the zombies were evolving every day. Sending them to deal with those powerful level 3 zombies would be sending them to their deaths. If he wanted them to continue killing zombies, their strength had to increase as well. After this incident, Fang Chen decided to leave a small portion of the crystals for them to improve their strength so they could develop in the future. This also applied to Lin Zijin and the others. Fang Chen's current crystals were enough for himself, and there was no rush. Go to the cold storage to get some food, rest well these two days, improve your strength, and you don't have to hand over all the crystals in the future, Fang Chen instructed. Thank you, boss, thank you, boss. The remaining Li Shan and another ability user were very grateful to Fang Chen. They never expected that Fang Chen would let them receive supplies for free today, making him the best boss in the world. After their strength improved, they would definitely repay the boss. Well, go back. Fang Chen smiled and also returned to the cold storage. In the next two days, Fang Chen did not let He Da Jiang and the others go out to kill zombies, but let them improve their strength. Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu, the two sisters, still went out to kill zombies every day. However, this time Fang Chen did not take away all their crystals, but left some for them. He did not bother Lin Zijin at night, giving her time to absorb the crystals. During these two days, some ordinary survivors also cleaned and repaired all the other warehouses near the cold storage. The area around the cold storage is now completely renewed. Two days passed. He Dajiang's strength has increased to level 3, showing a huge improvement. He Dajiang has a metal-type ability, able to control the molecular structure of metal and excels in defense. Now, with his defense fully open, he can already rival Fang Chen's spatial barrier, greatly enhancing his strength. Li Shan and another ability user have also increased their strength to level 2. Dealing with level 1 zombies is no problem at all. On this day, after He Da Jiang and the others went out, they brought back several ability users. Brother Fang Chen, He Da Jiang brought three people, two men and a woman, one middle-aged man, and a young man and woman in their 20s. This is Master Jean, a Peninsula native, an 8th degree black belt in Taekwondo. The largest Taekwondo gym in Luo City is owned by Master Jean. He used to teach us combat classes. Now, after awakening his enhanced ability, his strength is very powerful. He just helped us kill a level 3 zombie. He Da Jiang introduced. This is Jean Taichen, Master Jin's son, a 5th degree black belt in Taekwondo. 
Lu Xinyun, Jean Taichen's girlfriend. This is my leader, Fang Chen. Hearing that the other party has an 8th degree black belt in Taekwondo and has just killed a level 3 zombie, Fang Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows slightly, feeling quite impressive. He carefully looked at Master Jean. In his 50s, bald, wearing a white practice suit, with a black belt around his waist, standing with folded arms and half-closed eyes, truly exuding the aura of a grandmaster. Indeed a master. Fang Chen secretly admired, amazed, in over 40 degree weather, he's dressed so thickly, most old men would have fainted from the heat. He then looked at Jean Taichen and Lu Xinyun. The man was very handsome, a popular young idol on the internet. The woman was quite beautiful, scoring 80 points, with a somewhat proud look, leaning against Jean Taichen. Welcome to join us. At a time when manpower is lacking, the other party has good strength and is a friend of He Da Jiang, so Fang Chen did not hesitate and directly let them join. Da Jiang, arrange accommodation for Master Jean and get some food. Okay. He Da Jiang nodded. However, before He Da Jiang could lead the way, Lu Xinyun's face showed a look of disdain. You all live in a warehouse? Lu Xinyun frowned at the cold storage in front of her. How can people live in such a place? And with so many people, there is no privacy space at all. Yeah, I thought your living conditions were good? Jean Taichen also questioned He Da Jiang. Hearing this, Fang Chen was taken aback. What's going on? You just joined and already have complaints? And who said you are living here? This is where I live. The place is a bit lacking. Master Jean also glanced at He Da Jiang and said in a not very fluent Yen language, Xiao Jiang, it's fine for me to protect you, but the living environment shouldn't be too poor, it will affect my performance. Hearing this, Fang Chen frowned. What does the other party mean by coming to protect himself? Wasn't it to seek refuge? Fang Chen looked puzzled at He Da Jiang, asking what's going on with these guys? He Da Jiang was also a bit puzzled. When he was fighting zombies before, he met Master Jean. At that time, Master Jean killed the zombie, and He Da Jiang got to know him, and they started chatting. Later, when He Da Jiang mentioned that the gang needed people, he invited Master Jean to join, and Master Jean said he could help him, so He Da Jiang brought him back. Did he misunderstand something? Do you think you invited him to come and take charge? Master Jean, actually. He did Jiang wanted to explain clearly. Xiao Jiang, Xiao Fang, Master Luo interrupted him, putting on a reasonable look and said, I know, you guys probably can't come up with a decent place to stay for a while. I won't make it difficult for you. Tomorrow, help me clean up a better room. Xiao Chen, Xiao Yun, let's just make do for tonight. With that, Master Luo didn't wait for Fang Chen to agree, and walked towards the cold storage like a host. Honey, how can we make do with this? This is a warehouse conversion, there may be cockroach zombies, rat zombies, if we get bitten, we're done for. Lu Xinyun still complained very reluctantly. Forget it. Jean Taichen comforted his girlfriend, let's stay for one night first, and have them clean up a better room tomorrow. What if they can't clean it up tomorrow? What do we do? Keep staying here. Can't clean it up? Jean Taichen sneered, if they can't clean it up, my father won't protect them, they'll be eaten by zombies. All right then. Lu Xinyun reluctantly nodded, adding, the new house must have air conditioning, my dad can't stand the heat. That's for sure. So, Xiao Yun, Lu Xinyun glanced at Fang Chen again, as if calling out to a younger brother, the dinner later shouldn't be too bad, I can't get used to bad food, it's best to have three dishes and a soup. Give me a portion of kimchi. Jin Taichen smiled, then hugged Lu Xinyun's shoulder and walked towards the cold storage. However, just as they reached the door, Jin Taichen noticed that his father was standing still in front, looking puzzled. Father, what's wrong? Is it too bad inside? Jean Taichen frowned, thinking that the cold storage was too bad, even his father didn't want to go in. However, as he followed inside, he also froze. Facing them was an incredibly cool breeze. Looking further, on the left side of the entrance, there were stacks of goods 7 to 8 meters high. Rice, noodles, mineral water. At least several thousand kilograms. Valued at tens of thousands to start with. My goodness, how could there be so many supplies? The three of them swallowed simultaneously, since the apocalypse, they had never had a full meal, even bread had to be shared among the three of them. They had never seen so many supplies. Suddenly, the sound of a TV on the right side caught their attention. Looking up, they saw a large living room of over a hundred square meters, with a sofa, coffee table, chandelier, TV, PS5, and a whole wall of wine cabinet. Lu Xinyun widened her eyes. She recognized the sofa in the living room, it was the set she had seen in the largest mall in Luo City, worth over 800,000 for the genuine leather sofa. She had dreamed of sitting on it. In fact, in order to sit on the sofa, she had tried hard to please the half-Korean guy next to her. Unfortunately, this guy was very stingy, not only did he only serve kimchi for meals, he couldn't bear to buy such an expensive sofa. 
Unexpectedly, in such an inconspicuous cold storage, there was such an expensive sofa. Moreover, all the other furniture were world-renowned brands, each starting at tens of thousands. The entire cold storage, compared to a five-star hotel's presidential suite, was not inferior at all. What kind of place is this? Thinking that she had been very reluctant to stay here just now, Lu Xinyun cursed herself as a fool? She almost missed it. Master Jean also widened his eyes, unable to believe it for a long time. After a while, when he came to his senses, Master Jean looked radiant, smiling at Fang Chen and he did Jiang at the entrance of the cold storage. Xiao Fang, Xiao Jiang, I didn't expect you to hide your talents, you actually prepared such a good place for me. I misunderstood you before, you guys are considerate. Master Jean laughed heartily, patting his chest, rest assured, I will be responsible for the safety here in the future, guaranteeing that no zombies can harm you. You can now prepare dinner. At the entrance of the cold storage. Watching the other party take charge and command Master Jean and the others as if they were the master, Fang Chen's eyes turned cold. What's going on? Acting like this is their own home, protecting my safety? Preparing three dishes and a soup for you? Want some pickles too? Should I slap you? However, considering that the other party is a friend of He Da Jiang, Fang Chen did not directly intervene out of respect for He Da Jiang, but instead looked towards He Da Jiang. Da Jiang, you go handle this, if it doesn't work out, I'll have to kick them out. Fang Chen felt very frustrated, thinking it was a capable assistant, but it turned out to be a group of fools. He didn't even want to look at those guys inside, so after speaking, he went outside to wander around the cold storage, waiting for He Da Jiang to explain before coming back. Fang Chen, I really don't know what they. He Da Jiang felt very wronged, he didn't even know this person from the peninsula, at such an age, still so naive, thinking that inviting him over was to entertain him. Master Jean, it's not what you think. He Da Jiang hurriedly explained. But before He Da Jiang could explain clearly, Master Jean and the others who entered the cold storage had already picked up a bottle of red wine, leisurely lying on the sofa worth 800,000, shaking their wine glasses and toasting. Jean Taichen even crossed his legs, his dirty shoes resting on Fang Chen's coffee table. Master Jean, He Da Jiang said, you're not staying here. This is a sofa, of course we're not staying here. I've seen where the rooms are, no need for your reminder, you go do your thing. Jean Taichen grinned, he had already fallen in love with this place. If he had lived here from the beginning of the apocalypse, he wouldn't have lived like a dog. He Da Jiang started to feel a bit angry as well, these peninsula people, why are they so naive? Just because he invited you, you assume it's for your entertainment? Dinner is ready. At this moment, Lindsay Jean, who was preparing dinner in the kitchen, came out with a large bowl of food. Seeing Master Jean and the others on the sofa, she was also stunned. She looked at the group, their unruly demeanor didn't seem like Fang Chen's men. Did her husband bring guests home? She looked around but didn't see Fang Chen anywhere. You can have dinner now, the food is a bit scarce, I'll go make more. Lin Zijin politely said. With Fang Chen not around, as the hostess, she had to greet the guests properly. However, in the eyes of Master Jean and the others, it was not the case. Jean Taichen's eyes lit up when he saw Lin Zijin. What a beautiful woman. Her peach blossom eyes were charming, her high and delicate nose, her gentle and elegant temperament, even more beautiful than the stars of the peninsula country. Compared to Lu Xinyun next to him, she was several levels higher. Was this the maid specially prepared by Fang Chen for himself? This Fang Chen really knows how to handle things. Looking at the food lobster, abalone, sea cucumber, and a whole roasted suckling pig, Jean Taichen swallowed his saliva. It was so sumptuous, just a few days ago he had to share a piece of bread with his father. The disparity was too great. Yes, yes, in appreciation of Fang Chen's hospitality, he decided to put in some effort to ensure his safety. Lu Xinyun was also drooling. Previously, she thought that by getting close to this peninsula man, she could enjoy a luxurious life. Who knew this peninsula man was so stingy, never treating her to a big meal? Sometimes when they went out for a buffet, she had to pay. The delicious food in front of her, not to mention during the apocalypse, she had never eaten such food even in peacetime. However, looking at Lin Zijin's beauty and Jean Taichen's lecherous gaze, Lu Xinyun felt extremely unhappy. Why does a maid look prettier than herself? Lu Xinyun was consumed with jealousy. She was worried that once Jean Taichen got this woman, he would dump her, and then she wouldn't be able to enjoy such a luxurious life. Thinking of this, Lu Xinyun wanted to make things difficult for Lin Zijin, to make her look bad and dispel Jean Taichen's thoughts. You, why haven't you gone to get the utensils yet? Are you planning to let us eat with our hands, showing no respect at all? Lu Xinyun glared at Lin Zijin. Lin Zijin was taken aback. However, being kind-hearted, Lin Zijin did not feel angry at Lu Xinyun's tone, and turned to the kitchen to fetch the utensils. 
Lu Xinyun watched with a cold smile. Indeed, she was just a servant at heart, so submissive without a hint of temper. On the side, He Da Jiang was shocked to hear this. This was Lin Zijin, Fang Chen's girlfriend. Yet Lu Xinyun was ordering her around as if she were a servant. Fortunately, Fang Chen was not present. If he had seen this, he would probably have given Lu Xinyun a piece of his mind. He Da Jiang quickly said, Master Jin, you really. Xiao Jiang, before He Da Jiang could finish his sentence, Master Jin interrupted him, Don't worry, I will ensure your safety. Let's eat now, we can discuss anything after the meal. Eat your head. If it weren't for witnessing Master Jin's strength and the fact that he had taught him martial arts before, almost like a teacher, He Da Jiang would have wanted to curse out loud. How did you cook this meal? Lu Xinyan, who was eating, started to nitpick again, disdainfully throwing a piece of meat on the floor. It's so salty, don't you know that eating too salty is bad for your health? What if my father-in-law gets sick from eating this? What are you looking at? Hurry up and clean the floor. What if my father-in-law slips and falls? Lu Xinyun pointed at the oil stain on the floor. He Da Jiang couldn't help but complain inwardly. He was from a peninsula, eating salty food every day, and he was afraid the meal was too salty? Even if Lin Zijin was a bit slow, she now felt that this girl in front of her seemed to be deliberately making things difficult for her. But she couldn't understand why. Had she offended her in any way? However, Lin Zijin was always kind-hearted and rarely got into conflicts with others. She looked at the oil stain on the floor, took out a tissue, and squatted down to clean it up. At that moment, Lu Xinyun suddenly stood up and accidentally stepped on Lin Zijin's fair fingers. Ah! Lin Zijin cried out in pain. Oh, I'm sorry, Lu Xinyun pretended to console her. I remembered to pour a glass of wine. I didn't expect you to reach under my shoe. Are you hurt? No, I'm not. Lin Zijin shook her head, feeling a bit angry, but these people were her husband's friends, so she didn't plan to pursue it. That's good, Lu Xinyun smiled, since you're fine, help me pour a glass of wine. Lin Zijin nodded, reached out with her slightly swollen jade hand to take the glass, and went to pour a glass of wine. Lu Xinyun looked on with great satisfaction. Just a servant, yet she still wants to compete with me. I'll show her. Lu Xinyun took the wine glass, but deliberately spilled a little on herself when taking it, using this as an excuse to get angry. You did that on purpose. Lu Xinyun glared at Lin Zijin, while Master Jin and Jin Taichen, who were eating, also looked over. I didn't, Lin Zijin furrowed her brows. She had clearly seen that Lu Xinyun had done it on purpose. She didn't understand why Lu Xinyun would do this. What had she done to offend her? No? Lu Xinyun sneered, I think you did it on purpose. It's because I accidentally stepped on you just now, so you deliberately splashed wine on me, wanting to embarrass me. I already apologized just now, and you still retaliate like this. How narrow-minded you are. I didn't. Listening to the accusations, Lin Zijin's pretty face flushed with anger, you spilled it yourself. You're still trying to argue. You clearly did it on purpose. Lu Xinyun wouldn't let Lin Zijin explain further. She directly held the wine glass and splashed it on Lin Zijin's face. Lin Zijin's snow white dress was instantly stained red, and she choked on a few sips of wine, coughing uncontrollably, looking somewhat disheveled and helpless. She didn't understand why this woman was targeting her, falsely accusing her. Lu Xinyun's face was filled with triumph. You've gone too far. Jin Taichen frowned slightly, feeling sorry for Lin Zijin, and scolded Lu Xinyun, she didn't do it on purpose. Lu Xinyun was stunned. Feeling even more jealous of Lin Zijin in her heart, she thought to herself that even in this situation, she could still attract Jin Taichen. This woman is really cunning. I need to do something about it. Honey, don't be fooled by this woman. It's all part of her scheme, Lu Xinyun immediately said, feeling wronged. This woman is too scheming. She deliberately put her hand under my foot to make me step on it, pretending to be pitiful. Later, she deliberately spilled red wine, just to make me angry, to lower my image and increase your favor towards her, in order to gain more. She's a scheming woman. On the side, He Da Jiang was shocked and angry. Lin Zijin was splashed with red wine by Lu Xinyun and then slandered like this. If Fang Chen found out, it wouldn't be as simple as a slap in the face. Moreover, these people were brought by himself, and he didn't know if Fang Chen would blame him later. Even if he didn't blame him, as a brother, he felt very guilty. He Da Jiang immediately said angrily, Lu Xinyun, Lin Zijin is not. All right, Xiao Jian, my son is outstanding, and it's normal for the little girl to have some thoughts. You don't have to punish the little girl too harshly. At this moment, Master Jin spoke again, interrupting He Da Jiang once more. Seeing He Da Jiang's angry expression, he confidently thought that He Da Jiang was going to punish Lin Zijin and intervene for Lu Xinyun. Master Jin patted Jin Taichen's shoulder again, Son, she's just a maid, play with her if she's pretty, don't take it too seriously. 
Xiao Yun is a supernatural being, much stronger than her, you should value her. He understood his son very well, who was fond of beauty and had played with many women in Yin country. Lu Xinyun was probably dissatisfied with her son's behavior and did this intentionally. However, he didn't think Lu Xinyun was wrong, but rather saw it as a display of love for her son, which he was very satisfied with. As for Lindsay Jean, she was just a vase, it didn't matter if she suffered a little grievance. Hmm. Jean Taichen hesitated for a moment and didn't say anything more. He also understood that in this chaotic post-apocalyptic world, being beautiful was just a plaything at most, and having supernatural abilities was the most important. Although Lu Xinyun was not as beautiful as Lin Zijin, she had supernatural abilities that could help him, and she was not bad looking either. So, he took the initiative to pick up a dish for Lu Xinyun. Lu Xinyun felt secretly pleased. She looked down on Lin Zijin. I am a supernatural being, your beauty as a maid is not as important as mine. Later, I will be the mistress here, even if I target you, no one will say anything. Sister. At this moment, a clear voice of a girl came from the direction of the bedroom. Sister, what's wrong with you? Lin Yuyu had just used crystals to enhance her strength in the bedroom. Suddenly hearing a commotion, she walked out in confusion. As a result, she saw Lin Zijin, who was covered in red wine and looked a bit disheveled. A surge of anger rose in her heart. Sister, who did this to you? Lin Yuyu looked at Lin Zijin with concern and then pointed to the strangers who appeared in the cold storage. Who are they? Lin Zijin shook her head. They should be your brother-in-law's guests. Guests? Lin Yuyu stared coldly at Master Jean and the others. Another woman? And they are sisters? Jean Taichen looked at the cute and equally beautiful girl who had just appeared, feeling restless. Where did Fang Chen get so many resources from? to build such a luxurious cold storage and have such good-looking sister maids. Thinking that Fang Chen had been living in such a comfortable place, Jean Taichen felt envious and jealous. Who splashed my sister? Lin Yuyu scanned the surroundings and noticed He Dajiang's unpleasant expression. It was him. He Dajiang knew that today's matter was probably irreparable, so he moved closer to Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu. Since Fang Chen was not around, if a conflict were to occur later, he must protect the two sisters. You? Lin Yuyu looked at the provocatively dressed Lu Xinyun, staring at her coldly, Who are you, and why do you dare to splash my sister? Who am I? Lu Xinyun looked at the suddenly appearing girl, also taken aback. What kind of place was this cold storage that there were such beautiful sisters, each more beautiful than herself? Catching a glimpse of Jean Taichen beside her, whose eyes were narrowed and saliva was about to drip, Lu Xinyun felt resentful. However, she didn't dare to vent her anger on Jean Taichen, so just like before, she directed her resentment towards Lin Yuyu. Humph, we are honored guests invited by your master. Lu Xinyun sneered, looking arrogantly at Lin Yuyu. Your sister is being shameless, trying to seduce my husband. What's wrong with me splashing her? Do you want to fight me too? Smack! Before Lu Xinyun could finish her sentence, Lin Yuyu appeared in front of her and slapped her across the face. A clear red handprint appeared on Lu Xinyun's face, and two teeth were knocked out. Lu Xinyun was stunned. She couldn't believe that Lin Yuyu had actually hit her. How dare she? Lin Yuyu's personality was completely different from Lin Zijin's. She often got into fights at school. Anyone who bullied her would face retaliation. Lin Zijin was worried about offending Fang Chen's guests and didn't dare to fight back. But Lin Yuyu was not afraid. Regardless of who the guests were, if they dared to bully her sister, they deserved to be hit, even if it was the president of a country. As for whether Fang Chen would blame her, she didn't care. At most, Fang Chen would give her a few spankings as punishment. Besides, she understood Fang Chen. He would never allow anyone to bully his woman. Otherwise, Lin Yuyu wouldn't have secretly developed feelings for Fang Chen. So, without hesitation, she slapped Lu Xinyun across the face with all her strength. So what if I hit you, you despicable person? Shouldn't your husband take a good look at himself before accusing my sister of seducing him? Lin Yuyu's tone was unapologetic and unafraid of offending the other party. Do you think a woman protected by a lion would be interested in a teddy bear? How dare you hit me? Do you know who we are? Lu Xinyun's chest heaved with anger, her eyes wide open. She never expected an 18-year-old girl to be so ruthless in her words and actions. She didn't hesitate to resort to violence. Jean Taichen's expression was also extremely ugly. Would a woman protected by a lion seduce a teddy bear? Are you talking about me? Jean Taichen said with an unpleasant expression. Lin Yuyu glanced at Jean Taichen, completely ignoring his darkened face. I'm not talking about your mother. I'm talking about you, Teddy. Now, Lin Yuyu stood with her hands on her hips, pointing at Jean Taichen and his companions. Get out of here immediately. You are not welcome here. Nonsense. Jean Taichen was furious. 
It was the first time in his life that a woman had insulted him like this, especially a woman from Yen country. Previously, the Yen women he had encountered would fawn over him once they knew he was from the peninsula, paying for his meals and purchases, afraid of being rejected. And now this woman was telling him to leave? It was simply unreasonable. How dare she treat me like this? I will make you regret it later, and then kneel at my feet like a dog, serving me. Jean Taichen looked at Lu Xinyun, signaling her to reveal his identity and make Lin Yu Yu regret her actions. Lu Xinyun was initially angry, but now she was secretly delighted. This woman was really stupid to insult Jean Taichen like this. No matter how beautiful you are, Jean Taichen would never treat you well. No one could threaten her position anymore. From now on, this cold storage would be ruled by her alone. Do you know who Master Jean is? How dare you tell us to leave? Lu Xinyun sneered. I don't care who he is, bullying my sister, he deserves a beating. Lin Yu Yu doesn't care that much. Humph, Lu Xinyun said arrogantly, Master Jean is a distinguished friend from the peninsula. He is a famous Taekwondo master, an 8th degree black belt, and the most famous Taekwondo gym in the city is run by Master Jean. Moreover, your police station often invites Master Jean to teach. The chief is always polite to him. Your boss Fang Chen specially arranged for Master Jean to stay in this cold storage. You are also assigned to serve us as maids. How dare you treat us like this, if Fang Chen finds out, he will definitely break your legs. Lu Xinyun revealed Master Jin's identity. Master Jin also timely folded his hands, with a slight frown, looking like a grandmaster. Jin Taichen was also very pleased. He was waiting for Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu to be scared and then kneel and flatter him. However, when Lin Yuyu heard Lu Xinyun's words, she did not feel the slightest fear, let alone kneel and flatter. So you're a stick, no wonder you speak like a hillbilly. Lin Yuyu sneered disdainfully, you must have fried your brain, not sleeping at night and starting to imagine things. Do you know the strength of my brother-in-law? Do you need an old man like you to protect him? I can knock him out with one punch. You. Lu Xinyun was stunned, not expecting Lin Yuyu to be so arrogant. Master Jin also felt insulted, narrowing his eyes and saying, little girl, you talk big. Xiao Jiang, Master Jin looked at Ida Jiang again, you better discipline this ignorant little girl, otherwise, I won't help you protect the cold storage. Master Jin. Ida Jiang couldn't take it anymore. He had tried to speak several times before, but he was always interrupted, leading to the situation getting out of control now. He almost shouted, I didn't invite you to protect us. What did you say? Master Jin's face changed. Ida Jiang breathed a sigh of relief and said in a deep voice, I didn't invite you to protect us, but to be an ordinary member of our gang. This cold storage is not for you to live in, it belongs to our boss. He Da Jiang pointed at Lin Zijin, they are not your maids, they are all my boss's women. Lin Zijin's expression changed slightly. Them? Did he mean herself and her sister? Lin Yuyu secretly stuck out her tongue, thinking to herself, this he Da Jiang, he looks silly and stupid, but his insight in this matter is so sharp. Why didn't you say so earlier? Master Jin heard he Da Jiang's words, looking somewhat angry. After all, he was brought here to be a lackey? Master Jin suddenly felt insulted. Jin Taichen and Lu Xinyun also realized, no wonder there were two such beautiful women, they were not maids, but Fang Chen's lovers. So, He Da Jiang said again, I'm afraid you can't stay here anymore, please leave. He Da Jiang and Master Jin had only taken a few classes together, there was no real bond between them, and it was impossible for him to go against his brothers who shared the same bed. Leave? Master Jean snorted, you invited me here, now you want to dismiss me just like that, where in the world does such a good thing happen? In your country, there is a saying, it's easy to invite a Buddha, but hard to send him away. Having experienced the luxury of the cold storage and enjoyed a delicious dinner, Master Jean was not willing to leave. Since he was not invited to come and take charge, he decided to occupy the place and be the master himself. You still want to stay here? He Da Jiang glared at Master Jean and the others. Stay? Master Jean sneered, this cold storage is clearly mine, where does the word stay come from? If anyone is staying, it's you staying in my house. He Da Jiang was trembling with anger. He had heard that people from the peninsula had no shame, but he didn't expect them to be even more shameless than he imagined. Now they were taking over the cold storage. Taichen, Xinyun, asked them to leave. Master Jean coldly ordered Jean Taichen and Lu Xinyun. Yes, father. Jean Taichen had long accumulated deep resentment in his heart. Looking at the two beautiful women in front of him, he was determined to capture them later and have a good time with them at night. Let them see who the real lion is. Enhance strength and speed, activate. Jean Taichen grinned and activated his own ability. Jean Taichen's ability belongs to the T2 level of enhanced abilities. There are many types of enhanced abilities, some can only enhance speed, strength, or defense. 
but some talented individuals can enhance multiple aspects. Gene Taichin can enhance speed and strength together, far surpassing individual enhanced abilities in combat power. Some top T2 level enhanced ability users are even more powerful than T1 level elemental ability users. Stop it! He Da Jung saw the situation and immediately activated his ability, stepping forward to protect Lin Zi Jin. You, a fool, still want to fight me? Jin Taichin had seen He Da Jung's strength, high defense but slow movement, like a sitting duck. He didn't even take him seriously. Lu Xin Yun was slapped by Lin Yu Yu, her eyes full of resentment, ready to scratch Lin Yu Yu's face to shreds. You despicable woman, go to hell. Lu Xin Yun sneered, her fingernails suddenly growing 10 centimeters longer, like 10 sharp knives, capable of cutting through steel pipes. If she caught someone's flesh, even if they didn't die, they would lose chunks of flesh. This was her ability, able to control the growth and hardness of her nails at will. It is a T2 level enhanced ability. There are many types of enhanced abilities, not just speed, strength, or defense, it can enhance any organ of the human body. Some people can even enhance their hearts. As long as the heart is intact, they won't die even if they are dismembered. Lu Xinyun reached out with ghost-like claws towards Lin Yuyu's pretty face, determined to scratch her face. You don't even trim your nails this long, aren't you afraid that when your husband is playing games, he'll be castrated by you? Lin Yuyu remained calm and even taunted Lu Xinyun, provoking her further. Lu Xinyun, now only at level 1, was both angry and furious. Lin Yuyu, on the other hand, was a level 3 ability user, capable of reaching a maximum speed of 40 meters per second, four times faster than the world's fastest 100 meter sprinter. She was almost like a gust of wind. Moreover, Lin Yuyu had a lot of fighting experience from her school days, although she had not practiced martial arts, her combat experience was much stronger than an ordinary person. Lu Xinyan, on the other hand, had never received any combat training and had no fighting skills, fighting like an ordinary woman, pulling hair, spitting, scratching faces. Her speed was very slow. Lin Yuyu swiftly moved, appearing silently behind Lu Xinyun, and with a kick to her thick buttocks, sent her stumbling. Ah! Lu Xinyun screamed in pain, her face hitting the wall, blood streaming from her nose, along with the two teeth she had lost earlier, making her look pitiful, and she fainted on the spot. Not even a match. Lin Yuyu snorted in anger. In this world, the only person who could bully her sister was her brother-in-law. On the side, Master Jin, who was watching the fight, was surprised. He had always thought that Lin Zi Jin and Lin Yu Yu were just ordinary girls, but he didn't expect them to have abilities, and even more powerful than Lu Xinyun. If he and his son each married one of them, he he, that would definitely be a great help. Is this a speed ability? Master Jin showed a hint of appreciation in his eyes and said, Little girl, you are so fast, but unfortunately you have not received systematic martial arts education. Do you want to be my student? I can teach you the most authentic Taekwondo, and you and your sister can continue to live here. Old thing, do you have any eyesight at all? This lady has wind elemental abilities. You still want me to be your disciple? Dream on. Lin Yuyu sneered at Master Jean, raising her middle finger. She couldn't stand this old man, pretending to be impressive but actually useless. He even wanted to take over her brother-in-law's cold storage. No way. Oomph, you people from the flame country, don't you understand respecting the elderly and loving the young? After being looked down upon and insulted by Lin Yuyu several times, Master Jin was also somewhat annoyed. He suppressed his voice and shouted at Lin Yuyu, don't always generalize as flame country people. I only represent myself. As for respecting the elderly, have you ever read a book? Do you know what it means to respect the elderly? Someone like you, morally corrupt and wanting to take over someone else's property, can also be called old? Give me a break. Lin Yuyu couldn't stand the other party's self-righteousness and nonsense. She directly retorted. Since she was young, she had been criticized for being uncultured. If others said so, she would act accordingly. Kindness is often mistaken for weakness. If one keeps giving in, the other party will only become more arrogant. You. Master Jean was also infuriated by Lin Yu Yu's sharp tongue, his veins bulging. Glaring at Lin Yu Yu with a dark face, he said, Little girl, since your parents didn't teach you manners, let me teach you what manners are today. Old thing, your parents probably never saw your manners. Lin Yu Yu detested it when others brought up this point. Because her parents had left when she was very young, and there had been no news of them since, it was almost certain that they were dead. Master Jin was so shrewd that he could tell what was going on just by looking at Lin Yu Yu's expression. He sneered, No wonder you have no manners, you really have no parents. Some people are born but not raised. Upon hearing this, Lin Yu Yu trembled with anger, her eyes turning red in an instant. Old thing, I'm going to kill you. 
He he. Watching the furious Lin Yu Yu charging towards him, Master Jin's mouth curved into a triumphant smile. After witnessing Lin Yu Yu's speed, he had been thinking about how to deal with her. Later, he noticed that Lin Yu Yu easily got angry when mentioning her parents, so he deliberately brought it up to provoke her. In extreme anger, people tend to forget their fighting skills, only launching attacks instinctively and hardly defending. Their combat effectiveness drops sharply. In her anger, Lin Yu Yu's fighting skills were clearly inferior to when she dealt with Lu Xinyan just now. She charged straight at Master Jean. Petty tricks. Faced with Lin Yu Yu's fist in anger, Master Jean seemed indifferent, evading at an incredible angle. Then he kicked towards Lin Yu Yu's back. Fortunately, although Lin Yu Yu was angry, her speed did not falter, instinctively dodging the attack. Master Jean was slightly surprised. He didn't expect Lin Yu Yu to evade like that. He was an 8th degree black belt in Taekwondo before the apocalypse, able to take on 10 opponents alone, with combat skills far superior to ordinary people. And now, having awakened T2 level enhanced abilities, he could enhance speed, strength, and defense simultaneously. His speed was up to 20 meters per second, strength reaching 1500 kilograms, and defense capable of resisting 1000 kilograms. He could defeat 3 level zombies alone. Yet he couldn't handle a little girl? Oof, come again. Master Jean still didn't take Lin Yu Yu seriously, dodging attacks with his combat skills while counterattacking. Although his speed was slightly inferior to Lin Yu Yu's, his strength, defense, and combat skills all surpassed Lin Yu Yu. Especially now that Lin Yu Yu was in a state of anger, her fighting style was erratic, and soon he hit Lin Yu Yu twice. Lin Zi Jean on the side watched anxiously. She had fire elemental abilities and was not good at close combat, only able to use flame attacks. But they were inside the cold storage, and she didn't dare to release flames randomly, or the cold storage would be destroyed. Don't! Suddenly, Lin Zi Jin exclaimed as she saw Master Jin delivering a high whip kick towards Lin Yu Yu's head. Master Jin's strength exceeded 1500 kilograms, and if the kick landed on Lin Yu Yu's head, with her weak defense, she would undoubtedly die on the spot. In this life-threatening moment, Lin Yu Yu, who was originally angry, also woke up. Seeing the kick less than 10 centimeters away from her head, her heart sank. Although she was fast, her previous attack had fallen into the opponent's trap, and her body had been forced into a corner where she couldn't escape. Is this the end? Am I going to die? Lin Yu Yu's face turned pale. She hadn't received any news from her parents yet. Her plan had not succeeded, and she hadn't obtained Fang Chen. There were still so many things she hadn't completed, and she didn't want to die. But she couldn't avoid this kick at all. However, just when Lin Yu Yu thought she was about to die on the spot, she suddenly felt her body lightning, as if someone was holding her in their arms. When she opened her eyes again, she saw a familiar face that she had dreamed of many times. And she was in the arms of that person, far away from where Master Jin's kick had just landed. Brother-in-law. Lin Yu Yu's face was filled with joy, and the relief of surviving a disaster made her feel a warm flow in her heart. Her eyes turned red in an instant, and without caring about anything else, she leaned up and kissed Fong Chen on the face. You silly girl, don't you know that men and women shouldn't be so intimate? Fong Chen smiled. Brother-in-law, what about your hand? Lin Yu Yu blinked and pointed to Fong Chen's big hand resting on her buttocks. Ah, uh, Fong Chen coughed, I was afraid you might fall. Then what about this hand of yours? Accident, purely accidental. Fong Chen quickly hugged Lin Yu Yu and went to Lin Zi Jin's side. Changing the subject, he looked at Lin Zi Jin with some blame. How could you watch your sister get beaten up? If I hadn't arrived in time, I would have lost a sister-in-law. I, I was afraid of starting a fire and burning the cold storage. Lin Zi Jin was also terrified. You're so silly. If the cold storage burns, it burns. Your lives are more important than anything else. Fong Chen scolded. Although it was a reprimand, Lin Zi Jin felt incredibly warm and even shed tears of gratitude. Fong Chen was truly amazing. What happened to your clothes? Why is your hair wet? Fang Chen frowned again, noticing Lin Zi Jin's disheveled appearance. Brother-in-law, they bullied my sister, but my sister hesitated because they are your guests, so she didn't fight back. Seeing her sister remain silent, Lin Yu Yu spoke up directly, without so much hesitation. Guests? Fang Chen's face suddenly turned cold, looking darkly at Master Jin. He had refrained from kicking them out directly out of respect for He Da Zhang, wanting He Da Zhang to handle the situation. But he had only gone out for a short time to kill a few zombies, and when he returned, he encountered this situation. If he had been a little late, his sister-in-law would have died. Fang Chen was completely angered by the situation and no longer cared about He Da Zhang's face. He had to teach them a lesson. What kind of guests are they, a bunch of homeless people? I kindly took you in, and you dare to bite back. 
Fang Chen said to Lin Zijin, you should learn this from your sister. In the future, whether they are my guests or not, if anyone dares to bully you, you fight back directly. If you can't win, I'll back you up. Okay. Seeing Fang Chen's domineering and tough appearance, Lin Zijin was even more moved. Lin Yuyu also admired him even more. You brat, what did you just say? Who are you calling homeless people? On the other side, Master Jin's face turned livid with anger at Fang Chen's insult. Fang Chen had hit the nail on the head. He was truly homeless. He couldn't make it on the peninsula before, so he came to the Yen Kingdom. He didn't expect the Yen Kingdom to be so friendly to foreigners, with all kinds of preferential treatment. He thrived here, getting whatever he wanted. He didn't even have to take responsibility for hitting someone. After the apocalypse, he could barely survive, but then his supplies were robbed by a group of monkeys, leaving him homeless again. Just now, he met He Da Jun on the road. Seeing that the other party had clothes and food, he followed along and didn't expect to encounter such a good place. It seems that some people's hearing is indeed not very good, Fang Chen said. You brat, looking for death. Master Jin's face turned extremely dark. Humph, I heard this is your territory. I'll give you a chance, give this place to me, then get lost, or else. Get lost? Fang Chen was amused by Master Jin's arrogance. You old man, indeed a direct descendant of the peninsula, perfectly inheriting the genes of stealing and looting. Nonsense, looking for death. Master Jin was completely enraged. The word steal was a sore spot for all peninsula people because they really did steal. Master Jin activated his enhanced ability, quickly rushing to Fang Chen and kicking with a high whip leg. Hoof. Fang Chen snorted lightly, activated spatial blink, and appeared directly behind Master Jin. Then a spatial blade appeared in his hand, stabbing towards Master Jin's back. Put. The tip of the blade pierced into flesh. A wound appeared on Master Jin's back. However, Master Jin's defense could withstand up to 1,000 kilograms, so Fang Chen's stab wasn't too deep. You also have wind abilities? Master Jin looked at Fang Chen in astonishment. Just now, when Fang Chen saved Lin Yuyu, he felt something strange. Now he could confirm that Fang Chen indeed had wind abilities. He he. Fang Chen just smiled and didn't reveal the truth. Without absolute strength, spatial abilities couldn't be exposed at will. However, Master Jin wiped the blood from his back, his expression becoming fierce, even if you have wind abilities, you can't be my opponent. Just now, Master Jin was a bit careless and didn't pay attention to defense. Now, he was alert and attacked Fang Chen again, with more precise and agile punches and kicks. Fang Chen raised an eyebrow involuntarily. It had to be said that although enhanced abilities were at the T2 level, in the hands of some martial arts masters, they were no worse than T1 abilities. Fang Chen thought about himself. He wasn't good at fighting, mainly relying on spatial blinks to launch surprise attacks. However, because he didn't understand martial arts, the positions he blinked to weren't always optimal. Sometimes, instead of delivering a fatal blow, he would be hit back by the opponent. Just like when he dealt with those monkeys in the abandoned park before. Those mutant monkeys were extremely fast. Even when he blinked and attacked them from behind, they always managed to escape due to their speed advantage. Moreover, during the pause after using spatial blink, the monkeys would counterattack, and he couldn't retaliate correctly. These were the drawbacks of not having combat skills. If it weren't for the presence of chili powder, Fang Chen might not have been able to escape at that time. For a moment, Fang Chen thought about fighting Master Jin to enhance his combat abilities. If he learned martial arts, not only could he save the number of times he used spatial blink during battles, but he could also better utilize the spatial blade. With this in mind, Fang Chen didn't directly kill Master Jin but treated him as a sparring partner. Dong. Master Jin's fist hit Fang Chen, causing him to gasp and widen his eyes. Why do you still have defensive abilities? Stop talking nonsense, use your moves quickly. You brat, dare to play with me. Master Jin felt that Fang Chen was playing with him, feeling both angry and furious, and attacked Fang Chen even more fiercely. However, no matter how he attacked, Fang Chen didn't even break a sweat. It was him, his hands turned into pig hooves due to attacking Fang Chen. It was a sight to behold. Fang Chen fought with Master Jin using space barriers, choosing not to kill but to let the opponent attack him, practicing dodging and counterattacking to improve his combat skills. After more than 10 minutes, Fang Chen had to admire Master Jin, who, despite his age, kept stubbornly attacking him with all his might. Each punch exerted 1,500 kilograms of force, while his defense was only 1,000 kilograms. His attacks landed on Fang Chen's defense of 4,000 kilograms without harming him, but injuring himself instead. His hands were already showing stark white bones, but he persisted. Fang Chen became more and more excited as he trained, gradually finding the feel of combat and feeling his strength increase by about 10% compared to just a few minutes ago. 
If I keep training like this, I feel like it won't be long before I can deal with that group of monkeys. Fang Chen swung his fists a few times, feeling immense joy and wanting to continue sparring with Master Jin. Beside him, the bloodied Master Jin, upon hearing Fang Chen's muttering, almost coughed up blood in anger. Still want to continue? Do you think I'm a fool? Master Jin now realized that the reason he could spar with Fang Chen for so long was that Fang Chen was just toying with him, not that he couldn't defeat him. Upon learning this, Master Jin stopped his foolish attacks and lay on the ground pretending to be dead. Only a fool would continue to attack. Do you think your hands don't hurt from punching? Just over 10 minutes, and you're done? Fang Chen frowned at him, realizing he was getting old, this time was too short, he felt he could go on for a few more hours. Get up! Fang Chen walked over to Master Jin, kicking him twice. Stop playing dead, do dead people's fingers still move? Master Jin tried his best not to move, but the excruciating pain in his fingers was unbearable. Unable to bear it, he cried out in pain when kicked by Fang Chen. Hmph, if I hadn't skipped meals for a few days and wasn't feeling well, I wouldn't have lost to you. Master Jean, still trying to save face, said, if you dare, wait for me to eat my fill and recover my abilities, then we'll have a fair duel. You peninsula people even know about fair duels? Fong Chen sneered. I, Master Jin's face turned red, realizing they didn't have the spirit of fair competition. They would even unplug the internet while playing games. Since you have no abilities left, you are of no use to me, so I might as well kill you. Fang Chen snorted coldly, conjuring a spatial blade in his hand and thrusting it towards Master Jin's head. You, you can't kill me. Seeing this, Master Jin's courage almost shattered, and he quickly stopped Fang Chen. Oh, Fang Chen sneered, tell me, why can't I kill you? I am from the peninsula, you have no right to kill me. If you kill me, our embassy will not let you off. When the two countries go to war, you will be a criminal. Master Jin threatened. Peninsula embassy? Upon hearing this, Fong Chen couldn't help but burst into laughter. Are you naive, or am I naive? Do you think, given the current situation in the world, your embassy still exists? Go to war? Fong Chen looked jokingly at Master Jin. Don't you peninsula people like making zombie movies? Zombies surrounding the city? Tiger head gang? Guess what, in your tiny place, have the zombies taken over? Threatening me with that, how ridiculous. Master Jin's face turned pale. Yes, in this situation, how could a country bother to deal with him specifically? He wasn't an important figure. He couldn't make it in the peninsula, which was why he came here. And with the peninsula being so small, whether it still existed was a question. His words earlier were just a survival instinct, and now he realized how foolish he had been. But he really didn't want to die. However, that might not be up to him to decide. De Jiang, send him away. Fang Chen snorted and said to he De Jiang, I'm talking about biology. Yes, Brother Fong Chen. He did Jiang nodded, looking apologetic as he said, Brother Fong Chen, I'm sorry, if it wasn't for me. It's okay, just be more careful next time. Fong Chen waved his hand. He did Jiang was deeply moved, as Fong Chen didn't blame him at all. He vowed to assist Fong Chen with all his might. With Jin Shifu in tow, they left. He did Jiang glared resentfully at the others, who had almost affected the brotherly relationship between him and Fong Chen. He punched one of them in the head, causing it to explode. He respectfully handed the crystal he retrieved to Fang Chen. After he did Jiang left last night, Lin Zijin was very grateful to Fang Chen. In the evening, what was agreed to be a one-time reward was broken this time. Taking advantage of Lin Yuyu's sleep, Lin Zijin rewarded Fang Chen again. Fang Chen was secretly delighted. He had always said that such things only happen zero times or countless times, there is no such thing as only once. The next day, Fang Chen sent He did Jiang out to kill zombies. Husband, brother-in-law, we're leaving too. Meow. Lin Zijin, Lin Yuyu, and the electric mother left together as before. Fang Chen waved his hand and continued to stay in the cold storage. He watched TV, drank red wine, and refreshed himself to enhance his strength. After yesterday's incident, Fang Chen had a new idea. After awakening his abilities, he could greatly enhance his combat power. However, for ordinary people, they lack combat skills and cannot fully utilize their abilities. On the contrary, those who have practiced martial arts can maximize the effects of their abilities. Just like the stick from yesterday. Fang Chen felt that he should also practice martial arts to improve his combat skills. Coincidentally, He De Jiang was a retired soldier with excellent skills and a metal-based ability, which provided high defense and was not afraid of being injured. After He De Jiang returned, Fang Chen told him about this. He De Jiang readily agreed. He began teaching Fang Chen combat skills and acted as his sparring partner. Five days passed. Fang Chen absorbed hundreds of level 1 crystals, and his ability level finally rose from level 3 to level 4, 
further enhancing his strength. Now, Fong Chen's spatial teleportation could cover a distance of about 30 meters. At full energy, he could cast it about 60 times in a row. This meant he could move 1,800 meters in 30 seconds, ignoring obstacles. With the combat skills he practiced, Fang Chen now felt confident that he could easily defeat those mutant monkeys again. The defense of Fang Chen's spatial barrier had also increased from withstanding 4,000 kilograms of pressure to 5,000 kilograms. With full energy, he could block attacks from 100 level 2 mutants continuously for 3 hours. He was no longer afraid of being ambushed by Lao Lu. One night, Lin Zijin was worried about getting pregnant, and Fang Chen had a sudden idea. The spatial imprints could now be cast simultaneously up to 25 times, with a maximum explosion range of 30 meters, enough to kill a level 3 defensive mutant. The growth attribute of the spatial blade was slightly lower compared to the others, with no significant progress at the moment. However, even so, the current Fang Chen could easily defeat himself from a few days ago. During this time, Fang Chen also harvested a lot of resources. He did Zhang and the others handed over a total of 150 crystals to Fang Chen. Among them, there were 10 level 3 crystals, 30 level 2 crystals, and 110 level 1 crystals. This was enough for Fang Chen to use for more than 10 days. With He Di Jiang and the others moving around, the reputation of the Ionia faction gradually spread among the survivors. During this period, more than a dozen mutants voluntarily joined, and with He Di Jiang bringing in more, there were a total of over 20 mutants. After a simple assessment by Fang Chen, 15 of them stayed. However, several mutants were killed by zombies while on missions. So far, apart from Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu, Fang Chen has a total of 15 supernaturals under his command. Among them, He Dajiang and Li Shan have already reached level 3. 10 supernaturals have reached level 2. The remaining 3 are at level 1 and have just joined. In addition, there are now over 120 ordinary survivors in the gang. Fang Chen has instructed them to tidy up the warehouse themselves and transform it into dormitories. However, Fang Chen will not support them for free, they also need to complete tasks to earn points. Otherwise, Fang Chen will not provide them with food. Their tasks are simple, maintain and repair the surrounding facilities, build a wall around the warehouse to prevent zombie invasions. One night, the warehouse near the cold storage was attacked by zombies, and over a dozen survivors were killed. Fortunately, Fang Chen and Lin Zijin had just finished their tasks at that time. With Lin Zijin's urging, Fang Chen took action and killed several zombies. Otherwise, all survivors would have been in danger. Lin Zijin, Lin Yuyu, and Dianmu, the two sisters in Dianmu, still go out every day and bring back a lot of crystals for Fang Chen, even more than he Da Jiang and others combined. In five days, Lin Zijin, Lin Yuyu, and Dianmu brought back over 300 crystals. Among them, there were 25 level 3 crystals, 50 level 2 crystals, and 225 level 1 crystals. Half of them were obtained by Dianmu. Dianmu's current points are far ahead on the points table, with over 2,000 points. Her goal of earning enough points for a lifetime of consumption is getting closer. Dianmu's level has also reached level 5, and her strength can be described as terrifying. Dianmu's speed is up to 70 meters per second. If moving in a straight line, she runs faster than Fang Chen. Fang Chen's spatial blink covers 30 meters per action, with a 0. 5 second pause in between, equivalent to 60 meters per second. The most terrifying aspect is Dianmu's attack. Now, with a single strike, Dianmu can kill a level 3 zombie. The electricity used in the cold storage is also supported by Dianmu's cat. One electric shock can last for several days. Fang Chen is somewhat envious of Dianmu's rapid advancement. If, and it's a big if, he were to consume Dianmu, would his advancement be even faster? However, it's not easy to consume Dianmu. Fortunately, Dianmu is still loyal. Otherwise, if she were to attack Fang Chen, he wouldn't be able to resist. The spatial barrier currently does not protect against electricity. Fang Chen did not take all the crystals, leaving half for Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu to use. During this time, the two of them have made rapid progress in their abilities. Lin Zijin's supernatural level is approaching level 5, advancing faster than Fang Chen. This is mainly because the energy required for spatial supernatural advancement is much greater than that of fire-based abilities. Recently, Lin Zijin has been working very hard. Early in the morning, she gets up to make breakfast for Fang Chen and prepares lunch in advance. The key is that the amount of food needs to be substantial, weighing over a hundred pounds, which is very energy consuming. After cooking, Lin Zijin also goes out to kill zombies. When she returns in the evening, she continues to prepare dinner for Fang Chen. After dinner, Lin Zijin needs to use crystals to enhance her strength, which also requires energy. 
Occasionally, when Fang Chen is in the mood, she doesn't even have time to enhance her strength. Fang Chen feels sorry for Lin Zijin. Sometimes he hesitates to be affectionate with her, fearing it might disrupt her rest. After some thought, Fang Chen decides to arrange a few maids for the cold storage to handle tasks like cleaning and cooking, so that Lin Zijin can focus on her abilities. So, Fang Chen goes to the survivor's dormitory. There are over a hundred ordinary survivors here, mostly young people, as it's difficult for older individuals to survive in the apocalypse. When the survivors see the legendary leader, they are all very excited. They never expected the leader to not only be powerful but also so handsome. Some women intentionally or unintentionally show off their figures, hoping to catch Fang Chen's eye. However, Fang Chen already has Lin Zijin, and he doesn't pay attention to other ordinary women. Do any of you know how to cook? Fang Chen came to the survivor's dormitory and asked, Me. A greasy middle-aged man with a big belly walked out, looking at Fang Chen pleasingly, Boss, I run a restaurant, steamed lamb, steamed bear paw, steamed deer tail, roasted duck. As long as there are ingredients, I can make anything. Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, feeling like it might work. Just as he was about to agree, someone else said, Boss, I can do it too, I can. Boss, I graduated from New Oriental. I am a hotel head chef. For a moment, more than 10 people stood up, making Fang Chen dizzy. He didn't expect to have so many chefs here. Fang Chen felt strange, could it be because chefs are not easy to starve to death? I only need one chef. Since you all want it, then each of you can try, and the winner can stay. After some thought, Fang Chen said, Tonight, I will hold a cooking competition, and all chefs can sign up. Apart from myself, I will also pick a few people from the crowd to judge. In addition, the person who cooks the best, I can reward them with something. Upon hearing Fang Chen's words, the scene suddenly became lively. All the survivors were extremely excited. The boss said he will pick a few people from the crowd to judge, does that mean we also have a chance to taste the food? The boss is too good, willing to share delicious food with us. In the gang I was in before, they made us work every day, and if we took a break, we would be whipped and not given food. Compared to that, the boss is like an angel. What angel? He's my idol. Idol, need a maid? I want to be your maid, I can warm your bed. If I win the championship, I wonder what the boss will reward. Do you think the boss will agree if we ask for evolution crystals? You dare to think, do you want a slap in the face? Fang Chen looked at the discussing survivors and smiled knowingly. Since the apocalypse, it had been a long time since it had been so lively. It felt like returning to a peaceful society. Excitement surged. Fang Chen also boldly said, as long as you win the championship, I can reward you with evolution crystals. Wow, really? Evolution crystals can also be rewarded? I want to participate too, I want to participate. Long live the boss. In the crowd, a woman in the corner with a dirty face, holding a baby girl in her arms, raised her head, her eyes slightly shimmering. In the evening, after Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu returned, Fang Chen told them about the cooking competition. Husband, is my cooking too bad? Lin Zijin felt a little sad, thinking that Fang Chen was dissatisfied with her cooking. No, the food you cook is the most delicious I've ever had. Fang Chen spoke the truth. Lin Zijin had been independent since she was young, learning to cook at the age of 12. Her skills were better than those of ordinary restaurants. You are now killing zombies, cooking, and cleaning, it's too tiring. You should focus on improving your strength now, and leave the rest to others. Fang Chen explained gently. Brother-in-law, Lin Yuyu joked on the side, you care that sister is tired, why didn't you say that last night? Fang Chen blushed. This little sister-in-law must have pretended to be asleep again last night. Fortunately, Lin Zijin didn't know, otherwise, she would definitely not let him near the bed in the future. Go away, what does a child know? The competition venue was held outside the cold storage. Fang Chen had the survivors set up a few stoves and brought out several large pots from the space. When the participating chefs saw these large pots, they looked a bit embarrassed. They were all restaurant chefs and had never used this type of pot before. And how could delicious food be made from these large pots? However, Fang Chen didn't think so. Being able to cook food in large pots and make it delicious, that truly showed exceptional culinary skills. Several people immediately withdrew, leaving only five people still in the competition. Four men and one woman. Fang Chen was somewhat surprised. Even male chefs couldn't handle the large pots well, yet a woman like her was still persevering. He couldn't help but take a closer look. The woman was dirty, her face covered in dust making it hard to see her features. However, her figure was extremely impressive, even better than LV Su's. But Fang Chen didn't say much. He directly instructed Yi Da Jung to move hundreds of pounds of food from the cold storage. 
These were all items he had taken out in advance from his space, all fresh ingredients. The vegetable leaves were green. The survivors around, seeing the pile of food as high as a mountain, all gasped in amazement. So much food, the boss is indeed wealthy and generous. That's not the most important thing. The key is that all this food is fresh, as if it were just picked from the ground. After so long in the apocalypse, where did the boss get so much fresh food from? This is much more precious than bread and rice. Could the boss have a wood-based ability to grow his own vegetables? Didn't you see that the pork is all fresh? And those huge abalones, bigger than me. The survivors widened their eyes, eagerly looking at the vegetable leaves, saliva almost dripping down, wishing they could take a bite. This was much better than what they had eaten before. Fong Chen smiled. This was just the beginning, he still had tens of tons of vegetables, tens of tons of fresh meat, and tens of tons of seafood in his space. Soon, five chefs started cooking, and the surrounding area was filled with the aroma of food. The area around the cold storage was bustling. Fang Chen also brought out a few boxes of ice-cold beer. It was summer now, and the evening temperatures were around 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, perfect for enjoying beer with a girl in your arms. A few hundred meters away from the cold storage, five or six men were walking towards it. Are you sure Qin Qian is in that Ionia place? Should be. Someone saw senior sister carrying the young lady and fleeing in this direction, and there's only one gang nearby. Can't figure it out. The Luo City Grand Hotel is so luxurious, and the master chef is there. Senior sister has a high-class suite but chose to run to this corner. I heard that this Ionia place only has a dozen or so ability users, probably not even enough to eat, if they starve the young lady, the boss will definitely be furious. It seems the boss killed the master chef, senior sister found out, and Qin Chen took the young lady and ran out. The master chef is dead? Who cares, he's just a master chef, not a father. Even if it were the father who died, it wouldn't be a big deal. Our task is to bring senior sister and the young lady back. What if the people from Ionia refuse? Refuse? They don't have the guts. Our Luo City Grand Hotel is a second-rate gang in Luo City, with over a hundred ability users. What can he, a low-class gang, do against us? A fat young man showed a disdainful expression. Suddenly, he sniffed, what's that smell, so fragrant, someone's cooking. They were originally chefs at the Luo City Grand Hotel. After the apocalypse, the boss of the Luo City Grand Hotel survived by using the hotel rooms and resources. Later, he awakened his abilities. He formed a gang called the Luo City Grand Hotel, consisting of some of the original security guards, chefs, and waiters from the hotel, as well as some guests. Not long ago, for some unknown reason, the boss killed the head chef. In revenge, the head chef's daughter kidnapped the boss's daughter and ran away. Enraged, the boss issued an order that whoever brought back Qin Xian would be rewarded with 25 bottles of water. The five of them saw the generous reward and took the initiative to go out and search for Qin Xian. Following the clues, they found their way to the vicinity of the Ionia gang. Cooking? Upon hearing the fat young man's words, a skinny man beside him sneered, Donghua, are you hallucinating from hunger? It's the apocalypse now, how could someone be cooking? Impossible. Donghua shook his head, don't forget, I have a sense of smell ability. Even if there's a bucket of shit in front of me, I can smell what's inside. Indeed, yesterday Donghua sniffed out what I had eaten. Hey, I think I smell something too, it seems like someone is really cooking. The other person also sniffed and said, it seems to be coming from the direction of the Ionia gang, could it be them cooking? Really? Cucumber, you smell it again. Cucumber sniffed with his nose, it is indeed coming from that direction, seems like there's pork, beef, lamb, lobster, tuna. Stop, stop, you're listing dishes, how could there be so many ingredients? The skinny guy found it more and more absurd. It's the end of the world now, even though the high temperature has passed, it's still 40 degrees Celsius. But the previous 70 degrees Celsius high temperature had already killed 90% of the cattle and sheep, either turning them into zombies, how could there be so much meat? And seafood. Could it be that they are eating zombie meat? But, I do smell these things, it seems like it's really the people from Ionia cooking. Winter Melon said. Impossible. The skinny guy firmly didn't believe it, our boss owns the Lux Hotel in Low City, even at the most luxurious times, we only eat two salted fish at the same time. Do you think a low-class gang living in a warehouse, could possibly have so many ingredients? Well, Winter Melon also became uncertain. He also felt that these ingredients were a bit absurd, now it's the end of the world, even the boss can't eat these. But he did smell it. He he, the skinny guy sneered, how about we make a bet, bet on whether they are really cooking. Whoever loses, has to eat a bucket of shit. Others also joined in. We bet, I bet on the skinny guy to win, it's really too far-fetched, how could a low-class gang have so much food? 
I also bet on the skinny guy. Let's bet. Seeing no one supporting him, Winter Melon snorted, feeling a bit aggrieved. When the time comes, give me 25 bottles of water. Don't cry. Huh? The skinny guy laughed. Good. I've been constipated these past two days. I've already fermented you. Just eat it. Oof. I ate rotten meat yesterday. Winter Melon dared not to lose. I had diarrhea yesterday. You can drink without water. Ugh. You guys are disgusting. The group walked towards the cold storage, thinking about their bets. However, as they got closer, their expressions became more and more strange. The smell became stronger. Not only meat, but also the taste of cumin, chili. Damn, is there even the smell of lamb skewers and my favorite cumin powder? Damn, is there even the smell of stinky tofu? We won't lose, right? Impossible. The skinny guy comforted himself in his mouth, but his expression was a bit ugly. This fragrance didn't seem fake. With so many people, what are they doing? So many lights are on. How many generators do they need? Such a waste. As they approached, they saw the situation nearby clearly. Their expressions were slightly shocked. Although they lived in a five-star hotel, only the boss's room had electricity, even going to the bathroom at night was prone to stepping on urine. But here there were at least dozens of lights. And there were over a hundred people in the middle. This scene was simply not like the end of the world, but more like a bustling night market. This Ionia seems not as simple as imagined. Let's see what they are doing inside. The group swallowed their saliva and squeezed into the crowd. When they saw the scene in the middle of the crowd, their jaws dropped one by one, their eyes full of disbelief. As chefs, they were too familiar with the items in front of them. Food. All were dishes. Meat, seafood, vegetables, a variety of foods were displayed. It was like a street food market. Is this really the end of the world? How can there be so many dishes? Winter Melon, have we been reborn, back to before the end of the world? Don't ask that, skinny guy, should I poop for you now, or later? The skinny guy's face turned pale. How could this be possible? He completely didn't believe everything in front of him. This Ionia, wasn't it just a small gang with a dozen or so mutants? How can there be so much food? In front of that stove, each pot contains at least dozens of kilograms of food. At the entrance of the cold storage room, a table is filled with food, totaling at least hundreds of kilograms. And there's beer, red wine, and a fruit platter? Damn, there's even someone playing music nearby? Do they really think they're having a party? There are hundreds of mutants and thousands of survivors at the Luo City Grand Hotel. They can't possibly consume this much food in a day. And they are eating dry rice, flour, and bread. They don't even dare to think about meat rich in oil and water. Is this really the end of the world? Before the end of the world, even when sneaking food in the hotel kitchen, it wasn't as good as this. Look, isn't that Qin Xian who just walked up? The skinny one changed the subject. His gaze fell on Qin Xian, who was holding a plate of food and heading towards the entrance of the cold storage room, where a handsome man was walking. Fang Qin was enjoying the delicious food with a happy mood. It's really lively today, Fang Qin smiled at Lindsay Jean. It's been a long time since I felt this comfortable. It seems like we should have more activities like this in the future. In the end of the world, we can't live too repressed. Brother-in-law is right. Lin Yu Yu said while holding a chicken leg and a bottle of soda, it's summer now, I think we can have an ultimate bikini pool party. Bikini? Fong Chan's eyes lit up. He imagined dozens of beautiful women in bikinis lying in a pool with him, it would be so enjoyable. Isn't it a bit wasteful of water? Lin Zijin was afraid of wasting. How much water can it waste? Fong Chan smiled and decided to build a pool, a swimming pool, it's just about 8,000 bottles of water. Please taste it. At this moment, the last woman who finished cooking brought a dish with her head down. Fong Chen glanced at her. He had noticed this woman, not because of her appearance, but because tonight the other chefs had made dozens of dishes each with various styles, while this woman had only made one dish all night. Fong Chen almost thought she had given up. Other chefs also made fun of her, she only made one dish all night, I don't know if there's any need for comparison. It seems that the champion will be chosen from the four of us. I wonder if I can successfully awaken my ability. Fong Chen looked at the dish. Boiled cabbage. A very ordinary dish, nothing special about it. Try it. Fong Chen handed the dish to Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu. After eating all night, he was almost sick of it. Wow, it's so delicious, why do I taste seafood in a piece of cabbage? Lin Yuyu exclaimed after tasting it, although, I don't want to admit it, it's indeed tastier than what my sister made. Brother-in-law, just choose her as the champion, it's so delicious. Lin Zijin also nodded. Although she could cook too, the dish this person made was indeed delicious. What, she's the champion? She only made one dish, why? Just because she's a woman? The other chefs heard this and began to feel a bit unfair. 
Fang Chen raised his eyebrows, thinking, is it really that delicious? He picked up a piece and tasted it. Hiss. After taking a bite, Fang Chen also took a cold breath. It was indeed delicious. And the taste was somewhat familiar, as if he had eaten it somewhere before. Right, at the Luo City Grand Hotel. Previously, Fang Chen had ordered over a million worth of food at the Luo City Grand Hotel. This dish was among them. It seemed to be stewed with various seafood and meats, then the steam from the stew was used to steam the cabbage, allowing it to absorb the nutrients from the food. Finally, the broth was poured over the cabbage. The process was very complicated, and the price was very expensive, costing several thousand yuan for one serving. Now, in the end of the world, the price had increased by more than a thousand times. One dish cost over a million. Fang Chen couldn't help but ask, have you worked at the Luo City Grand Hotel? She did work at the Luo City Grand Hotel. The woman was about to answer when suddenly a man in the crowd spoke up. Then five men walked out. The woman's face changed drastically when she saw them, turning pale instantly. Do you know her? Fang Chen glanced at the men, thinking they were his men. He he, the skinny man smiled and said, this young lady is called Qin Xian, the daughter of Qin Tianhe, the head chef of the Luocheng Grand Hotel. Who is Qin Tianhe? Brother, you obviously haven't eaten at the Luocheng Grand Hotel, you don't even know Qin Tianhe. One of the chefs explained, Qin Tianhe is one of the top 10 chefs in our country, who has cooked for state banquets and is known as the Spoon of Qin Nation. Later, he came to the Luocheng Grand Hotel and became the head chef. However, Qin Nation's Spoon only cooks three dishes a day and most of the other food is made by his daughter and apprentices. It is said that Qin Nation Spoon's daughter has inherited 90% of her father's skills, and she is as beautiful as the daughters of the LV family and Chen family, known as the three goddesses of Luocheng. I didn't expect this woman to be Qin Nation Spoon's daughter. It's not unjust to lose to her. Upon hearing Qin Xian's identity, the few chefs who were originally dissatisfied were now convinced. But why is she not at the Luocheng Grand Hotel, but here? The crowd was puzzled. Fang Chen was also surprised. He didn't expect this low-key woman to be Qin Nation Spoon's daughter. He had once studied culinary knowledge in order to cook for Su Qingqing. Occasionally, he came across information about Qin Tianhe and greatly admired him at the time. Unfortunately, he didn't learn it. Since the other party was Qin Nation Spoon's daughter, there was no problem with her being their cook. Qin Qian? Fang Chen smiled at Qin Qian, from now on, I'll trouble you to prepare food for us. Qin Xian's face remained pale, without saying a word. I'm afraid she can't continue to cook for you. The skinny man sneered, Shen Jia, let's go, take the young lady with us back. Qin Xian trembled. Clenching her teeth, she was filled with unwillingness. Who are you? Fang Chen carefully assessed the other party and realized they were not his subordinates. He he, we are from the Luocheng Grand Hotel, tasked with bringing Qin Xian and the young lady back. The skinny man said arrogantly. Waiting for Fang Chen to be surprised, he voluntarily offered Qin Xian. Young lady? Fang Chen looked at Qin Xian and noticed her gaze on a few months old baby. Was this her daughter? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, mistakenly thinking Qin Xian was a young mother. No wonder she had such a good figure. Unfortunately, she didn't have wood-based abilities, otherwise. What was he thinking? Fang Chen cursed himself silently. Fang Chen didn't know the relationship between Qin Xian and them, thinking that Qin Xian had run away from home due to a conflict with her husband. He was not an unreasonable person. So he looked at Qin Xian and said, Do you want to go back with them? If you want to leave, I won't stop you. If you don't want to go, you can stay. I don't want to go back. Qin Xian shook her head, her body trembling. Fang Chen nodded. He then said to the skinny man, You can leave, she doesn't want to go with you. Whether she wants to or not is not up to her. The skinny man snorted, Brothers, take Qin Xian and the young lady back. Before they could approach, he does young with a body as tall as a mountain, stood in front of them. What, you think you can take her away? The skinny man said coldly, do you know the strength of our Luocheng Grand Hotel? We have over a hundred ability users, believe it or not, we can crush you here in minutes. Hearing this, the survivors around were startled and worried. They prayed that Fang Chen would let Qin Shen go. If a fight broke out, they would be the ones to suffer. Qin Shen was also struggling. She was well aware of the strength of the Luocheng Grand Hotel. If she hadn't secretly taken the boss's daughter hostage, she wouldn't have been able to escape. Fang Chen was definitely no match for the Luocheng Grand Hotel. She felt that Fang Chen was a good person. I don't want to harm Fang Chen. With a firm resolve, Qin Xian was ready to step forward and not cause trouble for Fang Chen. However, before she could speak, Fang Chen coldly said, No matter what strength you have, no matter how many of you there are, if she doesn't want to leave, no one can take her away. Fang Chen is not someone who likes to meddle in others' affairs, 
but he is definitely not a coward either. As the leader, if he lets others take his followers away easily, what kind of leader would he be? On the side, Qin Qin heard Fang Chen's words and was slightly surprised. She had thought that Fang Chen might voluntarily hand her over to the other party or not interfere at all because they had no connection. Either way would have been fine. However, she truly did not expect Fang Chen to say so decisively, if she doesn't want to leave, no one can take her away. For a moment, she felt admiration and a touch of emotion towards Fang Chen. Brother-in-law is so domineering. Lin Yu Yu also admired him endlessly, will have delicious food to eat every day in the future. Kid, do you really want to meddle in this? The skinny man's face turned ugly. Do you know what the consequences are of offending our Luochang Grand Hotel? I don't know what the consequences are for me. Fang Chen sneered, but your consequences might not be too good. Da Jiang, arrest them. The enemies threatened to settle the score later, so Fang Chen naturally couldn't be foolish enough to let them off the hook. When it comes to doing things, one must be decisive. Fang Chen directly ordered He Da Jiang to arrest them. You guys, a small gang that's not even influential, want to capture us? The skinny man sneered and joked with his companions, by the way, guys, how many superhumans were there in the gang we wiped out a few days ago? Only 20. Donghua said in a low voice, those guys wanted to escape, but no one could escape under my nose. We killed them all, humph. There are only 16 here, fewer than last time, I don't feel much pressure. Hee <laughs> hee, there's a gap even among superhumans. Facing He Da Zhang, several people were fearless. Although the other side had more than a dozen superhumans, they didn't care at all. Superhumans? They had seen plenty, not all of them were powerful. Brother, let me advise you again, don't meddle in things you shouldn't, or you might end up losing your life. The skinny man sneered at Fang Chen. Be careful, they are very powerful. Qin Shen also felt some worry, as she had witnessed the strength of these people with her own eyes. They were chefs before, skilled with knives, and became even more powerful after awakening their abilities, able to kill zombies with a single blow. Fang Chen chuckled. Do you think this is a supermarket, pretending to be something? Di Jiang, it's up to you. Fang Chen chuckled lightly, opened a bottle of beer, leaned back in his chair, and started eating and drinking a string of lamb. He was not worried at all about Qin Shen's reminder. Yes, brother Fang Chen. He Da Jiang nodded and then walked towards the group of people. Oomph, seeking death. A chef snorted coldly, raised his cleaver and chopped towards He Da Jiang's head, the speed was extremely fast, and the people beside could only see a flash of light. Ah, some of the more timid ones were already screaming in fear. Qin Xian's face was also pale. If this cleaver landed, wouldn't he Da Zhang's head be split open? Thinking about the scene of blood and brains splattering everywhere, she shuddered. She subconsciously closed her eyes. However, after a thud, the sound of metal falling to the ground could be heard in the air. She curiously opened her eyes to see that he Da Zhang's body was already wrapped in a layer of metal, and the opponent's cleaver chopped on his head, directly shattering layer by layer. Except for the few who already knew the outcome, everyone else stared wide-eyed, looking incredulously at He Da Zhang. Is this still a human? He's so powerful. What? The man wielding the cleaver was also dumbfounded. How did the other person suddenly turn into a Transformers? Even the cleaver that had been with his apprentice for two and a half years was broken. Is that all you've got? He De Zhang snorted, I'll return your words to you, Esper, there's still a gap. He punched directly at the opponent's stomach. He De Zhang was now wrapped in metal all over, including his fists. Although he wasn't a strength type Esper, the reinforced metal hitting a person could cause unimaginable damage. Instantly, the opponent's expression twisted. Their intestines churned uncontrollably, and a foul-smelling liquid spilled out. He Jiang Ji is quite resistant to beatings, like invulnerable. Lin Yu Yu, who was eating, almost vomited when she saw it. He Jiang is a metal-type esper, Fang Chen also praised slightly, with just a level 3 esper ability, He Jiang's defense can withstand 5,000 kilograms of pressure, putting him on par with me. If his level is higher, I won't be able to match him. At the same time, he sighed in his heart that although the defense of the spatial barrier was also high, compared to these specialized physical defense type esper abilities, it was still lacking. Fang Chen was now at level 4, only comparable to He Di Jiang at level 3. However, there were some aspects of the spatial barrier that this kind of esper ability couldn't match. For example, Fang Chen's spatial barrier could isolate a certain temperature, unless the temperature was extremely high, it couldn't harm Fang Chen. But the metal type esper, when encountering flames, was basically like a barbecue pit, and would be burned alive. According to a certain MOBA game, He Di Jiang had the top tier armor that could block attacks like knives and spears, but it couldn't block attacks like ignition. Fang Chen, on the other hand, had armor, magic resistance, and a white shield, which could block almost all attacks. 
Moreover, Fang Chen's spatial barrier was attached to the surface of the skin, fitting closely to the skin. It was ultra-thin and didn't feel burdensome at all. Brother-in-law, you're so tough, like invulnerable to knives and spears. But sister is not invulnerable, so be careful with her. Fang Chen was thinking about something when Lin Yuyu mischievously whispered in his ear. You, from today onwards, sleep on the couch. Fang Chen retaliated. He did Jian was now a level 3 esper, while the most powerful person on the other side was only level 2, their strengths were not on the same level at all. He did Jiang beat them black and blue. Boss, we've caught all four of them, do you want to kill them? He did Jiang clapped his hands and pointed to the four tied up people. Hearing this, they panicked and begged for mercy. Don't kill me, we won't catch Qin Xian, let us go, we won't tell anyone. They were terrified and regretted coming here. They couldn't believe that such an insignificant gang would have such powerful espers. Their strength was almost on par with the boss. And this esper was just a subordinate. Then what kind of strength did this young man who was speaking have? Lock them up first, Fang Chen waved his hand. The cooking competition had ended, and the final winner was Qin Xian. The other cooks had no objections, after all, she had real skills. The daughter of the Qin family. One of the three goddesses of Luo City. The cooks made a lot of food, and some of it was left uneaten, so Fang Chen had his subordinates distribute it, and some survivors also got to eat. They were all very grateful to Fang Chen. After the apocalypse, they rarely had rice to eat, and they didn't dare to think about such delicious food. Boss is the best boss in the world. We have to work hard for the boss and repay the boss. Of course, I've been working for 20 years, known as the strongest worker. Fang Chen took Qin Shen back to the cold storage. He looked at her, covered in dirt, with a face that was intentionally or unintentionally covered in a lot of dust, making it hard to see her exact appearance. However, she was holding a baby in her arms, looking very clean. You go take a shower first and change your clothes, Fang Chen took out a set of clothes and said. Qin Xian hesitated for a moment and asked, Is it true that you're giving me an evolution crystal? She cared a lot about this issue, because she only came to participate in the competition after hearing about the evolution crystal. You want the crystal? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow. Hmm, Qin Xian nodded. Have you thought it through? Not everyone can use the evolution crystal. Are you having second thoughts? Qin Xian thought Fang Chen was having second thoughts, and her face changed suddenly. I never have second thoughts, Fang Chen shook his head and said, but not everyone can awaken their abilities. If the awakening fails, you may explode and die. Are you sure you still want it? Hearing that she might explode and die, Qin Xian's face also turned pale. However, she had to awaken her abilities. I do. Qin Xian nodded firmly. Fang Chen sighed. He could afford to give her an evolution crystal. He had hundreds of them, just a drop in the bucket, and besides, even if Qin Xian's awakening failed, he could still harvest the energy crystals in her brain. He wouldn't lose much. It was just a pity that the cook he had just found died like this. However, Fang Chen would not have second thoughts. Okay, you go take a shower first, and I'll give it to you after you're done. Fang Chen looked at her dirty appearance and then at the baby crying in her arms. Fang Chen had never had children, but he probably knew that the baby was probably crying because it was hungry and needed milk. But babies had weak resistance. If Qin Xian was dirty, the baby might get sick. So Fang Chen asked her to clean up first. Take a shower? Qin Xian shivered, not understanding Fang Chen's meaning. She began to have wild thoughts in her mind. Why did he insist on her taking a shower? Did he want something to happen between them? Qin Xian smiled bitterly to herself. Well, she was known as one of the three goddesses of Luo City. Normally, those people would spend tens of thousands of dollars a day at a hotel just to eat the food she cooked. Fang Chen knew her identity, she needed his help, so how could he let her go? Forget it. Just agree. As long as there was a chance to avenge her father, even if she had to endure it, what did it matter? Just consider it a nightmare. Thinking this, Qin Xian placed the baby on the sofa and obediently went to the bathroom to clean herself up. An hour later, Qin Xian walked out with her long white legs. She wasn't wearing any clothes, just a bath towel draped around her. She thought she would have to undress soon anyway. She might as well let Fang Chen finish quickly so she could awaken her abilities. Fang Chen was slightly surprised when he saw Qin Xian coming out of the bathroom. Earlier, she was dirty, and he couldn't see her face clearly, but now that she was clean, her beauty immediately shone through. She truly deserved to be one of the three goddesses of Luo City. Her beauty surpassed that of Lin Zijin, and even in terms of temperament, she outshone Lin Zijin. Qin Xian had a slightly plump oval face, with a pair of bright almond-shaped eyes that seemed to have stars twinkling inside. She wasn't very tall, but around 168 centimeters. Due to cooking, her arms were very well proportioned, 
making people want to hold and play with them. The most eye-catching thing about Qin Xian was her figure. Fang Qin didn't know if it was because she had just given birth, but she was exceptionally full, fuller than Lu Su. Unlike Lu Su's mature temperament, Qin Xian looked both cute like a young girl and exuded a mature sensuality in her every move. Full of a hormonal aura, she was truly a beauty. I wonder if she will awaken a wood-based ability, cough cough. Qin Xian walked up to Fang Chen, her heart beating fast, and said nervously, come on, hurry up. Fang Chen didn't know what she wanted to do. Seeing Fang Chen's lack of response, Qin Xian thought she had to take the initiative, feeling both embarrassed and angry. But for the sake of avenging her father, she gritted her teeth, took Fang Chen's hand, and placed it on her full figure. For the first time, Qin Xian's body trembled nervously at such close contact with the opposite sex. Fang Chen was also stunned. Subconsciously, he pinched her. Isn't it supposed to be so exciting right from the start? But when he realized it, Fang Chen furrowed his brows slightly, and his fondness for Qin Chen diminished slightly. Originally, Fang Chen thought she was a decent person, even if he made himself dirty, she would protect the child cleanly. However, her child was now crying from hunger, but she ignored it and tried to seduce him. Fang Chen admitted that he was lustful. Qin Xian was indeed a rare beauty, but he had not become a beast to let a baby go hungry and suffer for such a thing. The reason why people are called human beings is that people can control their emotions, while beasts cannot. Fang Chen directly let go of her hand, you can leave. What do you mean? Are you going back on your word? Qin Shen felt uneasy in her heart, but when she heard Fang Chen's words, she was slightly stunned, then became angry, feeling that she was being played by Fang Chen. I won't go back on my word, Fang Chen directly threw her an evolution crystal, but I don't need someone with character issues. I have character issues? Qin Xian was taken aback, feeling extremely wronged and angry, you forced me to take a bath just to keep you company. Now that I bathed, you say I have character issues? You can insult my body but you cannot insult my dignity. Take your broken stone away. Qin Xian angrily kicked the evolution crystal away. Seeing this scene, Fang Chen finally realized that there was a misunderstanding. Qin Xian mistakenly thought that he wanted her to bathe to sleep with her. However, she did not expect that Qin Chen valued her dignity so much. Fang Chen couldn't help but admire her. In general, people would never kick away the evolution crystal. They wouldn't dare to get angry with themselves. This is all a misunderstanding. Fang Chen explained the misunderstanding. Qin Xian also realized it. Thinking about her previous actions and dirty thoughts, she suddenly felt extremely ashamed. Compared to herself, Fang Chen seemed even more noble. Yes, I'm sorry. Blushing, Qin Xian apologized like a child who had done something wrong and quickly went to pick up the evolution crystal. It's okay. Fang Chen waved his hand. The child has been crying for a long time. He must be hungry. You should feed him quickly. The baby had been crying for over an hour and he was starting to get a headache. Such a small baby couldn't eat anything else. He had no way out. Feed him? Qin Xian spat, I don't have milk. You don't have milk? Fang Chen looked at Qin Xian's figure, looking somewhat incredulous. With this figure, you're saying you don't have milk? Sensing Fang Chen's thoughts, Qin Xian blushed and said, this is not my child. Not yours? Qin Xian thought for a moment and recounted her experience. My father recently found a very peculiar crystal, which is said to be worth a thousand crystals. He originally wanted to wait for me to awaken my abilities before giving it to me. But Guo Kaiyun found out about this and forced my father to hand over the crystal. My father refused, so he killed my father. After listening to Qin Xian's story, Fang Chen suddenly understood. So whose child is this? Fang Chen pointed to the baby. This is Guo Kaiyun's daughter. Guo Kaiyun is the current owner of the Luochang Grand Hotel. I accidentally overheard him talking about killing my father. Not only did he kill my father, but he also wanted to covet me. So before he acted, I tricked the child out of his wife. Although I know this is a bit unethical, only by holding his daughter can I have a chance to escape. Xin Xian's eyes were full of hatred. Do you think I shouldn't involve an innocent child? Xin Xian looked at Fang Chen, afraid that he would think she was cold-blooded and drive her away. He continued, however, my father and Guo Kaiyun's father were close friends. At the invitation of the other party, they gave up the opportunity to work in the capital and came to Jiangqing to help him manage the hotel. Over these years, my father has earned them at least more than 10 billion. After the apocalypse, it was also my father's prestige that stabilized most of the people in the hotel. Without my father, they would probably all be dead by now. But they still killed my father. In their eyes, my father's life was not as important as a piece of stone. Qin Xian said this with a somewhat desolate smile and anger. Fang Chen remained silent. He could empathize. 
Initially, he was the same, helping Su Qingqing's family so much, risking his life for them. But in their eyes, his life was not worth more than a piece of crystal. In the end, he smashed his own head alive. That's the apocalypse. No matter how good the relationship was before, in an environment without the rule of law, driven by interests, it would become worthless. I hate them. Xin Chen looked at Fang Chen with burning eyes. That's why I want to awaken my abilities and then avenge my father, no matter what the cost. Looking at Qin Xian's determined gaze, Fang Chen admired her character. He also felt that someone like Qin Xian was very frightening and likely to become a strong individual in the future. Thinking back to when Qin Xian had grabbed his hand earlier, he regretted rejecting her. It was a missed opportunity. However, Fang Chen didn't continue to pursue, as he wasn't someone who took advantage of an innocent woman in a vulnerable situation. You can stay here for now. Fang Chen smiled. Xin Xian's character was good, and it was fitting for her to stay and work as a chef. As for using the evolution crystal, think about it yourself. When you've made up your mind, I'll teach you how to use it. Fang Chen had never seen or heard of someone using it in his past life. He didn't know if the person would awaken abilities or perish explosively after using it. I don't need to think about it. Even if I fail and die, I won't regret it. At least I tried. Xin Xian held the evolution crystal tightly her eyes unwaveringly determined. Fang Chen admired her resolve. Without hesitation, he instructed her on how to use it. Qin Xian became excited. Following Fang Chen's instructions, she soon felt pain coursing through her body, unable to help but groan. Finally, after more than 10 minutes, Qin Xian's pain subsided. She had successfully awakened her abilities. I did it. I succeeded. Qin Xian exclaimed, clenching her hands in excitement. However, she wasn't sure what ability she had gained. So she looked at Fang Chen and asked, What ability do I have? Try using it, Fang Chen instructed her on how to use the energy. Qin Xian quickly grasped it, and soon a drop of clear liquid flowed from her fingertips. Do I have water-based abilities? Qin Xian asked in surprise. In the apocalypse, water-based abilities were among the most precious. Water is the source of life. Even the most powerful ability users would die of thirst if they went without water for more than seven days. Having water-based abilities meant not having to worry about a water source issue. Additionally, water-based abilities had decent offensive capabilities. Therefore, even a level 1 water-based ability user would be highly sought after by any faction. However, Fang Chen furrowed his brows. Water-based abilities were extremely rare, and he had never heard of a water-based ability user in Luo City in his past life. If there were any, they would have had a reputation. Fang Chen looked at the slightly milky white viscous liquid that had dripped to the ground and picked it up to smell it. A refreshing fragrance wafted over, clearing his mind. This is? Fang Chen's eyes widened, and he had a startling guess in his mind. Could this be a support ability? What is a support ability? Qin Xian asked eagerly. Is it powerful in combat? Support abilities have no attack power. Their combat abilities are similar to those of ordinary people. Similar to ordinary people? Upon hearing Fang Chen's words, Qin Xian's expression immediately dimmed, looking somewhat lifeless. Ordinary people? Having awakened her ability, she felt no different from those who hadn't awakened. My father faced Guo Kaiyun's threats and refused to yield in order to wait for my ability to awaken, but in the end, this is what happened. If only we had known, why did my father? A tear rolled down Qin Xian's cheek, her eyes devoid of color. Looking at Qin Xian, Fang Chen couldn't help but feel a mix of amusement and sadness. Although, Fang Chen explained, support abilities may lack direct attack power, your role is even more significant than that of 100 offensive ability users. What? Qin Xian raised her head in confusion. You should play games, Fang Chen said, support type abilities, as the name suggests, can enhance the strength of another ability user. For example, if two combat type ability users of equal strength were to fight, and you used your skill to support one of them, they would easily defeat the enemy. Is it really that powerful? Qin Xian was somewhat skeptical. Absolutely. Fang Chen nodded, I just smelled the secretion you released, and I felt refreshed. If ingested, the effect would likely be even more pronounced. And you're only at level 1 now. Fang Chen was pleasantly surprised. Many people often overlook the presence of support in games. However, the role of support is much greater than imagined. A powerful combat type ability user paired with an excellent support ability user is definitely stronger than two combat ability users. With more people, the role of support ability users becomes increasingly apparent. Judging by their effectiveness, support abilities can definitely be considered T1 level abilities. Unexpectedly, hosting a cooking competition led to the discovery of a support ability user. It was truly fortunate. Fang Chen had to thank Guo Kaiyun, the owner of the Luocheng Hotel. 
If he hadn't been so foolish as to kill Qin Shan's father but had instead helped Qin Shan awaken her ability and nurtured her, his faction could have become the strongest in Luochang. But I still can't seek revenge. Although Qin Shan learned that her ability was very powerful, her expression remained despondent. Suddenly, she thought of something and looked at Fang Chen expectantly, saying, Can you help me seek revenge? As long as you help me seek revenge, I can promise you anything. Well, Fang Chen hesitated. Please. Qin Xian's eyes reddened, she ran to Fang Chen's side, and without hesitation, she untied her bathrobe, revealing her snow-white body. Fang Chen glanced instinctively, then his expression turned somewhat shocked. However, Fang Chen knew that Qin Xian was not a promiscuous woman, and her actions were not of her own volition. If he truly took advantage of her, she might have reservations in her heart and wouldn't wholeheartedly help him in the future. Fang Chen turned away, you don't need to do this. I can help you seek revenge, but you must promise me one thing. What thing? Qin Xian asked. As long as she could avenge her father, she was willing to agree to anything. From now on, you must wholeheartedly support me, Fang Chen said. Is that all? That's all. Thank you. Qin Shan looked gratefully at Fang Chen. She was a woman, and if not for being in dire straits, she wouldn't have resorted to such means. But unexpectedly, she had stripped naked, yet Fang Chen didn't lust after her body, only making a request of what she should do. Compared to the men she had encountered before, each wanting to possess her and put her in various positions, Fang Chen was truly a gentleman. She couldn't help but feel a hint of goodwill towards Fang Chen. Rest assured, I will definitely support you wholeheartedly. If I fail to do so, I will be doomed. Qin Shan raised three fingers as she made her vow. Fang Chen smiled. Being able to gain the loyalty of an auxiliary esper is definitely a big win. Whimper, whimper, whimper. On the side, the baby's crying grew louder, probably starving. You don't have milk, what should the child do? Fang Chen asked, this little baby can't eat or drink cow's milk. Qin Xian was a bit resentful, anyway, it's Guo Kaiyun's child, humph. After she finished speaking, she looked at Fang Chen with some regret, worried that Fang Chen would misunderstand her character. However, Fang Chen also understood Qin Xian's personality. Sharp-tongued but kind-hearted. If she really treated the baby badly, she wouldn't have protected the baby so cleanly. The baby continued to cry. No, if this continues, the child may have problems. Fang Chen frowned. Then let's return the child, her mother has milk. Initially, Qin Xian took the child hostage just to escape, not to harm the child. Although she was cruel to Guo Kaiyun, she was not unreasonable. That's the only way. Fang Chen picked up the child, ready to return the child. Fang Chen. However, just as he got up, Qin Xian stopped him. I'll go with you. You forget it. It's not convenient to have you with me. Fang Chen shook his head. Well, Qin Xian was disappointed. Then she said, can you help me get revenge? Not necessarily. Fang Chen shook his head, not sure if he could find Guo Kaiyun, or if he had the opportunity to kill him. However, Qin Xian thought that Fang Chen couldn't beat Guo Kaiyun. She eagerly said, then, help me get some interest. Interest? That jerk not only killed my father but also wanted to sleep with me. Qin Xian said fiercely, when you return the child, if you can find his wife, help me get to her, give Guo Kaiyun a cuckold. Fang Chen was speechless. Is this interest? Fang Chen really didn't expect Qin Xian to be so beautiful but so scheming. We'll see. Fang Chen said perfunctorily. Qin Xian saw through Fang Chen's perfunctory attitude and said, As long as you help me, I can do anything for you. Just now, Qin Xian's face turned slightly red. When I was taking a bath, I saw that. Can you? The topic was too embarrassing. Qin Xian was too embarrassed to say it. That? Fang Chen was stunned, then remembered what she was talking about, and suddenly felt a surge inside. He coughed lightly and said, That, I'll do my best, I'll do my best. After that, Fang Chen left with the baby. He was afraid that if he stayed in the cold storage any longer, he would not be able to resist Qin Xian's seduction and end up doing that to her. By then, even if he didn't want to help her get revenge, he would have to. The armored vehicle was given to Lu Su. Fang Chen had to drive a large truck to the Luochang Grand Hotel. I'll have to get another car for transportation at some point. Fang Chen thought to himself. The Luochang Grand Hotel was located in the east of the city, considered downtown. After driving for over an hour, Fang Chen finally arrived. The baby had cried for hours and had fallen asleep from exhaustion. Outside the Luochang Grand Hotel, it was already late at night. The city's power system was down, relying on generators for electricity. The surroundings were almost pitch black, with only one window on the top floor of the hotel lit up. It was probably Guo Kaiyun's room. Fang Chen directly used spatial blink to appear outside the window. Then with another blink, he appeared inside a cabinet in the room. Inside the room, a woman's crying could be heard. It's all your fault. 
If you hadn't killed Master Qin, Qin Xian wouldn't have taken Xiao Hua away. If anything happens to Xiao Hua, I will never forgive you. Blame me? If you weren't so easily deceived, letting her take our daughter hostage, I would have caught her long ago. A man's voice of defense said, You killed someone, and you actually think it's my fault? After hearing this, the woman cried even harder. The man was a bit annoyed, all right, stop crying. Then find Xiao Hua, if you find her, I won't cry. Find her, how do we find her? The man was a little impatient. Miss, it's the end of the world now. Qin Xian has no special abilities. She might have been eaten by zombies long ago. What did you say? The woman almost fainted at the thought of her daughter possibly being dead. All right, the man couldn't bear to see his wife like this, so he comforted her. All right, what's done is done. There's no use crying about it. We can just have another child in the future. Have another one? That's it? The woman couldn't believe her husband's casual tone. That was a living, breathing life. Their own flesh and blood. Could it be forgotten with just a that's it? The woman couldn't help but remember the expressions of her husband's family when she gave birth to the child. Angered, she said, are you not valuing her because she's a daughter and not a son? I. The man was also somewhat annoyed. But that was indeed what he thought, not knowing how to argue back. So he said, think whatever you want. Gua Kaiyun, you have disappointed me too much. If I had known this, I would never have given up Xiao Yuenga and married you. Xiao Yuenga? Hearing his wife mention her ex-lover, Gua Kaiyun became even more angry, sneering, Shui Chanxian, you still want to marry Xiao Yuenga? You might be disappointed. That rapist is still in prison, probably already eaten clean by zombies. Xiao Yuenga, hearing about Xiao Yuenga's fate, Shui Chanxian's face turned pale. In the closet, Fang Chen listened to their conversation, feeling a hint of pity as he glanced at the sleeping baby in his arms. He felt utter contempt for Guo Kaiyun, who chose to ignore his child just because it wasn't a boy. And yet, he still coveted Qin Shen? If he liked men so much, why didn't he value Dong Guo? Serves him right for being cuckolded, Fang Chen muttered to himself. Guo Xiao, Guo Xiao. At this moment, there was a knock on the door, and a henchman's urgent voice came from outside. Why make a fuss? Can't it wait until tomorrow? Guo Kaiyun was in a bad mood, and upon hearing the henchman's loud call, he opened the door and kicked the henchman, who stumbled and fell. The henchman felt wronged but dared not complain, saying, I. I found Qin Xian. Where is she? Guo Kaiyun's eyes lit up. Qin Xian, one of the three recognized goddesses in Luocheng, was top-notch in looks, figure, and talent. He had long coveted her. However, her father was Qin Tianha, someone he couldn't afford to offend, and he had a wife of his own, so he never had the chance. Previously, he had finally found an opportunity to kill Qin Tianha, but unfortunately, Qin Xian had escaped. Inside the room, tearful Shui Chanxian immediately walked over upon hearing the news of her daughter, where is Xiao Hua? At the same time, she saw Guo Kaiyun's urgent expression and couldn't help but feel relieved. She thought that what he had said earlier was probably just out of anger, and that he did care about their daughter. Feeling somewhat guilty for bringing up Xiao Yuenge just now. Unfortunately, she didn't know that Guo Kaiyun's urgency was because of Qin Xian. Qin Xian is in a gang called Ionia. We found her with Dong Gua and the others. The henchman said. Well done. Guo Kaiyun was delighted. You did a good job. Bring Qin Xian to me, and then go to the kitchen to get 25 bottles of mineral water. This. The henchman said timidly, Guo Xiao, Qin Xian is still in Ionia. You didn't bring her back? Guo Kaiyun frowned. We wanted to bring her back but the people from the other gang wouldn't allow it. They even attacked us. I managed to escape when they weren't paying attention. They wouldn't allow it? Gua Kaiyun was furious. Didn't you mention the name of our gang? We did, and we even mentioned Guo Xiao's name, but the leader of the other gang said our gang was worthless, and he could crush Guo Xiao with just one finger. The henchman added fuel to the fire. Absurd! Gua Kaiyun was enraged and immediately wanted to gather people to go over there, but he quickly calmed down again. How dare the other party be so arrogant, could it be that they are very strong? So he asked, how strong is this gang? Just over a dozen mutants. Just over a dozen mutants, and they dare to be so arrogant? Guo Xiao, the younger brother said, this gang is very strange, their base is in the cold storage near the western suburb logistics center. However, they have very abundant supplies. They lit dozens of lights at night, just held a cooking competition, with hundreds of kilograms of vegetables and seafood. Qin Xian was participating in the competition, and in the end, she became their leader's cook and lived with the other leader. Cook? Living together? When Guo Kaiyun heard that Qin Xian was living with another man, his face turned black. Qin Xian was so beautiful, what could happen living with a man, there was no need to think too much about it. 
Most likely, Xin Xian was already in tears by now. Guo Kaiyun had long regarded Xin Xian as his own woman, and now his woman was being coveted by someone else, Guo Kaiyun felt an indescribable feeling in his heart. A sense of suffocation in his chest. No, Guo Kaiyun reacted, looking at the younger brother and questioning, did you just say they have hundreds of kilograms of seafood? Oomph, Guo Kaiyun said angrily, this is the apocalypse, where did they get hundreds of kilograms of seafood? I think you were lying to me on purpose for a reward, you didn't find Xin Xian. Guo Xiao, I didn't lie to you, we really found Xin Xian. The younger brother hurriedly explained, those people really have hundreds of kilograms of seafood, and they also have red wine, cola, and even said they want to build a swimming pool. Inside the wardrobe. Fang Chen's face sank, he didn't expect someone to come back to report. Should I go out and silence them? Fang Chen thought to himself. After hesitating for a moment, Fang Chen decided against it. It was easy to kill the other party, but he had no grudge against the other people here. Fang Chen couldn't just kill everyone for this. Fang Chen didn't deny that he was ruthless. In his previous life, he had killed others for food. In this life, he had already killed dozens of people. However, Fang Chen would never casually trample on the lives of the innocent. Everyone has the right to live. Indiscriminate killing is also called decisive killing. If he killed indiscriminately, he would be no different from a heartless, ruthless killer who kills without blinking. Outside, Guo Kaiyong looked at his subordinates who were speaking, from the expressions of the other party, it seemed like they were not lying, the things they were telling and the details were not abrupt. Could it be true that someone has hundreds of kilograms of seafood? Guo Kaiyong's face became serious, the other party only has over a dozen people, but they have so many supplies, and they haven't been killed after so long. It seems that these dozen people must be very powerful. No wonder, they dare to be so arrogant when hearing the name of their gang. Guo Kaiyun was relieved. Fortunately he asked a few more questions, if he had blindly attacked, he might have fallen flat on his face. I wonder if with my current strength, I can defeat them. Guo Kaiyun clenched his fists. Boss, Dong Gua and the others are still in the hands of the other party, when are we going to attack? The subordinate asked. Wait for now. Guo Kaiyun shook his head, thinking, since Qin Xian had already been taken, it wouldn't make much difference if she was taken for a few more days. Wait until I absorb that crystal. Yes. The subordinate left. Inside the wardrobe, Fang Chen secretly admired. Although this Guo Kaiyun's character was not very good, his mind was meticulous, knowing that his cold storage was not being rushed into blindly. Quite composed. Truly worthy of being a boss. However, this was also good, it saved him from killing again. He also thought of the crystal mentioned by the other party just now. Fang Chen's mind stirred. Xin Xian had said before that the reason the other party killed his father was because of that mysterious crystal. According to Qin Xian, that crystal was equivalent to 1000 ordinary crystals. He didn't know if it was true or not. If it was true, after absorbing it, wouldn't his strength skyrocket? I wonder where this guy put the crystal. Fang Chen pondered. Hide here first, wait for the other party to reveal the crystal, then take it immediately. Are you relieved now? Our daughter is fine. Guo Kaiyun turned his head again and looked at Xue Chanchan beside him. Xue Chanchan's family is just an ordinary working class family, not as beautiful as Qin Xian. She can only be considered as delicate and pretty. Initially, the reason he married Xue Chanchan was mainly because he had a grudge with Qi Xiaoyuan and wanted to discuss the other party. However, after marriage, Xue Chanchan was still gentle and considerate, and also gave birth to a daughter for him. Although Guo Kaiyun did not love her, he still had some feelings for her. Moreover, Xue Chanchan also awakened her supernatural ability. He didn't want to give up on this wife for now. So he comforted her, when are you going to save Xiao Hua? Xue Chanchian gradually stabilized her emotions. In a while, after I absorb the crystal completely. Then absorb it quickly now, Xue Chanchian urged. I also want to do it quickly, Qin Xian is still being slept by someone, and Guo Kaiyun also wants to save her quickly. But he has no way, the energy of that crystal is too much, he needs at least half a month to absorb it. I heard of a method that can quickly absorb energy. Guo Kaiyun glanced at his wife again. Xue Chanxian asked, what method? You are a wood-type supernatural ability, right? I heard that wood-type supernatural ability users have something called the source of life. Guo Kaiyun licked his lips. In the closet, Fang Chen's eyes also lit up. Wood-type supernatural ability? Source of life? Since the last time Lu Su left, how long has it been since he tasted the source of life? It has slowed down his recent upgrades. He didn't find it, and this Xue Chanchan turned out to be a wood-type supernatural ability user. Fang Chen couldn't help but feel jealous of Guo Kaiyun. Why does this guy have the right to drink the source of life? What? How can this be? This is left for Xiao Hua. 
Shui Chanqian's face suddenly turned red. Don't you want to save our daughter soon? Huo Kaiyun used his daughter as an excuse. Well, Shui Chanqian hesitated, but thinking that her daughter is still hungry now, and the other party is her husband, so she gritted her teeth and said, Okay, then leave some for Xiao Hua. Great. Hua Kaiyun was overjoyed and wanted to come over. However, at this moment, the door was knocked vigorously again. Young Master Guo, something bad happened, young Master Guo. Shui Chanqian, upon hearing the voice, immediately put on the clothes she had just taken off halfway. Damn. Hua Kaiyun was frustrated. The good thing he had just prepared for was interrupted again. He angrily opened the door. What's wrong again? Young Master Gua, it's bad, the monkeys, the monkeys are coming to rob us? Monkeys? Hua Kaiyun was stunned, then reacted, you mean those monkeys with supernatural abilities? Yes, they are heading to the kitchen, many brothers have been injured, take me there quickly. Hua Kaiyun's face was extremely dark. The reputation of the supernatural monkeys has been very loud in Luo City recently, robbing survivors supplies everywhere, even the three major gangs have been robbed. Unexpectedly, they are coming to rob him now. Hua Kaiyun thought of his crystal, if they dare to rob my crystal, I will smash their heads one by one and eat their fresh monkey brains. Hua Kaiyun ran out quickly. In the room, Shui Chanqian looked nervous and wanted to follow him out, crying. At this moment, a baby's cry suddenly came from the room. The voice sounded familiar. Xiao Hua? She subconsciously thought. No, Xiao Hua has been taken away by Qin Xian. Shui Chanqian's face changed, she stared nervously at the closet, who's there, come out, or I won't be polite. She was extremely nervous. In her own closet, she didn't know when someone had been hiding, and she hadn't even noticed. How long has the other party been here? If she had just done something with her husband, wouldn't the other party have seen it on the spot? Thinking of this, Shui Chanqian felt a chill. Fang Chen didn't want to attract attention, so he directly teleported and appeared behind Shui Chanqian, restraining her. Noticing that it was a man's hand, Shui Chanqian's face turned pale trying to break free but the other person held her too tightly, rendering her helpless. Instead, her struggles caused a strange sensation behind her. Shui Chanqian felt both embarrassed and angry. With her mouth covered, she couldn't even call for help. Don't worry, I mean no harm, Fang Chen quickly said. No harm? Look at where your hand is placed and what is behind me. How can you say you mean no harm? Shui Chanqian refused to believe Fang Chen, thinking of him as a rogue trying to take advantage, and she bit down hard on Fang Chen's hand when she had the chance. Fang Chen couldn't help but gasp in pain. You're so fierce, willing to bite anything? Fang Chen retaliated by hitting her on the buttocks. Fortunately, he had removed the spatial barrier, or Shui Chanqian's teeth would have been knocked out. Feeling humiliated, Shui Chanqian's husband had never treated her like this. Stop moving, Fang Chen's voice grew stern. If you move again, I will hit you again. Hearing this, Shui Chanqian stopped moving, allowing Fang Chen to hold her. I really mean no harm, I'm here to return your daughter, Fang Chen said. Daughter? Shui Chanqian's eyes widened. Don't call out, and I'll let you go, Shui Chanqian nodded quickly. Fang Chen released her. Suppressing her voice, Shui Chanqian asked, Where is my daughter? In the wardrobe, Fang Chen replied, taking the baby out. Seeing her daughter, Shui Chanqian's eyes welled up with tears as she hugged her daughter excitedly. Xiao Hua, you're safe, mom was so worried. Fang Chen took the opportunity to observe Shui Chanqian. With delicate features and a slightly chubby face, she was a typical gentle and refined woman. While not as stunning as LV Su or Qin Xian, she fell between Lindsay Jean and Li Nana in terms of looks, the type that grew more attractive the more you looked at her. Due to recently giving birth, her charm was particularly captivating. After a while, Shui Chanqian looked at Fang Chen in confusion, Who are you, and why is my daughter with you? Qin Xian is in my gang, your daughter was hungry, so I brought her over, Fang Chen explained. Qin Xian wanted to apologize to you, she lied to you so she could escape from the hotel. In reality, Qin Xian never apologized. In fact, before leaving, she even instigated Fang Chen to tarnish Shui Chanqian's innocence. Fang Chen only said this to reduce Shui Chanqian's resentment. Thank you, I don't blame her, Shui Chanqian nodded gratefully, knowing that her husband was the one responsible for this situation. With her daughter safely back, she was already happy. That's good, Fang Chen smiled. By the way, your daughter has been crying, she must be hungry, you should feed her. Blushing, Shui Chanqian nodded but hesitated to act. What's wrong, is there not enough milk? Fang Chen thought Guo Kaiyun had consumed all the milk and cursed him for competing with a child for food. Shui Chanqian glared at Fang Chen in embarrassment. She thought, how can I feed the child in front of a stranger like you? However, since Fang Chen had helped bring her child back, Shui Chanqian's attitude softened. Can you, ah, uh, turn your head? Oh, okay, 
Fang Chen realized his mistake and awkwardly scratched his head. He had gotten used to it from his encounters with LV Su. Turning his head, he listened to the sound of the baby nursing, reminiscing about the past. The sound of nursing echoed in his ears, and Fang Chen couldn't help but feel a bit sentimental. He sighed inwardly, it's a pity, I finally met a wood element ability user, but she already has a husband. Actually, Fang Chen could completely forcibly take Xue Chanxian away, or use his daughter to threaten her to comply. But Fang Chen also has his own pride, he is not willing to do such despicable things. Well, since your child has been brought to you, I'll leave first. Listening to the faint voice in his ears, Fang Chen's body also started to feel a bit restless, afraid that if he stayed here any longer, he wouldn't be able to control himself. After all, he is a man. I haven't thanked you yet, Shui Chanxian said anxiously. No need to thank me. I think anyone would feel sorry seeing such a young child leaving their mother and hungry. I just did what I should do, Fang Chen smiled. Shui Chanxian held her daughter, stealing glances at Fang Chen's back, worried that he might suddenly turn around. But after hearing Fang Chen's words, her original worries suddenly disappeared. She felt a slight fondness towards Fang Chen. He is truly a gentleman. If little Yuan had the same determination as Fang Chen back then, there wouldn't have been any. I'm leaving, Fang Chen said, preparing to leave through the door. He had teleported in, and leaving the same way might be too shocking. However, just as Fang Chen was about to open the door, there suddenly came a hurried sound of footsteps from outside, along with Guo Kaiyan's voice. That damn monkey ran this way, find him for me, he actually stole my crystal, I'll turn his brain into monkey brains. Yes, young master Gua. Hearing the voices outside, Xue Chanxian looked at Fang Chen, who was about to leave, and her expression suddenly became flustered. If her husband saw a strange man in their room, how would she explain it to him? Fixing the plumbing? They had just had an argument. If something like this happened again, how would they go on in the future? Don't go out! Xue Chanxian exclaimed, placing the child on the bed, then quickly stepped forward to lock the door, reaching out to stop Fang Chen. She must not let Fang Chen leave. Fang Chen looked at the woman in front of him, his eyes widened. Just now, Xue Chanxian had been feeding the child all along, and when the incident happened, she ran over without even buttoning up her clothes, her fair skin exposed in front of Fang Chen. Although Xue Chanxian's appearance compared to Qin Xian, LV Su, and Lin Zijin was not particularly outstanding, having just given birth, her body was at its most mature stage. Her charm was even more enticing than the other three. Gulp! Fang Chen looked at the fair skin and subconsciously swallowed, finding it hard to take his eyes off. He wanted to explain. He was not lecherous. Mainly, the source of life could accelerate strength improvement, and he was simply eager to enhance his strength. It's not. Forget it, no need to argue. Xue Chanxian also noticed this scene, her face flushed with a tinge of anger. Startled, she quickly covered her skin. Although a bit angry, she also knew it wasn't Fang Chen's fault, it was her own carelessness. She could only suppress her embarrassment and said, You can't leave, my husband is back. My husband is back? Hearing this, Fang Chen couldn't help but think of those adult movies he watched with He Da Jiang back in college, which had similar plots. Unexpectedly, he encountered it himself. Just explain to your husband, I'm here to bring your child, Fang Chen said. Bring the child? Xue Chanxian was taken aback, and for some reason, she thought of that kind of bringing the child. No, you can't. Xue Chanxian blushed and quickly shook her head, I just had an argument with him, and even mentioned my childhood sweetheart. Now you suddenly appear here, he will definitely be angry, and then. Chanxian, what's wrong with you, what happened? Guo Kaiyun walked to the door, faintly hearing Xue Chanxian's exclamation, and asked nervously. He twisted the doorknob and found the door was locked from the inside. So he started knocking on the door. No, it's nothing. Hearing her husband's voice, Xue Chanxian panicked, forcibly suppressing the trembling in her voice. Turning her head, she whispered to Fang Chen again, Quick, hide. Hide where? Fang Chen found it somewhat amusing. Where to hide? Xue Chanxian was getting anxious, scanning the room, then pointing under the bed, hide under the bed. Under the bed? How is that possible? Hearing that he had to hide under the bed, Fang Chen was completely unwilling. How can a manly man hide under the bed and let someone else sit on his head, I won't do it. Shanxian, what's going on, please open the door. Outside, Wakayon felt something was strange and knocked on the door again. Shue Shanxian's heart was about to jump out of her chest. Suddenly, she had an idea. She came up with an excuse, I just took off my clothes, there are many people outside, let me put on my clothes first before opening the door for you. Okay, hurry up then. Wakayon frowned, but he didn't suspect anything. After all, Xue Chanxian's explanation was quite reasonable, and he couldn't imagine there would be another man in the room. This was his territory. Please, just hide, please. 
Inside the room, Shui Chanqian was almost in tears, pleading with Fang Chen. No. Fang Chen shook his head resolutely, he would never hide under the bed. After some thought, Fang Chen sighed and prepared to use spatial blinking to leave. However, just as he was about to use it, Shui Chanqian continued to plead, as long as you promise me, I can fulfill any condition for you. Any condition? Fang Chen's eyes lit up, really? He stopped the action he was about to take. Shui Chanqian also realized there was ambiguity in her words. So she added a condition, except for that kind of thing, everything else is fine. Deal. Fang Chen smiled. He wasn't a lustful person, and he already had several beautiful women at home. Why would he ask Shui Chanqian to do that kind of thing? He just wanted a little. But, I won't hide under the bed. Fang Chen said, I can continue hiding in the wardrobe. Okay, as long as you hide, any condition is fine. Watching Fang Chen hide in the wardrobe, Shui Chanqian breathed a sigh of relief. As long as Fang Chen wasn't discovered, it didn't matter where he hid. Chen Chen, are you ready? Guo Kaiyun had been waiting for a few minutes, urging her to open the door again. Yes, yes. Shui Chen Chen quickly tidied up her clothes, then opened the door. Why did it take you so long to put on a piece of clothing? Opening the door, Guo Kaiyun noticed her flushed face, and with his wife's suggestive demeanor, he was a bit puzzled. Why is your face red? Well, Shui Chen Chen was taken aback. She remembered that she had just been exposed by Fang Chen. How could she not blush? But she couldn't say that to her husband. So she explained, there's no air conditioning, the room is a bit stuffy. Indeed, it's a bit stuffy. Guo Kaiyun also nodded, without any suspicion. Seeing this, Shui Chen Chen breathed a sigh of relief, changing the subject and asking, Honey, what happened? I just heard you say something about monkeys coming up. Inside the cabinet, Fang Chen listened to Shui Chen Chen's explanation and the sudden change in her demeanor, finding it all quite fascinating. Fang Chen could tell that Shui Chen Chen must have been a gentle and virtuous woman before, hardly ever lying, but in just this moment, she learned how to deceive people without changing her expression. Indeed, women are natural actresses. At the same time, he was curious about what had happened in the hotel. What did Guo Kaiyun say was stolen? Yes. Guo Kaiyun nodded, his face darkening a bit, and said, It was a group of monkeys with special abilities, probably dozens of them. They broke into my kitchen and took away 80% of the supplies. There was also a monkey king that could turn invisible. It stole my crystal. I heard some noise, and it ran upstairs. Honey, as long as you're okay. Shui Chanqian comforted him. Okay. Guo Kaiyun nodded, You continue to rest, lock the door, don't let anyone else in except me, be careful. Don't let anyone in? Shui Chanqian's heart trembled, almost thinking her husband had discovered something. Don't worry, I won't let anyone in, Shui Chanqian nodded perfunctorily. Guo Kaiyun prepared to leave. However, just as he turned around, in the room, the baby who had stopped crying suddenly started crying again. What sound is that? Guo Kaiyun frowned. Shui Chanqian was also flustered. She had forgotten that after feeding the baby, she had left the child on the bed without having Fang Chen hide away. Before Shui Chanqian could stop him, Guo Kaiyun went straight past her and into the room. At a glance, he saw the baby on the bed. Xiao Hua? Seeing his daughter, Guo Kaiyun's face showed no joy, but rather grew darker. Wasn't their daughter taken away by Qin Xian and now with the Yonia gang? How could she be here? He remembered his wife not opening the door for a long time and her flushed face. His face turned livid as he asked, How is Xiao Hua here? This. Shui Chanqian didn't know how to explain. Is that person hiding there? Guo Kaiyun clenched his fists tightly. No, there's no one, Shui Chanqian explained nervously. No one? Guo Kaiyun sneered, so you're saying our three-month-old daughter walked back from the western suburbs over a hundred kilometers by herself? Shui Chanqian, when did you learn to lie? Seeing his wife trying to argue, Guo Kaiyun's face became even uglier, feeling more and more that his wife had done something to betray him. Fine, I'll find out myself. Guo Kaiyun began searching for the adulterer, starting with under the bed. Seeing this, for some reason, Shui Chanqian felt a sense of relief that Fang Chen had the foresight not to hide under the bed. However, when she saw Guo Kaiyun about to search the cabinet, Shui Chanqian couldn't sit still. Our daughter has already returned, shouldn't you be happy? Shui Chanqian held Guo Kaiyun back. Happy? Guo Kaiyun's face turned livid. How could he be happy with his wife and someone else? He could tolerate Qin Xian because he wasn't married to her, but Shui Chanqian was his legitimate wife. Although he didn't like it, it represented his dignity. I'm very happy now, Guo Kaiyun sneered, his fist turning into a metallic material. Smashing the cabinet with a punch, I'm happy because he will be smashed into pieces by me. When Shui Chanqian pulled him just now, he knew that person must be hiding inside. With all his strength, he threw that punch. Ah! Shui Chanqian exclaimed. 
Her body couldn't help but tremble in fear. She had seen Fang Chen hide inside, and with Guo Kaiyun's punch, Fang Chen would surely die. She didn't want Fang Chen to die, but the gory scene she imagined didn't appear. The cabinet was empty. Xue Chen Chen was extremely surprised, her eyes subconsciously scanning the surroundings. Suddenly, she saw a man lying on her bed, crossing his legs and winking at her. At that moment, Xue Chen Chen's heart seemed to stop. Was this person so audacious? Her husband was right there, and he was lying on her bed openly? She quickly looked back at her husband, only to find him looking up? She felt almost desperate. However, after a moment, she found that Fang Chen was gone? Xue Chen Chen was stunned. Where did he go? Gua Kaiyun searched a few more places but found no trace of Fang Chen. He furrowed his brows. Could it be that there really was no one? Xue Chen Chen was drenched in cold sweat. It was too thrilling just now. This audacious rascal Fang Chen had once hidden behind her when Guo Kaiyun wasn't paying attention. He even teased her, saying, I went to great lengths, you have to agree to one condition. Xue Chen Chen didn't have the courage. To avoid being discovered by her husband, she could only agree to Fang Chen's request. Xue Chen Chen didn't know why, but she felt like she was starting to enjoy this thrill. There's no one, are you satisfied now? Without her husband noticing, Xue Chen Chen also gained confidence and boldly questioned. Gua Kaiyun remained silent. Our daughter has returned, you should be happy. I didn't expect you to doubt me first, you disappoint me. Xue Chen Chen felt a bit sad. Although she deceived Gua Kaiyun, she did not betray him, yet he did not trust her. Compared to that, Fang Chen sent the child back without taking advantage of her. She didn't know how many times he had been good to her. I was wrong, Gua Kaiyun's face darkened but explain to me how the child came back. You were not gone for long, someone put the child on the bed and left without saying anything, Xue Chen Chen said half-truthfully. Did they ask for anything? Guo Kaiyun questioned. No, I think they were just kind-hearted, not wanting to see the child separated from their parents, Xue Chen Chen said. She thought to herself that Fang Chen sent the child back without asking for anything. She agreed to his conditions to hide. She did not lie. Then rest well, Guo Kaiyun's face softened slightly. Okay. Watching Guo Kaiyun prepare to leave, Xue Chen Chen breathed a sigh of relief. However, as Guo Kaiyun opened the door, something rushed into the room, grabbed the baby from the bed, broke through the window, and escaped outside. Xiao Hua, Xiao Hua. Xue Chen Chen's just calmed heart suddenly panicked. It's the Monkey King. Guo Kaiyun's face turned grim, immediately ordering his subordinates outside the door, go and retrieve my crystal at all costs. Hearing Guo Kaiyun say to retrieve the crystal instead of saving the child, Xue Chen Chen looked at him in disbelief. Was her daughter less important than a crystal in his eyes? If his earlier words could be dismissed as anger, his subconscious reaction revealed his true thoughts. Xue Chen Chen couldn't help but feel immensely disappointed. Don't worry, the child will be fine. Watching Guo Kaiyun's departing figure, Xue Chen Chen felt utterly disappointed. She couldn't understand why he had changed so much. Your daughter will be fine, suddenly. A voice came from behind Xue Chen Chen. She turned around and saw a familiar face. It was this face that made her nervous and excited in front of her husband. You didn't leave? Xue Chen Chen felt a hint of joy unexpectedly. I haven't received my reward yet, how could I leave? Fang Chen grinned. His gaze fell on her chest. You. Xue Chen Chen blushed, then sadly said, My daughter was taken away. I don't want to talk about this now. It's okay, I know where your daughter is, Fang Chen said. You know? Yes, I can go save your daughter. Really? Xue Chen Chen was overjoyed, grabbing Fang Chen's arm. It was late at night, Xue Chen Chen was about to sleep, so she was wearing a thin lace nightgown. She had just fed the child and only tidied up a bit. This sudden movement made her full figure feel like bursting out. Fang Chen, seeing her fair figure up close, unconsciously swallowed. Ah! Xue Chen Chen noticed Fang Chen's gaze, her face turning red, and quickly let go of him. Of course, I can. Fang Chen regained his composure with a smirk, but, although I'm willing to help, this mission is quite dangerous. Hearing the hesitation in his tone, Xue Chen Chen knew that Fang Chen was looking for benefits. However, she was not angry. She also knew that the monster who had just taken her daughter was very powerful, even Guo Kaiyun couldn't handle it. Fang Chen had no reason to take risks for himself, considering he had no connection with Xue Chen Chen. Thinking again about her husband's past actions, Xue Chen Chen felt a bit sad, disappointed, and worried about her daughter's safety. After biting her lip, amidst her complex emotions, she finally made up her mind. She said, as long as you rescue my daughter, I can agree to any conditions. Including. Xue Chen Chen didn't finish her sentence, but the meaning was clear. All right, with your word, I will definitely help you find your daughter. Fang Chen was excited. 
Rescuing the other party's daughter meant he could demand any conditions. By then, he could ask for a hundred or eighty pounds of the source of life, and he would be able to soar. Just you wait. Fang Chen chuckled, then directly blinked through space and appeared outside the hotel. Xue Chanchian watched this scene in astonishment, her mouth wide open. How did Fang Chen do it? He actually appeared downstairs directly from the room. No wonder Fang Chen could play hide and seek in the room before, and Guo Kaiyun couldn't find him. Wait a minute, Xue Chanchian realized something, this guy, clearly he could run out by himself, but he still tricked me into agreeing to his conditions. What a bad egg. Fang Chen left the hotel. Not long after, he encountered Guo Kaiyun and others who were like headless flies. These guys seemed quite lost. The Monkey King could turn invisible and was very fast, making it almost impossible for them to catch up. Fortunately, Fang Chen knew where the monkey's old home was. Previously, Fang Chen had planned to go to Monkey Mountain in the park, but he never had the time. Now was the perfect opportunity. According to Guo Kaiyun, 80% of the supplies in his hotel had been looted by the monkeys, including that top quality crystal. Ignoring Guo Kaiyun and the others, Fang Chen found a barely drivable old car on the road and drove directly towards the park. This old car creaks and groans. I'll have to find a better means of transportation when I get the chance. Fang Chen cursed under his breath as he drove. Although he had space blinking, it consumed a lot of energy. Using it all up would only allow him to move about 2,000 meters and couldn't be used as a skill for traveling. An hour later, Fang Chen finally arrived at the park. Silently, he used space blinking to appear inside Monkey Mountain. He found that the monkeys who had just robbed Gua Kaiyun's hotel had also just returned here and were putting the harvested supplies into the cave. So many supplies? Fang Chen surveyed the cave, which should have hundreds of cubic meters, filled with various items. Food, water, stockings, bikinis. These guys seem to have looted more than just Gua Kaiyun. The goods here were worth at least several million before the apocalypse, even over a hundred million. Fang Chen was amazed. There are even hundreds of evolution crystals. Seeing the sparkling items, Fang Chen's eyes lit up. Evolution crystals were extremely precious and could turn ordinary people into superhumans. Although they contained little energy, they were much more valuable than ordinary crystals. Fang Chen hadn't found many before. Unexpectedly, last time Fang Chen took dozens from here, and in just a few days, these monkeys had found over a hundred again? Could it be that these monkeys were more sensitive to evolution crystals and could easily detect them? Besides this explanation, Fang Chen couldn't think of any other reasons. Fang Chen grinned, with so many supplies, I won't be polite. Earlier, Fang Chen had planned to let the monkeys collect supplies and then come back to reap the benefits. Now, he found that the monkeys could even collect evolution crystals, making Fang Chen even more reluctant to kill them. Such good benefits had to be nurtured well. Fang Chen waited in the corner. After another 10 minutes, the monkeys had put all the supplies into the cave. To Fang Chen's surprise, these monkeys even made a door for the cave and locked it with a lock. It seems that after Fang Chen stole their supplies last time, these monkeys have become smarter. However, this trick may stop others, but it can't stop Fang Chen. He directly teleported and appeared inside the cave. Perfect, they closed the door, they won't even realize their supplies have been taken. Fang Chen smirked. He began to collect the supplies. Over 5,000 kilograms of rice, nearly 10,000 bottles of mineral water, hundreds of boxes of instant noodles. There are so many cigarettes, unexpectedly these monkeys have a heavy smoking habit. Taking them all. Smoking is harmful to health, helping you quit smoking. There are also hundreds of evolution crystals. With these, Fang Chen can create hundreds of superhumans. After collecting the supplies, Fang Chen faintly heard the monkey's cries outside. He immediately teleported out. Upon seeing it, it turned out that the monkey king had returned and was about to open the door of the cave. But when Fang Chen looked at its hands, his face changed instantly. There was no baby in its hands. It didn't bring the baby back? Fang Chen's face darkened. The monkey king can turn invisible. Escaping earlier than him, Fang Chen didn't know the specific route it took. He thought it would bring the child back, but it turned out it had lost the baby halfway. Now, how can he ask Xue Chanchian for the source of life? Even without this, Fang Chen didn't want to see a few months old baby die outside like this. Damn it! Fang Chen cursed inwardly, feeling extremely angry, not caring about the many monkeys here, and directly pounced on the monkey king. He must find out where the child is. The monkey king was about to open the cave, put the harvested crystals inside, but suddenly a figure appeared behind it. When it saw the other's face, the monkey king was greatly surprised, showing its teeth. It remembered the last time. This guy brought a bag of chili powder, which almost blinded its eyes. And he also stole all its supplies, causing it to have no food to enhance its strength. 
In desperation, during this time, it had been robbing supplies everywhere, planning to hoard enough supplies and then retreat to enhance its strength. Unexpectedly, this guy came again, wanting to steal its supplies again? The Monkey King was furious. It punched towards Fang Chen. Dong! A muffled sound. Fang Chen had already activated the spatial barrier. The Monkey King's punch hit the barrier solidly, almost breaking its hand. It screamed in pain. Where did you take the child? Fang Chen grabbed the Monkey King's shoulder, questioning sternly. The Monkey King didn't answer. It struggled to break free from Fang Chen's restraint, then directly turned invisible. Damn it! Fang Chen looked around, it was pitch black, and he couldn't see the Monkey King after it turned invisible. Duong! Suddenly, there was a movement behind Fang Chen, a metal rod hit him on the head. Fang Chen staggered back. Turning around, the Monkey King was gone again. I didn't expect the Monkey King's strength to increase so quickly. Fang Chen's face turned serious. Before, the Monkey King could only turn itself invisible, and its position could be judged through weapons, but now it can even make weapons invisible, almost without any flaws. Duong! The Monkey King attacked Fang Chen again. Nearby, the little monkeys also threw stones at Fang Chen. Damn it, at this rate, I'm afraid I won't last long. Fang Chen's face was extremely grim. The spatial barrier consumes energy and cannot be kept open all the time. If he continues to consume like this, he will eventually be worn down by these monkeys. He must determine the Monkey King's position. But how can he determine its position? If only he had a thermal imager. A thermal imager? Right, the spatial mark. Fang Chen had a sudden realization. Although he didn't have a thermal imager, he had a spatial mark. Besides explosion, the spatial mark also has a monitoring function. As long as it is attached to the Monkey King, its location can be detected. Thinking of this, Fang Chen calmed down. Just during this time, he had been practicing combat and studying how to attack and counterattack. As long as he knows the direction of the opponent's attack, he can basically infer the Monkey King's retreat location, and then mark the opponent with a spatial imprint. Fang Chen is now standing still, waiting for the Monkey King to attack. Suddenly, he was hit on the back of his head again, but this time Fang Chen steadied his steps and reached out to the right. He immediately caught the invisible Monkey King. Fang Chen used his grappling technique again, firmly restraining the opponent without giving it a chance to break free. A few minutes later, the exhausted Monkey King revealed its true form. You want to be the sixth. G.I.E. G.I.E. The Monkey King was still struggling. Pia. Fang Chen directly slapped it, leaving the Monkey King stunned. Tell me, where did you take the child? G.I.E. G.I.E. The Monkey King gestured something. Still not talking? Fang Chen's eyes turned cold, and he took out a bottle of Lea Gamma chili sauce from the space and poured it all over the Monkey King's buttocks. He gave its reddened bottom a treatment. Now it was even redder. The Monkey King immediately felt the burn and scratched its head in pain. You want me to talk, but will I speak? Still not talking? Fang Chen took out another jar, this time it was devil spicy. Damn! The Monkey King's legs went weak at the sight of it. G.I.E. G.I.E. The Monkey King hurriedly gestured, fearing that Fang Chen wouldn't understand, it began drawing on the ground with its hands. Fang Chen frowned and looked. Are you saying the child was kidnapped? G.I.E. G.I.E. The Monkey King nodded frantically. Fang Chen's face darkened. Who took the baby away? Was there another purpose? Where was the child taken? Lead me there. Fang Chen lifted the Monkey King up. Thump. The Monkey King stood up, and a crystal fell from its body. Fang Chen examined it. The crystal was as big as an apple, emitting a golden light throughout. Fang Chen was amazed. Normal crystals were only as small as peanuts, but this crystal was unexpectedly large. Could this be the crystal that Qin Xian's father found? Fang Chen was delighted and immediately picked it up and stored it in the space. G.I.E. G.I.E. The Monkey King became anxious, as this was a treasure it had worked hard to find. What, do you have a problem? Fang Chen glared at the Monkey King and took out another bottle of devil spicy chili sauce. It seemed that whenever the opponent resisted, Fang Chen would give its bottom a treatment. The Monkey King, upon hearing this, dared not say a word. This guy was too powerful. It couldn't beat him at all. If Lei Aganma was already spicy, it didn't want to taste the devil spicy again. Anyway, there were hundreds of crystals in the cave, as well as plenty of food. It was enough for itself. Just wait. When I improve my strength, I will come back to settle the score with you, the Monkey King fought silently. The Monkey King led the way for Fang Chen, clenching its buttocks. After more than half an hour, the Monkey King brought Fang Chen to a street in the city. Was the child rescued here? Fang Chen looked around and indeed found a piece of cloth not far away. He remembered that this cloth matched the color of the baby's clothes. Which way did he go? 
Fang Chen asked. Gie Gie. The Monkey King pointed in a direction. Where is it? The police station. Fang Chen was surprised, as the direction the Monkey King pointed to was the location of the city's police station. Could it be that the police rescued the person? But after so long in the post-apocalyptic world, with such chaos, were there still police officers? If you're lying to me, I'll make you taste the devil's spicy, humph. Fang Chen glared at the Monkey King, indicating it could leave. He didn't intend to kill the Monkey King. Killing it would only get him one crystal. But by not killing it, given the Monkey King's sensitivity to crystals, it would surely find more. Then Fang Chen could just take them. Gie Gie. The Monkey King ran off as if flying, afraid that Fang Chen would change his mind. Damn humans. How dare they treat me like this. The Monkey King ran while gritting its teeth, feeling the refreshing sensation in its buttocks making it unable to resist. When I go back and absorb all the crystals, I will definitely seek revenge on this guy. The Monkey King thought to itself. However, when he returned to the park and opened the cave, the whole monkey was dumbfounded. Where did all my supplies go? Why can't I find the sparkling crystals? As the Monkey King looked bewildered at his cave, Fang Chen had already arrived near the city police station. According to the Monkey King's description, the person who rescued the baby was likely inside the building. The lights are on? Fang Chen looked at the building, slightly surprised to see a window with lights on, indicating that someone was indeed living inside. Who could it be? The police? But it's been so long since the apocalypse. Fang Chen hesitated for a moment, not daring to enter recklessly, but instead used spatial blinking to sneak into the building and arrived outside the lit meeting room. Inside, there were voices of people discussing. As the apocalypse approaches two months, all the comrades in the city who are still willing to maintain social order are here, a total of 36 people. Thank you all for coming. Let's hold a meeting overnight to discuss everyone's views on this zombie virus and abilities, and if there are any ways to deal with them. In the middle, a middle-aged man with slightly gray hair, around 50 years old, spoke with a dignified expression. Over 30 police officers started discussing. Director Yuan. A middle-aged man raised his hand first and said, I think the existence of abilities has completely destroyed the order of civilization. Now, those who awaken abilities are like kings, not bound by order, freely exploiting survivors. Due to their existence, the already few survivors suffer even more. Yes, my second aunt was killed by someone with abilities. I joined a gang before, working 15 hours a day, only eating one meal a day. Several people who had similar experiences nodded in agreement. My suggestion is, the man continued, we should resist abilities and urge everyone not to use them. Resist abilities? Another person sneered, Captain Sue, just because you haven't awakened abilities, you can't blame all the wrongs on abilities, can you? Captain Shi is right, it's people who make mistakes, not abilities. Are we, as ability users, harming others? Some people just can't accept that they can't have grapes and say the grapes are sour. Now, 80% of our city of Luo is filled with various zombies. Moreover, the zombies are becoming stronger, firearms are basically ineffective against them. Only abilities can kill zombies. If we resist abilities, how do we fight against zombies? Captain Su, are you going to fight with your fists? Captain Su was hit where it hurt, his face looking a bit ugly. The person speaking opposite him, who was just a small police officer before and used to show respect to him, now that he had awakened abilities, didn't even care about him. Captain Su was getting anxious, so what do you suggest we do about those ability users who act like kings and exploit survivors? Alright, I wanted you to discuss, not argue. Seeing the group about to argue, Director Yuan slammed the table. He looked towards the corner and said to a young man with his head down, Xiao Yi, what do you think we should do? In the corner, the young man raised his head, revealing a sharp and distinct face. Quite heroic. The young man was called Yi Chiu, a former ace detective in the criminal investigation department, who had solved many criminal cases and received first-class honors multiple times. After the apocalypse, he awakened abilities and had single-handedly killed no less than a hundred zombies. Director Yuan greatly admired him. Director Yuan, Yichio smiled slightly, the reason they have the opportunity to exploit survivors is simply because they have resources, and survivors need those resources, so they can only seek them out. To solve this, it's very simple. We just need to have enough resources. Director Yuan nodded. I think what Yichio said makes sense. He had also thought about it before, but... Director Yuan asked, I understand the reasoning, but where can we get supplies? Director Yuan is right. After the high temperature, 80% of the food has gone bad, and the remaining non-perishable items have been taken by various factions. Where can we get supplies? Should we go and fight with those factions one by one? Captain Su snorted coldly. It sounds easy, 
but those ability users are not easy to provoke. Young people are young people, always eager for success. Almost everyone shook their heads. However, Yi Chou remained calm, smiled, and said, We don't need to fight one by one. We just need to solve one problem, and then everyone's supplies will not be a worry. Oh, which one? Director Yuan asked in surprise. Which faction has so many supplies that can sustain all the survivors in the city? Outside, Fang Chen was also curious and listened carefully. Do you all remember the theft case that happened before the apocalypse? Yi Cho said. Are you talking about the theft case that resulted in the loss of billions of goods? Director Yuan also became serious. It was the most bizarre and largest theft case he had ever handled. Unfortunately, after entering the apocalypse, this matter was left unresolved. Yes, Yi Chiu squinted his eyes and said seriously, at that time, none of us understood how billions of goods disappeared overnight. Even with transport planes, it would not be possible. But after awakening my ability in the apocalypse, I had a speculation. What speculation? Everyone looked curiously at Yi Chiu. I speculate that someone awakened their ability in advance, and knowing that the apocalypse was about to happen, they stole goods from major supermarkets, Yi Chiu said. Awakening abilities in advance? It is very likely. Billions of goods disappeared overnight without a sound. Besides ability users, who else could do it? What kind of ability is so powerful? Doraemon? That guy, after awakening his ability, didn't steal from banks or jewelry stores, but went to steal rice, flour, and other food. Obviously, he knew the apocalypse was coming. That damn guy, if he didn't steal those goods, so many people wouldn't have starved to death in the apocalypse. If he had warned us in advance of the apocalypse, we could have made preparations, and things wouldn't have developed to this point. Hearing this, everyone couldn't help but discuss it with each other. Outside, upon hearing Yi Chou's words, Fang Chen was also shocked, and a cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He was actually guessed by this Yi Chiu. He did indeed possess abilities in advance and knew about the impending apocalypse. As for why he didn't warn them in advance, even if he did, would anyone have believed him at that time? It was already good enough that he wasn't sent to a mental hospital. Does he know that the person who awakened the ability is himself? Fang Chen was somewhat worried. If he knew, and leaked the information later, it was estimated that all the ability users in Luo City would come to attack him. Fang Chen felt a chill in his heart. Although his ability level had reached level 4, surpassing most ability users, he was not yet powerful enough to deal with hundreds or thousands of them at once. Should he strike first? Listening to the discussions in the meeting room, alarm bells rang in Fang Chen's mind. He hesitated whether to silence them. There were only about 30 people inside, and it would be difficult to kill them all. However, he was confident he could escape unharmed if he killed one of them. After some hesitation, Fang Chen ultimately did not take action directly and decided to observe first. He had great respect for the police profession and did not want to become enemies with them. Moreover, if he made a move, it would only arouse more suspicion, and they would intensively investigate him. Unless Fang Chen killed them all, but that was impossible. Fang Chen was unwilling to do so. Xiao Yi, do you know who stole the supplies? Director Yuan asked excitedly. Others looked at Yi Chiu with expectations. I don't know for now, Yi Chiu shook his head. Indeed, the person who can steal all the supplies must be very powerful, it won't be easy to discover their identity. The crowd felt disappointed. Outside, Fang Chen also breathed a sigh of relief, now he didn't have to take action. However, Yi Chiu continued, we can investigate the major forces in Luo City. Since the thief stole so many supplies, they are bound to reveal themselves. Hmm, Director Yuan nodded. Furthermore, Yi Chiu continued, although we don't know who that person is for now, I have found another place with supplies. Where? Just now, Yen Yen and I were patrolling outside and found a group of monkeys that can turn invisible. These monkeys have been robbing a lot of supplies recently. If we eliminate them, we can obtain those supplies. Yi Chiu said. But how do we find them? I have already installed a locator on the Monkey King, it's in the western suburb park. Fong Chen's mind raced. He didn't expect them to have installed a locator on the Monkey King. This won't do. He was still planning to exploit the Monkey King. He couldn't let them kill the Monkey King just like that. He needed to inform the Monkey King later. Let's find the child first. The child should be the one they rescued, according to Yi Chiu. The child should be with a woman named Yin Yin. Who's out there? Fong Chen had just taken a step when Yi Chiu rushed to the door. However, he didn't see anyone. What's wrong, Yi Chiu? Director Yuan asked. Someone was eavesdropping outside just now, Yi Chiu said in a low voice. Are you sure you didn't miss here, there's no one there? Where? Yi Chiu spotted a dark figure outside, his eyes narrowed, and he immediately jumped from the third floor. This guy has good ears. Fang Chen stood on the rooftop, 
watching Ichio swiftly leave, feeling amazed. Just now, as soon as the other party pushed the door open, Fang Chen used spatial blink to escape the scene. Then he deliberately left a trace to attract their attention, and then used spatial blink to return here. When it comes to playing hide and seek, Fang Chen has never been afraid of anyone. A few hours ago, Fang Chen teased Kuo Kaiyun's wife behind his back, but she didn't notice. I don't know which room the child is in. Fang Chen looked at the building, all the lights were off, he had to search room by room. Fang Chen randomly blinked. The next moment, he appeared on a bed, the bed was soft, with a faint fragrance. Where is this? Fang Chen was curious about his whereabouts, the room was pitch black, not a single light, he couldn't see anything. Helplessly, Fang Chen reached out and felt around. What is this, why is it both protruding and flat, with bumps? Fang Chen touched a strange object and felt something odd, so he curiously pinched it. Unexpectedly, a woman's scream came from beside him the next moment. Ah! Immediately, a swift hand chop came towards his neck. Damn! Fang Chen reacted instantly, realizing that the person beside him was actually a woman. What was he touching just now? Fang Chen's expression was extremely strange, feeling regretful, he shouldn't have used spatial blink recklessly. And he definitely shouldn't have turned off the lights and groped around. Now he's in trouble. However, why is this woman so flat, almost the same as himself? Fang Chen quickly used spatial blink to dodge. The woman's chop missed. At this moment, Yuan Yan Yan was both embarrassed and angry. Tonight, she rescued a baby outside, the baby kept crying, so she brought her back to the room to soothe her to sleep. However, the baby seemed to be hungry and started pulling at her clothes. But where would she get milk from? The baby kept crying, so she had no choice but to take off her clothes and let the baby suckle. After that, she fell asleep groggily. Who knew that in a half-awake state, there would be someone else in the room, and to make matters worse, the person even pinched her. You damn bastard, I'm going to kill you. Yuan Yan Yan jumped off the bed, not caring whether she was dressed or not, and attacked towards the other side. Misunderstanding, all of this is a misunderstanding. Fang Chen didn't expect this to happen, but after all, he touched the other person. Fang Chen couldn't kill to keep it quiet, so he hurriedly explained, misunderstanding? Yuan Yan Yan was furious, breaking into my room in the middle of the night, lying on my bed. And you call this a misunderstanding? Go to hell! Yuan Yan Yan didn't listen to Fang Chen's explanation at all. There was no light in the room, she couldn't see Fang Chen's exact position, so she began to attack randomly. The room was filled with clanging sounds. Fang Chen kept dodging the attacks, but without visibility, he was hit several times. If this continues, it might attract others. Fang Chen's face darkened, I have to subdue her first. Fang Chen stopped avoiding and instead used grappling techniques to lock up Yuan Yan Yan's hands and feet. Yuan Yan Yan couldn't move. Damn it, let me go. Yuan Yan Yan struggled continuously, her thighs and arms were all held by the other party, and she was pressed to the ground, feeling embarrassed and indignant. She wasn't wearing any clothes. Fortunately, there was no light in the room, and the other party couldn't see her body clearly. Can you listen to my explanation now? Fang Chen asked. Fine, speak. Yuan Yan Yan couldn't move and had to calm down. I came to find the child, accidentally ended up here, who knew you weren't dressed. Fang Chen said, you're so flat, even if I wanted to take advantage, I wouldn't come to you, right? I really didn't mean it. What did you say? Hearing that the other party touched her and then criticized her for being flat, Yuan Yan Yan was about to explode. Don't shout, someone's coming. Fang Chen's face changed, and he immediately said, Hearing someone coming, Yuan Yan Yan was relieved and wanted to call for help. However, her mouth was immediately covered by Fang Chen. You're still shouting. Fang Chen said, Do you want to be seen by others in this state of undress? If you don't mind, then you shout. Hearing this, Yuan Yan Yan calmed down indeed. Fang Chen let her go, and she didn't shout. No one wanted to be seen in such a state. Who are you exactly? Yuan Yan Yan questioned Fang Chen. Hearing the other party ask who he was, Fang Chen couldn't help but complain inwardly. Who does such things and then foolishly reveals their name? Waiting for the other party to seek revenge? However, after thinking for a moment, a sly look flashed in Fang Chen's eyes, so he casually gave a name. Gua Kaiyun. Gua Kaiyun? Hearing the name, Yuan Yan Yan gritted her teeth, just wait, I will kill you sooner or later. Oh, threatening me? Fang Chen chuckled, taking advantage of the lack of light in the room. The other party couldn't see his face clearly, and he slapped her on the buttocks, come on, I'm waiting for you to kill me. Ah, Yuan Yan Yan was almost furious. As the deputy captain of the criminal police team of Luo City Public Security Bureau, and with her father being the director of the Public Security Bureau, no one had ever dared to speak loudly to her. Unexpectedly, 
This guy not only touched her there but also slapped her buttocks. It was a great humiliation. Yuan Yen Yen wished she could swallow him alive. Yen Yen, what's wrong with you? Outside the room, an anxious voice asked. Yi Cho. Hearing the voice outside, Yuan Yen Yen was delighted, about to call for help, but was silenced by Fong Chen. Don't tell him I'm here, or I'll hit you again. Do you want him to see you being pressed down by me? Fong Chen raised his hand. Yuan Yen Yen's phoenix eyes were filled with anger and shame. However, she indeed didn't want Yi Chiu to see herself being treated like this by another man. She liked Yi Chiu and didn't want to tarnish her image in his eyes. Yuan Yen Yen struggled a few times, indicating that she wouldn't reveal it. Yen Yen, are you in danger? I just encountered a shadow. Outside, Yi Chiu asked urgently. I'm fine. There's no shadow. Even if there is, I'll defeat him easily. Yuan Yen Yen pretended to be indifferent, but couldn't help but take a jab at Fang Chen. That's good. Yi Chiu smiled, he knew Yuan Yen Yen's strength very well, just slightly weaker than him. By the way, Yen Yen, open the door. Uncle Yuan just had a meeting while you were away, I'll tell you about the meeting. I'm planning to sleep, just took off my clothes. You should go back quickly, I'll ask my dad myself tomorrow. Hearing the other person wanting to come in, Yuan Yen Yen panicked a bit and quickly found an excuse to decline. Uncle Yuan? Fang Chen was slightly stunned, subconsciously touched the woman under him. Yi Chiu called her Yen Yen. Uncle Yuan was her dad. Could it be that she was Yuan Yen Yen? Thinking of this, Fang Chen's expression became increasingly strange. Previously, Fang Chen sent away LV Su, then encountered a flat-chested woman while looking for Dian Mu. Through Yi Dajun's introduction, Fang Chen knew that the woman was called Yuan Yen Yen, Yi Dajun's master in the criminal police team. Yi Dajun even had a secret crush on her. However, he felt he couldn't pursue her, and later instigated Fang Chen to pursue her. Unfortunately, Yuan Yen Yen had some disdain for Fang Chen at the time, thinking his conduct was improper, and did not follow Fang Chen with Yi Dajun, but left on her own. Unexpectedly, she was here. No wonder she's so flat, Fang Chen thought to himself. What did you say, jerk, stop touching me. Feeling Fang Chen touching her again, Yuan Yen Yen was furious, how dare you touch me. But with Yi Chiu outside, she could only suppress her voice and scold Fang Chen angrily. Slap. Seeing the other person scolding him again and remembering her disdain for him before, Fang Chen gave her another slap. He felt no pressure at all. Anyway, Yuan Yen Yen wouldn't recognize him, she would only hold a grudge against Guo Kaiyun. Keep scolding, keep hitting. You. Yuan Yen Yen dared not scold him anymore. Yen Yen, what's that sound? Outside, Yi Chiu heard the sound of a slap and felt something was wrong, so he started knocking on the door. Nothing, just mosquitoes. I'm trying to kill mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Yi Chiu nodded, relieved, there are indeed many mosquitoes in summer. By the way, Yen Yen, I just found a bottle of floral water the other day, I'll go get it for you. No need to trouble. Yuan Yen Yen hurriedly said. It's not a bother, just a few steps away. Your skin is so delicate, easy to be bitten by mosquitoes, I'll be right back. With that, Yi Chiu quickly ran off. He seems to care about you, worried you'll be bitten by mosquitoes, Fang Chen joked. Yuan Yen Yen snorted, Humph, I just want to get an electric mosquito swatter and kill this big mosquito. I'll be waiting, Fang Chen smirked. I'm taking the child with me, you deal with the rest yourself. Fang Chen didn't want to stay here any longer, so he let go of the woman under him. But as soon as he let go, Yuan Yen Yen attacked him again. Fortunately, Fang Chen reacted in time and captured her again. Still fighting? I see you quite like that Yi Chiu, huh? What if I do something in front of him? Hearing the demonic tone of the other person, Yuan Yen Yen trembled. You, you better leave. I don't want to leave now, Fang Chen grinned. You, Yuan Yen Yen was going crazy. What do you want? Let me go. You have to give me something in return, right? What do you want? Fang Chen grinned, didn't say anything, just patted her, there. Just this? Yuan Yen Yen was surprised. Based on the other person's previous behavior, she thought Fang Chen would make some unreasonable demands, but he just patted her, this time on the head. She didn't know that Fang Chen had placed a spatial mark on her body. He could monitor her at any time. Till we meet again. Fang Chen smiled, picked up the child on the bed, and left the room directly. Till we meet again? Yuan Yen Yen clenched her fists. Wo Kaiyun, next time I see you, I'll tear you to pieces. After Fang Chen left. He arrived at the Luochang Grand Hotel, prepared to return the child to Xue Chanxian, and exchange for his own reward. Upon entering the room, Xue Chanxian was lying alone on the bed. It seemed that Guo Kaiyun was still searching for the Monkey King and had not returned yet. Fang Chen chuckled and sat on the bed. Xue Chanxian was not asleep and sat up in alarm upon hearing movement. 
But when she saw it was Fang Chen, she breathed a sigh of relief and a smile appeared on her face. Here, I brought the child for you, Fang Chen returned the child to her. Shui Chanxian joyfully accepted the child, holding him tightly in her arms with a loving expression. Thank you for helping me again, after a while, Shui Chanxian looked up gratefully at Fang Chen. You're welcome, Fang Chen chuckled, after all, you have to reward me. Upon hearing about the reward, Shui Chanxian blushed, remembering the conditions she had agreed to with Fang Chen earlier in order to save her daughter. To be honest, she regretted it a bit. Mainly because she was a married woman, and it felt somewhat morally wrong. Do you want to back out? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow. No, Shui Chanxian hurriedly explained, I just wanted to ask if I could change the request. Change the request? Fang Chen thought Shui Chanxian knew he wanted the source of life, so she wanted to change the request. However, Fang Chen's goal was indeed the source of life, so how could he give up? No. Fang Chen firmly shook his head. I. Shui Chanxian felt embarrassed, not wanting to agree. But she thought of Guo Kaiyun's actions, in his eyes, their daughter was not as important as the crystal. On the other hand, Fang Chen helped her save her daughter. Thinking of this, perhaps out of a sense of retaliation, Shui Chanxian nodded in agreement. All right, I agree, come with me. I come by myself? Fang Chen was surprised, not expecting Shui Chanxian to be so open. Since she didn't mind, as a big man, Fang Chen didn't mind either. The effect of this source of life is not bad, thanks. Source of life? Shui Chanxian looked at Fang Chen in confusion, not expecting his request to be just for the source of life, and she was nervous. Yes, what did you think it was? Fang Chen looked at Shui Chanxian. To avoid letting Fang Chen see her misunderstanding, Shui Chanxian also said, I also thought it was the source of life. This only counts as one condition, you still owe me two more times, Fang Chen said. Understood, Shui Chanxian felt a bit embarrassed. You should leave now. Shui Chanxian thought for a moment and said, Oh, take the child with you, if my husband sees him, he will misunderstand again. Come back to me when the child is hungry. Are you sure you trust me to take the child with me? Fang Chen looked at Shui Chanxian in surprise. I. Shui Chanxian was also surprised, she didn't know why, but she subconsciously believed that Fang Chen would not harm the child. Perhaps it was because Fang Chen had saved the child several times. All right, I can help you take the child, but. Fang Chen raised an eyebrow. I know, Shui Chanxian blushed, when the child is hungry, you come, you should leave now. Fang Chen chuckled. I've been tired all day, don't you want to let me rest for a while? Fang Chen lay down on the bed in a sprawled position. It was only two or three hours before dawn. Fang Chen had been outside all night, expending quite a bit of energy, and his body was indeed a bit tired. This. Shui Chanxian hesitated. Your husband is not here anyway, Fang Chen said. Okay, Shui Chanxian nodded. Since the door was locked, Wu Kaiyun would definitely knock when he came back, and with Fang Chen's abilities, he could easily escape. So Fang Chen lay down on Shui Chanxian's bed, emitting a faint snoring sound. Shui Chanxian looked at the man beside her, feeling a strange sensation in her heart, lost in thought. She felt that Fang Chen was a bit mischievous, but also very kind-hearted, and did things in a carefree manner. Thinking back on the various events of tonight, how the other party had tormented her to the point of ecstasy and death, she blushed and covered her head in embarrassment, falling asleep in a daze. A knocking sound came from the door again. Xian Xian, I'm back, please open the door quickly. Shui Chen Shan was startled to hear that Guo Kaiyun had returned, but when she turned around, Fang Chen was nowhere to be seen. She didn't know when he had left. She felt a sense of loss in her heart. However, thinking that he would come back when he realized the child was hungry, she felt less sad. Hua Kaiyun walked into the room. He had been searching outside all night but had not found the Monkey King. He felt increasingly frustrated. Seeing Shui Qian Xian's rosy complexion, Hua Kaiyun grinned, ready to be intimate with his wife to vent his frustrations. However, just as he was about to embrace her, Shui Qian Xian inexplicably dodged away. It's morning, I'll go make breakfast, Shui Qian Xian said. For some reason, she didn't want to have any contact with Guo Kaiyun anymore. Fang Chen returned to the cold storage in the morning. Hey, brother-in-law, didn't you take the child away? Why did you bring him back? Lin Yu Yu asked curiously. Qin Xian also looked puzzled. Shui Chen Xian was afraid her husband would misunderstand. Fang Chen briefly explained. He doesn't care about the child going back, but cares about who brought him back? What scum? Lin Yu Yu looked indignant. I knew he was scum a long time ago, Qin Xian shrugged, looking at Fang Chen expectantly. By the way, did you help me collect the interest? Collect interest? Fang Chen remembered that Qin Xian wanted to invite him before. It seemed that he had completed the task. Ah, uh, consider it collected, Fang Chen said. Really? Qin Xian's face lit up with excitement, 
thanking Fong Chen and offering, whenever you want to redeem the conditions, you can come find me. Uh, Fong Chen looked at Qin Qian. Honestly, in terms of looks, she was even more beautiful than Lin Zijin. However, Fong Chen wasn't thinking about that every day. He said, let's talk about it later. Brother-in-law, what kind of riddle are you playing? Lin Yuyu looked at the two of them in confusion. Nothing, I'm tired from last night, I'm going to bed, Fong Chen coughed, not wanting to tell his little sister-in-law about it. It would cause chaos later. Oh, Xin Xian, I'll leave the child to your care, okay? Xin Xian nodded. Brother-in-law, why do you smell like milk? Lin Yuyu sniffed. Fong Chen was surprised. Was this little sister-in-law a dog to have such a sensitive nose? No, it must be the smell of the child. I haven't drunk any milk. Fong Chen made up an excuse, quickly washed up, and went to bed. Today's harvest was good. He had seized billions of resources from the monkey group, found a special crystal, and discovered a new wood element ability user. Although the other party had a husband, they could still provide a source of life for him. And according to the other party's suggestion, he could have it without limit? This way, his speed of upgrading and improving would be several times faster than before. Fong Chen couldn't help but smile. In addition, he discovered an important matter, which was the investigation by the Public Security Bureau. Someone had started to investigate the missing goods case, and it was very likely that they would trace it back to him. He had to be cautious. Fortunately, Fang Chen had already placed a spatial imprint on Yuan Yinyan, so he could detect any movement in advance. He slept until evening. Now, Lin Zijin was focused on killing zombies outside, and Qin Xian was in charge of cooking. Qin Xian's father was a former chef who had cooked for state banquets, and she inherited 80% of his skills. Her cooking was impeccable, even better than Lin Zijin's. Having just consumed the source of life, Fang Chen's appetite was now wide open, and he ate several times more than before. He weighed close to 200 pounds. This was enough for an ordinary person to eat for half a year. However, it was only enough for Fang Chen to consume in a day. After dinner, Fang Chen took out the golden crystal he had just obtained and began to absorb its energy. I wonder how much energy this crystal contains. After consuming the source of life, Fang Chen's daily energy absorption limit had clearly increased. Before, he could only absorb less than 100 crystals a day, any more in his body would struggle to handle it. But now, he can absorb at least 200 or more a day. However, Shui Chanchan's source of life, compared to LV Su's source of life, is much smaller in effect and shorter in duration. It must be used every day. Perhaps because Shui Chanchan's level is relatively low. But this is enough. Fang Chen took out that golden crystal to absorb. Three hours passed. Strange, the energy in my body hasn't increased at all. Fang Chen looked at the crystal in confusion. He clearly felt that he had absorbed the energy of the crystal, and the crystal had also lost its luster. However, Fang Chen did not feel an increase in his internal energy. What's going on? Fang Chen checked again. Still no difference. Could it be a fake? Fang Chen looked disappointed. He thought his strength could improve a lot. Honey, what's wrong? Lin Zijin, who had just finished bathing, walked into the room wearing a red lace nightgown, asking with some confusion. Nothing. Fang Chen explained briefly. Hearing this, Lin Zijin gently lay down beside Fang Chen and comforted him. It's okay, honey, you're so powerful, you don't need this crystal. Besides, I can protect you. I'm a level 5 esper now. He he. Being praised by Lin Zijin, Fang Chen no longer thought about the crystal. He smiled. Do you want to see who's more powerful? No, Yodo and Qin Jia are still outside. What's wrong with them being outside? When she's by your side, you're still annoying. Lin Zijin was both delighted and worried about Fang Chen's behavior. With Fang Chen's increasing strength, his abilities were becoming more powerful, and she was starting to feel overwhelmed. However, she was worried that if she refused, Fang Chen would no longer want her. She could only agree. A few minutes later, Fang Chen suddenly froze. Honey, what's wrong with you? Lin Zijin looked at Fang Chen in confusion. This shouldn't be happening? I think I know what the crystal is for. Fang Chen was full of excitement. Just when he touched Lin Zijin, Fang Chen suddenly felt a strange energy in his body. This energy was not spatial esper energy. It was fire esper energy. Fang Chen finally understood what the crystal was for. Honey, what is the crystal for? Lin Zijin was also curious. What could be more attractive than herself? The crystal is not used to enhance energy. Fang Chen said, it's a link. A link? That's right. Fang Chen nodded and said, normally, each esper can only have one type of esper ability. Only one chance to awaken esper abilities. Awakening fire can only use fire esper abilities. Water can only use water. But the golden crystal just now. 
It can allow an esper to gain a second type of esper element, allowing a fire esper to use water elements. So powerful? Lin Zijin was also amazed. Fong Chen was overjoyed. He tried his esper ability and found that besides his original spatial esper ability, he could now mix fire elements into the energy when using his ability. For example, his previous spatial blink could only teleport, without any damage. But now he can mix fire elements into the blink process. Based on spatial blinking, it becomes a brand new skill. After each blink, he can cause flame damage around the landing area. However, Fang Chen's fire element energy is still weak at the moment. It is estimated. The flame temperature is only a few hundred degrees, and it only lasts for a moment, making it difficult to kill someone. But this is a new discovery. When the energy becomes stronger, this will be a powerful skill. Fang Chen estimated that no one had discovered this yet. It means he can find more golden crystals and gain more abilities. I wonder if there are still crystals like this in Luo City. If there are, wouldn't I become an all-powerful ability user? Fang Chen thought, feeling excited. However, this method of absorbing energy seems a bit strange, doesn't it? Fang Chen remembered that he only absorbed fire abilities when he was with Lin Zijin. What if he wants to absorb other abilities? There are hundreds or even thousands of types of abilities in the world, he can't possibly find thousands of girls. That would be too tiring. Fang Chen rubbed his waist. Besides, some abilities he obtained are useless. For example, the wood element ability. Even if he absorbs it, he won't have the source of life. Also, if he wants to absorb metal abilities, does he have to find He Da Jung? No way. But later Fang Chen learned that he misunderstood. To absorb other crystals, he doesn't need that method. He just needs to use the corresponding energy crystal after using the golden crystal to obtain other elements. If he wants to gain electric abilities, he can use the electric crystal after using the golden crystal. However, Fang Chen still thinks the current method is better. One must adapt to different situations and use different methods at different times. He continued to look for Lin Zijin to absorb the fire element. Two hours later, Fang Chen got up satisfied. He had absorbed enough energy, the effect of the golden crystal had disappeared, and he could no longer continue to absorb. If he wants to absorb more, he can only find more golden crystals. Honey, it seems like my energy has decreased, and my level has dropped by one. Lin Zijin suddenly said. Level dropped? Fang Chen was surprised, turned to check Lin Zijin, and found that she had indeed dropped from a level 5 ability user to a level 4 ability user. Could it be? Fang Chen realized, feeling apologetic, sorry, it should be because I just used the golden crystal and absorbed your energy, which caused you to drop a level. Fang Chen thought to himself. How could he be like the demon in the novel who absorbs Zin to replenish Yang? It seems that this method should not be used indiscriminately. Lin Zijin smiled slightly, showing no dissatisfaction, and said, It's okay, as long as I can help you, even if you absorb all my energy, I'm willing. Fang Chen felt warm in his heart. Lin Zijin is truly a very understanding woman. Good character. Beautiful appearance. Strong abilities. Fang Chen is getting more and more fond of her. You rest, the baby is hungry. I'll take her to feed. Fang Chen lovingly touched Lin Zijin's cheek. The baby outside was crying. They hadn't eaten anything since they came back in the morning. Fang Chen needed to take her to eat something. And maybe grab a bite himself. In the middle of the night, Fang Chen took Shui Chanchan's child to the Luo City Grand Hotel. After entering the room, Fang Chen was puzzled. Wu Kaiyun was sleeping alone in the room, and Shui Chanchan was not there. Where did she go? Fang Chen looked around and found Shui Chanchan in the next room. She was lying on the bed, wearing only thin pajamas, with a pair of long white legs exposed, looking exceptionally charming. You're here. Hearing the movement, Shui Chanchan sat up excitedly. She didn't know why, she couldn't fall asleep, she had been thinking about when Fang Chen would come over. People's minds are very complicated, especially women. If you treat her normally, cook for her and do the laundry every day, she won't remember. Instead, if someone bullies her or does something exciting with her, she will remember for a lifetime and often mention it. Shui Chanchan now has this attitude towards Fang Chen. Why did you change rooms? Fang Chen handed the child to her and asked. I. Shui Chanchan hesitated. Fang Chen raised an eyebrow and joked, You didn't fall for me, afraid I would be unhappy, so you didn't want to sleep with your husband anymore, right? No way, Shui Chanchan explained quickly. She was only grateful to Fang Chen, not in love with him yet. She and Guo Kaiyun slept in separate rooms mainly because of what happened yesterday. She was too disappointed in Guo Kaiyun. And now Fang Chen came over every day, if she stayed in that room, it would be easy to be discovered. Won't he suspect you like this? I told him I got my period, 
He didn't suspect anything, Shui Chan Chan said blushing. Fang Chen shrugged. He didn't care about these things. Shui Chan Chan and Guo Kaiyuan were a couple, even if they slept together, it was none of his business, he wasn't her husband. He just needed the source of life. Fang Chen lay down on the bed nonchalantly. Hurry up and feed, leave some for me after you're done. Got it, Shui Chan Chan said somewhat embarrassed, but she didn't refuse Fang Chen. Okay, okay, after a while, Shui Chan Chan said. He he, here we go, Fang Chen chuckled and leaned over. Keep it down, he's next door. Don't worry, he sleeps like a log, can't hear a thing, Shui Chan Chan sighed, feeling conflicted about whether what she was doing was right or wrong. If Xiao Yuan was still here, it would be better. He would tell her what to do. Shui Chan Chan met Guo Kaiyun in college, but at that time she had feelings for another person, named Qi Xiaoyuan. The two had known each other since childhood. However, Qi Xiaoyuan once got drunk and assaulted a girl, and was later imprisoned. Now in this chaotic world, he should have died in prison. Guo Kaiyun, die. Just as she thought that, the window of the room was suddenly broken, a figure rushed in, holding a dagger and stabbed towards Fang Chen. Ah, Shui Chan Chan was startled. Fang Chen was also slightly surprised and quickly used a spatial barrier to block the attack. The dagger struck Fang Chen, but shattered instantly. Fang Chen frowned and looked at the assailant. The person was dressed in black, with their face covered, tall in stature, looking somewhat like a man. However, the voice Fang Chen just heard was that of a woman. And it sounded familiar. Yuan Yen Yen? Fang Chen's heart skipped a beat, and upon closer inspection, the flat and protruding chest confirmed that it was indeed Yuan Yen Yen. Why was she here? trying to assassinate him. Fang Chen then realized. He was currently at the Luocheng Grand Hotel, and Yuan Yen Yen had just called for Guo Kaiyun's death, not his. It seemed she mistook him for Guo Kaiyun because he was sleeping with Xue Chan Chan. Fang Chen was speechless. The boomerang he had thrown earlier had unexpectedly returned to him. Why is it you? After seeing Fang Chen's face clearly, Yuan Yen Yen furrowed her brows. She remembered Fang Chen. He was a friend of He Da Jiang. But why was he here, and in Guo Kaiyun's wife's bed? Sleeping with someone else's wife, truly despicable. Yuan Yen Yen snorted coldly, glared at Fang Chen, but didn't make another move. She didn't want Fang Chen to recognize her. What Guo Kaiyun did to her yesterday was too embarrassing, she didn't want others to know. And she had no grudge with Fang Chen. Seeing that he slept with Guo Kaiyun's wife, she felt somewhat relieved. You want to kill Guo Kaiyun, right? I'm just a bystander, carry on. Fang Chen smiled, not intending to continue the confrontation. He winked at Shui Chan Chan, indicating he would leave first. Shui Chan Chan nodded slightly. She didn't want Guo Kaiyun to see this scene. Yuan Yan Yan didn't stop them, her target was Guo Kaiyun, so she let Fang Chen go. Chan Chan, what's going on? Shui Chan Chan's exclamation just now was a bit loud, alerting Guo Kaiyun next door. Bang! Guo Kaiyun directly smashed the door open with a punch, then saw the figure in black in the room. His eyes turned cold. Daring to intrude on my territory at night, seeking death. Yuan Yan Yan looked at Guo Kaiyun's face, which was as cold as ancient ice, and without saying a word, she used her supernatural powers to attack him. Outside, Fang Chen secretly observed the scene, amused. Guo Kaiyun was really a scapegoat. However, Yuan Yan Yan was quite powerful, unexpectedly possessing water-based abilities. Fang Chen was amazed. It had been said before that water-based abilities were one of the most precious in the post-apocalyptic world. People can go seven days without food, but seven days without water. With water-based abilities, almost 50% of survival problems could be solved. No wonder Yuan Yan Yan had survived until now. Unfortunately, Yuan Yan Yan had no good feelings towards Fang Chen, and Fang Chen had done something to her that made it almost impossible for her to join his camp. Guo Kaiyun had iron-based abilities, and although Yuan Yan Yan was skilled, her abilities couldn't harm Guo Kaiyun. She quickly fell into a disadvantage. The commotion of the fight attracted Guo Kaiyun's henchmen. Yuan Yan Yan was now surrounded. The situation was not optimistic. I didn't expect her to have water-based abilities. Catch her, and we won't have to worry about water in the future. Greed filled Guo Kaiyun's eyes as he looked at Yuan Yan Yan. His henchmen were excited at the prospect. Resources were scarce in the post-apocalyptic world, and they treated a bottle of water as a five-day supply. Yuan Yan Yan's expression turned serious. There were at least dozens of supernatural beings around her, and she couldn't handle Guo Kaiyun alone, let alone so many people. If they caught her, wouldn't she be drained dry? It's all that guy's fault, Yuan Yan Yan blamed Fang Chen. If it weren't for him, her sudden attack could have killed Guo Kaiyun long ago, and she wouldn't be in this situation now. What to do? Yuan Yan Yan felt anxious, thinking of her beloved, Yi Chiu. 
He was so powerful that he could definitely save her here. However, he was currently chasing a group of monkeys and was not here. Get her. Wa Kaiyun waved his hand, and dozens of supernatural beings attacked Yuan Yin Yin. Just as Yuan Yin Yin was about to be captured, another figure suddenly appeared in the room. Seeing Yuan Yin Yin about to be caught by Guo Kaiyun, Fang Chen decided to intervene. Although Yuan Yin Yin was unlikely to join his side, Fang Chen didn't want to see Guo Kaiyun benefit for nothing. Fang Chen first placed Chue Chan Chan's child in the next room, then put on a mask to avoid being recognized. Next, a fiery spatial flash appeared in front of Yuan Yin Yin. Boom! Suddenly, a wave of intense heat emanated from Fang Chen. Although Fang Chen had just acquired fire-based abilities, it was Lin Zijin's fire-based abilities. Lin Zijin had dropped from level 5 to level 4, and all the energy in between had been absorbed by Fang Chen. In terms of flame intensity alone, Fang Chen's abilities were much stronger than an average level 3 fire-based supernatural being. The surrounding supernatural beings around Yuan Yin Yan were mostly at level 2, and Fang Chen's skill instantly subdued them all. The scorching flames burned their faces. Ah! At the same time, Yuan Yin Yan also screamed. It turned out that Fang Chen's fiery spatial flash caused AoE damage, regardless of friend or foe. The distance Fang Chen landed from Yuan Yin Yan was close, and the scorching flames burned off most of her clothes. If Yuan Yin Yan didn't have water-based abilities to extinguish the fire in time, her clothes might have been completely burned off. Her current clothes were tattered, exposing her neck and thighs. Her fair skin sparked endless imagination. Ah, uh, Fang Chen didn't expect this to happen and couldn't help but glance at her skin. It was so white. He chuckled and asked, Beauty, need a life-saving service? The price is fair, 100 crystals will do. Life-saving? Are you with them? Yuan Yan Yan quickly protected her skin to avoid exposure, glaring angrily at the man who had suddenly appeared. Cut, it's not like I haven't touched it before. Why do you have to protect it when it's just that small? Fang Chen sneered and muttered softly. What did you say? Nothing. Fang Chen quickly waved his hand, almost letting slip. It's my first time using this skill, not very proficient, unexpected, unexpected. How about it? Do you need me to help? Not very proficient? I see you're quite proficient in burning my clothes, Yuan Yin Yan glared at Fang Chen, clearly a pervert. Although the other party was wearing a mask, she still recognized Fang Chen who had just been lying on Guo Kaiyun's wife's bed. Turns out he's a fire ability user. She looked around at the dozen or so ability users who were watching vigilantly, realizing that she wouldn't be able to escape based on her own strength alone. If the other party could really help. If you can really help me, I can give you 100 crystals, Yuan Yin Yan said. 100 crystals, equivalent to killing 100 zombies. In the trading market of Luo City, it could be exchanged for at least 100 bottles of mineral water. Really? Fang Chen was somewhat surprised. Didn't expect Yuan Yin Yan would actually be willing to give them? 100 crystals is not a small amount for an ordinary ability user. Converted into supplies, it could last one or two months. Really? Yuan Yin Yan nodded. Alright, I'll save your life. Fang Chen smiled, he didn't think Yuan Yin Yan would want crystals, but since she offered, Fang Chen wouldn't foolishly refuse. Money doesn't grow on trees. Save? On the side, Wa Kaiyun listened to the conversation between the two, his face turning extremely cold, do you two not value my golden right hand at all? Golden right hand? Fang Chen's expression was strange, he looked at Guo Kaiyun's fist, which was indeed golden. However, it was obviously fake. Guo Kaiyun was clearly a metal attribute ability user, how could he produce gold? Only someone like He Da Jiang with a metal ability could produce gold. Brother, gilded, right? Fang Chen joked. Yuan Yin Yan on the side also chuckled. She didn't expect Fang Chen, besides being greedy and lecherous, to also be so sarcastic. What a jerk. However, he was scolding the Guo Kaiyun who had mistreated her, so Yuan Yin Yan felt somewhat happy. Gilded? Guo Kaiyun's face darkened. He was indeed exposed by Fang Chen, his previous iron arm was too ugly and prone to rust, so in order to make his ability look better, he deliberately scraped off a layer of plaster from the hotel's gilded wall and applied it to his hand. You're asking for it. Guo Kaiyun, feeling humiliated, swung his iron fist towards Fang Chen. Guo Kaiyun was a level 3 ability user, the density of his iron fist was very high, one hand probably weighed several hundred pounds, with a punch coming down, it was at least one or two thousand pounds in weight, it could easily crush a wall. Be careful. In the corner, Shui Chan Chan, who had been watching Fang Chen all along, saw Guo Kaiyun's fist heading towards Fang Chen and involuntarily exclaimed, worried about Fang Chen's safety. However, in Guo Kaiyun's ears, he thought it was directed at himself. Don't worry, Chan Chan, I'll smash him with one punch. Shui Chan Chan was taken aback. 
She only then realized that she had unconsciously been worried about Fang Chen just now. Fortunately, her husband didn't know. Fang Chen and Yuan Yanyan both looked at each other with strange expressions, especially Yuan Yanyan. She had just seen Fang Chen lying on his wife's bed, doing that kind of thing. She couldn't help but glance at Kuo Kaiyun's head with a hint of pity in her eyes. This guy actually thinks his wife is caring for him, not knowing she's caring for her lover. By the way, that child might not even be his. Yuan Yanyan thought to herself. Seeing the two's pitying gazes, Guo Kaiyun was completely puzzled, wondering if he had misunderstood. Why would they pity him? It was clearly them who were in danger. Go to hell. Guo Kaiyun shook his head and exerted even greater force to strike Fang Chen. Fang Chen chuckled lightly, not dodging or avoiding. He also extended his fist, meaning Guo Kaiyun's iron fist head on. Don't. Watching Fang Chen unexpectedly extend his fist to Guo Kaiyun, Yuan Yanyan hurriedly spoke up to remind him. Is this person a fool? You, a fire elemental, actually challenging an iron elemental to a fist fight. With one punch, even if you don't die, your arm will definitely be crippled. It's over. I thought he was a master who could help me escape. I didn't expect him to be a fool. Yuan Yin Yan's eyes were filled with worry. Later, she would probably have to figure out how to escape with the disabled Fang Chen. Ah, huh, challenging me to a fist fight, he's simply seeking death. Seeing Fang Chen about to fist fight with him, Guo Kaiyun was delighted. He was an iron elemental. What in this world is harder than iron? With one punch, he could definitely smash his hand to pieces. However, the next moment their fists collided, and Guo Kaiyun's eyeballs almost popped out. He screamed in agony, clutching his arm and falling to the ground howling. Meanwhile, Fang Chen only took two steps back due to the immense force, completely unscathed. How is this possible? You're just a fire elemental, how can you be unharmed? Guo Kaiyun lay on the ground, clutching his crimson arm, looking at Fang Chen in disbelief. He's unharmed? Is he really a fire elemental? On the side, Yuan Yan Yan also found it hard to believe. She had fought with Guo Kaiyun and knew the extent of his power. His defense was extremely high, her water elemental powers couldn't even scratch him. How did Fang Chen manage to injure him while remaining and scathed himself? Fang Chen just chuckled. Although Guo Kaiyun's iron fists were tough, he was only a level 3 elemental, while Fang Chen was a level 4 elemental. The defense of his spatial barrier was 4,000 kilograms. Guo Kaiyun couldn't break through Fang Chen's defense no matter what. As for how Guo Kaiyun got injured, it was all thanks to the fire elemental powers Fang Chen had just obtained from Lin Zijin. Guo Kaiyun was an iron elemental, with defense second only to He Dajun's metal elemental powers. Although he was only level 3, his defense had reached 2,500 kilograms. Ordinary physical attacks couldn't harm Guo Kaiyun, just like Yuan Yan Yan. She was also a level 3 elemental now, but she couldn't do anything to Guo Kaiyun. However, iron elementals had a fatal weakness. No matter how high their defense, they feared fire. Metal conducts heat quickly. When Fang Chen threw a punch, he concentrated all his fire elemental powers on his spatial barrier, filling it with flames. As a result, when Guo Kaiyun's fist struck, the scorching heat, combined with the rapid heat conduction of iron, directly turned his iron fist red hot. Attack, kill him. Enduring the intense pain in his hand, Guo Kaiyun instructed his subordinates to attack Fang Chen. These dozens of elementals were all around level 2, and even a normal level 4 elemental would be overwhelmed and killed when surrounded. Step back. Fang Chen didn't fear these people and asked Yuan Yan Yan to step back. Then, he used the flame spatial blink again, a burst of scorching flames erupted, roasting the approaching elementals. None of them dared to attack again. What? Guo Kaiyun couldn't believe his eyes. Who are you exactly? Who am I? Fang Chen smirked. I am one of your kind. One of my kind? Guo Kaiyun was puzzled. Was the other person also in the hotel business? Yuan Yan Yan sensed the meaning behind Fang Chen's words and thought he was a jerk for bantering at a time like this. Stop the nonsense, kill him. Yuan Yan Yan despised Guo Kaiyun to the core for daring to treat her that way yesterday. I only promised to save you, not to help you kill. Fang Chen shrugged. Killing Guo Kaiyun was too easy for him. But Fang Chen didn't want to kill him just yet. He was still waiting for Xue Chanxian's source of life. If he killed her husband in front of her, given Xue Chanxian's character, she would definitely not give him the source of life again. Killing Guo Kaiyun would gain Fang Chen nothing, and he would lose the source of life that was almost within his grasp. This is not a good deal, Fang Chen won't do it. Then I'll do it myself. Yuan Yan Yan snorted. No, Xue Chanxian hurriedly stopped her. Although she was very disappointed with Guo Kaiyun, and even had the idea of leaving him. But after all, he is the father of the child. How could she, a wood elemental ability user, stop Yuan Yan Yan? 
Guo Kaiyun's men on the side also feared Fang Chen's strength and dared not intervene. Shui Chanxian had to look to Fang Chen for help. She muttered something. Fang Chen understood immediately what she was saying and couldn't help but smirk. Shui Chanxian blushed, but she also agreed to Fang Chen's request. Ahem. With Shui Chanxian's favor, Fang Chen naturally had to do something. He coughed and said to Guo Kaiyun's men, Well, if you want to stop, then stop, I won't interfere. Hearing Fang Chen's words, the group of henchmen immediately stopped Yuan Yinyan who was about to act. You! Yuan Yinyan stomped her foot in anger, pointing at Fang Chen as if she wanted to scold him. Fang Chen shrugged. He looked indifferent. Poof! Yuan Yinyan stomped her foot. Knowing that without Fang Chen's help, she couldn't kill Guo Kaiyun, and she didn't even have a chance to escape, she could only turn back angrily. She jumped out of the window. Fang Chen chuckled, winked at Shui Chanxian, indicating that she shouldn't forget what she promised him. Then, he followed Yuan Yinyan and left. Why are you following me? Yuan Yinyan glared at Fang Chen angrily. I haven't been paid yet. Fang Chen spread his hands, I saved your life, 100 crystals, hand them over. I don't have any crystals. Yuan Yinyan shook her head. Are you fooling me? Fang Chen's face turned cold. This woman, is she asking for trouble again? I don't have crystals, but I can give you water instead. Yuan Yinyan said. It's not easy to get 100 crystals. Even some second-rate gangs would find it hard to come up with 100 crystals at once. They could only exchange equivalent goods. Why do you want my water? Fang Chen was not happy. He had millions of bottles of water in his space, more than enough for a lifetime. Did he lack her little bit of water? If you don't have crystals, then I'll have to help you return. Fang Chen smirked. You. Yuan Yinyan was speechless at Fang Chen's shamelessness, but she couldn't beat Fang Chen, so she could only swallow her anger. I'll go to the trading market tomorrow and buy 100 crystals for you with water, that's it, Yuan Yinyan said angrily. Trading market? Fang Chen was surprised, what is that place? You don't even know about the trading market? Yuan Yinyan looked at Fang Chen strangely. Fang Chen shook his head, he really didn't know. He only lived in the apocalypse for about a month in his previous life, and then was killed by Su Qingqing's family, so he didn't know much about what happened later. Seeing Fang Chen's confusion, Yuan Yinyan explained. Now that resources are scarce in the apocalypse, everyone's resources are not complete. Some people have water but no food, some have food but no water. So, the three major gangs in Luo City have set up a trading market. Everyone can use their own resources to exchange for others' resources at the trading market. And as long as they pay the venue fee, they will ensure the safety of the transaction, so you don't have to worry about others defaulting or robbing you. Yuan Yin Yan said, I'll go to the trading market tomorrow and exchange water for 100 crystals for you. Fang Chen was also interested. He didn't expect that there would be such a place in Luo City. He had been busy upgrading and didn't realize that he could buy crystals. Since that's the case, why bother fighting zombies? Just go to the trading market. It's been over two months in the apocalypse. Fang Chen's resources have not decreased at all, and he even stole from the monkey group a few times, so now Fang Chen's resources are even more than before the apocalypse. Okay. Fang Chen nodded and asked, Where is the trading market? I'll go take a look tomorrow. It's in the south of the city, at the Tianhai Resort under the Chun Group. Tianhai Resort? This resort Fang Chen knows is the largest resort in Luo City and one of the top five resorts in the country, costing billions to build. The cost of staying for one day is tens of thousands of dollars. It is said that the staff inside are all campus beauties from various universities. I definitely have to go take a look. After agreeing with Yuan Yin Yen, Fang Chen returned to the cold storage after meeting at the Tianhai Resort Center. When he arrived, Fang Chen realized that he had forgotten to bring Xue Chanxian's daughter back, but it was too late to go back now. It would take two hours round trip. He didn't even have time to sleep. I'll see if there are any cars for sale in the market tomorrow. If there are, I need to buy a good car. Fang Chen thought to himself, I wonder if Guo Kaiyun will misunderstand something after seeing the child, causing embarrassment to Xue Chanxian. But he shouldn't be that beastly. Fang Chen no longer thought about Xue Chanxian's matters. She's not his wife. As long as there is a source of life, it's fine. Boss. He Dajiang was waiting outside the cold storage for Fang Chen, and when he returned, he immediately greeted him. Is there something? Fang Chen asked with a smile. He Dajiang has recently improved rapidly in strength and is now a level 3 esper, about to reach level 4. Moreover, He Dajiang has been helping Fang Chen promote the gang outside recently. Now, there are more than 300 members of Ionia, including more than 50 espers. Seven or eight surrounding warehouses are full of people. And He Dajiang has also killed quite a few zombies. 
Currently, He Da Jung has reached the top four on Fang Chen's points leaderboard, with over 350 points, equivalent to 350 first level crystals. The first place is naturally Dianmu, with over 3,700 points, close to 4,000. If Dianmu didn't have to eat hundreds of pounds of food every day, consuming too many points, her points would probably be over 10,000. Dianmu's level is now the highest in the cold storage, reaching level 5 and about to reach level 6. Fang Chen estimates that Dianmu alone could easily wipe out a second-rate gang. The second place is Lin Zijin, 2,000 points. With the addition of Qin Xian, Lin Zijin has saved time on cooking and can focus on improving her strength. She was already at level 5. Unfortunately, she was just drained of some energy by Fang Chen and has now dropped to level 4. The third place is Lin Yuyu, 1,500 points. Fang Chen didn't expect this girl to look so unserious, but she is quite serious when it comes to work. Boss. He Dodge Young handed Fang Chen a piece of paper and said, Someone gave me an invitation when I went out today, saying that we are invited to attend an auction where all the gangs in Luo City will participate. Auction? Fang Chen was puzzled. What is this about? Boss, this was organized by the three major gangs. They have a batch of valuable goods and want to exchange these things for crystals. He Dodge Young explained. Valuable goods? What are they? Fang Chen was curious. In the apocalypse, these people can still get valuable goods? However, Fang Chen thought of the origins of the three major gangs, all of which were originally prominent families in Luo City, especially the Chen, Li, and Lu families, each with billions in assets. The Lu family is the family of Lu Su. If Fang Chen hadn't stolen supplies from their supermarket, they would now be one of the four major gangs. It's not surprising that these people have some good stuff. However, these people are quite clever. They know the importance of crystals and want to exchange useless goods for crystals in others' hands. Fang Chen looked at the invitation. The location is at the Tianhai Resort Center. It just so happens that Fang Chen and Yuan Yen Yen agreed to meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go together tomorrow. Fang Chen nodded, exchanged a few words with He Da Jung, and then returned to the cold storage. After a nap. The next day, Fang Chen set off for the Tianhai Resort Center. Fang Chen was planning to buy some crystals. So, Fang Chen needed to prepare some supplies to take out and sell. Boss, how much supplies are we going to take to buy? He Da Jiang asked. Fang Chen thought for a moment, let's not take too much for the first time. Start with 2,000 pounds of rice, 500 bottles of mineral water, and 10 pounds of pork. If these supplies were converted into crystals, they could probably buy 5,000 level 1 crystals. The reason for bringing only a little is that Fang Chen thinks they probably don't have that many crystals. The zombies are quite powerful now, not so easy to kill. Yes. He Da Jiang immediately drove a large truck over and loaded 2,000 pounds of rice and 500 bottles of mineral water onto the truck. He drove towards the Tianhai Resort Center. This time, Fang Chen did not bring Lin Zijin and Lin Yuyu, only He Da Jiang, Dianmu, and 10 other ability users. The cold storage needs someone to stay behind. If everyone leaves and the house is stolen, it would not be worth it. Currently, the people Fang Chen trusts the most are the Lin Zijin sisters. The Tianhai Resort Center is in the south of the city. The journey is about 100 kilometers. Fang Chen first drove with Dianmu and had He Da Jiang follow with the supplies. It's quite lively. Arriving at the entrance of the resort center, Fang Chen looked around and saw at least hundreds of people outside, and inside there were at least thousands of people. Fang Chen went inside and found many vendors selling various goods, food, clothes, all kinds of things. There were also many people selling crystals. However, these people were mostly from small factions, they didn't have many supplies, and killing zombies without food to help them absorb crystals, so they could only sell them in exchange for food to sustain their lives. Fang Chen didn't hesitate either, took out a box of mineral water from the space when no one was paying attention, and bought all the crystals from those selling them. In total, he harvested over 100 level 1 crystals. Hey, isn't this Fang Chen? At this moment, a man's voice came from beside him. Fang Chen looked over and saw a thin man walking towards him, accompanied by a middle-aged woman close to 50 years old. Is it her? Fang Chen looked at the woman, feeling somewhat strange. He knew this woman. Before the apocalypse, she was his leader at work, named Chao Fang. The reason why Fang Chen remembered her so well was that before, when they were working, Chao Fang found Fang Chen handsome and wanted to take advantage of him. She would occasionally call Fang Chen to her office. She would often make Fang Chen work overtime and then deliberately stay behind creating a scene of a man and a woman alone together. Fang Chen was annoyed. You're older than my mom, is this appropriate? After being reborn, Xiao Fang still wanted to take advantage of Fang Chen, but she was harshly scolded by Fang Chen. 
Later, Chao Fang said something and gave her team leader position to someone else, it seemed to be Sun Jia, the guy next to Chao Fang. This guy was really desperate. It really is Fang Chen. I didn't expect you to still be alive. It's not easy, you must have suffered a lot. Sun Jia came up to Fang Chen and started taunting him. Sun Jia didn't have a good impression of Fang Chen, because he had always wanted to get close to Chao Fang and cut short 20 years of detours in life. However, Chao Fang always ignored him and kept her focus on Fang Chen. He was very jealous. However, he didn't expect Fang Chen to be so ungrateful, directly scolding Chao Fang on the phone. To anger Fang Chen, Chao Fang gave him the team leader position. He was overjoyed at the time. But after a few days of joy, the apocalypse happened, the company's boss died, and it went bankrupt. Fortunately, Chao Fang awakened her abilities and survived with him. Sun Jie served Chao Fang for two months. Today, Chao Fang finally agreed to bring him to buy evolution crystals and awaken his abilities. Fang Chen glanced at Sun Jie. This guy is crazy, just stick with your rich woman, why come over here and talk to me? Being subtly mocked by the other party, Fang Chen's expression turned cold. I don't know if I've suffered or not, Fang Chen glanced at the nearly 50-year-old Chao Fang and said with a light smile to Sun Jie, but I can see that you must have suffered a lot, your tongue is all black. Upon hearing Fang Chen's words, Sun Jie not only had a sharp tongue, but now his face was also dark. He didn't understand what Fang Chen was trying to say. During this period, he had indeed been trying various ways to please Chao Fang. It was the end of the world now, and Chao Fang hadn't bathed for two months, and being old, the smell was even more bitter than Chinese medicine. If it weren't for the promise of buying him a crystal, he really wouldn't want to agree. You're asking for it. Sun Jie, feeling desperate, relied on Chao Fang, an esper, and pounced towards Fang Chen. Stay away from me, disgusting. Fang Chen looked at him disdainfully and kicked him away. Sun Jie felt like a dog eating shit and then turned to Chao Fang for help. Fang Jie, look at him, he's bullying me. Chao Fang ignored him and continued to size up Fang Chen. Fang Chen was already quite handsome, and with his increasing strength during this period, his temperament had changed significantly. Moreover, Fang Chen bathed every day, and his skin was not rough and dark like others, covered in dirt. The current Fang Chen stood out in the crowd. When Xiao Fang saw him, her face lit up like a chrysanthemum, and she started thinking about taking care of Fang Chen, Luo Luo, it's been a few months, and you've become even more handsome. Damn. Fang Chen almost vomited. Luo Luo, is that what you call me? Old man, call me that again, and I'll slap you. Fang Chen was not in a good mood. Fang Chen, how dare you speak to Fang Jie like that? Do you know what Fang Jie's status is now? Sun Jie hurriedly said, trying to win Chao Fang's favor. Fang Chen replied, status? What, is she not a person? Humph, Fang Jie is now the captain of the middle team of the three major gangs in Luocheng, the orphanage, leading 30 espers under her. How dare you disrespect Fang Jie, you're asking for death. Orphanage? Fang Chen raised an eyebrow, quite fitting for their status. Being insulted by Fang Chen in person, Chao Fang's face darkened. However, seeing Fang Chen's handsome face, she held back. Smiling, she said, Luo Luo, have you joined a gang? Do you want to come to mine? I can make you a squad leader, and you can get a bottle of mineral water every day. Even if you don't have any abilities, I'll take you to buy evolution crystals later, how about that? Fang Jie? Sun Jie's face turned extremely ugly upon hearing Chao Fang's words. He had been licking up to her for two months and hadn't received an evolution crystal yet. Just as he met Fang Chen, Xiao Fang was already offering to buy him a crystal. The difference was too big. However, to Sun Jie's surprise, Fang Chen did not agree but instead slapped Xiao Fang directly in the face. Slap. Xiao Fang was stunned, you actually hit me. Old man, I've warned you before, call me Luo Luo again, and I'll slap you. Fang Chen took out a tissue to wipe his hands, which had gotten oily from the slap. Disgusting. You're asking for it. Chao Fang was furious. Even if she liked Fang Chen, she couldn't tolerate being slapped by him. Sun Jie was also delighted. He didn't expect Fang Chen to be so ungrateful, he was simply an idiot. I didn't want to resort to violence, but you forced my hand. Chao Fang activated her esper ability, I'll give you one more chance, kneel down and apologize to me, then come with me, or else I'll make sure you die here today. Fang Chen was taken aback. Not because she was so powerful, but her ability was just too bizarre. It was actually a foul-smelling ability. If she released her ability, the surrounding area would be uninhabitable. Duong. Seeing that she hadn't used her ability yet, Fang Chen kicked her, sending her flying five meters away. Thank goodness, otherwise I'd have to take a bath when I got home. Fang Chen breathed a sigh of relief. Captain. The fight between the two caught the attention of the orphanage's enforcers, and a dozen espers immediately surrounded Fang Chen. Catch him for me. 
Xiao Fang, enduring the pain, got up from the ground and pointed at Fang Chen with eyes full of anger. She was determined to capture Fang Chen and make him serve her day and night. Yes, the orphanage's enforcers closed in on Fang Chen. Around them, some passers-by who noticed the situation couldn't help but feel anxious for Fang Chen. The handsome young man unfortunately offended the orphanage. In Luochang, everyone knows that the orphanage is the most arrogant, and now they are in trouble. Yes, this is one of the three major gangs in Luochang, with nearly a thousand mutants. It's not good to offend anyone, let alone them. I just saw this person buying a lot of things. Do you think he might have a big background too? Kill him, kill him. Sun Jie shouted from the side. Once Fang Chen dies, no one can threaten him. Noisy. Fang Chen glanced at Sun Jie, feeling that this person was crazy. He couldn't be bothered to argue with you, do you think I'm a pushover? You want to kill me, right? Fang Chen directly raised a spatial blade and pierced Sun Jie's throat. The people around were all stunned. This person is too bold. We are all surrounded, and he still dares to kill. He's really done for now. The thugs from the orphanage were also furious, feeling that Fang Chen was disrespecting them. Stop. Suddenly, a woman's voice came. Everyone looked over and saw a tall figure leading dozens of people over. Who is she? She's so beautiful. You don't even know her. She is Miss Chen from the Chen family, one of the three goddesses of Luo Chang. This resort is owned by her family. So powerful? Not only that, it is said that Miss Chen is the only ice-type mutant in Luo Chang. During the 70 degrees Celsius high temperature, it was her ice ability that saved the whole family. That's why the Chen family is so powerful. Wow, she's beautiful, comes from a good family, and has such strong abilities. Anyone who can marry her would be living a dream. Forget about marrying her, even if I could just lick her toes, I would be willing. The thugs from the orphanage, upon seeing Chen Sini, stopped their actions and stared at her infatuatedly. Fang Chen also took a look at her. She was indeed quite beautiful. But her face was like a block of ice, as if she had lost a relative. Not as good looking as his own wife. Chen Sini glanced at Fang Chen and said coldly, no fighting is allowed in the trading center. Those who fight, get out. 